Welcome to the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. If you like a lot of wrestling on YouTube, join, join our cult. cult. Join it. <sighs> Let's go. Hello Come on. and welcome to the annual giant-sized episode of the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. You're listening to the very dulcet, relaxed, mellow tones of Matthew, joined by his lovely companions, uh, and allies. <laughs> My name's Ross. My name's Jack. And that is Szechuan. <laughs> <laughs> very good. We've got a resident podcast. It's one after mania. We're all tired, but very happy. Very happy indeed. You spend the next 17 hours with yourself. Ross, how was WrestleMania for you? Fantastic. Didn't have to stay up through the night this year, which was a lovely relief. First time ever, not having to stay up through the night. Got to watch it the day after. Not like Jack. Jack had to go through the, the rigor. So did uh, Sesh, did you not? Yeah, I did, yeah. He did as well. Yeah, my body clock's still backwards. So is mine. I, I, I fell asleep. This is going to be a struggle for me, this podcast, because I fell asleep. I slept like yesterday evening and woke up. Time for dynamite, and I haven't slept since. So this is gonna be a struggle. This you built since dynamite last night. Yeah, so I had a full. I've had a full night's sleep just in the daytime, and Whoa. so this is like the very end of my yeah. day. Starting now, it's the end of your shift. But we've got like over five hours left to go. Ooh. I've got positive en- thoughts, Jack. I've got energy drinks. I've got coffee. I've got al- We've got alcohol here with us. I've noticed. Oh, it's time we- to get crunk up in this. Biatch. <laughs> we'll only oh, be yeah, opening man. that. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> Shamon. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not hear him on Saturday, Matthew? Booker T. Booker T let out a Shamone. Mm. It might yeah, have been a reference. Barrett told him, like, <laughs> come on, Booker. No like, Shamone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we didn't hear that on our stream, so all we heard was we were talking and then just heard a brief just, Shamone. <laughs> it was amazing. Oh, the rest of the match flew by. All was surprisingly short. We'll get on to all of that. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. All that, the rest thing and more will be featured. You, you obviously didn't watch many Alive. I didn't. My mate decided the best thing to do him being a big wrestling fan and wrestler, because he wrestled in Texas this oh, year. Oh, I didn't right. realize he was a wrestler and a wrestling fan. I didn't realize right. you were friends with Stan Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was a muggle doing this sort of thing on a WrestleMania Ooh. weekend. Stag Hansen? Yeah, Stag yeah. Stag Hansen. Shut up, Sesh, with the line of the podcast, <laughs> 10 seconds in. Thank you very much, mate. Go back to sleep. Um, yeah, we decided to go to Amsterdam. Well, he decided. His lovely family and his friends, who I've known for years and years and years, went there and... Some of my fans have been like, you picked the wrong time to be doing this. And goes, yeah, but it's a mate who I've known for over 10 years. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a lovely occasion that we're going to remember most of it. <laughs> and uh, uh-huh. I can't, oh, no, I have to stay at home and watch an event that I can watch the day after I come back home. It's like, yeah. But did you not really feel the WrestleMania this year? We had to feel it when watching it nearly live. I'm still feeling the effects <laughs> of the positivity of not just... Amsterdam, but WrestleMania as well. Mm. It's been a lovely time to catch up on that. Amsterdam was fantastic. It was sunny the entire time. We did a Zorbola. Zorb. Zorbola, thank you. So that was nice because there was a bunch of us all in our midway point through life bouncing (laughs) off each other until we were like, oh, we need to stop, lads. I think we're injured. All right. (laughs) So then we did combat archery, which apparently we're supposed to have armor on. We didn't get any armor. We had face plates just like uh, in Biker Grove to stop any injuries there. <laughs> and the stag dude still got hit in the face directly with it and was a bit annoyed. But he was all right. Oh, is he going to be scarred for his wedding? No, it was a, it was a bow and arrow but with a big rubber tip on. So it just gave you big old bruises. Oh. He looked like Stag Hansen, you know, mm. circa 92. <laughs> uh, then we did one of the beer bike things where it's a big old bike. It's got lots of cycle things on and everyone's having a big old brew. And stopping to smoke we, uh, things. Oh. YouTube monetization, YouTube monetization is legal over there. And uh, listen to loud music, and that's when Jack decided to ring me. It's like, <laughs> oh, yeah. the, the chat wanted to say hello. It's just like, oh, I'm all right, Jack. And I get in the back, goes, yeah, we thought you were. You sound busy. We thought you were in a pub. The chat pressured me into ringing you. Yeah. Yeah, I did. It wasn't often. I've done it. I've already done it before when I rang you up. It's like, Jack, do you know what Goonan is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was I was mid scoot. I had to pull over. Oh, I'm sorry to hear no, that. No, that's all right. I was mid scoot. No, good job you're only hands free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that was that, and yeah, just wandering the town, going, "Ooh, Amsterdam, isn't it nice?" Yeah. And just sharing the experiences of uh, just oh, all the lovely times I've had these people, and finally getting my revenge on that one bench. Yes, that I sat on that I was off my gourd the last time I saw it, but I was not off my gourd. I was just very relaxed this time. How did you do it? Get your revenge? Hit it with a chair. Sat down and took another photo. 
<laughs> that showed that bench. There's going to have to be a rubber match at some point. Just say, yeah, Matthew won, bench yeah. also won. Finish <laughs> the story. Yeah, but it was so great because it's like, well, what did I need to get up to? Well, on Sunday, we went to the Amsterdam Zoo. Oh. That's mm. what you do because it's a lovely zoo. It is a lovely zoo. I went there by myself. Yeah. yeah. Just on my own. Getting back at Adam thought it'd be funny to go to Amsterdam on my own. Great time. Nice zoo. Good nice video. lions. Yep. Yeah. There's the lions there. Oh, yes, yes, oh. yes. There's a water trough thing that yep. keeps you away from the lions. It's a big fall for the lions if memory serves, if they do fall in there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, we've seen Lion King. Yeah. Uh, what we thought was funniest was that there's pigeons just randomly flying into the the enclosures, whatever, the cage. I want to say like that, but it's not a cage. We have to use it, yeah. Um, and just what must they be thinking? Like, hello. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here, are you? <laughs> you were high. <laughs> Imagine going to Amsterdam and thinking, ooh, it's what, are the, what are the pigeons thinking? <laughs> pigeons are going to spend the rest of the time going, that's a building, that's a building, that's another pigeon, that's a pigeon. That's an aardvark. <laughs> like, Does a pigeon know what an aardvark is? is it that's just what a, I'm thinking. They're like, what the hell is that? Is that just a weird shaped cat to them? Who knows? They must go back and what is that place? What's all these weird animals just there? It's yeah. Penguins. What if the pigeons think we're the animals and the animals are the humans? Oh, I mean, we don't know, do we? You're watching Black Mirror again, haven't you? Oh, yeah. But yes, those are my sober thoughts. I'm still riding that high. <laughs> Good times. I love everybody. You love everybody? I nearly said that correctly as well. He's still yeah. high. Yeah, <laughs> um, the most work I've put into since I've come back, so you have to bear with me. It would have been, as you said, like the positivity from WrestleMania. Everyone was like, oh, oh yeah. wrestling's great. Wrestling's back. Yeah. Michael Cole went, I love wrestling. <laughs> he did. And then... I felt that. And it was such a positive week. And then Twitter exploded. <laughs> so when do we talk about that? Do we talk about that now in the news? I'm talking about the CM Punk stuff. Or do we talk about it... We should probably mention it soon. It's well, the... it was funny as well because Collision happened and you didn't hear anything from the show in terms of matches or results or hype. Apart from, that's right, the Young Bucks will address... And show the footage, and it was like so. People online, I decided to look, brief look at that. People are doing the you know the big graphic they do, and people at and Sean Ross up going, nah, I didn't see collision. This is one of those Tom's Tom Customs like <laughs> troll jobs, right? And she was like, no, it's true. And people are like, no, really, Sean? Are they really? They, no one could believe it. So that was a crazy time. Mm. I'm explaining to my non-wrestling mates. I can't believe they're doing this. This is awesome. Surely they'd be doing this because. They want to prove CM Punk wrong with what he said, <laughs> that Errol Hawani thing. And all it did was go, yeah, that's pretty much 90% accurate. He exaggerated a bit, as everyone of course, does who's ever been in a fight. Right. But the meat and potatoes of it was pretty similar. Yeah. Whatever Punk says about it going forward, you know, people are just going to go, well, <laughs> yeah. he told the truth the first <laughs> yeah. time. I ran yeah. back in and I hit him with a sick <laughs> spinning kick. <laughs> <laughs> you know. The only way it could have benefited them if, like, Jungle Boy beat him up, yeah, yeah. or something, or yeah, they had they had words, and then yeah, we got physical stuff like that was broken up. But yeah, he put him in, you know, the worst UFC fighter of all time. But Jungle Boy in the face lock was able to get people away from him, and then yeah, I'm on, and finally though, a monitor did did like land on what may have been Tony Khan couldn't see yeah. the camera, but I'm assuming so. So there's that proof. That those people saying, yeah, and a, a hundred monitors fell on Tony Khan, <laughs> like in Crash Bandicoot, when you don't smack the crates and they all land on you. <laughs> and he does have a go at him, like he proper does have a and go at him. And he does lean over and yeah, yell at him, does, which yeah. again has done Tony Khan no favours, because he's the one who said, well, I was in fear for my life. And they're like, was well, that the first time you've been yelled at? And he went, yeah. wait, you're the son of a yeah. billionaire. That Maybe, yeah. yeah. I think that's what's happened here, because since it's now aired on Dynamite, and everyone kind of went, oh, right. It's the, and there's reports from oh huge dub of a week for Meltzer and Sean Ross Sapp and them by the way because people were doubting them and then it just was and they were right wrestling journalism is back <laughs> um, it certainly is but, uh, thanks to some of the people who were there to witness it and we could see all of them there in that footage let's play guess who <laughs> yeah it's like well, who was it that league there it was either you know who Aubrey <laughs> <Cassie>. <laughs> Cassius. I nearly called him Cassius Ono there. No one's ever called him that. No, because he was going Cassius. Oh, no. <laughs> His reaction was oh, pretty no. funny. Yeah, was like, just like, oh, God, the whole show's off the air. Yeah, <laughs> great. We'll have a, we're going to have a work meeting. If there was one positive, it makes their current champion look like a boss because yeah. he just swans yeah. in. 
I'm a big man. Get away. Yeah, he was good in it, to be fair. Yeah. It's good to see CM Punk versus Chris Hero again in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> just for I, all time's sake. I just want to know what, what uh, Jungle, sorry, not Jungle Jack, Jack Perry said to Punk that got the push going. That's the only mm. like, question mark we have now. What actually set Punk off yeah. to initiate the physical contact? And obviously, because I, oh, I wish I'd just not tweeted anything, but I did. I waited right in last night. And um, every time I check my phone, it's still like the... What did you 20 tweet? plus oh loads of stuff. Um, <laughs> um Oh, you were wide awake. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I was. It was the start of my day. But um Punk did nothing wrong. Punk did nothing wrong. <laughs> I was basically getting accused of like condoning violence, right? Because I was like, was that it? And everyone's like, that's assault, you can't be doing that. <laughs> because people hate some some people hate CM Punk. So and the people who like Punk will have watched it and it'll have confirmed their opinions. And the people who hate Punk will have watched it and found stuff to hate. Oh, I've been seeing people going. I can't believe they were fighting. Oh, there's been so oh, much. Really? Not? There'll be people watching this now. I feel like we should stay more balanced. I'm the thing worried. I was enjoying was people going like, you can't do that in an office. Imagine if you went to the no, office of and did you that. Can't, you can't. But this is like a different... We have fights all the time here, Kalali. It's a different world, the wrestling world. How many fights? We've heard people getting stabbed with scissors. I mean, oh. why don't we start with wrestling fights backstage? It's, it's a different kind of office, be, isn't it? Anyone who's watching this and is going like, oh, CM Punk's a monster, blah, blah. I guarantee that one of your favorites will have done something far worse that no one will ever know about and no one has ever heard about. And I'm not condoning what Punk did. He was obviously the aggressor in the situation. Yeah. But then everyone's going, imagine, people were saying to me like, imagine if you did that to Ross in front of Pachidi, what do you think Pachidi would do? And I was like, Laugh. Well, get a camera it, off, uh, filming it. But he, and everyone's going, you would be fired anywhere else. But he was fired. So what do what people want? What do <laughs> yeah. people, people want? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, yeah. What happened? To, yeah, he was fired. Like, I just think that people, I think that a lot of people, and a lot of people are jumping through hoops to kind of, make this an okay decision for AW to have done when it really back. I think it really, really backfired on them and made, if it was Tony's fault, specifically him look quite silly. I can only, yeah. only assume the reason they did it was just for closure. Like the footage is out there now. Everybody's seen the footage. You've got your opinion either way, but the evidence is yeah, there. Yeah, Let's yeah. end it. I get that's the because that I was expecting something that CM Punk had said to have not happened or the other way around or right, whatever. That, that was the only reason you'd Eric like you know yeah. like, CM Punk actually fought like Jungle <laughs> Jungle Boy beat up CM Punk. No, it's not good at me. <laughs> well, yeah, because there was that guy like the he like worked in the makeup department or something like the fa the friend of Jungle Boy uh, who said who'd implied the Jungle Boy easily escaped and like jabbed him back or something and. <laughs> No. I didn't read that report. Uh, it was a while ago now. Oh, yeah. It's all a while ago. But um, no, Sim Punk had a sh shoot GTS. <laughs> it played out very, very similarly to yeah. how he described it. And I think it just... Two dicks being dicks. I think that I feel bad for the, the, the AW wrestlers because it, the reports have since come out from Melter and stuff on Wrestling Observer Radio yesterday or today. It was a late one because he had a busy, probably had a quite busy day. Yeah. But um, saying like, when Punk did that interview with Ariel Hawani, the general mood amongst his sources in AW was like, so oh, oh no, plan. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, was the general opinion was like, oh, it's all in the past. We're just we just want to move on. Yeah. And then Adam Copeland came out the start of last week and <laughs> yeah, went yeah, like, yeah. well, let's just all move on. And then for some reason, I'm pre this is I'm presuming this, but it seems like Tony Khan is the driving force behind this and has gone, no, I want to show the footage. And then Meltzer was saying. Well, now everyone's just really frustrated because everyone was ready to move on with it and just go, yeah, Punk can say what he Tony wants. Tony Schiavone couldn't hide it, could he? Oh, oh Tony, man. Which Tony. just sat with his head in his hands, just like, what have we done that for? Yeah. And I'm annoyed because I, even though I am a Punk fan and stuff, and I, I was Are always going <laughs> to um, I was always gonna fall on that side of the argument, um, I also want AEW to thrive and I want it right. to do well because wrestling is a better place when there's two major Western promotions and they make each other better in theory. And this seems like a major step back for AEW. Yeah, absolutely. And it can't be strange enough. They did that. They tried to <laughs> tie it together with the FTR Young Bucks feud, which I've no desire to see again. FTR Ooh. came out and made reference to, oh, if it wasn't the Young Bucks, we'd be shaving each other's backs. Okay, another reference to WWE, great. Um, they've had a great week. I'm not sure if you guys noticed. Uh, it's not the time to be taking shots at them. Then the books came out later on, and the crowd chanted CM Punk. It just them, proved that it which was Which is like, why have you yeah. brought it up? Yeah, yeah, the fire was out, and the, added more gasoline to it. And yeah, Osprey. 
Osprey, and that segment was then followed by Osprey going, well, Triple H says I can't make it. Like, hey, to be who fair, even dude. remembers that? That was like a week ago. <laughs> to be, that was bollocks from Triple H, that though. Who wants to work harder for less money? That was yeah. a little bit, yeah. yeah that's, well, that's what's, a good suppo- point. what's Triple H supposed to say? <laughs> yeah, he's really good. Damn it, I can't believe we lost him. Well, I know he's not good, oh, but it's no. not, you know. It's just it, the, the argument, made, for a human being, it made no sense to go, yes, I'll I'll do the grind. For yeah, less money. but some yeah. athletes are weird, aren't they? They're different. Yeah, I don't know. They're, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then the main event was a Samoan Joe, a Joe from Samoa, taking on a member of the Rhodes family for the world title. That's all right. No, I think that's all yeah. right. I, yeah. I, I don't mind Dustin. I like Dustin. All right. I, mean, yeah. I never put that I together in my head. <laughs> Did you not? I don't no. think that's... I don't it's think just like, what the hell are you guys doing? You've got great wrestlers and talent and stuff that people want to see, and you spend the entire time go, getting gotten to. Because it was said beforehand, someone insults you, Someone says you're, you're ugly or you're fat or whatever. You're not ugly or fat until you turn around and go, "Hey, don't say that to me." And I think, and that's a, and to be fair, a lot of this could have been. I mean, I'm not a god. I don't want us to be painting CM Punk as an angel. He was obviously. You'd like to do that? I would love to. <laughs> he probably has several. But I can't. Them all at home. <laughs> <laughs> Just Punk ascending like that. If you don't believe me, you should see the fan art that Jack retweeted last night. Yeah, it was a busy Easter, um, but. <laughs> but um, like he's obviously partly in the wrong in various aspects of this story as well, but I mean they've they've really it, it's I'm just sad for AW that that Tony presumably has decided to do this and and it, and after like you say after a week where WWE have like been getting praise from all all corners it just yeah. it's a bad I don't know if I agree with people a lot of people seem to be saying like this is like the late 90s WCW era for AW. Look at Tony Schiavone. He's getting Vietnam flashbacks and everything. <laughs> but I don't think it's that, that bad. I think that they can recover from this. But uh, it's just a uh, it's a big setback. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Same Punk said a lot of criticism and then AW went, I'll show you, bad company. <laughs> On the bright side, though, uh-huh. Jungle, sorry, Jack Perry, when he comes back, what a reaction he's going to get. I'm very I intrigued bet, to see which way it goes. Would, oh, the oh. loudest CM Punk chant you've ever I heard feel, in your feel, life. Louder I, than Money the Bank 2012. I feel bad for the, the talent, and I feel bad for that. I feel bad for him because he can't have wanted that. It's not like he gets absolutely battered on camera or anything, but it's it's like I described it as like it's like your dad rushing to defend you when you're not even that. It's not even that bad. You're like, no, dad, honestly, like it's a fine. Like a metro. <laughs> yeah, Jaro, Jaro Metro. Jaro Metro. Oh, sorry. It's all right. No, <laughs> really that, wa- no that was bad. That was, I'm glad my dad was there. <laughs> but um, in this case, I bet he's just like, why has he done that? Uh, a penny for his thoughts. Because to be fair to Punk again, like the initial argument of like, don't use a rental car and give wrestlers a bad name so they can't rent rent, uh, rent rental cars. Oh, the real glass argument. Yeah, yeah the real glass. Yeah. That, that, that's on Punk's part. Like, yeah, that makes complete sense. Jungle Jack was being a bit, you know, maybe raucous in that, trying to want to do that. So the fact it's gone to where it is now... It's a snowball, yeah. a big dirty snowball. It, hopefully, he can use it, Jack Perry, to like fuel his heel run and everything. Apparently, he's got a match in Chicago coming up. No. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. No, great. It'll be really good. He can do, but he can imagine if he pulls it off, that'd be great for him. But it's just if AW are gonna not book it badly, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Mm. I've got faith. Yeah. Anyway, we'll move. We'll move on to the news uh, to get this out of the way. Akabono sadly passed away. Yeah. Did he? Yeah, oh, like yeah. earlier this uh, early today, yeah, uh, became the first non-Japanese Yokozuna, the big, 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 Which big, is big like deal the, in the sumo world, the highest rank of a sumo wrestler, yeah, yeah. exactly. And it then got into famously K1 and Pride and uh, other re- uh, Japanese wrestling companies. Can't remember the top of my head, but I know him from that. I think he's still his match with Bob Sapp for K1 during the New Year's, the crazy period of New Year's uh, Japan TV, where three companies would air. Simultaneous shoot uh, shows. Yeah, Inoki looked like that, Inoki's didn't it? Yeah. companies, Pride and K One, all going at the same time. New Year's Day. Yeah, and yeah, half Day. of Japan watching it. Yeah, it's crazy. I think that fights. If it's not uh, the number one fight, most of you would fight at, um, in Japan in terms of like shoot fight, and not wrestling. I think it's still up there in like the top five. So, yeah, and obviously you might know him from one of two things: uh, WrestleMania, mm-hmm. inexplicably <laughs> showing up for one off appear- two appearances, I think, in total. Two. Wait, you should, maybe you oh, in the build? The, in the build-up oh, right, to it. Right, right. Had a sumo match at Big Show. Mm-hmm. That ended, and everyone went, all right, well, that was great, wasn't it? But it's memorable now, looking back. I know, like, it's... Not for the right reasons, though. No, I know. It's just Big Show's bare ass. <laughs> was, it, was it just because Vince wanted to see Big Show's big fat Probably. Ass? I just remember yeah. thinking... I wasn't watching it at the time, but when I've gone back and since seen it, I remember, I remember thinking at first, like, 
oh, he's nearly as big as the big. Like, that guy's actually massive. It was crazy. Yeah. I thought sumo wrestlers were, like, quite squat fellas. But no, some of them are giants. Right. Yeah, probably helps. Yeah. And you may know him from Hustle, where he played, he portrayed the baby that uh, hatched out of an egg after the <laughs> great mood of blue mist into oh. a person. Okay. Yep. That's a great storyline. R.I.P. Akabono. <laughs> I mean, probably his sumo career is probably the best the best of nah. his work. Okay, fair enough. Just human hustle. He though. was born out of an egg <laughs> yeah. by a mist to a... I love that country song. <laughs> <laughs> I was born an egg. <laughs> Uh, Mick Foley's opted not to return the ring, which is very good news. Uh, oh. Mick Foley's 58. He said, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna have one last match. Get out of my way. And he said, uh, no, I've asked my doctor. And he said, you be, you, you got a concussion, mate, like from like recently. And you don't know where you got it from or how you got it. He's like, nah, I think it's good for the family. I don't do this. Hooray. Fair enough. Yeah, Thank he, you, Mick. said yeah. he was training. He was getting lightheaded and whatnot inexplicably. Because he was training for his six. Is he, is he 58 now? Is he? 58. He was training for his 60th birthday. I have a... And one final death match, wasn't he? So, a death match. Glad, yeah, it was going to be against Matt Cardona, yeah. wasn't it? Oh my um, god! But I'm glad common sense has prevailed. Yeah, and not the old wrestler mentality. Yeah, fair enough, Mick. <laughs> yeah, Thank God. I think like they said something like, "Oh, you can make five dollars." Mick's like, oh, "I'll do it." Oh no! If the Conrad Thompson machine gets behind it, maybe mm. ten dollars. Mick Foley's last match. Tightest man in wrestling. <laughs> Is uh, he? Mick Foley, oh yeah, oh, legendary. Conrad. Oh, <laughs> oh no, 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 he's very nice. Very there's nice all like the road stories of him like dodging rounds and. Petrol money and stuff, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Staying in motels. Mm. Uh, Paulson had that thing where someone had seen Mick Foley on an airplane and said that he didn't have a belt for his trousers. He had like a cable. <laughs> he said someone like, well, your belt's broke. I'm like, yeah, your my belt broke. Can I just, ah, it's got a cable to get one later on. <laughs> Cheaper than at the airport. <laughs> it's mine. Headline, WrestleMania. Uh, Matt Hardy is a free agent. Yes. I'll just put Okay. I was half expecting to see him on Raw. I don't know what it was, but I'm nonplussed that I didn't. Um, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, his AEW run just sort of fizzled out and now, didn't it? Just being alongside Jeff at the very end, the HFO stuff yeah. was confusing to follow at times. Um, it got off to a decent start, though, but I think the had it passed it by, like the sort of spooky going, like, ooh, I'm appearing here, there, and everywhere, yeah. and all that sort of stuff. He'll be back in wrestling, though. There'll, be, there'll always be companies that'll take on Matt Hardy, surely. Yeah. yeah, but for now, there's so much other stuff happening right now. We might have to wait a bit. Yeah. Um, and the big story in the non-big leagues was uh, Brett Lauderdale tweeting, <laughs> in the true spirit of independent wrestling, Sabu has decided to keep his deposit <laughs> and no show the Indie Hall of Fame ceremony today where he was going to be inducted. He accepted the booking and took the money, but doesn't want to get in the elevator and come upstairs. Shrug emoji. What a legend. <laughs> Sabu responded <laughs> a day later <laughs> with... I changed my mind, and that was it. And he was seen elsewhere at the convention just selling merch. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Did I tell you once? Sabu, 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 Sabu. I was with Ross and Sam at uh, WrestleCon in Dallas, but I think it was only Sam I was physically there with at the time when this happened. But I once mistook Sabu for the Iron Sheik. I was like, Iron Sheik's looking well. And Sam was like, that's Sabu, mate. I was like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> He was in his gimmick. He was in his... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just <laughs> made a huge, huge error. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I remember that week was <laughs> stand next to the hurricane and realizing oh, he was massive. God, I... And then walking past Scott Steiner, who appeared to have a, <laughs> a full onion. Apple? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was a full onion of an apple, if that makes oh, sense. Right. The size and strength of it. And him just going... Hurr! He ate like three he... quarters of an apple in one bite. <laughs> And he was proper hunched over it. Like, it was amazing. <laughs> I bought a T-shirt off him. It's the Professor Steiner one. You've talked uh, to him? Yeah. And I said, oh, can I have that one? And he goes, sure. And he goes, oh, I know the guy that designed it. And he went, um, what do you mean designed it? I made this. It's my face. I'm like, mm. sure, sir, whatever you say, buddy. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, that's how IP works, I think. Yeah. Um, that, that, that hurricane thing was shocking. We, our table was next to the hurricane's table. And he was easily taller than me and Ross. And I just all I could think of was the 2002 Royal Rumble, where he's in between Austin and Stone Cold, yeah. uh, Austin and Triple H, and just thinking, how, how, why, how? It was an awful experience. <laughs> <laughs> he was a nice man. It was an awful experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get after Hurricane. Remember yeah. Shelton Benjamin being confused oh, by the queue? Well. Yeah, he was massive. But he was also like, why is your queue so big? We're YouTube idiots, <laughs> Shelton. <laughs> just said, why is your so small? No, <laughs> he, no he was a nice, mm -hmm. he was a nice Shelton. To be fair, yeah. uh, another wrestler. Made a funny remark about our cardboard belt, but I can't. 
They had a belt. They were a champion at the time. And made, did the joke like Which yours. Which company was it? Can't say because there's only been two champions or something of this belt. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but this wrestler went, yours is probably more prestigious, like worth more than mine is. Okay. Yep. It's a dun, man. Dun. It's a man. <laughs> it's a man currently on WWE's payroll. <laughs> there you go. Narrows it down. No, no. Let's move on. I'll tell you. Oh, off, I'll, I'll tell you it. off yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah. I think I can guess. Really? Find out who it is after these commercials. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Poker. <laughs> Everybody get excited for the Cultaholic Hall of Fame. Ah, the Hall of Fame. In condescending order from last week, Seth Rollins' camera guy. Ah, remember him? No. No. Seth 7%. Rollins' camera guy. That's, I, I fear that's what's happened on the poll, X. I didn't get this poll up until yeah. Wednesday because I forgot. So if I publish it on oh. Friday, I reckon it would have won. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. Uh, well, wait, what was it again? The guy who had the camera right in Seth Rollins' face on oh, Raw. Oh, when he was cutting his promo in yeah. the crowd, yeah. This giant Sethy face. Uh, swearing is fun, 41%. Oh, wait, you beep, 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 beep. However... Damn it. Oh, By a huge margin. Uh, do you want to give a... Sesh. Sesh. Yeah. Yeah. Come and Joel, give a, come on. 52%. Do you want to come and give a speech? Yeah, come and accept it. <laughs> Not at all. Like, like Drew McIntyre at the Slammies. Well, speaking of Drew McIntyre, Sesh got away with one at the weekend there because technically Drew did lose at WrestleMania, but it wasn't to the right person. Mm. So we don't get to see Sesh. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, Thank in God. In his little panties. For audio listeners, <laughs> here, is, here is the Sesh on, on comms. Hello. So, uh, <laughs> how do you feel about winning? I feel absolutely chuffed. Fantastic. I didn't, I didn't think I was going to win. I came last last time. Although this is Sesh, not Joel. Yeah. So I suppose the different. <laughs> That's <is> right. Different, <laughs> right. Terry Bollea doesn't have a long penis, but Sesh does. <laughs> yes, that's right. What would you like to say to the lovely people who voted for you, Sesh? Um, thank you to everyone. Thank you to my uh, my mum. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Mrs. Sesh. Not your dad. Mrs. Where's Sesh. your dad? Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to decide what picture to put in in the Hall of Fame board now. Definitely that one that's on Twitter. That's what hundred <laughs> percent. For some reason, said, yeah. what what was the story behind that? If, uh, if you can say on camera, can you not? No. Oh, you can't. Say it, no. <laughs> can you put a picture of you over CM Punk, Batman, Jungle Boy? Yeah, that's a great idea. I will do that. Fantastic. Uh, thanks, everyone. Thank you very much, Sash. A lovely speech. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You rule, Sash. Yeah. Did, that went almost you. as smoothly as the Slammy Awards. Uh, <laughs> thank you to all the mums that signed up for the patron just for that. <laughs> Huge increase in the local mums in your area. Demograph, fantastic. Yeah. So, um, Jack, that was you, wasn't it? Yes. Fantastic. Well done, mate. Uh, what have you got for us this week? Well, I will. you open your Jimmy's iced coffee. Oh, it's great. I'm doing this before I, I start on the alcohol. Um, so I'll not reveal what my initial pick was because I messaged Joel with it. And then he replied saying, ah, Ross has already chosen that. Gillette. Ooh. The best a man can go. Just like you always <laughs> were. What a song. Tom Glennon Grennan. You're looking good. <laughs> You're looking sharp. <laughs> Doing whatever ways. So I've done. Gillette. Boom. <laughs> 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 Is that your pick? <laughs> it's not I'd be mad. Uh, right, anyway. Um, no, um, so I won't reveal what my initial pick was. I've had to pick a backup pick. And I'm torn between two things. I was I was initially going to um, pick Tony Schiavone because, bless him, and I just thought he needed cheering up after last <laughs> night. <laughs> but I'm, I might pick Booker T's ad-libs at NXT Stand and Deliver because I've written them all down in order. If you want to do a, rec wow, a recreation, right. yeah, go ahead. That'd so be for those, half an hour now. <laughs> so for those who don't know, Trick Williams's theme in NXT goes whoop the trick, whoop the trick, and all the crowd are doing that, and then Booker fill like fills in the gaps. Fills the gaps, yeah, yeah. With just well, I thought just whatever springs to mind, but having written them all down in order, I think they're quite finely engineered for maximum comedy. The the ordering of them, so it goes whoop the trick, what whoop the trick. Yeah, woof that trick. Uh huh, woof that trick. I like it. 
the trick. Can you guys do the Shabba? No, <laughs> nearly. Whoop that trick. Oh yeah, man. Whoop that trick. Oh yeah, man. Whoop that trick. Oh yeah, man. Whoop that trick. That's trick. Whoop <laughs> that trick. Then, then, then there's a break for like making his way to the ring. Oh, no. Trick Williams. Then it's back to Whoop, whoop that, that trick. Uh huh. Whoop that trick. Uh huh. Whoop that trick. Oh yeah, man. Whoop that trick. <laughs> All right. Whoop that trick. Uh huh. Whoop that trick. <laughs> That's trick, y'all. Whoop that trick. That's the Iron Survivor. <laughs> whoop that trick. Oh, yeah, man. Well, then it ends, and then obviously, as we now know, Wade Barrett goes, not one Shimon Booker, and then Booker goes, Shimon. <laughs> and me and Ross on the stream lost our minds yeah. because the show had been a thrill ride from start to finish, yeah. and I just don't think we were ready for it to get even more exciting mm -hmm. when Booker T said, said Shimon. Not sure, but yeah, I'll go for that. I'll go for Booker T's ad-libs during Trick Williams' theme music, but Tony deserves an honorable shout-out as well because I... I just want Tony Schiavone because I just want him to be all right. Yeah, I think more likely to go with that one than Sad Tony <laughs> Hall of Fame. It would have been a good picture though on the board if it had won. Just him doing his face. Just Tony over the Carlsberg bar, <laughs> like Keegan back in the day. Um, <laughs> That's what he looks like. He does look like the four three. Uh, but yeah, uh, lovely pick. Uh, I was second. Fantastic. It's also kind of Booker T related. Oh, no. Can you guess? Joel. What if it, sorry, I beg pardon. It's Mr. Sesh. Thank you. Or is that your dad's name? <laughs> uh, can you please put on... <laughs> <laughs> now, there was a lot of advertising during WrestleMania. Some of it was so subtle. It had been pointed out several times. <laughs> <coughs> yes, this was the inexplicable appearance of Knuckles, the mm. echidna, who was red, used to be pink, but now he's red. Just showing up casually. Pink. Yeah, very first um, was pink. That's like Sander not being red. Wow. Right. And uh, again, it was up to <laughs> Vicky went to go, look who it is, guys. <laughs> it's our good friend Knuckles. And the guy stands up in the outfit. He's got <laughs> an insanely blank look, look on his face. Barrett's face. face. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what you're fucking just looking at him and then turning back around. So it's like, I've got nothing to say to you, mate. One of them gives Knuckles a fist bump. I'm just not sure which it, it's, one. It's got to be Maybe the lad Vic. in the middle. Vic, yeah. Yeah. Baby, Baby Vic's like, oh. he's like, Booker, do you? No. So, all right, I'll do it then. And Barrett like, yep, that's Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's Knuckles. He's got a new show on Paramount. Well, hope you have a good time. And he started off after this. So I think... He's not a, he's a fair weather fan, I think, <laughs> Knuckles. On our stream, Ross said that he assumed that Knuckles would have like a high girlish voice. Oh, yeah, I was shocked. But that's Tails, I think. Tails has got the high... Tails, yeah. Knuckles is quite gruff, isn't he? Yes. Right. Idris Elba in the films. What? That yeah. seems like a bit of a miscasting, is it not? <laughs> no, Knuckles is hard. <laughs> Knuckles is like a tough geezer. Looking at that picture, I can see why you'd think that. Because <laughs> the, the, the dead, <laughs> cute look on Knuckles' face, like, hang on, he's the hard one. I'm really enjoying the, the looks in the front row from left to right there. Left, you got a guy who's seething at <laughs> Knuckles. Go past that couple. Then you got, like, Keith Lemon going, mm, it's Knuckles, <laughs> yes. Keep going All past right, Knuckles. <laughs> keep going past Vic. You've got a guy who's amazed that yeah. he's seen Knuckles there in the big trot. Oh, the guy on the right, I'm seeing the face of God. I was going to say that you got a miner there drinking a, a neat bottle of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to be looking at me. I can, I can neck me whiskey now that Knuckles is here. <laughs> and yeah, so it's just that. It's just, hey, look, everyone, it's Knuckles. Again, if you're a video game fan like myself, it's like, what? Is that mainstream now? A guy not thinking to show up and just, yeah, a, a bloody NXT standard level weekend? Well, he also had a little skit with uh, Dijak backstage where. Dijak was like, all right, let's see who's hard enough to do the uh, the punching boxing thing you see in, like, pizza shops. Mm. And he's like, let's see who's got the hardest punch. Ah, I'm not really going to do that with you. Because Dijak's gimmick right now is that he's a tough bastard, but also a bit funny. Yeah. yeah. He's a bit weird, really. He's a bit like Knuckles now, think about it. So, yeah, this is Knuckles showing up at NXT Stand and Liver to confuse Booker. It's good. It's a good pick. Also, because there's a six-part series coming, isn't there? That's right, on yes. Paramount. And I know that because they said several times. Mm. And because I'm going, that is Knuckles, isn't it? <laughs> Again, the video game fans are like, okay, yeah, sure. I bet Knuckles is the subject of some like weird fan fictions and that. Uh, on all of Sonic. Uh, you would cast. know. I wouldn't know. There's bound to be Jack. Oh, Jack yeah, X there's Knuckles. me fan fiction, yeah. No, but you and Knuckles would get on well. There's one of... there's <laughs> No, I've never been paired with Knuckles. I've been often with Sam. He was my... Common boyfriend in fanfiction. If anyone would like to... Um... Sorry, that's so loud, sorry. I was trying to do it sneakily and it just didn't happen. <laughs> that's, that's Jack realising the thing he's opened by saying this. If anyone would like to submit any um, 
Knuckles or any other Sonic character fan fiction no, with no, chat. No, no, no. Mailbag at no. like, dot com. I once um, had a fan fiction where I was going out with the imaginary son of Brian Danielson and Brie Bella. That was a strange one. The, okay, so, so how the, old does it exist you? then? The narrator was the narrator <laughs> was the role of like it was from the perspective of the, they'd inserted themselves in and made themselves the son of Brian Danielson and Brie Bella, and I was the love interest. Oh, that's proper and, crazy. Uh, yeah, but it was a bit yes. of a no, it was a bit of a novelty because all the other fan fictions like was like an ensemble cast of us, whereas this one was me, and I was like quite honoured. I was like, oh, it's pretty good. Um, never got in contact with the author though. If you're watching, cheers. Yeah, keep on keep on living your best life. <laughs> yeah. uh, they're locked up now, aren't they? <laughs> that was eight years ago now. <laughs> no, I could have been. <laughs> the accusations no, can build up in that time. I never, I never, like, no, I would, I would never got offended by it. Everyone was a teenager once, weren't they? I hope they were a teenager. I hope they weren't like some grown. Yeah, per- this this person was a teenager, grown. you know, in the war. But, uh, <laughs> Anyway, yeah, moving on from that. Yeah, thank you, Knuckles. Uh, Ross, what have you got for us? Yeah, I was on Twitter this week, and I just saw a lady's reaction. I know no more than just a lady. A lady's reaction to the start of WrestleMania uh, night two I'm from this past can, weekend. I'm a lady's reaction. So basically, what what we're going to hear is the uncensored version live in the studio, but uh, and I called him Knuckles over there. Sesh <laughs> over there <laughs> will mute in post-production, so don't worry, lads. It will be oh. de-sworn. Oh, I've okay. not seen this. Oh, Matthew, it's get, oh, ready, man. get ready, get ready. <laughs> Three minutes long. So this is Drew having just beaten... Uh, oh, we'll I go, see. We'll go yeah. to about 148, 149 is where it just sort of peters out. I think. Oh, yeah. Drew doesn't listen. So all your listeners, punks putting the boots to Drew. Don't listen. Kiss. Here we go. Purple. What did I say to you? Here comes Priest. What did I tell you? All you had to do was leave. All you had to do was leave. That's all you had to do. You don't listen. Not even to lose your in front of everybody. Because you don't listen. Stupid. The priest got Drew in the ring now. Jared, did I, did I call it Jared? Yeah. What the f*** did you I did? say? <laughs> Game time! <laughs> Game time! Count it, bitch! Oh, Count I it, bitch! I told you! I told you! <laughs> all you had to do was go in the back! That's all you had to do! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Keep going until priest up the ramp. Turn <laughs> bait him, AJ! <laughs> all you had to do was leave. That's all you had to do. You didn't need to get out of the arena with the championship. <laughs> Dumb, bro. That don't make no sense. <laughs> you did it to yourself. <laughs> yep. You did it to yourself. All you had to do was leave. Uh. That's all you had to do. Oh. Dumb. Dumb. I'll teach you. No, so, Dom. Dom Mysterio. <laughs> Close, though. So I, I don't All you have to do is follow the damn train. <laughs> God, that's a lot of mute in there for you. Oh, oh, yeah. That was that's lovely. Right. I love seeing these genuine reactions oh, from people. Yeah. Not like LP filming himself going, whoa. No, but, like, oh, shove you no, fake idiot. Drew's responded to it. Of course he has. Have you seen that? Oh, it's yeah. something lovely. Yeah, if you can find it, Joel, it'll probably just be on one of the like recent ones on Drew's Twitter, I suppose. Yeah. Um, is it there? He did one about punk or about priest. Oh, he doesn't follow you. Hey, what? He didn't follow Sorry, Joel. Oh yeah, that, that's the one. Why would he follow there Joel? I need to bring this woman into my. Oop, it's gone now. Yeah. Drew says. I need to bring this woman into my next fight camp. Unrivaled passion and insight will be vital. Yeah, Aww. That's good. Yeah. 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 I mean, we know that Drew's mom's unfortunately passed away, but if he wants a new one, <laughs> yeah. she's right there if he wants her. So, yeah, because that was just a proper mom speech. I've been down that road before. <laughs> <laughs> when you got cashed in on it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's good. I have a yeah, very good reaction yeah, from good. that lady. Yeah. yeah, it was lots and lots of really genuine reactions. My favorite bit's when she, the bloke in the background, she's like, I called it. And he's like, yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. Ah, 
some lovely picks there. We've got Knuckles. We've got, what have we got, Jack? Um, Booker T's ad libs. Booker T's ad libs. And also, we're going to call it Ross. Angry Drew McIntyre supporter. There yeah. you go. Mm. Really, the oh, they're all angry right now, all the Drew McIntyre supporters. <laughs> She's really got that, like, more like a European football fan sort of energy when mm. your team's doing bad. Drew Ultra. Yeah, yeah, she is, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, those are yours to pick and vote at patreon.com forward slash Colaholic. That says this week in the wrestling. It's this bloody week in the wrestling. Ha! Ah. <sighs> This week in wrestling. Come on. Smackdown. Why are you? Yourself sat down. We start with the Kevin Owens show. He bring out, sorry, he brings out, yeah, Randy Orton, and they talk about how they both hate Logan Paul. Aw. Logan interrupts on the Tron. He's on the WrestleMania stage and insults both opponents. Owens points out that the stadium is right across the street, and they set off to find Logan. Austin Theory and Grayson Waller come out from under the ring, having missed their chance to attack, and they give chase. Outside the arena, Owens and Orton face off, sorry, race off in a golf cart with Theory and Waller running after them. Initially, I was thinking, what are they doing, the two lads under the ring? But then the night of WrestleMania, night one, the, 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 the tag team match, we see an arm underneath the ring, don't we? Yeah. So that's consistency there by the mm. WWE. There's no monitor under there. I haven't a guess based off noises above their heads. There was a lot of yeah. under the ring stuff across the weekend. Punk came out from under the ring at the end of Raw to cost Drew later on as well. Mm. Yeah, there's so much. Oh, Did yeah, that man. venue have like a tunnel or something? I don't know. Did Taker come out from under the ring? No. No, he ran. Yeah, yeah, he that ran. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's seen this. Yeah. No, he ran. Did he? It's on Sesh, please, in the background. Undertaker running this fan. It's after the attacks happen, so he's. Yeah, yeah. Lights are gone out to come back up, and then Taker's just running away. Oh, I don't know. Absolutely fantastic. I don't scenes. know if he could run. He can. He's got two new knees. Unbelievable. There he is. Go, go! <laughs> I'm not seeing this. Whoa. Get out of there. <laughs> hey, hey. No, to be fair, look, because he's not... Rip, the bus is leaving! <laughs> he's obviously not as quick as he used to be, but because he's so tall, everyone's having this proper sprint to catch up. Look how fast everyone else has to go, because his legs are I'm so long. I'm going to repeat the entire show. That's great. <laughs> I think that might be the hurricane behind him. Someone needs to put the tea size Stand tinted back. on that, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Is that Helms behind him at the back? They've got tall Helms. It might be actually, Helms. yeah. Sugar Shane. Mm. Sugar Shane. Does that mean cocaine Shane or is that just a thing? No. no just actual sugar. Just like boxes are called like sugar... Aye. Ray Robinson <laughs> and all them, all them lads. Sugar, sugar Aye. Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar yep. Ray, the other one. Leonard. Yeah. Leonard. That's exactly right. Yes. I like Kevin Owens saying, hey, this is that noise. He's coming from that tiny screen. And pointed at little Logan Paul, because mm. again, the arena was so big that they only had to have the little drones. It did, I. Even though Kevin Owens, in, in any other sort of, in any other wrestler's hands, it would be hard to go from ultra intense, serious Kevin Owens to like really wanting to impress his big brother, Randy Orton, Kevin Owens. Right. But because it's Owens... He just can and just yep. does it, and everything's really effortless with him, and he always makes everything fun. Amazing hu human being. and Amazing human being. Yeah, and it's great. Great sperm. Yeah. Mm. Shania have Twain you seen fan. the size of his son? Oh, Yo, my God, yeah. Why do you have to do an awkward pause before uh, son? Why, <laughs> Ross? Why? the size of his son. son. <laughs> I'm drinking this a bit too quick. Yeah, it seems my own mouth. Tell. He's a zoo enthusiast. I'm after my own heart. And he said on the Bully Ray podcast thing that... He managed to get where he's at, wearing a shirt. CM Punk loves that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Never forget. Yeah. Of the big boys. But no, yeah, he said he was like an all-time shirt guy. Like, he's yeah. one of the best shirt guys there's ever been. It's true. Yeah. Good for him. Who else is up? Foley's up there, obviously. He's a shirt guy. Of course, guy. Yes. Well, Bully Ray was saying, like, oh, I'm, I'm a Ray, shirt yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. He. Yeah. I hope no one takes him serious after this weekend. He. Oh, I'm on that one. He. Oh. He. Yeah. He. Uh, then, the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Uh, Reed and Ricky and almost the only ones given on uh, given on uh, on transes. <laughs> they were the only person to have introductions. Ricochet and Omos. Did you say? And Bronson Reed. And Bronson Reed, right? There you go. So uh, I've written down some enough. key things. You certainly bloody have. Pretty deadly attack, Omos. But Kit Wilson is eliminated immediately. Elton Prince jumps out after him. Good Classic. Poo. Good, Good man. Yeah. Good poo housery. They got all Del Fantasma and the LWO are more interested in attacking each other than what, winning the match. Yeah, were LWO ever eliminated? 
I think they hopped out of their own volition, did they? Because Angels... Got, got dragged out the bottom. Or did they get dragged out the bottom? Because Angels Elimination took my breath away because it was it was an arm drag and he's nowhere oh, near the ropes. I know, was, yeah. And he, hop, he hops towards the ropes and then bounces over the yeah. top rope like he's just leaving the ring of his own volition. I saw, although so soft, I thought he was genuinely trying to throw himself out in storyline reasons. And I did a good job of saying, well, he's got other stuff to be dealing with than this bollocks. <laughs> so is this. Um... Omos accidentally eliminates himself while eliminating the Creed brothers, which I thought was a good way of getting him oh, really? out without him losing any of his oomph. Do you think he looked a bit silly? I was thinking it was a, a proper mistake. I don't know if it was Ooh. meant to happen. Because he just he clotheslined ah. them that hard. He's won this before. Still really I know, yeah. Has he won this before? I feel like he won it before. The arm bar. Yeah. No, 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 mm, Omos. Maybe not. Wait, do we know who, who won all the arm bars? No. Cesaro. Yeah, yep. great one. Great finish. Baron Corbin. Uh, Matt Hardy's won one. Baron Corbin. Mojo. Mojo Rawley. Oh, God. So that's the early ones. Who Big won it? Show. Big Show. Was yeah. that 2019? Oh, yeah, yeah. Big Show, one, one, yeah. Was that 35? Maybe. I think it was yeah, 2015. So who won it in the lockdown? Did they do one lockdown yet? I don't Didn't think. Sarah... Was Jey Uso Hardy. won one. I was think it? that was after... That's yeah. right. Was it Sarah Logan who won one of the women's ones? Or did she come like second? Oh, yes. The name redacted mm. Battle Royale. Yeah. Didn't... <laughs> oh, yeah. Didn't... Uh, Wyatt win one because Matt Hardy came back and helped him. Or was that... No. I thought Matt Hardy won. Matt Hardy won. The other way around. Yeah. Right, okay, right, right. Huh. Wow, very hmm. prestigious. Memories. Yes. Uh, JD sneakily pulls Ricochet off the apron, but is limited straight away by Tozawa. The final four is Otis, Tozawa, Bronson Reed, and Ivar the Viking. Ivar eliminates both members of the Alpha Academy, and Tozawa nearly dies because oh he misses Oh, my God. OTs. Yeah, that was horrible. Yeah, and they showed replay after replay of it, so that's yeah. nice. And then Bronson Reed eliminates Ivar to win the Battle Royal. Called it. Did you last week? Last week. Yeah. Oh, well we, all, done, we all had different people, didn't we? Yeah. I think yeah, I, I said Trevor. Andrade. Yeah, you did. Who did, did you, you go say, for? Matthew? Ricochet, I think. I said Robert, I definitely want us uh, on the Ricochet train. Oh, yeah, so mm. was I. Up the train. Not, not well done, Joel. Train at the station to continue this metaphor. Mm. Uh, yeah, just the Battle Royal. Yeah. Give something on the SmackDown before WrestleMania. I, I, but I would still rather it was on the pre show of Mania just so there was something on the two hour pre show. No. 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 <laughs> Do you not think so? <laughs> they're, gonna, they're looking at going, we need someone on SmackDown. Otherwise, I know. there's no oh, SmackDown and then the Hall of Fame. Otherwise, there'd be no, there'd be no point watching this. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm all right yeah. with it being on SmackDown. Yeah, right, it's, just, yeah, it's, it's left me gagging for more Meat Planet stuff. Just the, the stuff with Ivan Bronson. Mm. Their cross yep. body where they both did the same move at the same time. Yep. Rick to scale. You're going to see some Meat Planet stuff, but just not on Raw SmackDown. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like Graves' call of a real-life kaiju battle on WrestleMania yeah, week. That's it, because Godzilla X Kong. Oh, oh I thought it because of the WrestleMania week event, mm. which I don't know if happened this battle. year. Yeah. I didn't say anything about it, um, but it might have done. Mm. Yeah, Hope the kaiju. Yeah. We get a final testament vignette. It's sadly not the final one, though. Uh, I uh, thought it was the Wyatt family, the way it started. It had like a uh, bet at the start. Uh, <laughs> ah! Um, it's me. Yeah, Where Karrion Cross ridicules Bobby Lashley for complaining about not being on the Mania card last year. Cry me a river. Uh, the he did, he said, he said it. said that. And it, it went all distorted when he said it as well. He was like, cry me a river. Cry me, cry me a river. The Fan Testament say they're going to destroy Bobby and the Street Profits on Sunday. 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 I mean, yeah. at this point in time, nobody was asked about this match, were no they? Just the fact Cross was like, I've single-handedly carried this one to a must-see fight. Well, yeah, liar. Liar. Yeah, liar. Liar. Bastard. Apparently, and I've not lie seen... me a river. I've not seen much of it, but apparently his much better promo stuff has been on Twitter. And it hasn't been actually on air. I'll watch one where he's wearing an ECW t-shirt and he's got a cigar and that was still very boring. <laughs> I can't remember who it was who said that he'd been doing great stuff. It was someone in the office who was like, oh, you should watch his social media. Ben, it was Fraser. Very, very, very Fraser. Mate, if he had a Botchamania shirt and spent the entire time saying, Matthew's great, I'd still switch him off. <laughs> The WrestleMania match was fun. I will say that. Though, no, before. it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Was. Are you joking? Aye, why, of Are you kidding? The Final Testament one. It was more fun than I thought it would be. 100%. Which WrestleMania match are you talking about? Savage vs. Steamboat? Like, <laughs> it was just, oh, it on was this just, weekend. I thought, I thought it broke up the... It was a nice house showy, fun pantomime match. <laughs> pantomime? Like it? It was in like... Good, he's bad. Oh, yeah, you know, he was funny. Yeah, you were right. Well, I thought it was Snoop Dogg um, on commentary. Huh? Oh, I Snoop stole the show. It was Double jizzle, yeah. Stealing the show twice. Bow wow, little boo boo. Back to <laughs> Get the picnic table. The new boo -boo -boo. streak, the Snoop Dogg streak. Oh my God, here we go, guy. Uh, Logan Paul has sneaked back into the arena and cuts a promo on the Philly crowd. Logan says... Oh yeah, man after your own heart, actually. Cutting a promo on the Philly crowd. That's like the one thing oh, you and Logan yeah. have got in common. Yeah, I saw for people going, oh, I love Call the Holic, apart from Mafu. Uh, being, because uh, Call the Holic are very unbiased, apart from Mafu, who hates Philly. Yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> um, 
So LP, who's never done anything wrong, says he's a master strategist, which means Owens and Orton are about to get beaten down. On the Tron, we see Theory and Waller, aka Bulk and Skull from the Power Rangers, struggling to find the babyfaces in the stadium. Back in the arena, Orton and Owens come out from under the ring and attack Logan. He gets hit with a stunner and an RKO. Yeah, I like the fact that the the veterans are be able to be actual veterans and outsmarting people who mm. don't belong in this business. Mm. Oh! Mm. The business he's bringing to the business, Matthew. That's yeah, true. he's playing 4D chess. Sponsorships of the ring, the viewership he's bringing in, I, I imagine, maybe, I don't know. Probably not. I have to speculate. Don't Wankers, a lot is. of them anyway. Yeah. Uh, I like this line of uh, Kevin Owens is having to use all his brain power to try and digest his last meal. <laughs> Yeah, you got a few <laughs> bad lines there. Said, like which it. was probably, you said like roadkill and a tire or something like that. <laughs> Fair enough. It is proper classic wrestling poo hours we 101, yeah. this stuff that having Logan Paul do. Yeah, Again, yeah. it's so weird to think that Andy Kaufman would be going, yep. Mm. <laughs> that's that, my that's boy. That's it, man, that's <laughs> it. Logan Paul, that's my <laughs> <Yeah>. boy. <laughs> Backstage, Carlito was found dragonly beaten down. He didn't see who did it. I believe him. <laughs> Shawn Michaels is right in SmackDown now. <laughs> After what's that transpired yeah, the rest oh. of the weekend. Or what happened in this storyline, man? Or Tony right. Khan. After Mercedes Monet on Dynamite, which we'll get to oh, in like right. three hours' time. You can't mention the other company while talking about oh, the other I'd company. Oh. What, what have you done? Yeah. Say Philly sucked. <laughs> Zena Vega takes on Electra Lopez, who's accompanied not just by Santos, but by Andrade and Dominic as well. As people point out, oh, Andrade and Zelina Vega back together mm. after many years. Mm. Uh, Zelina has the match won, but Dirty Dom distracts the ref. Ray pulls him off the apron, and but Electra wins the match. Ray gets beaten down by the bad guys, but Andrade turns on them and clears the ring. He hugs Ray and Zelina. Mm -oh. Oh, we cute. didn't get to see too much of Electra wrestling in the NXT Legado del Fantasma days, but she's got a nice stand in Uranagi, which is called Electrifier, and a nice choke bomb, which is called the Electric Electra Shock. Electra Shock, yeah. It's, it's, it's therapy after it. Because she's called Electra Lopez. That's right. I'll say that, though. Uh, Lopez took those opening kicks uh, terribly. Oh. Um, Graves had to point out she's trying oh uh, her opponent's trying to avoid the blows but yeah sure he's, but she got le uh, le le better later on he's but. come back from continental Europe pulling no punches <laughs> WWE that, yeah. you can get it yeah, unlike, w, unlike these kicks which were it. pulled he's had several Muay Thai Dutch MMA what's uh, Malachi M -m 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 <laughs> what's Malachi Black do uh, uh, yeah he Dutch does martial arts Thai, what's he yeah, do yeah, uh, he message Meltzer <laughs> Allegedly, he was there. We saw him on the video. Yeah, I can't believe Andrade turned face so quickly after the backstage assault. Yeah. Yeah, this has uh, lost me, the storyline, slightly. Well, um, how quickly it's changed and moved and what happens at Mania. Everyone was convinced it was Carlito. Yeah. yeah. And then right. at Mania, Cole starts going on commentary. These ridiculous rumours that Carlito's... And I thought, well, now they've... <laughs> and Andrade they've... and Dom were having the secret conversations on Raw, weren't they? Yeah, In yeah, the weeks yeah, up. Yeah. yeah. And Carlito is known for attacking people backstage. He got his mate, uh, Jesus... I still to think, take out Cena all I those still, years ago. Oh yes, he did. Never forget. I still think Collier might still turn because it was really blatant. Yeah, especially and there's a bit later on as well. Yeah, and although it was even weird, I put wait. So Lee has spent. So this is Dragon Lee. Uh, has spent the last few weeks getting punked out to help Ray in the big match by getting attacked and replaced at WrestleMania. Yeah. I put well, surely he'll show up to help in the finish then. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bianca Belair and Naomi could have promo in the ring. Bianca says she was ready to give up her fight against Samich Katal, but Naomi turned up and reminded her what she was fighting for. They bring out their mania partner, Jade Cargill. Jade calls her team the Big Three. And at WrestleMania, they're going to show why there is no damage control. Their opponents are now in the eye of the storm. I like the eye of the storm yep. line. The there is no damage control that they all said simultaneously. I didn't quite get. And I don't think the crowd did either. Did you get it? No. Mm. Don't like that sort Is of stuff. Is it looking at the little definition? There will be no controlling of the damage. Right. At the mania. Right. And you're like, that doesn't really wear off the tongue, does it? Uh, but still didn't take it away from the segment. No, yeah, it was fine. And, and I'm like, wait, Belair's gone full Naomi friend now. She's no longer Druish. She oh. might still be Druish, because there was a tease of dissension, <laughs> like going like. <laughs> Well, it's <laughs> called Drew Day as much. Because we're all about, like, you got dragged out our by damage control, but oh, well, you did as well. And they got a little bit antsy at one point, but then they brought it all around yeah, the whole friends. Bianca must mm. still be quite Drewish towards Bailey, though. Yeah, right. Because she never forgave her. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'd be interested in what happens now. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, Jay Sue cuts a short uh, backstage promo and says tonight he's going to give Solo. A uh, yeet down. Yeet down. <laughs> it sounds so dirty. Man. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to yeet. Solo yeet. And All over it, yeah. In the locker room, a ref tells Ray that Dragon Lee isn't cleared for mania. Andrade tells Ray not to worry, because he'll be his partner. 
Carlito shows up and asks if they've heard the news. <laughs> guys, <laughs> guys, have you heard Dragon Lee can wrestle a Don't worry, I can... Oh, Andrade's took... Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, that's great. It was like when mm. Otis turned up to the date with Mandy and Ziggler was already there. And he's there <laughs> like, oh, no. Oh. When Roxanne was in the shower. Yeah. Missing missed out a, on her shot. Missed the open challenge. Yeah, that, I can't believe it. <laughs> they didn't follow up on that. What was? Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? <laughs> well, you might that might have been the week you missed, but she comes out of the shower with like in a towel, like what the hell? <laughs> the open challenge. What but last was... legend that answered the open challenge yeah. for the, the women's title in NXT. I think it was the week. Oh, you, I get what you mean. You might have been when oh, you were right. in Germany. I get you now. Yeah, mm. yeah, I saw the episode of NXT. It was good. Yeah. The New Catch Republic win a tag match against A Town Down. Oh God, A Town Down Under. That's what they've been awful called. name. I know, but it's what they've been down by them. the JD after the bell. What do you mean it's an awful name? I don't like it. Austin Theories from Atlanta. Yeah. The other one's from Down Under. The other one. Grayson <laughs> Wallace from <laughs> Down <laughs> Under. <laughs> it all makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I was surprised that the lads, the lads weren't asked that their pal Logan had been killed prior to this segment. And they were just out there like, well, hey, here we go. Oh, Show yeah, must true. go on. Bastards. <laughs> Bastards. Even Undertaker showed emotion <laughs> yeah. that night. Logan Paul's the one comparing it to that. That's horrible. Uh, there was another match where we saw Tyler Bates do all the things he can do. Yeah. And while Pete was watching, so good for Pete, he got to watch the match while Tyler was doing most of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see if eventually Pete just gets sick of Tyler and turns heel again. Because every entrance, I'm just like, oh, Pete's getting sick of you. But Pete Dunn's always grumpy. That's it, yeah. And Tyler's yeah. always, you know, a weirdo Englishman, so. It's like the gif of, is it Martin skipping around Nelson? Yeah. In The Simpsons. Yeah. Classic. The, yeah. Best, the best shipping things, miserable person, we're really happy person. And he always gives him like a little point or a wink during the entrance, and Pete Dunn always no-sells it, yeah. and I think, oh, when's this gonna... Ooh. Yeah, you'd be the happy person, and Knuckles would be the miserable one, and you'd warm his heart. There will be no fan fiction between me and Knuckles. <laughs> oh, now I've said it. Mm. <laughs> I can't wait for Let's go to the Italian bag. restaurant, Jack, said Knuckles. Mm-hmm. Knuckles, Knuckles trying to eat the tagliatelle, but his hands are too big. Only so if Jack I has can, to feed him from. Only if I can bring my lappy tea. Yeah. Just fisting Jack with bowls <laughs> of penne pasta. <laughs> <coughs> um, I love you, Jack. Kill. <laughs> Go on, oh Ross. <laughs> hey, um, I, I was a bit shocked to see the NCR win so conclusively before realizing they are Triple H's sons. But I guess right. they, they loved, mm. even in this new era, out of sight, out of mind, bring them back in for the bigger moment. I guess yeah. that's what they're doing there with the heels. Yeah, just have something on SmackDown that isn't too valuable, but oh, could potentially happen at Mania, but didn't. And given the results of the title match at Mania, it leads to a... They've now got a claim on the titles as well. Eggs. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. LA Knight cuts a promo in the ring, hyping his mania match of AJ Styles. Knight admits that AJ is phenomenal. It running away. Oh. oh. Knight accidentally swallows his chewing gum. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the noise he made as well. It wasn't just like, oh, oh I'm choking. It was, well, at WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mate well, recovers it, and says on Sunday he'll be he'll boot AJ through the uprights. Yeah. You know LA Knight's over where he's so, he's choking on his gum and making little squirrel noises. And crowd like, yeah, it's all right, mate. Yeah. yeah. It was a really good promo for a near death experience, which that could have been. It was a really good promo. LA Knight <laughs> dies on SmackDown. I was just sad that they didn't show the promo where AJ from the I don't know what event was going on, like I think it was a media day thing. Oh, where yeah. they attacked each other and Ellen is calling him the P word. Yeah. AJ said, I'll F you up. You know, I'm a Christian bar who doesn't swear normally. His nose was busted open. Mm. Was that at the WWE World thing? Yeah, maybe some, somewhere uh, like that. Mm. It was on a, it was a, there was a carpet. I remember the carpet in the video. I think that was nice a big, carpet. thick carpet. Yeah. Mm. It's like Jonathan Edwards. Oh, a carpet. carpet, yeah. <laughs> in a video package, Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits say they're going to finish the final testament. Oh, if only, lads. Ah, that's a bit of a meh promo. There's no analysis to be said about this promo right here, so we'll move on. Yes, good lad. <laughs> Jey Uso wins the main event against Solo via DQ after Jimmy interferes. Jimmy and Solo beat Jay down, but Cody and Seth arrive to make the save. Cody whips the bloodline with his weight belt and hits the crossroads on Jimmy. Seth whips Jimmy as well before Jay hits the big splash. Cody gets on the mic and says he's going to dethrone the tribal chief. He's fighting for everyone who believes in him. When one good story ends... An even better one begins. Oh, no, oh, no, oh. no, no, no. That's not how it works. The story never ends. Triple H has told this numerous times. You don't talk about one story than a separate story. It's just one story. Well. Cody's going to lose at WrestleMania. That's what we'll learn here. <laughs> um, I was shocked to see the interference. I really was. After all the interferences. <laughs> you you recently, shocked. Shocked to see it. But <laughs> it did allow for a nice pop for Cody and Seth. They just... They, Jay did all of his stuff. Solo did all of his stuff. It was nice to see Cody get a bit of a cathartic happening with the yeah. belt. In his own hands. Yes. Yeah. For Mama Rhodes. 
Yes. Mama Rhodes. Well said, Ross. Don't cry. Mama Rhodes. It's all right. He wins in the end. It's all right. <laughs> but yeah, just it, the SmackDown before Mania is always interesting because they need to have some stuff, but not all the stuff. And they've already set up everything beautifully on Raw. So it's just like, okay, there's this. There's Cody's going to do something, blah, blah, blah. And also the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Did you have a watch of that? Yeah. I've not seen much of it yet. I can't believe they opened with Paul Heyman. Yeah, they did it back to front. Thunderbolt Patterson was last. There no. might have been a re. About um, Brock's mum. Was it? Well, oh, sorry. Thunderbolt was second last. Then, yeah. Which I think was done deliberately because the way he waffled on was. It was nah. a religious experience because that's what he was yeah, on about. Yeah, yeah. You're going to love one another. It was good to see Big E in front of a crowd once again. Yeah. You could tell he was enjoying it, introducing the Thunderbolt Patterson. But Heyman's, I can't believe. When he says the S my D line, you know, you know, S my D. Oh, not countdown again. Don't S my D. Yeah. Uh, but Randy Orton's like literal religious experience of like, oh, and then he's on the ring apron, like covering his head. It was fantastic. Yeah. And RVD. Yeah. yeah. And he, I saw some people like, saw what people were saying about online and him going, oh, Heyman, an old man talking about being cancelled. And he said, cancel, cancel, cancel. And he's like, that's not how you do that. But Heyman has gone through what we would now call that, I guess, especially when WWE had that lawsuit with him that apparently they still can't talk about, Ooh. which is crazy. It's like, wait, doesn't WWE own WWE? Oh, whatever, who cares? He did relate it to like the wrestling business. So he's like, oh, I had my time with me and Mark, and then they cancelled me, and then I had my time with Stud and Steve, and then they cancelled me. Yeah. So it wasn't like an overtly cancellation speech, if yeah. you know what I mean. Exactly. I think some people took it the wrong way. And yeah. he said, only you can cancel you. I went, yeah, that and having a very good lawyer. Of a dad <laughs> who doesn't mind losing a ton of money for you. Uh, Bless you. But apart from that, it's fine. What uh, else was there? Bully Ray. We'll mention him. Do you see him filming Roman Reigns on his way down to the ring? I was disgusted. Bully Ray was sat on the like on the Does he know how to use a phone? On the aisle. Yeah, he was filming Roman Reigns. Like a like a filthy mo it's just you know when <laughs> when Bully always criticizes AW and people people are like, Yeah, go on, Bully, you speak the truth while he's on his yeah. legends contract. Yeah. And now he's having to go at AEW again, which is something we put on our social medias, which I was angry about this morning, with his WrestleMania payday in his back pocket. Yeah. You can't take him seriously anymore, can you? He should have been taken seriously anyway. I no, I, I, I fully agree with you. But it's those old men. Oh, God. Well, we'll get into them anyway, because there's something related to WrestleMania. I'd take him it. seriously if he was just, like stood there. He's oh, yeah. Scary I boy. wouldn't. Ooh. You would. Yeah, like, he's like a big man. boy yeah. who speaks to you like this you're a dog. This is where Sesh goes, well, it's funny you say that, Matthew, uh. because we actually have <laughs> in the studio. It's going down. <laughs> <laughs> Bully, I'm a big fan. <laughs> it's piss, piss, piss. You, know? you do well to get us through this table, though, because the, 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 the legs are in the middle at the bottom. One solid, thick bit of wood. I was going to say, Big Van Vader would struggle to break yeah. this one. But, um, what else was at the Hall of Fame? Oh, uh, it was interesting. Oh, uh, Heyman said hello to a few people. You know, the Ortons, the Triple H's, the Stepping Man wearing a little ECW 2001 Invasion hat, which cute. I thought was nice. Yeah. He said hello to Tommy Dreamer, which everyone went, oh no, it's WrestleMania, get away from him. He patted him down. A quick time event. He patted <laughs> him down on the way down the ring, didn't he? Just quickly check. <laughs> oh, yeah, fine, it's a hug. Yeah. Uh, Trish Stratus was shown right next to Drew Gulak, who was not on TV anymore. Oh. Uh, mm. Moving on. Uh, it was funny... Like, Bull and Khan obviously had to follow that blessing. She was, the crowd were respectful, and she said nice things. So great. Thank you for that. But it was like, after Lundra Blaze did a speech, and it was like, ladies and gentlemen, Bull, the legend, Nakano. And they played that awful, stereotypical, like, Japanese thing that they gave to, like, all the wrestlers uh, in the early 90s. Like, so it's just like, the legendary Bull Nakano. Yeah. Like, oh, God. Yeah, that's how I feel, isn't it? Like, oh. okay. <laughs> She might as well come up there. Everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> but uh, it, was, it was nice, respectful. I feel um, guilty, but that song's such a banger. I absolutely love it. I don't know why. Really? Like, yeah, it's funny because they all sound it? like that. Like, it's do, do, awful. Do, 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 do. Like, right, yeah, I shouldn't yeah. enjoy it as much as I do. Middle school, maybe. I, I used to like it. Turning Jack. I know it's not about that, but turning Japanese. <laughs> oh, great song as well. Jack, from the Jackass not... movie. <laughs> no, it's a new wave classic. <laughs> I, know it, I know it's not also about, I know... But if Paul McCarno would come out of that. Dun, 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 oh, dun, dun, dun. No. I got your picture. <laughs> <laughs> and then, as if that wasn't inappropriate enough, ladies and gentlemen, to induct Muhammad Ali, the greatest boxer of all time. The Undertaker! You're like, the best pure striker yeah. in all of WWE. What's wrong with that? The most... <laughs> That's the guy they got to do Muhammad Ali. Imagine Baron Corbin, who I think is ah! the most legitimate boxing man in, in the wrestling at the minute, is he? Yeah, right he's now, a pole so. gloves guy, yeah. 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 Mark Merrow, I guess. Yeah, and Anthony... Oh, obviously, obviously, Bean. obviously, Anthony Gogo couldn't be there for obvious uh, reasons. So, yeah, imagine Baron the Corbin walked... <laughs> But that, that was the... That induction, it, it just... It felt wrong, because it turned into, like, 
Oh, the Rock's mint, isn't he? And like, oh, we'll give the Rock yeah. a title belt so he can hold the title. Belt he meant about him. Yeah. And I'm like, I get why they would. Okay, the Hall of Fame is great. And then I saw some people going, why the hell would Paul Heyman be inducted when he's like the mega he, uh, manager heel stuff? I think it's all right if they're going to do that and just treat it honorably. But then to have the Rock show up and do that, it's. Uh, it's where they're trying to do two things at once there. And you're like, okay, now I'm going to be respectful. Here's the People's Championship. And you're like, this is about ye. Yeah. This is about inducting someone who was at WrestleMania 1, very, very briefly, I guess. But we want to have someone there that was got a very um, loose, tenuous link to this. And The Rock could come out and go, no, this is a real title belt. This was given mm-hmm. to the, the Muhammad Ali says, you're the People's Champion. I mean, that's that's yeah, a nice story. Uh, like that is a nice story. For the like, Rock. Yeah, but like yeah. we didn't need the title presentation. No, or did we? No, look, I've got the People Championship. I'm like, oh, I think sorry. that because yeah. a few people that I was talking to were like, why is Muhammad Ali going in the WWE Hall of Fame? And I was like, why? Well, to me, it makes about as much sense as Arnie going in because obviously they're like he inspired all the bodybuilding yeah. and stuff. With with Muhammad Ali, he like trash talking and promos and you know. Yeah. I think. And you went to a draw of a Nogi. And he wrestled, of course. Yeah. Well, wrestle well, yeah, you know, yeah. Be, yeah. And then uh, the Wyndham Rotunda team getting a little bit of action, but it was obviously it's nothing against the two of them, and obviously they were tag team champions and all this. It's uh, just one version of the US Express. The, the, there was a later one with Dan Spy with Zamala, who cares? But it was just like, yeah, you're doing this because of Bray. This is about Bray, really. And why aren't you just putting Bray in? Are they saving Bray for next They're year? They're saving oh, it for next year, and you're like, mm-hmm. oh, you're saving it. Like, oh, okay. It was nice with the phones at the end of the speech, I thought. That was lovely. Because that, that, was, that was have very you seen nice, that documentary? The, I haven't yet. Oh, dear me. It, it turns out there's 24 hours in a day, and uh, shivered all the wrestling in, made it a bit harder. What happened to the documentary that was meant to go out last night? It was maybe WrestleMania Behind the Curtain, or whatever it's called. Oh, it's not out yet, is it? It was meant to be Wednesday Sorry, night. I, I thought they were going to run it against Dynamite, because it's going out on YouTube uh, for free. That'd be mean. But then it never went out, and the last thing I saw was Sean Ross Sapp tweeted, like, I'm chasing it up, but I don't know. And, and since then, I've not seen anything. I'm looking forward to it as well. What's that? Got, a backstage fight? <laughs> uh, you got like the rock sat in like a pristine white room. Yeah. Going, well, we really knew what we were doing. Oh, padded walls. <laughs> we, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just a bit strange. I'm the people's champion. Yes, you, you are the people's champion. Yeah. He's got his glasses on and he's like, we were never in doubt that we knew. <laughs> like, what? That has been funny to see all those interviews he's done where he's like, it was my idea to yeah, turn me. Yeah, well, yeah. I guess it, it probably mm-hmm. was his idea to turn heel. But it wasn't like without without calls. He right, was solving it? a problem yes. that he yeah. created in the yeah. first place. <laughs> yes. Um, while we're on the, there was I just want to because if we're talking about like other stuff that happened around WrestleMania week, did you see any of the other shows like the indie shows or anything? No, the only thing I saw was Blue Kane choke slamming. Blue Kane. Matt Cardona. Yeah, yeah. And somebody else pushed him off a stage in a wheelchair because that's what Cause he's blue Red Kane, Kane. did. <laughs> um, Not the real Kane because he got <laughs> thrown off Twitter for saying that. Uh, uh, Blood he's Sport. blue Kane. <laughs> Bloodsport had Shayna Baszler and Charlie, oh, Dem- yes, Charlie, Charlie Dempsey Dem- Dem- there. Yeah. I saw Shayna's win and uh, who's there? Nia Jax was cheering her on. Yeah. Um, obviously, she was accompanied by Zoe Star. Yeah. Um, oh, big Lou Nixon from up here. Right. So Lou comes out to like a Chava anthem and it was what, amazing. What song was it? It was quite a recent one, but it had the spirit of like that. So it was, it's called <laughs> Won't Forget You. It's not actually, I think it's by Jax, Jax Jones or someone like a London based DJ man, but it's all sped up and it's the remix. It's like, oh, I won't okay, forget yeah. you. The TikTok version. I'm so proud of him. All the Americans are just like, <laughs> <laughs> and one lad, one lad in the crowd, yeah, <laughs> yes, and he's like hopping away as the as the drops come in, which is when he's going to come out the curtain. Big Lou head in the ring, to, I'll smash your pasty. The commentators go, that one guy loves this song. Like, they have no idea what's going on. Lou bursts out when the drop happens, and he's yeah, like, yeah. oh, we're there, and all that. And I'm watching it like, yeah, is he good then? Oh, his match only lasted a few minutes because no, no, that's like, good. It's blood sports. Supposed to last. Yeah, he lost to the guy who always wins. Maybe. Alex Kratos. Or something oh like. yeah, whatever. Um, I heard he sucks. <laughs> but he looked, he looked good. Like he looked hard, which is good. Man. But he came out, and that song's going on and stuff. And the commentators just don't know what to say, and they're like, because <laughs> to them that's like soft girly music, like stereotypical. It does have like yes, the high uh, pitch, like yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's all like about love and stuff. But like to us, it's like yeah, yeah. absolute rage. It's a like, song you'll hear blasted by some kids on the metro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's coming out of that, and they go. Well, you know a guy's intimidating when he's like confident enough to walk out to a song like oh, this. Like that. That's Which, a, that's if, if White Lightning <coughs> was a song, it'd be that. 
Yeah. Say for Americans who don't know what I'm on about, Google the new monkey. Mm. <laughs> One, two, mixy crew. Mm, 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 mm. There wasn't a. Um, there apparently there is a version with like the bad boy chiller crew rapping over the top of it, but they just use the instrumental. But it still had the desired effect for me anyway. Ah, oh, good lad. Yeah, so good event. Shayna Baszler got proper like ECW. You are the mainstream enemy heat, which was great. Like, oh, she won. That happened before GC Dub had. Um... Oh, it was that Brazilian who was in eight, 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 was in AEW and NXT. Oh, he's the bodybuilder guy. Cesar Bononi. Yes. That's it. Thank you. I forgot. He, goes, he was getting like just mm. such abuse. And he's like, what? He's like, you work for Dub Dub E. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, NXT? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she, wo- she beat Masha Slamovich. And it was like a bit of a quick finish, like compared to yeah. other fit. Like, so she starts stomping on her. But Slamovich has been battering her for a lot of the match yeah, as yeah. well. And then she just starts like kicking her in the head, but like it's really quick. Obviously, the finishes are meant to be really oh, yeah. shoot styly, so the refs like stop the match. But it didn't feel maybe fully like she'd earned it. Um, uh, so the crowd are just standing up, just like flipping. Oh, up, going, Boo! <laughs> awesome. Obviously, Shayna doesn't care. She's like, yeah, and I have won. It was really good. Um, oh, now I need to see this event now. Thank you for you sold this. To it me. was like quite hit and miss, but like yeah. the matches are only like a few minutes long each, so you can just skim through. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, yeah. That's, that's what I like about it, mm. not going long, because it all oh, can end any time. Yeah. Uh, they did Thatcher versus Nick Gage one year. Thatcher. And I'm like, oh, yeah, Timothy. Yeah, right. yeah. It was anniversary this week, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> she's still dead. Lou Nixon come out to a strange song that's just, Thatcher's dead over and over again. Well, you have to be very confident to come out to that song. Oh yeah, they did Thatcher versus Nick Gage one year. and ice cream, because that's just... <laughs> and it was just like this is gonna be so good, and it's like it's it's not because that is obviously great what he does at the uh, the bat style and stuff. And they hard got Nick Gage is like I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just hard. If Thatcher had a match with I think it was um, Alexander Wolf Tisha. Oh really? I think was they that... I think they were against each other. God, I've had, I paid. I used to know every one of the GC Dub shows that were doing the weekend and all this stuff, and I watched every single one of them, and I was just like. Mm. WrestleMania is how long? The two lads uh, who are the astronauts, the Japanese tag team, had a match against each other that was okay, good. Yep. Uh, Abe and Takuya Nomura. That was a good match as well. It was good. Uh, I didn't really enjoy any of the indie shows top to bottom as much as I have done in previous years, though, because it was like it was like WWE like really owned the week. Like They, they right. reclaimed WrestleMania week. I don't right. know. Wasn't it Nick Khan was backstage when he had blood sport, was he? Is that the mm. one I saw? Yes. Yeah. Same Punk Remember was Bet there. Remember Bette Lauderdale, yeah. Same Punk was there in his pink hoodie. Mmm. Mm. Picking up tips, was he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking, everybody. Well, I'm not. <laughs> AEW Collision. Oh, we're going there, are we? Hang on. Do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. There's so mm-hmm. many notes. Mm-hmm. 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 I know, it's like, it looks like Game of Thrones. I'll take your word for it. I'm one of the few humans to have never seen it. Mm-hmm. Have you not? Mm-hmm. Nah, never have. Fair enough. No, you just, not I'll get there in a few that. years' time. What are, you, first, what, are you, what are you making uh, noises for? Seth's <laughs> laughing dismissively. <laughs> What's that? The first four yeah, seasons just... and then just stop. I know the end yeah. is meant to be pretty How, bad. How's it related to Game of Thrones, though? Just lots the of, amount of, lots like, of plots. The, the amount of notes we've got. Yeah. Like, it's a big... Right, gotcha. All right, it's not the perfect no, amount no, I'm of sorry, oh, I'm Lord of the Rings, actually. <laughs> it's so big, it's like a big pile of notes put together. <laughs> All right, fine, Sesh. <laughs> I'm sorry. In the semi-final, I'm kidding. The semi-final of the tag team tournament, FDR beat top flight to advance. They'll face the Young Bucks at Dynasty. Oh, yes, they will. <laughs> it's, weird. <laughs> it's weird in hindsight, <laughs> isn't it? It's quite strange. <laughs> uh, this was all kinds of seal. It was Ron Seal. Ron Seal does what he says on the tin. In yeah. the way that there was a clash of styles, you know, FTR being what they are. Top Flight being the flippity-dee, flippity-doo boys. I thought FTR, <laughs> interestingly, were slightly more cocky and heelish in their Kavorka. They were posing after big shoulder tackles. There was a hair slam on Dante at one point. Uh, Dax doing the gunshot chops and just stand there like he killed a man. And he doesn't even care about it. Hmm. Yeah. So I thought they were a bit more heelish than what they have been in recent times. I guess because they're against Top Flight, who were like hmm. the little baby-faced dudes. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. It was it was ground versus the sky. And the ground always wins. And the ground always wins. You can't with... fall from the ground to the ground, can you? Mm. But you can fall from the sky to the ground, <laughs> and that'll hurt you. <laughs> That's the That's best analogy logic we've had on this show in a long time. <laughs> Thank you for that. I guess you can fall from the ground to the ground, can't you? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but it wouldn't kill you. Oh, it might kill you. My next-door neighbor at home, uh, his... <laughs> his uh, right, his doorstep he's over the road from me his doorstep was icy one morning stepped out to the icy's car one morning slipped banged his head and died oh my god what are you laughing about jesus christ 
That's that's the story you just told. Rest in peace, Mr. Rutherford. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. How did you bring that up? What are you laughing at? I'm just I like, guess you could die. Yeah, the ground to the ground analogy didn't quite work because he did die while falling from the ground <laughs> to the ground. Yeah, good point, Ross. Cheers. Uh, I thought it was a lovely finish with the shoot shatter machine and Dante going off the ropes to take that manoeuvre. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was nice. He banged him. Didn't look smooth, but it was gnarly. Yeah. yeah, you could believably see it finishing a match. Yeah. yeah. Or a fight of blood sport. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, you couldn't because there's no ropes. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, ignore me. There's ring posts. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't work. Uh, yeah, I put decent match with a re- reluctant crowd. Mm. Reluctant crowd? They were very quiet, weren't they? Uh, Pac wins a quick match against... Uh, encore, encore, more? encore. Yeah, do you en- want encore? More? Jesus Christ, man! He's a wicked. <laughs> encore. He's Italian. Uh, he gets on the mic and says, I- "I'm done waiting for opportunities that I deserve. So now I take matters into my own hands." You sound less Geordie than you normally do. What you do? He's got a bit <laughs> phonetically there. <laughs> You're if I said it normally, we'd be all right. Sorry. Hey, bad gum! I can't believe it. <laughs> I am on a mission <laughs> to remind. <laughs> Jamaican now. <laughs> so, uh, he's the big bit. I'm the best. Like, he says a bunch of stuff and calls out Okada. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how big your bollocks are. Okada, hear me now. <laughs> 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 no, I like when he said, Let's see how big your bollocks are now. It was good. I'm the best professional wrestler. Spell R E S T L A on the planet. The wrestler, yeah. Yeah. And he's like, I'll call you out, body lad. I'll, let me see how big your bollocks are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's textbook suplexes were textbook because for the first oh, yeah. time in the history of me writing down textbook something. Tony Schiavone actually said textbook suplexes. Oh. So that's how you know they're actually textbook suplexes. But it's a shame for Encore Mall. I like the name. I like the Encore name. I like Encore Mall. Encore Mall. And I also like Pac. You know, he's a bad lad because he's like, oh, shall I hit the Black Arrow? How many people are in this building? Nah, I'll hit with the submission. Classic honey bar job oh. here, y'all. I'm a honey bar job. I'll bite your bastard nose off. Dickhead. <laughs> Rene has a very casual chat with Brian Anderson backstage and asks about his match with Will Ospreay. Brian says he doesn't use wrestling to prove he's better than anyone else. He uses it to better himself. Brian says he's excited to test himself against Ospreay, and although he knows the fans will enjoy it, that's not necessarily why he's having the match. Ooh. It's a very babyface promo from a bit of a tweener, a bit it of a was. tweeny boy. I think that it works for mm. what they're doing because some people think Osprey's the best wrestler in the world and some people think Brian Anderson's the best wrestler in the world. There was definitely like a production choice here because this and the later one with Osprey were really casual. Like she's like, how are you doing? And they're like, yeah, all right, Renee. Yeah. Uh, like she'd be playing with a dog or something. She's like the female like, Louis Theroux. Louis yeah. Theroux. <laughs> she's the wrestler whisperer. <laughs> and uh, they're, they're all in comfortable clothes and lounging. On the chaise lounge. It's probably good for the wrestlers because obviously yeah. Louis couldn't spot the diddler, could he? <laughs> <laughs> Whereas Renee, will just all the diddlers will pass her by. Yeah. But oh, Louis says, God. no, I knew something was up for Savile 30 years ago. <laughs> oh, cheers, mate. At cheers. Fir- at first, I thought she was doing this because she's like, uh, excuse me, she's his mate's wife. Like she knows him. He's like a family friend. But mm. no, she was doing it with, she had the same casual chat with Osprey as well later on. Yeah. I don't believe Brian, by the way. He's full of crap. Yeah. because he went I don't like proving I'm better than it that's his whole thing in Ring of Honor when he was a heel he loved proving he loved nothing more than proving he was better than everyone else but he's that a different guy now Jim. well will Osprey have to get under his skin mm. well Osprey will be a different guy to the guy he is now yeah, yeah. yeah. he's like 40 I don't need to say I'm the best wrestler people who are the best don't say I'm the best they know they're the best you know, all the time in boxing things Nigel like McGuinness would hate this promo he should have gone oh he's full of crap yeah, yeah. Daniel yeah. Cern is the best wrestler Better than, than all, all the, the wrestler. wrestler. He's got class. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, we know that Blue Panther Jr. No, it was just Blue Panther, wasn't it? Um, that oh, person was, wrestled. Yes. And bowed him afterwards to say, like, oh, that was nice. They've had a couple, didn't they? They had the tag match. And then mm. now they've had a singles one as well, yeah. which I haven't seen yet, but apparently it's very good. And it's, just, it's, it's nice seeing wrestlers going, yes, I finally got to wrestle that dude. I'm so happy. Yeah, fair enough. And Blue Panther's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. The awesome team of Lionhook. Beats the stupid loser team of Shane Taylor and Lee Mariani. Oh, Jericho. Oh, no. He got no reaction this I week really at all, did, even though he no. came out the babyface tunnel. Mm. Mm. Iraru. Yeah. They didn't like Jericho, but they loved the walls of Jericho. They went nuts for that. They didn't care mm. for him. Jericho and Hooker attacked after match by Anthony Agogo. Right. Yes. Taylor Mariani helped him beat the faces down. And he knocks out Jericho with a right hand. I was going to say friend of the channel, but friend of Ross. Friend of Ross. My yeah. boyfriend. Ross is me. Yeah. The, the heels lay a banner reading Shane Taylor promotions over Jericho. It's nice for Gogo to show up after they've lost, like, but uh, 
Apparently, his last non-dark match for AEW was in August 2022. I thought that about Cena at WrestleMania. Cody nearly gets beaten twice, and then Cena runs out. <laughs> I'll <laughs> save you. <laughs> oh, thanks, mate. Yeah. It's pro wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Shane Taylor could have in inducted uh, Muhammad Ali into the Hall of Fame with his strike in the early going of this match here. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic punches. Fair play to Chris Jericho, because he did take the beating, which let Hook get the hot tag. And then Hook was working snug, so he was, I thought, in this yeah, match yeah, with the yeah. clotheslines and knees. Then he does an Alicia Fox Northern Lights suplex, which does is the best well. Northern Lights around. Um, and then just, yeah, it's just the rest of it is a foregone conclusion until a go-go comes out. His suplex at the end to cut off Shane Taylor was really nice as well. And it, it looks good because Hook's not the biggest guy. So when he's suplexing someone massive, it looks really impressive. I was going to say that was it. Like, that was like, okay, oh no. The, yeah, he did the walls and then Hook came in to do his hold. It's like, well, that's going to tap. But apparently not. It's like, okay, that was a bit silly. And he then just that T-bone. To... Yeah. That T-bone. Yeah, yeah. like, oh, okay, that's mm. fine. I still don't know if this bet is anybody in the, in the match. A go-go or Hook or anybody. Jericho doesn't even look good in this, yeah. in this thing. A go-go look good at the end because it looked like it made Chris's cheeks wobble so it did the punch. Good. But that was about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess Hook looked good, but he, he's not doing much that we haven't seen before Hook yet. Yeah. Yeah, so he's just sort of spinning his spinning his wheels. Certainly, but this collision was going against uh, a very small event, so, you know. It was published, I think, at midnight, wasn't it, over there? Over there time? The Americans? Maybe that sounds about right, yeah. Yeah. So. We get a Dustin Rhodes video package where he talks about being underappreciated. He says he's never been world champ, so he wants to doubt a match against Samoa Joe on next week's Dynamite. And it opens up with, people say Dustin Rhodes is underappreciated. And you know what? They're right. Dustin Rhodes. Who says, who's saying that in 2024? Well, Dustin Rhodes has got form for this because the week before he was like, I am yeah. a legend. <laughs> I'm a legend. <laughs> I'm a legend of this business. Because uh, it was a nice little story about, you know, 36 years ago, his dad coming home with a world title. I like the line of, like, I'm scared of no man, Joe, and you're no different. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. It was really intense. My dad is Dusty Rhodes. I'm like, all right, okay. Yeah, yeah I'll cut down uh, a bit. Is that what we're doing here? He told the whole story about, like, right. my dad would bring the belt home, and I've never won the belt, and I used to look at the belt. And like, you know. It was, I, I thought about seeing the belt and saying, I won it. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I didn't mind. I didn't mind. I, I think he's always very convincing. And he gave me a little high five once, and I felt like a little boy. Thank you, Dustin, I said. He was 28 years old. Yeah, I was. I was literally like, I was a grown man. <laughs> last week. But like, he, he gave me so tall though, I felt like a little boy. I was like, ah, thanks, Dustin. Bless you. Yeah. Can we turn off the air con now? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. How do, how do I do it? You hit that hit little on-off button and then hit the switch on the wall. Yeah. Renee, hit the on-off button. Oh, sorry. And then hit the little switch on the wall. Well done. Yes. Probably. That was, that, that was like you high-fiving Dustin. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Renee has another very casual chat, this time with Will Ospreay. He is confident about facing Brian because of his experience in New Japan. Hi, Renee. Hello. That was more brummy, sorry. Yeah. He believes he's the greatest wrestler of the 21st century and thinks he's at a level Brian hasn't, hadn't reached when he was 30. Mm. Talking crap again. <laughs> oh! Someone's in a mood today. <laughs> I'm in a happy mood. It's a, it is a big claim to say that you're better than Brian when he was of 30. Of course, I am reacting how I'm supposed to react. <laughs> this is if, like... It said, like, oh, Sue Punk's not very good. And Jack would have jumped off his chair going, I hate Osprey. That's how I am here in state. It's something like that. I think Osprey's the only guy who can get away with that, isn't he? Were you? Um, <laughs> he's caused me physical pain. I was going to say, yeah. We, I fear just, him slightly. Osprey yeah. just whip him while yelling, Punk isn't very good. <laughs> yeah, what would I do if they had a big to do? I don't know. More paintings of angel wings. Yeah. Cody as well. Who would I choose there? <laughs> Love all those boys. No, um, I, I like it because. I think, yeah, Osprey fits Osprey's character to be all braggadocious, as, like, it, like it fits Brian's. Yeah. Can't wait to see the match. Yeah, I like these comparisons. It's like when footballers come out of the Premier League from different leagues and like, oh, what's the difference between Serie A and the Premier League? Yeah. Mm. Josie Altidore's done it in the A Divisie A, <laughs> but can he do it for Sunderland in the Premier League? And he couldn't. No. Yeah. Because uh, Osprey's like, it's quicker in AEW than it is in Japan, which I thought was a very interesting point of view there. Mm. Yeah, it's more ground based. Mm. He's looking forward to doing more of the ground and pound against Daniels. I yes. liked his point that. I feel confident because I've had loads of experience now in New Japan, but also it'll be interesting because Brian's whole style is inspired by Japanese wrestling. That was, that was good. Mm. Yeah. I would, if I could ask Will Ospreay one question, I would say, what's the difference between, in the context of Danielson, the greatest wrestler of all time, and what he calls himself the best wrestler of the 21st century? Because didn't Danielson debut in 99? Yeah, he's a 21st so century wrestler, so it is a bit yeah. strange. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, like, what does it mean? The current greatest. That was a great 1999. It was amazing. <laughs> <That's fun. laughs> 
The House of Black win a six-man tag against Brian Keith, Matt Seidel, and Christopher Daniels. Not the bounty hunter. Uh, Adam Copeland's music hits afterwards, and Malachi Black heads up the ramp to confront him, but he attacks him from behind instead. The numbers game starts to catch up with Copeland, but Mark Briscoe and FTR run out to help. The Young Bucks arrive to brawl with FTR, the baby faces clear the ring, and stand tall. I really like the brawl at the end because it was harking back to the very early days of Dynamite, like when every Dynamite would end with a massive brawl with like yeah. multiple storylines and intertwining. Like you had the FTR and Bucks here, then FTR and the House of Black, then the House of Black and the Faces, all in one lovely big meaty pie. Mm. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Brian Keith also got some nice offense in there against Malachi Black, which I didn't expect to see, but it was nice to see all the same. You just expect Malachi to bat batter him just because mm. he is Malachi Black. Uh, Brody King with a proper, I've written down, oh, I've gone old Joe Coffee here, a proper man's bop and bang <laughs> with the Larry on Daniels. <laughs> Because he goes like ah, and yeah. Daniel's ducks, and he goes wap it all, pop it all. We're still, we're still. Dwayne, I'll show you how to do a forty-minute match. I was going to say, if anyone's got the CCTV fo or any footage, oh, of please. Yeah. Gallus speaking to Dwayne the Rock Johnson. We need to see it. <laughs> all right, big man. Yeah. All right, hey, 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 hey. Dwayne. Who have you ever beat? Who are you supporting the old farm? I've been BT gone. Who have you been? Rock back. I support the people and the people. Uh, That's not what I asked you, pal. <laughs> oh, you're an Everton fan, are you? Oh, the People's Club. Uh, Matt Seidel was fantastic in this match. <laughs> Even too good for himself at one point because he goes for head fizzes, head, head fizzes, head scissors, but it's too quick for him. Mm. I need to stop drinking this alcohol. It's gone straight to my head. <laughs> Have you eaten before? No. Ooh, <laughs> you haven't eaten? No, oh, you silly no. Billy. I know. Uh, and then Matthews and Keith with a lovely little stretch at the final bit there. And then, yeah, the big brawl was fantabidabidos. Mm. Bloody hell. Oh, yeah, and Mark Briscoe's the Ring of Honor World Champion against Eddie Oh, Kingston. my God, the lack of that build. level of hype that we've given there, that little and sentence, that was the level of hype they gave it on TV. I watched it and um, Did you? it was weird. The crowd felt, the crowd were with it, but not as much as you'd expect for yeah. the story, which even without any sort of build is still a big enough story. Like Mark going for the belt that his brother had won. And yeah. it should have been a massive thing. And the crowd, I don't know if it was the production or the actual crowd being burnt out, but it just didn't feel quite, there was definitely moments of like, you know, in a match, like just normal match where there's just moments of silence. And it's just like when they're both going back and forwards. And I thought, wow, this is crazy. Um, they got them back into it, and Mark Briscoe bl bled lots and got them back into it and stuff. But I think there was just so much, so many matches on the show that had all the moves that by the time it got to the main event, it was like, what can these two lads do mm. now? But it was still good. There was a Billy Starks fake injury angle that offended a lot of people. <laughs> I saw on the, I saw the, I watched it, and then I thought that Billy Starks match was pretty good. It was against Queen Aminata for the inaugural Women's TV Ring of Honor title, right? And Billy Starks pretends she's hurt her neck and they get her in a neck brace and they're about to like, and Queen Aminata's holding the ropes open for her and then she's Germans. <laughs> it was brilliant. Uh, but like they went to the, they cut the commentary and they're doing serious voices and everything like, oh, Billy Starks neck. Uh, no, because I thought it was obvious that it was a work. I can see why people don't like that. They lifted her into a sitting position and walked her out of the ring. I was like, it was obviously a work. Oh, so I was fine okay. with it. I think it's his idea of doing those okay. fake injury things. Fair like. enough, fair enough. But, um, that, yeah, the, the cage match I could do rating, without them. The cage match rating was surprisingly low. So when I watched it, I was like, that's why. Uh, Queen Aminata is, she needs more time yeah. in AEW. She's brilliant. Really good. Really I agree. good. That was my Ring of Honor summary. Thank you. That's all right. The video they put afterwards of uh, Mark and Eddie having a beer was nice. Mm. Took you back to the olden days. Undertaker would have been pumping his fists. And <laughs> That's what it was like back you in the day. Moxley used to drink. And then and then... like, so what video games you playing, Mark? <laughs> I'll tell you, you need to watch his podcast. He tells the story about the... No, Undertaker. Oh, God. He tells the story, the Tony Hinchcliffe of all people, that comedian, about uh, when he does the no hit tombstone to Hulk Hogan, but Hulk Hogan sells it oh, like yeah, he's dying. Yeah, that's right, yeah. He's like, Terry's on the floor lying. He's like, get the phone so I can call my wife and kids. And yeah. Hulk's, he's like, what? And obviously, because it was back in the early 90s, yeah. he didn't see it for a few days, the footage. The yeah. one on the chair? Yeah, one, yeah the Survivor Series one. The one, off, one. The one yeah. off the chair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And an Undertaker apparently, well, he, he says it with, with his own mouth, he confronted Hulk Hogan and said, "I didn't. it didn't hit. What, what are you doing? Why, why, why are you doing this to me? And Hogan apparently said, you had me that tight. I had nowhere to go, and the fact that I was so tight against your body, that hurt my neck. What? Uh, Hogan says that in his book. He says, yeah, I, I, I racked me. Oh, God, he dropped me right in my head. And without watching, going, what are you on about? Yeah, yeah. he clearly didn't do was it. Was it not because he was worried that this youngster was coming up? And oh, yeah. that's what Undertaker yeah, said. Right, right, right. Undertaker said in Austin's thing, it's just like, well, after he did that, I knew I can't trust you. 
Oh, oh, that's what you're about. Are you trying to try to like no. stop my stop my career God. dead right now? Because you mentioned the cook of beware one, where he does actually oh, f them yeah. up. <laughs> and then obviously, oh, Hogan, Hogan, this is what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, Hogan's, Hogan's. I was uh, taken watching off from there. some Kill Tony clips after you talked about it last week. Mm. I find it horribly awkward a lot of the time. Like, yeah. I can't watch full. Have you seen the flare one yet? Yeah, I couldn't. I had to skim it. <laughs> I saw. I saw one. I saw quite a few from the episode that featured, is he called Ben or Dan Soda, who is a comedian I do Dan, like. Oh yeah, yeah. Dan, Dan Soda, he's good. Yeah, yeah, and he's good. a big wrestling fan as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got like a dead on Macho Man, Randy Savage yeah, impression. Say, yeah. But um, he's a really good comedian. So I watched that one because he was on it. I thought, oh, good, he's on it. And he wasn't like as brutal to the contestants. Like he'd make fun of them, but in like a nice way. I think I'm just too soft for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There was there's one recently. You stay that, pure, Jack. There's one recently that's gone up with a lad who's like a young little twinkie boy. And, no, that's um, just Tony. No, no, he's <laughs> they're all laughing because they're like Tony's having a field day with it, like he's loving him. And then he's like, "What were you like at school? A little rabble rouser?" And the guy just does an impression of him and goes, "Such a rabble rouser!" And they all die. <laughs> Tony Hinchcliffe's fuming. He's like, "Son of a." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's good. Thank you for that. Mm. Uh, Rocky Romero. Ah, sorry again. Rocky Romero. There we go. Is interviewed backstage. Oh, Asuka. What does that mean? That's his yeah. Twitter, Twitter handle as well. That's a car rock. Yeah, once wins a singles match, uh, an eight, it's like, it's like an eight dub. He challenges Roddy Strong to a title eliminate match. He says a super bunch of times. Rocky! Hey, remember Roddy would do that. Strong in the UK interrupt. Roddy accepts a challenge and says at least Rocky will be able to tell his grandkids he got beat by a wrestling legend. I used to have Rocky's cousin when I was a kid. A super soaker. Sorry, guy. Uh... <laughs> To go right get over on, the house. Get on kill to <laughs> Get yourself on mint. Tony Inchbet's show. You'll f- sail through. <laughs> I used to love those adverts. The Asuka Soka XP35. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the military the gun. blue one with a purple Super tank. Soka, oh, super yes. speed. This big gun is what you need. Oh, what days they were. Hit them hard, were. hit them fast. <laughs> How do you remember all that? Because <laughs> it would play every advert break when I was a kid. He's slightly older than he probably remembers oh, more yeah, adverts. Yeah. Yeah. You were more developed. Yes. And... <laughs> <laughs> Getting gassy, lads. Anyway, now. Jericho and Rocky, Hook. Rocky right. mentions oh, the, 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 the ranking system, but he wants to eliminate a match, which was good. Because mm. if he just got a match, we're like, what the hell? What the hell, man? Yeah, come on, Rocky. But it's, a, it's a title eliminator, which means it's different. Yeah, very different to Dustin, who demanded a title match. And yes, we later found already got that... one. Well, no, it was an eliminator, wasn't it? Yeah, Joe gave him the eliminator. We'll find out actually yeah, yeah. later on. Oh, I got you. Jericho and Hook are asked about their thoughts on Anti Gogo's attack. Jericho admits they're outnumbered, <coughs> but Hook interrupts and says he has a third man. It's Mabel. Sorry. Shibata <laughs> arrives and uses the translate function on his phone to says that he has their back. As apparently this is just going absolutely everywhere at once. It's like it's booked on random. Well, and Shibata you go, go, go versus Shibata. Yeah. Like, all right, yeah, sure. Uh, Hook and Shibata are friends. That's I like, been established, I think, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I like the... I think he's done it before, maybe once or twice. The phone gimmick. Yeah. Yeah. But I like He did it, it on um, RJ City. Ah, uh, but I like did, the... went, did you have your brain taken out of huh. your head? And he went, how could you ask me some of that, stupid? <laughs> and he went, <laughs> and this one, no. it was just like, I got your back. It's really simple, but I really find it funnier that it's the woman's voice for some reason. Yeah, yeah. I think it's good. That, that's how he sounds. Yeah. Uh, also, Jericho is now to start going, yeah, bet. bet. It's like, oh, he's so old and white. He's so uncomfortable. It's on purpose now, though, after Dynamite, I think. Good. I think it's on purpose. It didn't start off, it's like Rooty Tooty Booty back in the day. It didn't start <laughs> off on purpose, but now it is on yeah, purpose. Yeah, he's pivoting. He'll, he'll roll like, any die just yeah, to see yeah. what number it rolls on that Jericho. He's pivoting like Ross Geller, and it might be for the best. Lovely. I like that. I'm not a huge Friends fan. I like the pivot scene. Pivot. 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 Okay. Yuka is back. Yeah, 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 yeah. She beats Wizardora. In a singles match. Wizardora. That's right. Trisha. Nothing Dora. sure. Oh. Uh, Serena Deeb interrupts her celebration and mockingly applauds from the ramp. Were you buzzing when Yuka Sakazaki? When the theme, because she had there was a period of time when she came to AEW and she didn't have the theme. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And that was a heartbreaking set of times. Set of times? Whatever. Oh, keep on. That's good. Uh, but yeah, she had it back and it was fantastic. I think Trisha Dora is very good in the ring. Yes. Oh, that, I liked her. She had the arm lock thing. So she, yeah, the like, kind of wasn't it? Yeah. And then she does the splits on her back yeah. to make it even talkier. I was, like, I was like, that's really good. Up oh, there were my move of the week, that one, but not Ooh. quite. Then it turned into a proper ding dong after that hold. Uh, Yuka with that arm lock. I've called it the arm lock spinny flapjack thing. So arm lock, spinny, yeah. flapjack. Yeah. Whatever that's called. It was fantastic. Yeah. I know. That's exactly what I would call it <laughs> if I was typing up the moves. The crowd seemed slightly happy to see her back. But yeah. she didn't kiss another woman, so she wasn't the most of the <laughs> Japanese, <laughs> of Japanese It's like, you could show. say, well, if the last two years of anything go by, she's going to lose to whoever's champion and then sod off again. Yeah. Uh, maybe we're going to get closure finally as to why Riho shoved her over now all those years ago. 
Yeah, but after that, we'll get the Riho. <laughs> How many years ago was that? Uh, 2019. <laughs> I love it. Was it, still it was like Fighter Fest 2019. Yeah. <laughs> I did like a proper Baron Corbin stand and deliver vibes at the finish, though. Just a big splash. Just yeah, yeah down yeah, she yeah, came. Yeah. That's it. Gravity. You see, falling from the sky to the ground is harder than falling from the ground to the ground. Even uh, the ground to the ground. Thank you for you pointing that out, Ross. I much agree. appreciated. I agree with Ross that Trisha Dora is really good in the ring, but I also like, I mean, I'm sure Ross agrees as well, but I like her Kavorka as well a lot. And I like that she's part of the infantry who are my favorite boys. <laughs> yes. I love them. Lovely bunch of lads. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tally Magic and Daniel Garcia could have promo backstage. Garcia says he isn't a young boy anymore. He's 25. And it says here, wanker. Aye. He's still a young boy. Yeah. So much to learn about life, young man. Yeah. Uh, I'm so jealous of him. Yeah. Look at us sat here drinking alcohol on a Thursday afternoon, <laughs> speaking yeah. about the wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> don't you feel bad? Uh, this made me hate him. Like, really? Because oh. he don't know how old he is? Because he's so young. Uh, yeah. And, he's everyone, and everyone's really thirsty for him as well. Yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah. He's enjoyed his success so far, and now he wants more. Mm. And he's like, doing it with his best bro, he said. Sorry, oh, as well. that's so nice. Yeah. Yeah, well, meant, I like their chemistry. Yeah. He mentioned your Takeshtas, your Ospreys, your other good wrestlers. Never heard of them. He wants to be one of those good wrestlers. Exactly. Mm. Uh, Claudio Castanelli wins a singles match against The Butcher, with the main highlight being Tony Schiavone brings up The Butcher is dysle dyslexic. So <laughs> Nigel says, The Butcher is dyslexic? Well, you know what they say, when life gives you melons, <laughs> followed by several seconds of dead air while both men compose each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tony, Tony starts going, is this supposed to be... Le and he goes, don't explain the joke, Tony. <laughs> Will you pot? Hey. hey. That's all I've got. Uh, I like the butcher, but I was good to find out he's like 46, 48. Yeah, he's an old, older fella. I'm like, oh, he, looks he doesn't fantastic. just look like that. I <laughs> oh, thought he was great. a young lad who just wanted to look like that. <laughs> he, he was not. a bad in the 90s, Matthew. He, looks he young, shows. <laughs> he looks younger now. He shaved the head. Um, I want him to look older. We on about. Yeah, I want him to look more grizzled. Yeah, I yeah. The skullet. In fact, yeah. the skullet worked for him, didn't it? Because it made him look a bit unhinged. Right. Yeah. But he still looks hard as balls with his hair. He does. Head. But I realize I'm never going to get that like massive butcher push because he's just. <laughs> I know. I'd love say. a butcher push because he is yeah. he's a throwback like it, there's no flips is there there's just fists yeah before, um, before AW, knuckles. before AW had like this huge roster of like global stars and stuff I felt like the TNT title could be one that feasibly people like the butcher could win I'm still waiting for John Silver's TNT title reign and everything right. but it's not it's not like get back on TV feels like it's been I years say, on the yeah, bloody being the dark order how over he was yeah, on the butcher that. at times yes but I, this match was just so manly. There was not much in the way of flamboyance. Like we had the butcher biting Claudio's head. There was just clotheslines, mm. the dyslexic comment. Uh, but it was an easy win for Claudio in the end. And it was just, I enjoyed the different feel of it because it was just like, Ugh. yep, Ugh. variety. Bite. AEW does best. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We got a promo from Julie Hart and Sky Blue. Julia says nobody, nobody can take the TBS title for. For, for her. From her. Oh, says for sorry. her. But anyway, well, even Willow I had a lot of notes name. this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The keeper of secrets. I hate it when she says that. She's the keeper of secrets. Why though? What does that mean? Well, we're, 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 she's keeping that. <laughs> it's a secret. Is, it that, is it that Malachi wants to leave when his contract? <laughs> <laughs> Malachi's never losing a singles match ever again. <laughs> it's just all the presentation is like bang on. Like I'm the queen of the black, princess of the black throne, whatever she calls herself, and it's like I'm the keeper of secrets. <laughs> No, I like the keeper of secrets. No, yeah, it adds to the mystique. Put the secrets out there. <laughs> You're like the mass magician. Oh yes, but without a mask. So just a magician. Yeah, <laughs> a magician. So Joe rejects Dustin Rhodes' challenge of a title shot. Yeah, get stuffed. That gives him an eliminate the match instead on dynamite. Yeah, it was good. All you do is talk, but you're not standing here. Take that, Dustin, you fanny. Um, you don't possess the thing you need to survive around here, which is a fear of me. Another nice good line, line from Joe. Yeah. That's beautiful. Um, He's a good writer, Joe. Like Chaucer. He always comes up with a unique line or two. He does. Yeah, like Chaucer. Mm. Why have you gone for Chaucer? Well, fair enough. <laughs> really old school. Uh, Canterbury, Canterbury Joe. Canterbury Joe. <laughs> Just a bloke from hey, Kent. Hey, hey, <laughs> uh, but I says he doesn't deserve the title shot, obviously, but he'll give him the fight if he wants it. So he's going to get the fight. He did get the fight. Yeah. We've seen the fight already. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, mate. In the main event, Pender beat Commander. And Adam Copeland stares him down from the ramp ahead of their TNT title match. And he gave him like the, you're all right, hey, Pender. Kid. Yeah. And Pender's like, why are you staring at me? You already said he can be the title match. Yeah, yeah. He was Ooh, confused. Ooh, I'm scared of you. And, 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 Pender and Alex Abrahandes 
didn't seem too concerned that their friend was really hurt by the match. He's lying on the canvas and they're like... Mm. A Spanish fly took a number Was he of actually it. hurt? I was wondering this. Oh, uh, he can't hurt luchadors. His neck went like an accordion, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was scary. That's fine. There mm. were so many like highlights in the match, though, like the, the drop kick when Commander went for the handspring against the yeah. ropes, even simple stuff. I say simple stuff. In terms of what they were doing, simple stuff like <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine us trying to do a I handspring. I know. I'll do a handspring, right, and then Jack will meet me as I'm bouncing yeah, off yeah, the ropes yeah. with a drop kick. That'll I, be yeah. easily that. I reckon <laughs> Matthew could pro- possibly do... Can you do one? Could oh, you thank do, you, Jack. Could you do oh, a you mean what, Glenn? Could you do a handspring? I've never tried one. Could you do a handspring? Nah, not a chance. I'm until really about so. the age of 60 and I could do the one against the wall. Could you? But I couldn't. No, not now. Not now. Adam can. Yeah, Adam can stand on his hands. Can he? Oh, yeah. Him. That's impressive. I know, I didn't believe Isn't him. Isn't his head on his hands? He can do both. He can do either. He can do wow. either. And I'm so shocked because he's so tall. It looks like he shouldn't be able to do that. He's such a long boy. Yeah. Quack. But he's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> Press F in the rest, chat. Rest in peace. Hi. Uh, what was Oh, saying? long boy, God. Yeah, the duck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the mo- <laughs> when we mentioned Thatcher died. Oh, well. Long boy. Yeah. Not the duck. Akabono never heard of him. Oh, that <laughs> one duck. <laughs> Even the kicks the pen was doing at the back of command. I don't know what it was, but the stank he was putting on them was fantastic. Um, and then I, like, I love the lung blower reversal off the rope, rope walking SSP yep. that commander was doing for the, the setup for the fear factor at the end. Very, very good. What a lovely little match. Yeah, lovely it was. little match. I like Penta because they're not pushing him all the time because he's not full-time with AE Dub. But when he does show up, it's like, yeah, it's Penta. Yeah. It's Penta time. Yeah. Get yeah, yeah. your drugs out. Even if you <laughs> robbed us English fans. at uh, the Northern boy. <laughs> hey, he, robbed, he robbed the English fans. Do you remember All In last year when he came out and then did one move and then went back and got changed for half an hour and then did one more move and went home? Aye, then he that was, prick. Well, you, then he was red. It's good money if you can get it. He's red Penta. Oh, no. Now Penta's red. And he had Alex oh. Hernandez with him going, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's red now. I'm like, so? Yeah. All right. It was even better there live for us with no commentary because we were just like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. Brilliant. Up the Oscuro. Welcome mm. to Red Penta. Anyway, that was Collision for the three people that watched. NXT, Stand and Deliver. Stop being so bitter towards AEW, I'm just saying it's Matthew. against, what was it going against? WrestleMania. Yes, thank you. But it did a good rating despite its midnight airing time. It's I crazy, saw. That. Yeah, I don't know what the rating was, but apparently it was good. Mm. Hey, fair play to them. Uh, pre-show, Abe's special guest is revealed to be Ridge Holland, <laughs> the now retired Ridge Holland. What a disappointment! He will always Ava's... be part of the NXT family despite being retired for almost an entire week. <laughs> but it's all a ruse as Ridge attacks Joe Gacy during his entrance. Gacy still manages to beat Sean Spears. Arsehole! Right. What was the bloody point of that? Good. Ridge, the storyline's been fine at, up until this point here. What? Sean Spears what, has shown the truth. He's now going to be a killer professional wrestler. No remorse for any of his victims. Ah, uh, but no. <laughs> it was no. a bait and bait. <laughs> no. No, no, no. It was a bait and bait and it switch. It was a bait and bait and switch, yeah. Oh, yeah. man, what a load of bollocks. How was this yeah. not a heel turn? I don't know. And then he just turns up on it, Tuesday and oh, goes, Oh, that segment. So, that, sorry. I can't wait that's to watch that. Yeah. But I hit as good as this NXT uh, standard level was. I can't thank Steve. So, despite the chair shot from Ridge in the back for Gacy, the assault on NXT before stand deliver from Sean Spears, the power bomb from Ober, all the damage that's been done to his back. There's a belly to belly throw from the top from Spears during this match, which makes his back hurt even more. He still wins, does Joe? Which yeah, is yeah fantastic. he's indestructible. Yeah, crap for Ridge. Crap for, well, I don't know if it's crap for Spears because he's an older boy now, isn't he? So he's just there to fulfill a role and his role is clearly now just to put over the younger boys, which is what he did here, mm. making Joe look really hard. Mm. Yep. Um, but he did do a nice catch in, like, draping DDT off the top rope, which I thought was very nice, as was his Eddie Guerrero counter um, out of the gay seat, which we worked out was a Uranagi rather than the rock bottom. It looked oh, like the, it was going to be a rock bottom. Like the arm drag. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah it is very Eddie Guerrero. Just like right? Eddie Guerrero on yeah. Raw against the rock. That's right. Yeah, well done, I guess. Whatever. The biggest man of the match, though, was Booker T, because, as Vic noted, he was... The, Vic says, the thing I was most impressed with was not the match, but it was Booker not calling Joe Gacy Joe Coffee. <laughs> he says that on commentary right at the end of the Fair match. <laughs> Vic does not care. Vic just shoot it. Uh, we get an introductory video pack. Oh, God, you are right? I'm all right. <laughs> Did you burp? What caused that? I hit the bottom of the glass. On oh. Of the oh. oh, it was good last week when you went, oh, I it, hit, it was really good. I watched that back. I've seen that clipped a few oh, times. Yeah, good, it deserved good. it. Yeah, it's I good. Am a clip. We get an introductory video package just by the metaphor. 
who spoof various other NXT superstars and run down the card. I like this. Yeah, me too. Yeah. They nail down every bit of character in the gimmick, lovable yet sweary chase you, crime lord Italians, and whatever Dijak is supposed to be. Basement they nailed it. Men. It might be a lot of people's first time watching NXT. A lot of people just watch the big shows. Mm. And this was their biggest ever gate. Mm. Idiots. <laughs> Not being there for the week to week. Johnny come lately. <laughs> And I'm glad, bet they're glad that they did show up to watch this because the Wolf Dogs beat Nathan Fraser and Axiom to retain the NXT Tag Team titles. Yeah, man. I don't even know where you start with this I match mean, because there was so much. Axiom reversed a spear attempt into a super kick, which yeah, he, did. he did again on the weekly show, but I think the start went, no, maybe the weekly one was better. How he gets his leg that high so quickly, I'll never know. Practice. Um, Braun leaving it really, really late to the rotating part of the Frankensteiner into the set yeah. out powerbomb by uh, Baron. Uh, the Spanish Fly 450 combo kicked out by Braun. The self assisted cutter off the top rope from Braun. The Fly in Fridge by Corbin. Fly in Fridge. Yeah, yeah, down he yeah, came. Yeah, no flamboyance was fantastic. And then the finish with the tilt a whirl end of days into the spear from Braun on Nathan. Oh! Yeah, what man. What a match. What a match. The Wolfie D's just, uh, all their matches feels like a bit unhinged and on the edge of losing control, but it's really thrilling to watch as well. Yeah. And Nathan Fraser and Axiom, like, we've we've mocked them a lot, but we, so. I don't think we've ever really complained about their matches because yeah. they're always It's just when they excited. talk, isn't it? Not, yeah. not even Axiom. Axiom's quite funny. He's like, hello. Ah, sometimes Axiom. Did you know that kid called A? Look into my eyes. Oh, well, we can't <laughs> see you. Uh, what happened to the Heritage Cup? Hello. Just Nathan and Nathan. Yeah. Someone's right behind me, aren't they? Oh, bollocks. Mm, whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, I like Nathan starting uh, starting like the run, like, oh, I'm going to grab you. No, I'm not. I'm going to grab you. No, I'm not. Or I'm Baron, um, just to mess with him. I love Braun breaking his own pain attempt to do push-ups. That's very uh, Steiner. Yeah, just uh, everything you just said. Braun does the back suplex and it was stunner off the top. Due to gravity, didn't work as well as it could have, but even with some very slight moves that didn't quite work as well as they could have looked, didn't take away from the mm. match. They still look devastating, like, don't Exactly. They? The big moves of Braun really work well. Got a massive pop every time. A lot of fun here from everyone involved. Yeah. What a match. The yeah. only thing that could possibly follow that was Knuckles appearing. <laughs> <laughs> well, or, have you seen Jack? Or, or Romance go to try and interview Ober. Oh, God, I missed that out. The oh, yes, there he we did. go. Yeah, Fantastic yeah, yeah. little segment. I'm going to interview him. It's all right. Uh, it addresses in Dallas Cowboy Gears. Trying to uh, interview Ober. Doesn't get far out. The door slams open. Chaos. Him. <laughs> and they yeah, carry on. No. They're doing, yeah, they were carrying this. On our Twitch stream, I wore a red headband as if I was in Chase U. Oh, yeah. The one time I didn't wear this cap. And then all the bloody wrestlers are wearing this, the Dallas Cowboys uh, gear. Oh, is that what that is? Oh. I realized, yeah, and I realized that they did it because apparently the Cowboys and the Eagles are rivals. And we were confused because we were like, Dallas and Philadelphia, why? Oh, yeah. But it must be. I don't know why. I don't know why yeah. either, but I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh my god! Thanks to everyone who's explained why college basketball is exciting. Oh yeah. We've yeah. Oh, I've had so many. Oh, did you get oh, the big email. Nice. I did got the email. Yeah. I got the email as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's nice. Mm. I also like the fact that obviously I've said about Philly fans. They boo this. They did that. Someone lovingly brought a sign that said Santa deserved it. Yeah. In reference yeah. to the famous time the Philly fans, just miserable as they are, decided to throw snowballs at Santa. Mm. It's never left their their spirit. I I'm guess. F- Stifling yawns, and we're not even that far into the podcast. On, I'm sorry, I'm, I've got a Red Bull. A little stretch. I've a little stretch up this. Don't worry. You got any vodka? No. No, oh, that's a shame. I don't even. Matthew's got rum, but I don't want to steal his. This beer. match will wake you up. Obafemi huh? beats Die Jack and uh, Josh Briggs to retain the North American Championship. Oh me- yeah, man! As a member of our Twitch chat, Chris and it while we were watching it, call the police too. And it was. It was. It was really fun. Shades of SummerSlam 2017. In the fact nice, that it was just yeah. massive men bashing into each other. There was an office chair involved. There was an office chair. Mm-hmm. I had big appreciation for JB bringing back the Booger Red Undertaker pants <laughs> with added keychain. <laughs> and for recovering from, because they did the double like <laughs> flip spot at the very start with over like yeah. pushing. And he landed right, his chest, his chin ended up in his chest. Yeah. He's uh, Apparently he's cracked say, a couple of ribs or something. Yeah. Oh. Mm, he'll be out for a bit. I was going to say, no pop for Briggs when he came out but they were all going nuts for him once the action started. So. Everyone was popping. Yep. God, we spunked all over that streaming area next door, let me tell you, so during this match. Yeah, we <laughs> did, yeah. Knuckles was there as well. <laughs> you were very earnest when you like, oh, God, you oh, must have done it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I believe you had a wank over this yeah. one. No, uh, we, we couldn't believe how... I'm, in hindsight, I mean, I think we probably thought it was going to be pretty good, but they went above and beyond. They went yeah. 
long, didn't it? But yeah. it never slowed down. Never slowed down. Like Nathan Fraser. Uh, Oba using Dijak as a battering ram to yep. knock down JB coming off the apron. JB after that chin chest bumpy tuck taking the shame up man undertaker choke slam. Yep. Not through oh, the table yes, though. Uh, I forgot about the, that was the chair. Wasn't but it? on a Dijak. Oh yeah. In a chair. <laughs> it was <laughs> Yeah, Dijak was went through Ober, who was sat in the chair ringside. Yes. Uh, there was the Larry off the top from JB, which allowed yeah. Dijak to do his favourite flipping backwards bump. Uh, yeah. Dijak reversed a JB choke slam into a destroyer somehow. How does a man that God. tall do that? Yeah. Oba with my move of, of the week. Of course it is. Of course it is. Oh my. Oh, oh, oh baby. It's the tower, everybody. Dijak is sat on Ober's shoulders. JB's in the AA position on Dijak's shoulders. He was on top of Ober's shoulders. And Ober somehow walks into the ring and just goes, Meh, and throws them across the ring. That's a noise he made. Didn't finish the match, which I thought was bollocks, but I can't <laughs> complain too much because there was right. more. JB breaks up a fall on Ober after a feast your eyes with a bloody moonsault. This is JB we're talking about. He's a big boy. And then the ending was cinema because they punched the camera <laughs> yeah, yeah, right yeah. in. And then somehow... Dijak's pinning JB after another feast your eyes, and then Oba's big hand Arrgh! goozles. Uh, it would be Dijak. No, JB, and yep. he, he he choke slams him for a win. My God, mm. meat man. Yeah, I don't nothing know what more to add. No yeah. water. Everything love you there. Really, yep. really good. I mean, Briggs again. His, his look is needs replacing. He's not like a giant outfit. He needs a bit more of a gimmick than he. Cause right. They've taken away the cowboy and just replaced it with black attire. Yeah. <laughs> it's me. That guy was in a tag team, but isn't anymore. But this match ruled. Mm. Just non-stop big man bumping. Oberfemi looks the monster that they wanted to look like. Yeah. And crowd loved every bit of it. Mm. Nailed yeah. it. Yeah. When we first saw Oberfemi, we all were like, oh, he's got all the... He's huge and he looks great. And he, and then in the first few promos, we were like, oh, he can talk as well. But I don't think we realized that also he was capable of having the type of matches that he didn't even need to have. He could just be a huge monster and just coast on yep. just the basics. But he's actually really good as well. Fair play. They should Hell make him. Have they, have they had the double North American NXT champion for since? Was it Keith? Did Mello? Uh, did Mello do it? I can't remember that far back. I don't know if Mello did it. I think Keith no. or Karrion did it, didn't they? Keith might have done it. I can't remember. But whatever, they should it have him. Happen. They should have him do that and just have him steamroller everybody. Yep. Through to the main roster, mm. then someone who beats over that means they're made. They're yep. a made man. I completely agree, mate. Oh yes. Before the next match, the men of four try and interview Chase U. They hail put Noam Dar in a Kimura. So Stop nice. that. Well, yeah, Gordon. we daft it. Hail, yeah. As Gordon Strachan famously said, stupid questions get stupid answers. Mm. Shoot Kimura. Gordon Strachan. That's right. <laughs> uh, there's the JC at ringside. Hale teams up with Fallon Henley and Kalani Jordan to be JC Jane, Kalani James, and Izzy Dame. Oh, it is what it is. It is I what it is. Joy. It is what, what it is. is. And Izzy Dame is in this match. It is, it what, is, it is. what it is. Get on that horse. Beautiful. He missed it on the stream. Oh, I was devastated. I missed the entrance to My sing along. My favorite entrance theme. Even though it only lasted for three seconds, the entrance theme itself. Yeah, it was a six woman, so yeah. yeah. So the obvious story here, we were saying on stream, was for Thea Hale to lock in a shoot Kimura on JC Jane and show that evil bitch what's for. Yep. But they did anything but that. Yeah, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't believe yeah. it. I, was, I thought the heel team would win just because I couldn't see any of the three heels taking a fall at the minute. Um, especially not Izzy Dame, who seems to... I thought she was a bit of, like, the diesel to Keanu James's Michaels. I thought they, she'd be the one to break out from that. But yeah. cause, not because I, I think Keanu's really good, but I just thought it felt like they were protecting Izzy a bit. But then they've just gone, no, actually, you can take the fall. Strange. Yeah. Glad uh, that Thea had a moment. The old Thea here. I was going to say, yeah, Thea got to, you know, go for the spring roll dive to the floor, which Riley Osborne caught. Hell of a catch. Yeah, was I was going to say, he had the run. Yeah. Very nice. She was, she was on something, by, I'm a, uh, allegedly. Uh, <laughs> we can confirm she's yeah. on something. Oh, she was more than that. She was... She were a little pocket rocket. She was zonked on the uh, way down to the ring, I think the word is. Her eyes were popping out of her head. I was in the, <laughs> it's a blood feud, Ross. <laughs> she hates Jason J. She hates her. <laughs> And the feud will continue, which it I'm will. delighted to see. Uh, also, I think the highlight of the match... catch her as oh, well at one point? At what, yeah, on yeah. that same side of the ring. Uh -huh. Yeah, great teamwork from Chase Hugh there. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, obviously, it was a very nicely well-put match that had to obviously follow that three-way yeah. uh, sausage fest. But the highlight of this was Booker doing everything he could to defend JC Jane, saying she tried to make a woman out of Hale. And Vic going, that's not the storyline. 
and also rightfully say, look, uh, I think Vic tried to like trick him and says, well, JC wouldn't exist if it wasn't for one person. And Booker went, yeah, JC, <laughs> she's the one who helped him after the gambling yeah, thing, the calendar, which yeah. I don't think Vic was expecting. It's like, no, Andre. Uh, yeah. Sure, Booker. Booker's been paying attention. <laughs> This yeah, that's it. It's like, I think, I think it's like, oh, here's Booker doing stuff. Oh, no, that is that right. That's a surprise. Yeah, yeah. That is the, actually what, the plot. The storyline with the most ladies involved. <laughs> that's the one that Booker pays attention the to. The one about a racy <laughs> calendar. <laughs> Booker. <laughs> Booker's notes on this just, just say opposite of whatever Vic says. Because <laughs> they got to the moment where finally JC Jane's all alone. She's turning around and looking for her partners. They're nowhere to be seen. And Thea Hale's like, what's what? No, no, not him. He can't. No, he, she's. Um, Hulking up will go for Okay. Oh, I get you. Yeah, yeah. I was, was going to yeah. say She's like, Brock, Brock Lesnar up. That doesn't make any sense. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Bad rest is yeah. all the way down, isn't it, Ross? She's uh, carrying crossing up. Oh, uh, no. Go back to Hulk. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and she finally does some moves, but then eventually it's Izzy Dame who takes the fall. So obviously now that we've watched the weekly NXT, we can see they're going to do it again, you would mm. think, unless the hill goes back to JC Jane because she's now upset with Andre Chase after you know what oh, happened. Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, more than that. Um, but at the end of the match, they're all doing the final pose, the baby faces, and Fallon Henley. I teased her on stream. I was like, she could turn heel here. We were like, what's wrong with Fallon? Because she stood slightly off center, looking like Max Caster in a, a acclaimed promo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what was... But then it never got followed it never up got on yet. Up not on yet. Sure, so that was for nothing as well. It's well, another like, big well, like Max Caster, yeah. Mm. Or is uh, it made the switch? I don't know. I also liked... It's uh, Fed Herring. A yes, well. Nick's getting in a cheap shot and Bucky like she slipped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just a nice decent match. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah. It was a nice come down after the first two. Yeah, I didn't mind it because yeah. you couldn't you couldn't have so much. It was this isn't Wrestle Kingdom of previous years. This was probably I think I enjoyed this more than Wrestle Kingdom this year, which is crazy. This is better than Night One of WrestleMania. Yeah, and NXT yeah. stand deliver. I think when we got that later on, and you might be right. Night two. This was my, <laughs> no, show. Yeah, this was my yeah, yeah. show of the no, year. No, no, no. <laughs> we get a mysterious vignette, which includes a quote by Nietzsche. I oh. assess the power of will. Power of a will, sorry. How much resistance, pain, torture it endures and knows how to turn to its advantage. Sorry. Yeah, power. we got gaslit by the Twitch chat who were like, lads, this was just part of the Rhea Becky promo that followed it. And we were like, oh, right. Uh -uh. No, no. This is a, a video package for... Well, it's very similar to Sean Spears' vignettes. Okay. That he had before he rocked up and with the mysterious quotes and whatnot. Um, but God knows. It can't be Julia. Uncle Howdy? Uncle, I was about to say, yeah. Now he's on the main roster, isn't he? It can't be Julia. Oh, no, because she was there. Yeah, there, there was teasers on Raw this week for mm. Uncle H. Could it be Tavion Heights coming back? <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Tamatonga. <laughs> oh! There we go. I'll no, just say the same yeah. name I said for the Sean Spears yeah. ones. <laughs> oh, it, it, yeah. QT Marshall. Oh. <laughs> Back he was scene. there at WrestleMania. I can't believe he wasn't on stage. Yeah. Imagine. Do you see Ricky Stark celebrating WrestleMania? Oh, take it off The Undertaker. <laughs> no reason. Do you see, do you see Ricky Stark celebrating? Really good. I he did. hates AEW, Ricky Stark. He just wants to support his mate Cody. And yeah, yeah. also just say, gives a job. And his mate. I've got the CV printed out. Yeah. And his mate Jade. Yeah, all his WWE mate. Yeah. Oh. Backstage, Ava reveals a new title belt. The Women's North American Championship. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Ava. She's, she's, she's actually really. the best GM, you know. Yeah. She's the best GM ever. She's only 22 as well. I don't mm. know if you knew that. Wow. Really young. She uh, fully deserves the position that she's in. Wears cool clothes a lot. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I mean, if she was to run for a, another office alongside her NXT <laughs> GM's office in the fall, she would be in with a shot of getting it, I reckon. Mm. That was a line they actually said on the yep. weekly show. <laughs> Why would you run to an office? Are you late? <laughs> but I do like the look of the title. They've gone yeah. for the white belt and like the ready burgundy background instead of the gold, yeah. the goldy world. Yeah. Looks nice. I saw a Reddit post that said that um, dark belts are boys and white belts are girls, and that's just the rules. <laughs> that's just the way it goes. Yeah. Apart from, I guess, the classic IC belt. Of course. Mm. Uh, former stardom wrestler, Julia. Julia. Julia, yeah, big yeah, partner, yeah. shown in the crowd. I think Ooh. it's just pronounced Everyone, like you were just Julia. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Everyone online was talking like, oh my God, it's her, it's her, it's her. I'm. Do not follow, follow with modern day Yoshi. So, do you have anything to tell us about this wonderful person? Yeah, he's like a little green dinosaur who eats apples and carries Mario around on his back. No, um, <laughs> Julia is. Um, I described her on the stream as like, because in Stardom the bar's so high for talent. Like, it's such a deep talent pool of, of wrestlers in Stardom, so it's hard to be the best wrestler in Stardom because it's like so many of the women are insanely good. Um, but Julia's got like the sort of crossover mainstream star potential because 
she's got a great look and great charisma and stuff. And even though I've listened to her promos and don't understand what she's saying because they're in Japanese, the way she delivers them, you can just play, oh, like, she's really good. Apparently she is learning English as well, so hopefully. Yeah, she's just really cool. She lost her hair versus hair feud, shaved her head and just looked more cool. And everyone went, oh, right. Oh, like okay. the butcher. <laughs> yeah. She's just like, like the butcher. Thank you, Jack. more conventionally attractive. But yes, yeah, mm. she did. Well, it's not fair for me to say, actually. The, I'm sure a lot of daddies enjoy the butcher. I enjoy the we butcher. Do. Yeah, 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 fair enough. I'll tell you what, though, I called a sidekick to predict the Royal Rumble in you January. Did. And the Royal, the sidekick, sorry, predicted Julia to win. So she's got high hopes to live up mm. to from that sidekick who knew everything about wrestling. Yes. And more. But I she was sat next to Willie Reeves and big big Rossi. Didn't realize it was him. Rossi Agawa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope I've said that right. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, what's his promotion gonna be called? Can't wait. To find big out. Rossi Wrestling. B oh yeah, B R dub. B R yeah, dub. B R yeah, yeah. dub. <laughs> <laughs> no, no the roster on the pictures, just picture of him going like this. <laughs> it was a little hard. Dayton Paxi comes out from the crowd during Roxanne Perez versus Lyra Valkyria, but Roxanne shoves the allies into each other. Perez wins via submission to again become NXT Women's Championship. And Booker T, with a tear on his eye, was on his feet with a golf clap for his daughter. Uh, We laughed at that, actually. Yeah. It's just the the shot, the abrupt cut to the commentary table with just one man standing there. (laughs) (laughs) It's not even like, yeah, go on, daughter. It was proper serious, like, she has earned this, yes. Good. I liked how different feeling it was because it was not there wasn't as many bells and whistles as the matches that come before, which is proper technically sound, fundamental focused wrestling. Yeah, it wasn't call the police. It was like alert the council. Just call one one one. Yeah. Yes, that's for non emergencies. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah. Felt really bitter though. I enjoyed like the rivalry came through really well because we've obviously we've criticised the the promos and the delivery and the script. Both the delivery and the material they've been given to work with of the promos and the build to this. But when they get in the ring, like they both convey the hatred much better than they do on the mic. Yeah, and especially with the crowd just being like, yeah, we're going to cheer Perez. And you're like, yeah. Hmm, That's because just... Lyra, Lyra was done dirty with the book and I thought throughout the whole, so whole well, title yeah. reign. She didn't feel like a champion at all, did you? She wasn't presented like that. And in fairness, she... Did she beat again, Becky Lynch? Yeah, but you couldn't tell. But since could you? That, after that, yeah, I guess she wasn't yeah. pushed as the big star. Tip Strass was pushed as the big star mm. after that, and she'd just be like, "Hi, it's me." Uh, promo skills haven't been really complimenting her. You could say she's miscast because again, Perez has been also horribly miscast. But uh, during this, start off slow, and then restarted going around uh, when the lovely Tornado DDT set up the pop rocks. Then we started doing that. Oh, it's done. It just kept on building and building, and just kept our pace after that, and really got the crowd into them. Yeah. Even if I'm there going, it's supposed to be cheering Roxanne Perez, even yeah. while there's stuff happening. Pop but crowd like, yeah, we don't care. I hope Lyra's all right after all those pop rocks attempts, because oh, it's a devastating move. <laughs> but also, Lyra's arms. She's not. She hasn't got skin and bone and flesh. She's got whatever stretchy Armstrong's made out of. Because the amount of holds on those arms, or that one arm specifically, and for her not to tap out before she did, was Silly, in yeah. my opinion. There was too much, t- too many holds for it to be realistic. Ah, but she did tap out, though. In the Eventually, end. after half an hour of holds. Brave baby face. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, and at least it made sense to the storyline. So, yeah, I'm going to work, I'm going to dog your arm. Mm. Mm. And I'm glad that Tatum, well, we'll get on that later, but yeah, Tatum was at ringside. She dodged Roxanne, and that meant Lyra went into her, and then yeah. they've all obviously fell yeah, out yeah, since yeah, then. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, she, the mixed signal she was sent to Tatum as well, who just clearly loved her. Yeah. It was disgusting. <laughs> And then <laughs> we get a really silly homage to the Sopranos intro. Yay! We didn't get Woke it. Woke up this morning. Yeah. No. <sighs> Don't need to see it. Seen Tony? <laughs> Sesh? Yeah, I get it. Yay. Yep, got the lovely old, you know, thing and no one reacted. But the crowd did pop for Tony when he showed up. Not a lot of love for Sopranos, I guess, I'm fully. Um, Stax tried to give Tony D a set of brass knucks during this title match with Ilya. Tony says, No. Ilya eventually wins to retain the NXT Championship. They shake hands after Bell. All right, what happened here? I thought I was good. Last time we showed up on NXT and watched this, the Don was kidnapping Ilya, taking him to his wood shop, says, I can have you wet right here, and threatening to do whatever he wanted to bloody Ilya. Midway through the match, he's like, no, I want to win honorably. Because that's Don behavior. What What the hell? Like, call that's him not Don, Don King. behavior. Like, yeah, call him Don King from now on. Oh, I'm calling him a Don <laughs> Key. No, Don King was worse. Yeah. Oh. Don King. Great. Uh, I don't <sighs> know, to be honest. He could have... Would it have been more palatable if he just brought out the goons 
the hired goons to whack. Uh, <laughs> whack. <Yeah. laughs> and then Ilya had to fight from underneath. I thought that was going to be it. But he's like, no. This is about me and you. It's, like, it's not been about you and him the entire time. I don't know what happens to Ilya's matches in these well, big shows. They just He loses the plot. Well, hold on there, lads. I'm holding on. Because will this lead to tension within the fam? I think so. Yeah. I think the, Stax under, looked fuming with it, him. Under Bausch. Yeah. Uh, he'll he'll ascend to become the overboss. Tony, use the knuckles, Tony. No, I like the story of the match though. Obviously, being about the hand and Elia for some reason starts break dancing in the middle of selling earlier in the match. And he goes like, "Whoa!" <laughs> but lands on his hand and he's like, "Oh, it betrayed me fall. I can't believe it." Yeah, yeah. And he just kept the H bomb on the floor and he's like. It's not over. And he goes up on the announce table. And there's another one off the barricade through the announce table. Yeah. Super H bomb for the win. I thought it was a competitive match, but obviously Elia was a bit hamstrung with his hand. Or hand strong, uh, as you could say. Hand strong. Yeah. I like the Get bit, him, Ross. I like the bit where they both agreed to like strip the announce table. They were like, right, come on then, let's do this. Yeah. I thought it was, I thought it had quite good intensity. It's like they're about to have sexual intercourse. It was. Stripping that yeah. bed down. Yeah. Don't yeah. get any juices on those covers. Ugh. Put a towel down. Jesus Christ. Don't forget to bring a towel. <laughs> Good advice, mate. <laughs> bring the knee pads and all. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, but yeah, Stack's at the final, and he said the final whistle, then the final bell did look peeved because mm. he offered the nooks or whatever he'd offered to him, and he said no. He looked more annoyed than the Chelsea women's manager recently. When she assaulted a man. It was very similar to what Steve really? Punk did, actually. <laughs> Without the guillotine. Oh. Well, they agreed to have the non multi ball system in play. Oh. And all of a sudden, the Arsenal it manager was Arsenal, yeah, yeah, well, he wanted the multi ball system in play. So like, they could throw in multiple balls with yeah, one yeah. in the crowd instead of just having one. And then the Chelsea manager was like, Meh, get away. After the final whistle, yeah, she pushed him. And people went, wow. She put him in a really scary situation there because if he'd reacted in any way, he would have been mm. gone. So, yeah, he didn't do anything. Mm. It helped that his team had just won the cup, so he was pretty happy. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah, why would you? People oh. think that maybe her annoyance was tied to the fact that she just lost the cup final. Yeah. Anyway. Crazy. 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 Uh, yeah, I. Crazy uh, for ringing <laughs> without you. <laughs> uh, this match is structured, so it's like, are we turning Tony face? It's a club drop corner. I was it's a club drop. Oh. Tiny rebel. Oh no. Nice. Up the was tiny rebel. Huh? Was it free? No, I paid my. Oh, it was a Christmas present actually. It's been in the fridge for, since Christmas. <laughs> club drop corner drinks are free. Oh, oh, fun. See, that's so why you're sat over there. <laughs> yeah. Is it just the one or is there enough for everyone? <laughs> oh. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I actually looked at my bag there. Of course, <laughs> of course, Sesh knows about the club, Tropicana. <laughs> like. um, yeah, Ilya ran a million times to take a lariat as Tony suddenly, like, yeah. He's like, yay, face Tony, Ilya telling heel. It's uh, Ilya. What? No. But the way the crowd reacted, like, come on, Tony, yeah, you can beat him honorably. I'm like, what the hell? Ha like, yeah, yeah, I was completely became, out of this. It became like one. a samurai film, Matthew. Yeah, that's what it felt like. I'm like, but we're watching him being a complete dick. I don't Still think there's it. anything wrong with a mobster who's threatened to kill someone, want to do things the right way a eventually. Mobster nah, they lost, they lost me here. Exactly. I love, I love Ilya usually, but I think he needs to be like, either Shawn Michaels or him needs to be taken and go, okay, can you just, can you not like make this weird? Can you just have a match? I love you, Don. Like, oh, it's the hell yeah. Kiss. None of the kiss thing was a mm, mob mm, thing. Mm, that was a of mob course, thing. that made sense. But then it's like, yeah, they're trying to make him face or something. I'm like, I'm, I was lost. Oh. Good action, I guess. But I'm like, Ilya, will you just calm down? <laughs> He's got it at the main roster soon anyway, Ilya. Oh, Triple H will not pop up any of that. <laughs> he will. You watch. Oh, yeah, he will. Oh, you'll love it. The show will start. Act one. Yeah. Ilya gets to the ring. Do you remember one final beat? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Do you no, remember? that was NXT. That was NXT. Yeah, but it was me. Triple H, though. No, no Sean. No, no. Was that Sean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, of course, was, it's got yeah. Sean right now, Lauren. Yeah, One that final beat. Yeah, of course, Sean, yeah. yeah. How dare you compare Sean to Triple H? That was before Triple H's time on the main roster, was it not? In, in, um, the, in the booking chair. No, I think it was... Mm. Yeah, that was like... That was 2021, one final wasn't beat, it? I remember people slagging off Sean after one final beat. Yeah, was it Sean? Of course, know, that's what know, NXT's like that. I don't know if they I were... I call for a steward. I don't know if they were both maybe booking it at the time, but everyone was like... Everyone was like, Sean's fingerprints are all over this. Yeah. Oh. It, was, it was 2020. That's Triple H NXT, surely. No. It was the pair of them, I think. I can't remember. Nah. Rainbow 2.0 is when Sexy Boy took nah. the full reins. I'm saying, yeah, well, yeah, it was Debbie Holden Summer doing this. I definitely <laughs> remember, whether he was officially in charge or not, I definitely remember everyone assuming that Sean was in charge of one final beat because it felt so Sean Michaels. Rubbish. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just hope, like, Ilya shows up to Raw and goes, I have the script for Othello. And Triple H's like, no. 
Great. <laughs> great. Um, I'm going to go out and have a five minute match. Shut up. Great play. Maybe great be for his benefit. Anyway, moving on. Um, we got a hype video for Javon Evans. 19 formerly years Jay old. Malachi in the Indies. And I was like, oh, I don't know who this lad is. And, I follow, and he follows me on Twitter. So I'm like, oh, what a lad. Oh, what a lad. Oh. oh, no, I've done the curse. Did, 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 did. Oh, wow. Next, this time next week, he's going to just like, something bad's going to happen to him now. <laughs> I've said something Did nice. you follow oh. him back? Or did you big league him I did follow him. I followed him back, yeah. Oh, oh hello, kid. Oh, I didn't oh what, the, the young OG. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. He's bouncy. You know, I did, though. I loved his match on XT. We'll get into mm. later on. He is bouncy. But the main event. We've got a, a segment, by the way, where Lyra's pissed at Tatum backstage. Oh, we didn't get that. Even though it was a complete... Oh, sorry. Yeah, complete accident. Yes. And I was like, yeah... It, Tatum, now is not the time. Because we had the same booking in two matches in a row, because Lyra could have cheated in her match, but she didn't. And yep. then Tony did the same thing. What a, what a whopper. Stop being such a potato. He <sighs> <sighs> was on the stream who came up with that. Well, was it not me? It was in the same it was in I've stolen it. Potatum <laughs> pie. I've stolen it as well. <laughs> It's sort oh, in the chat, was not it? God. <laughs> Potato time. I'd like to apologise to whoever came up with that. Potato time. Oh, you're getting like... roasted again. Uh, roasted Shut up, I need a sympathy ooh. Hall of Fame winner. I was impressed. Kimberley's faces Trick Willies at the main event. Both trick men Willies. Try How many use... Willies, eh? Yeah. Both men try to use a chair, but the ref stops them. Trick wins the closer show. Well, now, that we sounds were... really, really undramatic when you say it like that. But, we, uh... we were baffled by the the kind of simpleness, simplicity, that's the word, of the match. I don't think anything in it was bad, and I think they both did well. But if it was it was the fact that it was in the main event slot, and it had been built up to as if it was, like, the most important match, you've got these video packages with, like, Orton and CM Punk <coughs> and Cody Rhodes going, oh, who's going to win? And then it was just, like, a really normal... It could have been the main event of a weekly NXT. I get you. I don't think it was much better than that, but you're right for what we expect. I am just hypothesizing that they went... Mm, don't do too much, lads, because the biggest rendement is Ooh. happening later on. So, uh, But I thought what we got was good, but you're right. When it happened, I'm like, oh, but as someone has, has bitched about, like, oh, here we go. Here comes the NXT incredibly long, overdramatic main event. I'm like, oh, that's good if they do that from time to time. Makes it more suspenseful. Yeah, I guess so. I was saying in the stream, like, if you want to make Trick, like, the guy going forward, having him do one finishing move to Mello and then Mello definitively put him over... It doesn't have to be any longer than it was. It did feel That's a good point. It did yeah. feel short. Like there wasn't much to the match in terms of like big OOR spots, but we had plenty of OOR spots earlier in the night. So the fact that Trick, it was just the right result and Trick got the big win. What more did it have to be? Oh well, yeah, so, man. Oh yeah, man. That's Trick. Yeah. Uh, and it was getting a bit silly anyway. The uh, referee got in the chair. He's <laughs> he's taken five shots and then immediately getting up to low blow. Oh, did he? That was a bit silly. By this point, we were like, we were ready to... But I'm like, wait, he hates him. That's what this is about. Yeah. We were ready to wrap up this stream by this point. Not actually, it (laughs) flew by. I've made this sound like a porn in my notes. Like, I've got nice tease. Nice tease with the ref down spot. Chair play, then dick kick. (laughs) Chair Chair play. play. Chair play. (laughs) (laughs) Like sword play with chair. (laughs) Um, I like the second ref coming down, because we're going that Mello might be doing it here, because the second ref coming down, who I said looked like Pete Rosenberg, but didn't. Yes. Once it Um, zoomed in, you were like, oh, no, he doesn't. different guy, isn't it? Mm. Because it was nice. The story of the match was nice, with Mello being proper tricky early... uh, Tricky. Proper cocky early on, and then eventually that bite them in his ass, and then Trick going on to get the win. I think one finisher was enough. Protected his finish, the big tricky kicky. Exactly. <laughs> I think that's what they call it. The and big tricky <laughs> kicky. And then we've since learned that there will be a Rima in a, in a steel cage. Salad yeah. everywhere. Mm. Cucumbers, Yay. tomatoes, lettuce, bit of red onion. Yeah. Mm. So Salad dressing. Sorry. Base guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Ross turns to the Booker T section of the review. But yeah, what a what an overall great show. Really good show. Yes. Was it better than WrestleMania Night One? Yes, it was. Let's find out after this piss break. After a oh, piss. Oh, Christ, I was going to piss myself. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it's WrestleMania. Yes. Like what? Oh, it's WrestleMania. Oh, WrestleMania, friend. It's WrestleMania. Oh. Booger. Yeah, it's 11 degrees. It's bloody freezing. E- we get a new opening graphic. <laughs> uh, that's what Michael Cole said about 50 times. He did. We will get on to that. But first of all, the new opening graphic. No more than now forever. It's a bunch of star stuff. Oh, uh, he still says it. Now. Uh, it's then, him, it's then, him then, saying it. it. Now yeah. it's now. Uh, then uh, forever. Yeah. Uh. Mm, it's good. Forever. Uh. It, it's okay. It looks a bit like 
blurry. At the start, I had to figure out who the hell's that? The very first face you've seen. It took me, oh, it's Andre the Giant, but without his giant afro. So uh, it's just. It's very oh. Marvel esque. You know, the Marvel. Yes, that's definitely like what they're that, going for. But mm. I know exactly why they're going for this. It's obviously, we'll be, you'll hear about 100 million times. It's a new era. Uh, and uh, obviously, to get away from that Vince lad. And what better way of doing that than a new intro and also a rendition of the Star Spangled Banner? The Star Spangled Banner. Rather than America the Beautiful. Why did they do America the Beautiful? Because Vince didn't like Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, Vince didn't like Star Spangled Banner. Strongly by one. Uh, in in terms of his taste, there, I'm in agreement. I think really? the, the old one was a better tune to sing along wow. with. Wow, <laughs> from sea to shining sea. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm always jealous of the Star Spangled Banner because it's much better than our national anthem. I like it. It's a banger. And the rock. The Star Spangled Banger is what they should call it. Yeah, they should. It's Coco Jones. I'm not, I'm not familiar, but she did. She sang it nicely. I love the Coco. Uh, I had a lovely time with America one time. That, that was that. really her name. It was definitely Coco Someone. It is Coco Jones. You oh, are right. Thank God. And uh, yeah, Michael Goldberg comes to the show and says, it's bloody freezing, pet. You want to bring your coat? I think 11 degrees, which for us is like a nice, fresh spring day. Mm. Yep. Not even cold at all. Yeah, we're getting a uh. video of uh, the greatness <laughs> of Philadelphia. It's uh, not Sylvester Stallone doing it. I think it was, as was rumoured or wanted to happen. It was Meek Mill instead. Yeah, it was, was kind of like Sylvester Stallone, I guess, but cheaper. It was Millie. <laughs> yes, it Millie, Millie Vanilli. Uh, <laughs> girl, you know it's girl, girl, you know no, it's girl, girl, you know it's girl. That's what sort of song said the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah. Does that one over again. In the opening, by the way, if you haven't seen that documentary, it's amazing. Uh, in the opening match, Rhea Ripley beats Becky Lynch to retain the Women's World Championship. And not only is it cold in the arena, but it's cold in Becky's head. She's got strep throat, or she's injured, or she's this, she's that. She's and ill. I'm like, hang on, this is interesting. Why is this happening? Has there been any mention of this in the build-up, or was this a thing on the day? It, it was, was on the thing. day, yeah. Right, she okay. Strep throat and 102 degree fever. Just like Bret Hart, when he lost the title to needs, the Mountie. Matthew, we might as well do it now. She needs what does she need? What does she need? Some Irish chocolate. <gasps> and wouldn't you just know it, everybody? This top of the morning, we received a letter through the mail <laughs> with some lovely no. Irish chocolate. I'll go through the flavors here. We got a dairy milk tiffin, a dairy milk caramel, a dairy milk mint crisp, and a dairy milk golden crisp. Nice. All of which would have rid Becky Lynch of her illness. Dear Diddlers, I was shopping today in South London and I found this lovely Irish chocolate. Irish chocolate. In the World Foods aisle. Very happy to enclose uh, some for you to try. Sorry, Matthew, because there were no non-dairy options. Unhappy face. Oh, thank you for Would you like to put your pants on the podcast <laughs> there? I might have Matthew. a little chunk. That won't kill us. Uh, I hope you enjoy this as much as I enjoy your podcast every week, which is a lot, underlined twice, smiley face. Oh, Thank you very much. Thank Best you. wishes and lots of love. Zimbabwean defender, Danger <laughs> Fourpence, a.k.a. <laughs> Emma Whitaker. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much, Emma. That's lovely. P.S. I do agree with Becky. That the chocolate is way better than Cadbury's you get in London. Oh, right. ah. very interesting. What is Tiffin? What a lovely handwritten thing as well. Yeah, what is that? Tiffin? Real it says paper. The classic creamy taste there on the bar. Oh, as lovely. Supposed to what? We'll try it later on. Tastes but, yeah. like poo. As for this match, I thought it was fantastic. Did you? I did think it was fantastic. I thought the story with Becky trying to prove that she's better than Rhea. And then seeing Rhea had a weakness, but then Rhea just being too big and strong and reversing most of the attempts that Becky tried to put the iron bar on with power bombs and kicks and whatnot. It was a simple story, very well told. Fair enough, yeah. I like Becky reading from Becky's book. It's nice for her to give her permission for that. Her dad is God. What do you mean? Her dad is God. What, 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 God is was, dad, it was Nietzsche. The, it was the quote one. It was just like, ah, this came from me dad, but also the Bible kind of. Mm. As we all know, Bible was written by the God. Yep. Not those little, dis <laughs> not those little disciple lads. No. Bible was written by the God. <laughs> oh well, the New Testament was written by the disciples, but it's the Word of God, isn't it? Exactly. God and His big mm. God pen. The yeah. Spirit of God's pen passed through your Michaels. And then I did something else cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's really blasphemous. Really blasphemous. And then Joseph says, "My God, you're looking handsome today. <laughs> Why, thank you, Joseph." <laughs> Now do what I say, or I'll turn you into a pillar of salt. Ooh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Old Testament God was a heel. Oh, he's a proper heel. Ah, and then he turns face. Old, Old Testament God's like Harley Race. <laughs> Coming up the territories direct, direct the local land. <laughs> the territories. <laughs> well, they're searching. Uh, went did a few, did an excursion in Egypt for a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I liked it as well. I thought it was good. I thought it was a good opener. Uh, I thought 
that it wasn't as good as like some of the epic women's title matches we've seen in the past few years, like Bianca right. Sasha, but it was still good enough to live up to the billing, especially with Becky feeling unwell and Rhea having a panic attack on the day of as well, apparently. Right about that, yeah, bloody hell. Yeah. Yeah. So they both did really well to pull through and put on a good match. Yeah, thinking about that with the, you're right, with the, oh, okay, is, this is surely what they're saying because Becky's going to be losing then. As I've said, she's ill and she's suffering and she's got a bad head and she misses her Irish chocolate and all the other things there. They're setting us up. They're protecting mm. her. That's fine. No, it was and real, she it? didn't. Yeah, but yeah, as you said, it was real. Um, you could tell because it, she didn't look particularly great. I thought, and I'm like, oh, oh okay. But then hang I'm like, on. So then. No, 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 no. Again, I was excited for this match. I think they're both great. They're two of my favorite wrestlers on she the roster. Gorgeous. Yeah, no, stop it, like. <laughs> of course, she always like gorgeous. Um, but uh, love the counter of the leg drop in the prism trap. Ripley cheered over Becky. There was no hiding at that point. Yeah, yeah. 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 doesn't matter. No, Ripley's the biggest heel. We don't care. I'm with them up to Philly. But uh, I think she looked great until the part of the match where the finisher started getting kicked out of. The crowd went nuts when the riptide was kicked out of. I saw some people say the finish was botched because on the top rope, but looked perfectly fine to me. Yeah, I Ripley's so. like, well, I've fallen off. I landed on my feet. Punch. Yeah. <laughs> hit the riptide on the turnbuckle setup. Hit another one. It was an okay match. Not the mega, mega mom man encounter I was thinking it was going to be. Um, but it didn't help that people have been saying for a few months now, ooh, she's leaving, Becky. I'm like, Really? Apparently, the match is ill and she's doing all this and ooh, her, and, those allegations. her and Seth's contracts are apparently up pretty soon. Oh. Mm. Mm. But again, not a bad match by any means. would never say that. It's just like, again, I'm thinking like, oh, here we go. Finally ready for this. Not first time, but happened one time on XT, but really count match. And it was just, oh, considering everything was going on, it was, it was good. It was more run sealed than uh, I, WrestleMania. I thought it turned out to be one of the better matches of night one, though. Because I, I, yeah. was, I wasn't a huge fan of night one. Yeah. Mm. I thought it was a proper ding dong, mate. You missed the spot of the match where they did the th uh, in the electric chair position over the top rope and somehow Becky stayed on yeah. rear shoulders and then Rhea did the electric drop, electric drop on the f electric chair drop on the floor. Well done. Easy for me to say. But I thought Harder was, to do. Yeah. Nice story. With, obviously, Rhea's got the target on her arm. I thought she'd had a haircut with the entrance, the motionless and white fella. I thought that was Rhea. That is like, <laughs> like hang on, wait. So it looks like her in 2022, yeah. yeah. Um, but now she's got the extensions in there. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was a good match. Me. They should have done the WrestleMania 9 doink and doink spot <laughs> with Emotionless and White. With Christopher Motionless, I think his name is. It is. Is that his name? Google it, Joel. I could not believe Christopher it. Christopher Motionless. Wait, wait, Kay Kaylee, used, Kaylee used to listen to them in high school and I was just like, right. oh, what's, because I was writing the notes. Oh, there's something having a run. <laughs> Chris Motion. His name's Chris wow, Motion. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kayla was a fan of him back in high school, and then oh, Chris Motionless is his name, apparently. What a name. I think he's, he, might, he might have changed it from yeah, something. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> Born in Scranton. Scranton, oh, Scranton, PA. Up the office. Up the Scranton. Oh, yes, because Owen, I think, mentioned that, and then we laughed about the idea of her coming out to do. Oh, yeah. They call it Scranton. What? The electric city. And then. Pretty deadly. <laughs> Preview the six-team ladder match. Complete with progressions of the teams. Oh, my God. DIY are each of his dads. They should talk about it more. That's way more impressive than anything they've done in the ring. <laughs> I only stand one raw family, and it's them. <laughs> and they said, I, I, I plague on both their houses to end it. These silly gays. They're so great. <laughs> so good to see representation on TV. In the six-way ladder match, Austin Theory and Grayson Waller quickly pulled down the SmackDown Tag Team titles. The match continues until R-Truth and The Miz win the Raw belts, with Truth getting the better of Damian Priest down the stretch. Brian Alvarez was fuming. Oh, <laughs> what else is new? He hates The Miz so much. Oh, I don't know he why. still does, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he doesn't when, get it. He doesn't like that side of I like... remember early on when Logan Paul was still learning to wrestle, yeah. and he's like, he was better than The Miz. I was like, no, he wasn't. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> it was so funny. Yeah, they did a four-way feud. Was it Cesaro... Uh, oh, Owens, Owens and, and Miz. And Zane, yeah. and it was like, but the Miz was there. It's like, you know, that's the idea that they all want, all three of them hate the Miz, and that's how they're not. Like, somebody athletic should have been in this match. It's like, well, like ye, Brian. Sure. Look at the Miz's body. He's in the cut he's been on. Oh yeah, oh. bulk and cut, baby. Yeah. Do you think it's just like, uh oh, too much of our truth? And he's uh, still jacked uh. <laughs> at eighty, however years old he is right now. And it's like, yeah, so this was great. Um. Um. 
Oh. You know what? You can talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are from the end of the match. I so. thought that the finish of the Raw Tag Team title belt section was as it should have been with Truth finally getting the better of Priest. Yes. After Priest kicked him out the Judgment Day, kind of, but not really. Uh, there was lots of highlights, like um, the aeroplane spin by with Tyler with Finn on his shoulders and the ladder on top. Mm -hmm. yep. And the bump Finn was forced to take off the back of that. The razor's edge from Priest mm. on, Ty on Pete, sorry, into Tyler, who was on the ladder. That was gnarly. Uh, I thought Truth had the crowd in the palm of his hands doing five moves of doom. He pins Finn for some reason in the middle of a ladder he match. He made a hot tag. Also yeah. gets a lot hot tag in the ladder match. Uh, DIY. Uh, no. Yeah, DIY want the set of titles and they get sort of shooed away and they town down, get the SmackDown tag team titles. That's how that came around. Yeah. That's around the time where Johnny Gargano did the DDT on the Pete Ooh. Dunn. Through yeah. the outside. table. Yeah. Oh. And that dude at ringside was calling, going, wow, that ain't fake. Jesus oh, Christ, really? it was gnarly. Yeah. Uh, DIY also do the super kick pedigree combo, which I don't understand how that helps them, but HBK's got a HBK, I guess. I like their attire and their entrance with the, the DX homage. Yeah, but Champa looks more like Goldberg than he does uh. either of them. Like, <laughs> he looks like modern day Triple H. He is little yeah. Triple H, yeah. yeah. He, wish, he wishes. The uh. bobblehead Triple H. Uh, I liked uh, Kofi's trust fall from the ladder to the outside because he got really high, right? Mm. And then Champa was shocked to see him do an air raid crash on oh. bait off the ladder. Yeah. They did that beautifully slowly as well. It was Just like with a jump. His... It was like, oh, here we go. Now, now Trig, like, act natural. <laughs> with a neck like that? My goodness. And then obviously the moment of the match was when referee Jessica Carr spotted the, the ladder priest oh, was trying God. to climb. Yeah. was broken. So in kayfabe, it looks weird that referees tried to stop someone climbing the ladder. Yeah. But she had good intentions. I'm going to sneeze. Yeah. Elephant, elephant, and elephant. And he just ignored her. I'll jump in there for a second. Mm. And then uh, he ignored well, her. No, you don't. Those tag titles are mine. <laughs> and then he ignored her and then realized halfway up, oh, that's what she was talking ah, about. And yeah. then the Miz on the other side just decides, I don't care either. And then they're both teetering on this ladder. I'm glad they swapped it out for the end. Yeah. yeah, he still managed to hit it. I know. I think it, looked, it, looked, it looked cooler that the ladder fell out beneath things. It's like so strong and manly. It yeah. broke the ladder. It was mad. But it um, been in the business. Uh, it uh, delivered yeah. on what it was setting out to deliver. I think it stood and delivered. Yeah, and it gave Truth the, the WrestleMania win yeah. that Cole was hammering home that he never had, mm. and the crowd wanted it because people love Truth. We like him being stupid and dopey and forgetting everything, but we love him when he kicks ass and actually wins stuff. Yeah, so yeah. Here he is, 105 years old. <laughs> win the tag team titles uh, match had some brutal bumps I think it was mostly just big spots though because of a lack of proper feud or focus because there was that many tag teams involved so for the action it delivered for the actual focus and you know reason to like oh yeah I really want this dude to do this you're like it was just the one spot with Priest at the end and Truth where Truth Priest was going to get him and Truth yeah. gets him out of the ring yeah. that was it yeah but not a bad match by any means yeah I enjoyed it yeah I enjoyed it as well I just uh, I'm intrigued to see because I thought that the awesome truth would have already lost the belts by now, but they haven't. Yeah, right. So yeah, yeah, good for them. Uh, with the help, oh, with the help of two burly oh. Luchadors. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> Rey Mysterio and Andrade beat Santos Escobar and Dirty Dom. Carlito does not turn heel, right? The baby faces celebrate with the Luchadors, who and Mast reveal themselves as oh. Philadelphia Eagles, Jason Kels and Lane Kelsey, Johnson. Kelsey, Kelsey. What where are have, you doing here? Where have you been? I don't know it's pronounced Kelsey. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. a big fan of the Philadelphia Eagles. But his brother's going out with T Swizz. His brother's going out with T Swizz. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Um, <laughs> J Jason Kelsey. No, sorry. Yeah, that, that name is fine as a name. Lane as a first name is so American. I love the idea of the first name being Lane. My name is Pathway right. Jiminy. You have to help watch me. out for him, though. Help, help Jack, me. you have to watch out them. I heard he can get mad and he turns into a real cycle path. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, man. I go home now, Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Sesh's like, oh, wow. <laughs> He's had a beer now, Sesh. Sesh's on the beer. What beer's on he got, the Sesh? Beer. Sesh. Uh, Camden Hells. Oh, Hells. you hipsery doobie boy. You regular <laughs> Sam driver, you. Ah. Sam likes Camden Hells. Oh, who's going to be hipster? It's like it's oh, no. pale ale. He is. Is it? Oh, it's lager. Oh. Pale lager. Fair enough. Well, you can buy the pale, pale lager for a pale man. Uh, but I think that... What? I think I'm... You don't take that from him. <laughs> Dude, why don't you no, do something like, about it? Well, he made that great joke. Oh, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, it's like... That's it. See what I like. Um, any things on the action before I add? Because you do uh, a good Lucha job Lucha doors. I can see why they had them wear masks, because they are the size of doors. 
Yeah, okay, big lads. Big boys. And Jason Kelsey hopped the top rope in Tim's, my guys, which is very in, very impressive because Tim's He's aren't got the Tim's most... on. Yeah. Steven Bastard. <laughs> what do you mean? Like Tim's shoes. The guy got Tim's. The guy called Tim and oh, his yeah. shoes. And... I've got nothing. I don't care about these bloody stupid No, shut teams. up, man. There was a fantastic electric chair. <laughs> yes, there was. Double cross body from Andrade and Ray from the ropes to the floor, which was lovely. That was lovely. Carlito's turn was teased by Cole on commentary, but I guess because the Lucha doors, because they're as big as doors, the fact they came around meant that Carlito pooed his pants and th- probably thought, no, I'll save that for a better day. That's my only rationale from that. Yeah, I feel like you're still going to turn very soon. Uh, Andrade did a nice moonsault from the top rope to the floor, but that's what he does. The Shaggin Cousins and LWO come down. There's a nice uh, moonsault from Zelina in the midst of that, while mm. Joaquin does his boing. Whee! Yeah. Uh, his big boing. Uh, but apart from that, it just it felt like a bit more, obviously, with the finish, a bit more bells and whistles than a TV match, but it did just feel like a, a, a tag team TV match. Yeah, a little bit, but I still found it okay. Just ask him why Carlito didn't turn heel. That's what yeah. we're doing. I know it felt like they did it because everyone had predicted it, so they thought, well, we'll not do it now then. Sometimes the, you can be too smart for your own good. Yeah, I, I agree with that. <laughs> and it, it, it looks like it was working around the NFL stuff at the end rather than the feud, which well, is completely on. gone, which is like, Dragon Lee, we're pushing you. Oh, I've got Andrade. Yeah, you can go away, Dragon Lee. Mm. To be fair, though, if you can get access to a Kelsey brother in 2024, you're going to do it, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. But why this match? What well, are, these two got to do I with these luchas? This was, this what was, other matches are going to be? Yeah, this was quite a harmless match. To lucha and Lucha and Espanol and all that. Two lads from the NFL. It's this one or the Philadelphia Street Fight. That, that, that would two, have made way more sense. That were your two choices there. Yeah, fine. Have that. No, Bubba, that. Bubba, Bubba, Bubba's already soaking up all the thing in that match anyway. So, But yeah, I thought uh, Andrade, his dragon screws look beautiful. He had wrestling with more pop and snap than he has in a long time. Fantastic. When he can be asked, he's really good. And here he is, WrestleMania, 70 odd thousand people. Yeah, he can be asked. Love that back elbow. Yeah. And mm. the action fine. I'm like, oh, and then just this. I've lo- lost me completely. It's, it's, it's Kelsey, brother. I put a, two white dudes, aka a podcast, ran in at the end. Oh, wow. It's a Kelsey, brother. Even I, I have no interest in the Kelsey brothers, but I know. Well, what's they that going to do with these lads? It's WrestleMania. It's in Philly. It's in Philly. Have them join him with Logan spectacle. Paul. And... It's the granddaddy of them all. It's the showcase of the immortals. Are those all right? <laughs> just a TV match. I thought it was going to be bigger and better than it was, but uh, no, we'll not, be fault, not the Luchas lad fault. I had little expectations for this. Well, apart yeah. from Carlito turning heel, because it feels like we've been around this round this merry-go-round 50 times. Yeah, we've been down this lonely road of faith before. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a song. Ooh. I'm with the band on How did, how did Kid Rock have a song back? I had to go, it's a cover, right? There's well, no uh, way he did I've, a song like this. I've listened to it. It's such a rip-off of Freebird, though. Isn't there part where it even goes like, change, change. There is, but I wouldn't. Re- no, no, he ripped off some other songs later on. Okay. Yeah. Homage. Uh, Jey Uso is accompanied by, <laughs> quote, the best rapper of all time. Yes. Lil Wayne. How uh, dare you? When yeah. Buzz, Buzz Cox is sat right there. Yeah. <laughs> now, from what I understand, Lil Wayne is. Not he's he's definitely more popular in his homeland than he is over here. So maybe we don't appreciate. We have all heard of Lil Wayne. You can't call, like Bedrock. Yeah, young man. Nah. He over here. He is just the guy who hops on a pop song and does the little verse towards yeah. the end. Where he's yeah, like, yeah, I'm Lil Wayne. Man. But he's the greatest rapper of all time. Like the Osprey Danielson feud. You can't call yourself the best. Or have someone else call yourself the best. I reckon you can in, your ra- in, the, in the rap game. I reckon you can. You just, the- anybody that said he's the best rapper of all time, you're like, oh where. This had Jimmy my Wolfie D came out. This had my favorite line of the night from people I was watching it with because it's just a wonderful insight into Aiden's brain. I don't know what. Oh dear. No, no, it's not. It's not... <laughs> he went. He went. So, uh, so and Aiden, by the way, is not like Owen, who only learned about music in the past sort of two years. Thanks Aiden... to Joel. Thanks to Joel. Sesh, me sorry. Sorry, Owen. <laughs> um, Aiden is a fan of music from teenager. Like he's a big like emo boy. He likes My Chemical Romance and the like. But he clearly doesn't know hippity hop very well because he went. There was like a moment where all we all laughed at the call that he's the greatest rapper of all time. Then we were all like, "Oh my god, what the hell!" And then Aiden went, "Would Eminem be classed as a rapper?" And we went, "Yeah, <laughs> famously." He should have kept him going. No, 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 no. He's more of a songstress. Like, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's de- he's one of the three tenors, is he not? It's just about the way he went. <laughs> Wait, would Eminem be classed as a rapper? <laughs> Would be classed as a yeah. Rapper. What does he think Eminem yeah. does? Uh, I haven't said that though. I said WWE being more mainstream than they have been in a while and cool. Getting Little Wayne, 
That is. Hang he's on. A, he's, a, he's a household name. The, yeah. the, the Kelsey brother doesn't impress you much. <laughs> I don't like NFL. Neither do I. But I know him. <laughs> no, I could. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, good for them getting a, a big name because he knows his, was his brother's seeing Taylor Swift. Yeah. He's also That's a That's the link. He's also a big American footballer himself. Yeah, he's retired okay. now. He's just retired. But um, yeah. What, after this? No. And he dressed well, up. Well, I helped Rey Mysterio beat his son again so I can retire happy. He, he made waves during the Super Bowl. Again, run. I'm happy, but like, I get what's it have to do with the match that would. It, he's from Philly. A, a he's, he's a Philly hero. Yeah, yeah, but a celebrity thing like that shouldn't, like, Door ride the stuff that's happening with the rest of the match. It's the size of a door, which door. It yeah. all makes sense. It it does. Does. Yeah, well, you can shut the door when he leaves. Poor Lane. Oh. You know, more recognition Ooh. for Lane. Don't know. Because his name's Lane. Yeah. Funny. I always thought he was a middle of the road type of player myself. Oh, dear God. So, anyway, again, little Wayne, big name, though. So, it's fantastic. <laughs> the good thing that they're getting all these people in. But then, Jimmy apologizes to Jay during the match, but it's all a ruse, and he kicks him in the face. Jay still wins. Now, I. All I saw online when I had a brief look on Twitter when I wasn't doing the smokes was <laughs> people's overwhelming negative reaction mm. to this. So when I finally sat down for this, I actually was surprised at how negative people were to it. But what did you guys think? I thought it was underwhelming AF. Yeah. AF. There was that one bit of drama, as you say there, where Jimmy's on his knees going, I'm sorry, and then Jay falls for it for some reason. Th th that, yeah. And that, then he that. kicks him in the head. It was just... The action wasn't what it should be for such a feud that it's been built up to for the past year and a half, if not longer. I can't remember how long it's been now. Yeah. It's been a while. Um, I think there was subliminal messaging at play uh, with the sponsor of the match being Ass Wipes. <sighs> so the match was ass from start to finish. Right. It's it was number. like, what were they called? Uh, dude Wipes. Dude Wipes, that's the one. So they're like... That's they're, oh, they're they're still like, selling Dude Wipes. Like, that like, was a joke like 10 years ago. They're like wipes, but like for men. For men. They cost more because men. Then again, they are the offspring of the guy who did the, the stinky face. So I guess it does quite tie true, in. True, yeah, true. But it was just... For me, it was... There was too many... I don't want to sound like an old man, but I'm going to sound oh, like an old no. man. Go on, go on. Bloody there was right. too many bloody super kicks. They were. But that's were, the point of the match. No, they were throwing super kicks like punches, though. But... Uh, this is what I took This is more with. egregious than a Young Bucks match, I would say, Matthew. This is what I took umbrage with, because the whole point is that they both do that move, so they're both going to go, well, I'm better than you, and they're going to absorb and they're do this. They're both crap at it, then. And I realise, <laughs> I realise, I watch a lot of, like, the Japanese, like, Puro style, like Tenru, and some of their matches are just like chop, 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 punch, punch, in the same move over again. So like, oh, I can't I'm going to absorb it, you do this. Chop, and I chop, thought chop. it was like that, but if you're not into that type of thing. <laughs> no, well, but I haven't uh, chops and punches, not super kicks, though. Super kicks are like a... A chop and a punch, you can go back and forth all day with them. Not a super kick. Well, the users have clearly trained themselves to withstand the super kick yeah. in preparation for this match. <laughs> you know what? That's exactly... Yeah, you no, say that, uh, but that, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, I, I tweeted jokingly, but I'm amazed you've said that because I tweeted, this is like Kensuke Sasaki versus... Um, there you go. Kabashi. Kenta Kabashi. And uh, people got cross with me <laughs> for saying that. I can it was, see that going badly on Twitter, it, but I agree with the idea of that, that right. Japanese style of like, go on, hit me. I'm, oh, yeah, 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 but I was... I was being, I was joking because I, I found it underwhelming as well, to be honest. I was surprised the lack of heat it had. Yeah. Lack of yeah. heat it had. But I maybe that's just the Philly crowd being freezing their asses off. I thought this was going to be like... Them, so I thought this was going to be the biggest match. I thought yeah. they were going to tear into each other. The crowd were like, okay, but we've we just seen Lane Johnson. You better impress us, yeah, lads. Yeah, Lano. I blame them. Jay Lano. They slug it out. You got the yeet, no yeet chance. Uh, there was a bad snow drop. Fair enough. I think it was going places. Again, super kicks exchange. Come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I thought, okay, this is actually going to go. Yeah, but then, then, I think the thing that killed it for me, and a lot of other people seem to agree, yeah, the thing you said. I'm sorry, brother. Oh, I forgive you. Yeah. What? Why did he fall for that? What? They, uh, mm. did, you dumb F. Yeah, I know that Jimmy was the one who, I know they forgot about this in the story, but he was the one that left first, wasn't he? He was nobody's bitch from the get-go. Yeah. yeah. So Jay maybe was following suit once again, even though the story's gone completely a different direction since then. But yes, it made no sense. And I thought I thought it finished a bit abruptly as well. Like I was, I don't know if I'm just, you know, Pavlov's dog in terms of modern day rest and expecting a couple of more kickouts yeah. in a match like this. But yeah. Yeah, I, I can't, I'll put... Jimmy begged off like a bitch, and I got the crowd actually into it booing because we'd sound for a few minutes, and they were roaring. Cause he's like, "Come on!" It's like, "Yeah, good. That's that's what your character is. Good. You're a bitch." And then, yeah, and then Jay, "All right, all right, brother." Yeah. Um, honestly, if he'd gone, "Yeah, right, suck it, super kick and bend him," we'd be like, "All right." But, yeah. Uh, then it ended on one bad spear that would have had Goldberg tweeting an apology at the women's division. Oh. And, uh, one super, one, sassy one super fly splash, and that was it. Eleven minutes. I was like, "Oh, I uh, yeah." 
Jay has been... was going places. They kept on and carried on, give it some more time. That one bit where he went, uh, okay, brother. Like the, the Rock needs to go forty-five, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah maybe. <laughs> like, sorry, we had we had like fifteen adverts <laughs> to shill after this, so we don't have enough time for this. Yeah, bad, but not as like uh, uh, horrifically awful as people have been saying. But yeah, not. It's great. not. It's just underwhelming. It's not yeah. bad. Underwhelming. Yeah, we'll go with them. But it's just because Jay has, I know Jimmy doesn't really himself, but Jay has better TV matches than that. <laughs> yeah. I think on Raw. So mm-hmm. I hope they get a chance to do a rematch. Where they don't have you know restrictions around them, and you know there's warmth in the arena. Yeah, and I have to shill for cinnamon tasty crunch or whatever the hell. <laughs> also, after this was an advert for W Experience in Saudi Arabia. I had a mate the stadium says it was loudly booed. Got booed oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah good. Uh, Jay Cargill teams of Bianca Belair and Omi to beat Dakota Kai and the Kabuki Warriors. I enjoyed the return of Bobby Roode's cherry picker. We call him over here. Yeah. Oh yes, the platform. Um, Watch this after the show, but obviously uh, Mark Henry. Made headlines because he man. was going Aka Pot, as we would say yeah. up here in Newcastle. Kyrie saying for apparently showing disrespect to the business by not getting out the ring immediately as the baby face is getting there. Now, I watched the clip back after yeah. watching Mark Henry. It's about five to six seconds, maybe seven seconds at a push before she yeah. eventually gets out. And she's blatantly going, Oh, I think I'm supposed to be scared. In yeah. character as a heel. I put Mark Henry, Tommy Dreamer, and Mark and, uh, Bubba Ray. That's a nightmare blunt rotation. <laughs> but it is just, it's symptomatic of how stupid etiquette is backstage at wrestling. <laughs> Old American <laughs> men hate Japanese women. <laughs> Goldberg, Mark Henry, Cornette, they all hate them. Don't get it. <laughs> but it's like... The if, disrespect of posing. If people are, if two wrestlers... Point. Imagine, if two wrestlers are deep in conversation and you think, walking by them, oh, they're deep in conversation then, I won't interrupt their conversation for a stupid pointless handshake. You do, and that means you're disrespecting those two people by not acknowledging them backstage. Yeah. Stupid wrestling etiquette. Yeah, yeah. Talk about wrestling etiquette. Go eat a poo sandwich again, Mark Henry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the crap music anyway. <laughs> uh, that they've given can't reduce the star power of Naomi, Jade, and Belair. Uh, just look, look like the Mutz Nuts. As yeah. yeah they Fantastic. Okay. Uh, this is all about Belair and Naomi getting their moves in before Jade gets the hot tag and gets all her big-ass moves in. Belair did the whip, Naomi did the ass, and that was it. Nice feel-good match, only went a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, what did you think? Uh, I thought, I echo your sentiments there, Be- Belair did a lovely handspring moonsault to all three heels at the same time. Uh, I was a bit surprised to ask a missed Kyrie, but I guess he's going to do it anyway. It should be WrestleMania. Them not being on the same page, which allowed Jade... Miss M-I-S-T. Yeah. Uh, which allowed Jade to get the eventual win. It was it, it set out what it was supposed to do, which was to make Jade Cargill look the dog's bollocks, but also not make the other two look so inferior. Yeah, Andrew's pitch didn't happen, which would have been <laughs> too smutty for pay-per-view. But she did lick the hand. I've been hearing about Andrew's smuttiness, man. What happened to that lad? So yeah, his you're pitch, a bad influence on him, Jack. It's not my fault. His pitch, his pitch was that Jade should do her pin and lick her hand like she does, and Bianca should like do it back to her and make eye contact. And I was like, Andrew, slow down. Okay, in Andrew's <laughs> mind, that's like the Undertaker and Kane going like that towards each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the real world, it's dirty. Yeah, Andrew's a <laughs> in, the, in the real world. <laughs> yeah, outside of the demon realm. <laughs> Yeah, I'd know of the notes apart from that. They yeah. said it did the job it was supposed to do. Jade looked very good. Well, well, everyone in the match did, really. Yeah. Everyone yeah. looked good apart from Mark Henry. You so, stink. So a lot of thirst for Dakota Kai. <laughs> oh, she's a very pretty lady. Oh, she looked lovely. Lovely Irish yeah, yeah, chocolate. Venice, they all look lovely. They all there had... They're yeah. all on, garages ladies. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sami Zayn talks his family in the back before his icy title shot. Oh, it would be great. Irish chocolate's <laughs> getting dished out. <laughs> he tells his kid, God, didn't Jake Hargill look great out there? <laughs> He bumps into Ch- Chad Gable. Oh, what are you doing here? Uh, he refuses to go to ringside with Sammy. He's like, oh, that's a su- nice surprise. Saying, you can do this on your own. Oh. You've always been able to. Oh You've my always been God. able to. Chills, OMG. That lonely and then one road long... of faith. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Long, long take as Sammy's walking through going, come on, let's go. Through oh. the tunnel. And then who does he see? His good friend slash greatest enemy. Kevin Owens, who goes, go get him, Tiger. I love the Owens bit. No, yeah. he slaps him. He's like, come on! Yeah. And I then heads it. out, and then, ooh, ooh, ooh. Amazing. That was the moment where I went from the mindset of it should be Chad to, no, no, they've got it right. It's Sammy. It, yeah. Yeah. I completely agree. Um, can I open one of the bars of Irish chocolate, please? Oh, I go really, for it, I really Chad. need some sugar, like, really a lot. I can see you yawning. I'm Which so, one are you going for me? Do you want to give Tom a Tom? Oh. Different kind of sugar. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go for caramel, or as the Americans say, caramel. Don't go and see a whore film and eat caramel. Yeah. Sorry. 
Or should I try the tiffin to see what it is? Go get means? the tiffin out. Let's the go tiffin for the tiffin. Strat. What is tiffin? No do know? idea. I don't oh, know. Would you mind the Googling there, please, Joel? Um, but yeah, that entrance, especially with the kid going like, I don't want my see- my son to see this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, and credit, kudos to oh, Sammy's wife. I've forgotten her name. Uh, Lovely name. Mrs. Uh, Sammy. Mrs. Sammy for I her acting. I said the name of Steiner's valet. Medasia? It was similar. <laughs> Because <laughs> then he had a name on his shirt afterwards, like the Yo, like the Rocky thing, like the Yo Adrian, but yeah. it was her name oh, instead that's of. What it was. Tiffin is a form of cake-like confection composed of crushed biscuits, sugar <laughs> syrup, raisin, chocolat, and cocoa powder. Let's go. We stopped Sounds doing delicious. Irish accent. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually Le France, where the chefs live. The chefs. <laughs> How was it? Just taste like the biscuit one. Oh. oh. Mm. What a letdown so for Irish chocolate. Slightly melted, but... Well, right. this chocolate may have disappointed Jack, but he couldn't Ooh. have been disappointed by this match. Not Jack at all. with a mouthful of chocolate. What do you think of this? I thought it was the best match of night one, yep. and I really liked it. I think I fell into the classic wrestling fan trap. Oh, it's working. I'm feeling more energetic again. <laughs> Just from the taste. Like Popeye. Mm. <laughs> Irish Popeye. Oh, my chocolate. Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> Top Best the, match of the weekend, the morning. <laughs> and we're talking about this. Um, ah, the olive oil there. <laughs> I fell into the classic... Olive oil at ringside watching Sami Zayn. <laughs> I fell into the classic wrestling... Gunter is quite Bluto-esque. Um, I fell into the classic wrestling trap, wrestling fan trap of having an idea in my mind, in my brain. I was like, oh, they're definitely going to do this. It's going to be amazing. And then they didn't do it. So it took me a little while after the match to sort of go, actually, no, even though they didn't do exactly what I specifically wanted them to do, it was still very, very good. I thought Chad was going to cost Sami. And it would have been, oh, horrific, but in the best way. Yeah. Uh, on so, the way to the ring, after the lovely entrance and the kid and the wife and even Chad and all this stuff there. And again, Kevin, no lie, sat like, get emotional watching this. And it's a, just like the ending of Billy Elliot, I know I'm being manipulated into <laughs> feeling this way. I'm like, all right, you bastards. Thank Christ they showed a bunch of Germans in Cologne going, good, good, good. <laughs> oh, I needed that, mate. I was going to watch this with blurry eyes. Cheers, lads. If Billy Elliot was real, no, I'm not going to say what I was going to say. You have to now. You and the cool Twitter lads would have absolutely slaughtered his dad for being a scab. You really like used his dad's an arsehole. But he was doing it for his son and his dancing lessons. So how dare you, Matthew, for this <laughs> thing that I've invented? Just like cool Dusty Rhodes. Rhodes. <laughs> Just like Dusty Rhodes selling his watch so Cody could go to acting class. Oh, yes. What's, the, what's their motto he always says? Spend it now, make more later. Yeah. It doesn't sound like sound financial advice. It sounds really stupid. <laughs> Unless, I love unless you Cody Rhodes. Yeah, I love the story of the match because we started with Sammy ducking all of Gunter's chops, which is yeah. making you think, "Ooh, it's, this mm. is a bit different." Um, and then one eventually after Sammy hits a few of his own chops, one German suplex from the Austrian turns the tide, and Sammy gets battered for ages. And then he has to turn into Scrappy Doo just to stay in the match. Like Gunter's putting all these moves on him. You know, Gunter always had one move, one big move to stop Sammy getting back in the fight. Like Sammy would go, bah, 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 bah. That's and right. Gunter would go, yeah. yeah. And yeah. that'll be it for a bit. Um, I love the counter off the halluva kick with the drop kick that Gunter did in the middle of it, which was fantastic. Uh, there was a big boot halluva kick trade going from corner oh, to corner for both men. The ring. Very good action indeed. Sammy was just about clinging on at one point. I thought it was over, but it wasn't. We get the splash off the top, which is when Gunter then starts to turn a bit cocky, taunting Mrs. Sammy oh, at ringside. Yes. Couldn't help himself. Couldn't Cause, talk. Because that's the story. He doesn't normally do that. And the fact he did, it's like, I, obviously I don't want to cross the tracks and talk about the other promotion while talking about the other promotion. But it's like when Cash Wheeler in that FTR Young Bucks match went for the 450, doing something he doesn't normally there do, which bit him on the arse. Yeah, um, or like when CM Punk pushed... No. Um... <laughs> And it, and also she helped in a way because the first mm. time he stares at her, she gets under his skin because she just gives him a little wave. So the next time he looks at her again and it was fatal, Ross. It was fatal. It was because mm. he went for a splash. I think it was the third splash attempt, which he missed. Then there's a halluva kick. Then the for the second year in a row at WrestleMania, called to police in the Intercontinental mm. title match because Sammy almost murdered a man. Oh, yeah. It was a shame about that botch. Yeah. The brain buster. Oh, man. I mean, they were doing so well until they completely messed up the finish. Who yeah. said that? Yeah, <laughs> Name them. Name so, them. No, no, no. It was so happy. Me and, me and Amsterdam going, it's nice, this. Ooh. And then people were like, ooh, botch mania is trending. They couldn't even spell it right. <laughs> and then people rinsing them. And in fairness, there's That's one person. Lot, yeah. In fairness, there's one person. It's never been homaged or referenced. It's um, it's a move El Generico would do. And he hasn't been El Generico. Uh, 
He hasn't met up with El Generico <laughs> phew, uh, for quite some many times. Uh, this is the first time we've seen it in WWE, if my mind's correct. If I'm I can't think of NXT, yeah. correct, then that person could go, well, look, this idiot's not what he's talking about either. He is a Pochamania. But it's very, very, very rare we get to see it. So you can't be expected to know everything about bloody wrestling all the time. So yeah, I felt I was very flattered that, that people were rinsing them, and the person still has that tweet up. Good man, yeah, yeah, yeah. they got a community note saying no, it's not advice. <laughs> that's that's usually, they, they, they should be proud of that. They get usually, a community note on a wrestling post. The worst superplex like, ever. <laughs> that's used for like worst superplex ever. <laughs> that's used for like the missing. Miz could have done a better superplex. That's used for like misinformation in elections and wars and <laughs> yeah. stuff. And Donald gone, Trump gets this... a community note and then some lad says, oh, bad, bad suplex there, <laughs> Tommy. I think you'll find this wasn't a botch, but executed perfectly. It was really good because I think it might be my favorite one he's ever done of this because I've never seen him do it on someone so big. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Even though he's lost a load of weight, this still, oh, still a big lad. Like, yeah, he's yeah, still yeah. a long boy. He put, he went fully. I said right. fully erect there. His body was like he straight did. up. He went so turgid <laughs> in the air. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to get turgid. Yeah, it was great. And then Sammy and the Huluva kicks a really good move when it because it can like be used to hit. It can come out of nowhere or it can be done like emotionally, like with the yeah. Usos last year. And he did it again this time. He yeah. did two, didn't he? At the end, yeah, he did. yeah. And I get why Cole wouldn't shut up about the Rocky references. I get why they're in Philly and all that. But I'm like, Sami Zayn's way cooler than Rocky. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, and Tim Punk had to be told about the, what Rocky was. Oh, the pre-show. He was hamming it up, though. You watched the pre-show. I watched all of them. Man. I watched the pre-show as well. Yeah, yeah but he was announced on, when Oh, it yeah. He didn't kept on I saw the pre-shows then went a bit. <laughs> Uh, good they eating half and half suplexes like their schnitzels are put there. <laughs> oh. Crowd eating all of this up. The brain buster. Uh, Pat, Pat yelling, brain buster. Mm. His best call all weekend. The sativa must have kicked in. Uh-huh. Cole yelling, do you believe How in many miracles? How references has he made, by the way? <laughs> and again, just Gun- and it's so funny to me. Gunther's doing here what he has in numbers matches. He's still doing 50% at best of what he used to do in VXV and getting 500 times the reaction, which I guess is what like people will go... Work smarter, not harder. But this is definitely going to do enough. No, he should be grinding harder, if yeah, anything. Should. It's really yeah. lazy. It was amazing. Only 15 minutes, and they did so much. The best match of the weekend, by far. Oh, I think the Uber one was better. I think the Uber one, yeah, I mean, baby. Both up there. Yeah, they You know who the real winners were? The fans. Yeah. Professional wrestling. That's right, the losers. Uh, so then we get a very long main event. The Rock and Roman Reigns beating Curry Rhodes and Seth Rollins, meaning that the main event of night two will be Bloodline Rules. Ba ba bum. Ooh. Start with the entrances. I big, was say, yeah. big fan of rocks with the video game references and the lightning and the Brahma bull head on fire and the thing and the, the vision of him walking through the fire. I, yeah, I saw some people saying the top of the bull, not lightning, was a botch. I put, bitch, how is he supposed to walk through it? Just burn. Well, he's not Gangrel. He's not a vampire. Exactly. Don't Gang- you know that shirt costs $500? Exactly. Gangrel can walk through the flames, but yeah. the rock can't. He's just a man. Yeah, Cody Rhodes is still right. fash. What? No, I saw no, some people on no. the, the, the poop post like, like, co- well, obviously, because Cody's got his thing and there's all the flags. It's like, here he come. Yeah. Is it I'm joking. It's because of the coat as well. Like the, it's everything. Okay. It's dodgy tattoo. But anyway, it's very likable. Seth's attire was mental. He had some sort of growth on his shoulder. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, he was paying homage to Gillian Hall. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. R.I.P. And I tell you what, I thought they were very smart in the way they like structured the, structured the match because they had Roman and Cody go off together. And then they had Seth Rollins, who is the modern day sexy Mar-a-Raja. Shawn Michaels. The modern day Maharaja. Uh, he's just the guy who bumps around and made The Rock look like he was still very common in professional wrestling. I couldn't tell if it was The Rock still being on it or if it was Seth Rollins making The Rock look good. That's how good Seth Rollins was. Yeah, that's I'll, good. I'll, I'll, Again, Ross, this is like a, almost a boring podcast for me because you're saying everything I'm thinking. So I'm Two gonna great go. minds. Cheers, there Matthew. Yes. Cheers. Ooh, ooh. Well done, everybody. I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like the match. Really. Were you going, really? Yeah, I didn't like it. I don't know if it's just because it was like 4 a.m. We were sat there, but I think we all thought, oh, this is a slog, this one. I, th- I think we we thought the first the first half of it were like, Oof, this is a bit much. But and then once they started hitting stuff, the second yeah, half, I think we the all announced enjoyed, table. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I absolutely would have hated watching this at 4 a.m. <laughs> after watching so 900 long. adverts. So many stare downs and then tagging yeah. out and stuff. And I get that the fans want to see like every combination of them inside the ring together and stuff, but it felt like... Well, I sh- we should have realized because Roman main event matches started to drag, like the one against Jay. Yeah. So and this was like a Roman 
was longer. It was the second longest mini match behind the Iron Man. Yeah, Punk pointed yeah. out that. Uh, I put virtually no crowd noise for the first half. One, because it's an up air stadium, so it's hard to do that anyway. But also, two, it's cold. At certain points, you could see the heat steam coming off the ring. It was that frosty. Mm. Yeah, like, the heat is above the ring. Yeah, yeah, those. I mean, Cole kept making reference to it because I think, you know, bless the lovely people like Mamma uh, Night and other people that message going like, oh, the Philly fans. But in fairness, I'll give them this. Yeah, if it's bloody freezing and it's late and like we go home <laughs> and this match is 45 minutes long, you're like, yeah, you know what? I wouldn't be popping for that either. I'm surprised. Fair play to Gallus for training the rock because I thought he was going to pull every muscle in his body in the cold trying to wrestle for 40 minutes. Rock picked them because you know it was going to be cold and they're from Scotland. Yes. Directly went oh, to Scotland. Smartest man in wrestling. Directly went to a big hill in Scotland to train with Gallus. In the cold. Like the Joe Henry music video. <laughs> yeah. On Arthur's seat. <laughs> um, I like The Rock telling the ref that he'll fire him ah. if he continues to count while Seth and him were on the Ooh, outside. Yeah. I didn't particularly like that. Oh, I think he, he, Vince yeah. McMahon should have done that back in the action. <laughs> Ruined my immersion slightly. Because I thought, well, you might as well just get out a gun and shoot him. <laughs> and tell the ref not no, to. Where's the fun? And that's what, I, think, uh, I guess why people say 98. It's like, well, where, yeah, Vince can just fire him, but where's the yeah, fun? Yeah, where's in that? the fun? I like, I like that bit of the match. Because they played into the finish as well, didn't it? Yeah. With yeah. Um, the ref just apologizing to Seth and Cody when he, he punched him in the winky, didn't he? Yeah, he went, sorry, team. Ow, yeah. bosh. Um, what was I going to say? The uh, Rollins I, injury I, angle I thought was very interesting mm. with night two. In mind, I hope it doesn't do a pedigree on the floor in the first few moments of the night two main event. <laughs> oh, which he did. <laughs> yeah. Of course he does. He said, I mean, he did that when he took on Triple H. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, my knee hurts. Better do a frog splash. I'm like, yeah. you deserve to lose. <laughs> Satnos Escobar. I hope you get amputated. <laughs> Your leg. Uh, Seth getting the stomp on the rock, but of course the injury angle meant he couldn't pin him, which I thought mm. was a good moment. Yep. Cody's spear counter into the sunset flip was, oh, it was smooth. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I love that. Uh, I did like the Evian spit from The Rock, as is tradition. Mm. Yeah. It was only helped by Pat McAfee saying, well, The Rock's on the juice. <laughs> and Craig's like, uh, yeah, I mean, he's, 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 he's very juiced up to be here tonight. Is that what you mean, Pat? <laughs> yeah. Pat, they were opening references on the pre-show and everything else. Like, well, that the, 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 the candy that Pat took's kicking in and stuff like that. They were like... Can you play along, Pat? Are you seeing Pat kick a football, by the way? It was a kicker? Oh, my what God. What do you mean? Yo, go on, Joel, just in the background. Go on, Pat Matthews' wait, wait, Twitter. Wait. He, there's a video of him yesterday kicking a foot, like a, a, a round football. Oh, a right. soccer ball. Oh, okay. Oh, into a net it. with a little hole in the top corner. Anyway, well, Joel's finding that. I was going to say, it's his job. The Mama Rhodes spot was fantastic. Yep. Rock going at it with Mama Rhodes. Mama Rhodes. She, she shouts, this is your, your bull poo you, you know, you, you, you bald prick. That's the one. What? Get this on the screen so everyone at home can see. This is a the, the, the power that Pat McAfee has in his right boot. Yeah, Traction good. engine. Watch this. Pat's going to take a big kick, an indoor thing. Whoa! Oh. Shira! Look at that. He still got it. It never left him. That's unbelievable, that. I just thought you had to get it through two sets of poles, never mind a little hole like that. Well, you do, but <laughs> from miles away, though, so they've got to kick it really, really hard. Sit down. My God. Anyway. Oh, we bumped into some Italians in Amsterdam. I have a nice chat with them because everyone's mega friendly in Amsterdam. Oh, so everyone's why? obviously on the weed. Yeah. And I went, my mate, it's all back there. And he went, like, do you watch your football? And he went, no. And I went, go Lazio. No reaction. I was like, go bollocks, come on. Go the only time people have ever met me like. Lazio. Go Lazio. Go Lazio. Oh, we weren't a Roma fan. Uh... No? Lazio's I remember, a... the, I remember the Italian Channel 4. Lazio's go a Lazio. team. Go Lazio. Go Lazio. You're saying go Lazio, the team. Is that what? The yeah. right wing football team. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Matthews, no. Oh, um, oh, I'm sorry, Cody. Wait, <laughs> no, no. For years, I assumed <coughs> that that was like Italian for good, good goal. Galazzo. 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 Oh, I'm. Oh, god. But Lazio. No wonder they come, didn't come out drinking. With and us. I'm sure that not every single Lazio fan. Eh, eh, go it's Lazio. Just they've got, oh, no, 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 no. It's just they've got like historic ties too. Oh, no. I think it was his team, Big BM. I think it was his favorite team. <laughs> Paolo Di Canio was involved quite a lot. He's like a club legend. <laughs> their, their logo's an eagle. Like, let's turn this conversation like BM <laughs> upside down and carry on. Right? Cody Rhodes getting his hand on the belt was very, very good storytelling again after what we saw on SmackDown, after what we saw The Rock do him on Raw and all that sort of stuff. Yep. Uh, the Roman spear on The Rock with Seth taking the bullet. Uh, I'll be your shield. Oh, yeah, that was good. I'll be your hero. Oh, oh yeah, man. Um, it had me going I at that point there. I will be your lover, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Cody getting the cathartic experience that was doing a rock bottom through the announce table from one to tutter. Oh, you're in front of Wally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My he name's Wally. Right 
Yeah, he was there. He was filming it. But then he was filming the woman next to him's reaction, and she was like, "Watch the thing, Wally." <laughs> was it his mom? No, I think it was a Victoria's <laughs> Secret model. Yeah, unless his mum is also a Victoria's Secret. Do you model. know that work well? Um, not especially, but <laughs> I think she was that woman. She looks very similar to a certain one who's quite famous. Oh. A certain one. Yeah. Never heard of her. Well, she's quite distinguished. She's got a bit of LIGO around her oh. like, face. I didn't know how to say this without. <laughs> Crowd was getting into it. Now very, something was she's happening. She's obviously very beautiful. Like she's a very beautiful woman. <laughs> Oh, God. Gorgeous. Gorgeous lady. Pat did a good job of saying, well, Cody's been watching The Rock for decades, so he knows when The Rock button's coming. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That's okay. Well done, Pat. Yeah. I like the story they were telling, because they had me going, because I I pitched, I wanted to see all the bells and whistles we got on night, which is aged terribly. All the bells and whistles we got on night two happened on night one. And then the boring bastard that I am wanted to see, Cody and Roman, go at it straight down the middle. (laughs) A nice contest with no outside interference. I still get what you mean, though. So I, I went when the rock went <laughs> the par with the belt and got Cody when it looked like he was gonna win, I was like, Oh man, man. Cause that essentially cost Cody the match, that yep. belt shot. Cause then obviously him and Roman, the rock pronouns pal, the rock and Roman started taking the piss out of Cody. Yep. And then the rock gets the pin foul. Oh yep. yeah, he demanded the tag from Roman. Yep. Leading to possible tensions in the future. Yeah. I put match was a setup for tomorrow and succeeded in that regard. As a main event of WrestleMania, uh, no. Could have opened the show with it, I would have thought. Maybe have Sammy Gunther main event, or even Bailey. What? But... Not the story they've been telling for two years, Matthew. Come no, that's on. what I mean. In terms of the storyline, it makes sense. And obviously, The Rock's not going to open Red Mania, of course not. But like I said... He did it. Of... 30, Botcher Mania, boy. <laughs> Sorry. The Rock? Yeah, he was in the ring with Austin. Oh, oh, oh yeah. That would have oh, been three-way I with Hogan and Austin. Yeah, you got me there, mate. Botch boy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, but... I, honestly, yeah, you're, I, I think I agree with you, Jack. If I'd watched this live, oh, man. I'd have been like, I hate WWE, I'm quitting Colorholic. But <laughs> watching it the day afterwards, of be able to you know, skip uh, all the adverts and stuff like that, I did not mind it as a part one to a part two that will come later on. I think I was lower on it than a lot of people. And maybe if I was watching it, not at the end of a long show anyway, then yeah, I would have been a bit more kind towards it. But you know what? As a show overall, night one, on paper, and after we did all this, it doesn't look like it's that great a show. But at the same time, I had a lot of fun watching it because yeah. of the style, the presentation, the smoothness, the camera work. Again, that Sami Zayn opener as we were talking about before. The lovely commentary from the three lads who were presumably all like hugging each other for warmth huh. at that point with the ice schools coming out the nose. I thought it was a really fun event. Ah, all the same. Interesting. On paper, I remember we were sitting here last week and on paper... Night one looked a lot stronger than night two. Weird, wasn't mm. it? Yeah. But then it turned out that night two was a lot stronger than night one. Game Not saying night one was bad, but it did drag a bit in places. Jimmy and Jay was a shame. But yeah, was, there was still a lot of fun to be had. The yeah, it's a weird thing. I, mean, I felt very positive and happy watching this, along with lots of other people going, Rustin's great. And I'm like, yeah. Anyway, uh, my, fr- my friend KB Rustin Reviews says, I was in the upper deck. I left the stadium at 11.15, got to dinner about... Midnight, being back at the hotel for about 40 minutes, my face is still tingling from how numb it got from that wind and cold. Oh. It was not a lot of fun for the fans to be there at that it's time. It's not even below zero, you softies. What's wrong with you? Come to the north of England. They're, they're Americans. They don't want to do that. <laughs> but that nicely brings us to WrestleMania Ooh. 40, night two. I've broken the seal with all the different drinks I've drank. Can I run for a wee, please? Oh, yeah. Sir. Oh, yeah. Please, sir. You've broken Ron's seal. Broken Ron's seal. You bastard. Yeah, all right. Thank you. WrestleMania 40, night two, now with less piss. Uh, Stephanie McMahon makes a surprise return to welcome us to night two. And as Owen said, oh, Dan will be pleased. And I went, why? (laughs) Turns out Dan's one of those masochistic boys who wants Stephanie to stand all over him. I don't know. I've just (laughs) made made that up. But like when when he said he fancies Steph, I feel like there's a certain type of people that Steph would attract. I always look good. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. <laughs> but there's that, and then there's like... Look, some people disrespect ECW, all right? There's like Goon Con 4, which is like... No. <laughs> <laughs> some people respect ECW, the Alliance. Yes. Yeah, fair enough. But more importantly, her even she's been deaf rebelled. Her theme got... Oh, the rock version. Yeah. Welcome to the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Marsh Pit. I was terrified she was going to say, thank you, insert name here again. Oh. Like she said the last time she appeared on our TV screens. But thankfully she didn't. She ushered in the Paul Levesque, Levesque era. Yeah. Easy for me to say. Yeah, Shot about being eight years old in the first WrestleMania and ask if we're ready. No. 
Philadelphia, I said. Oh, you right. And they went, yes, because it's lovely and warm today. Hell yeah, yeah. Warm screw night one. It's in the split screen with Triple H backstage when she's saying that. A wry smile. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. man. He isn't turning at someone next, next to him and going, what you like? Because yeah. a, was... a lot of people were mentioning the lack of wedding ring. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know it's that as Tri- well. Triple H had his on, but she didn't have hers on. Yeah. So what does that mean? ring, huh? Mm. But then they were very complimentary, uh, complimentary about each other coming out with the show, so maybe they're still together. Mm. Maybe hers is getting touched up. <laughs> I Not know you mean. It's just the, the it happens. It's 20 years old now, the ring. Maybe it's Stop getting touched up. Stop saying her ring's getting touched up. <laughs> It's got, a ring is getting buffered. I'm going to have another drink. A in ring. the opening match, Drew McIntyre. Buffered and polished. <laughs> Seth Rollins to become the World Heavyweight Champion. Seth tells Drew he deserves it and leaves, looking like a little sad dog. He did. Drew is emotional and celebrates with his family in the front row, Uh-oh. his legit family. But he just can't help himself and stands oh, in on the table. All you have to do is leave. <laughs> to taunt CM you don't Punk. listen. Punk attacks Drew and hits him with his arm brace. Damien Priest music hits. He runs out to smash through the briefcase, cashes in, becomes a new world heavyweight Game champion. time. Game. Game time. That's what she was shouting. With. <laughs> Priest <laughs> celebrates the Judgment Day on the stage while Punk laughs a heartbroken Drew. Oh, this was unbelievable. What Apple. a bloody Love lovely this. bit of sports entertainment pie this was. Eh? Yeah, although we don't say that anymore, apparently. Oh, wrestling pie. Wrestling Pro pie. wrestling pie. Pro wrestling pie. Seth uh, Rollins' entrance was like the Uncle Howdy origin story. <laughs> It was. It was one a, bad trip later, and that's what we see from Uncle Howdy today. Yeah, he was led a... by the Philly Mummers, who have been in trouble over the past few decades for continuing to do blackface. <gasps> what? So oh, the Wikipedia page says. Oh my oh, god! You can't do anything these days. I know, I'm right? Sorry, doing uh, wrong. I know, no, who, are the, who are the Philly Mummers? Oh, right. Because I was saying they should have had uh, should have Rhea Ripley's entrance being the Philadelphia Mummers. Oh, that's good. That Mummers always on that's top. Good. Um, I love the start. I didn't know that about the blackface stuff. I know. I read about going, Same. wait, really? They're like, no, it's part of tradition. You're like, oh, screw Philly. What sort of place is Philadelphia? Happy New Year! <laughs> so I get the black paint off. Oh, I God. mean, mate, like... Jesus Christ. Um, America is a country. <laughs> the instant claymore at the start of the match was absolutely fantastic. And then Seth getting beaten down for a little while before the worst aged tweet then the history ah. of tweets <laughs> happens with Drew McIntyre, the Kavorka of a Logan Paul, uh, tweeting bored at work live from ringside. I love that. So great. Uh, you know when you know when you're listening to like a review of something you've watched, or you're like, yeah, um, I got, and then they get something wrong that you know was right, and you get really annoyed, but they persist with it. I was so annoyed because of Alvarez and Vinny in their review of the show, and I was listening to it the next day, and they. Were, I was like, he then took a selfie at ringside. <laughs> I was like, it was better than that, Brian. It was better than that, but I think maybe Brian has realized by now. And it was much better than that. He got my retweet. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the Jack King guarantee. <laughs> um, also, I like during the entrance, uh, because Drew McIntyre had a lovely entrance of his own. I have a Highlanders so, uh, there, were Ulster Scottish Pipe Band. Uh, Pat McAfee said, who are these guys with swords? Punk just went, nerds. Yeah. <laughs> and then Rollins came out during his and he went, what a, what did he say? What am I supposed to do with this? Or something? Oh, they said, what a doofus. Or something like that. <laughs> yeah, what a goof, doofus. Goof, 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 yeah, what a goon, he said. What, yeah, a, yeah. Goo, what a goofy goon. What a gooner. <laughs> so I'm it, a goofy singing, goon. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's a new meaning of that song. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> the, oh, it's goober, isn't it? It's gooner. Look at the else. A goon on, your, on the brain, yeah. Hey, kids. <laughs> are you a goofy gooner? <laughs> I call this podcast. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> anyway, also something that needs to be mentioned that we haven't done: the in-ring intros of the big matches. They've got oh, that wacky yeah, camera yeah. that plays at a higher frame rate that or uh, resolution. I forget which one it is. Where everything looks like a video game. It's very weird. But especially this intro, they did it a few times during the night. They did it like boxing, where they start off in the middle, and then the ring announcer doing the thing, and they'll go, "Here is the challenger," and it comes up, challenger. Drew McIntyre, and then whoop, move over to the champion, Jeff Rollins. Oh, it looked lovely. I was made. It looked so bloody lovely. It's why I went, night one may have not been great on paper, and it wasn't, but it was still a fun experience to watch because the presentation is yeah. so different now. Yeah, I forgot to mention Samantha Irvin during night one because she was one of the MVPs of Absolutely. the entire weekend, I thought, with yeah, her performance. Because sure. uh, I like I liked the her like calls at the final bell are like human. 
mm. and not composed, which like gets you sort of more invested in the story. Oh, yeah, oh, especially the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because why would the heel? Why, why, why would the ring announcer be like a, a cold, a cold, callous dick? Yeah. Because that's, that's why. That's why we remember. We remember the Finks like amazing calls because it's like he sounds emotional and no. Yeah, like, that's like yes, the new champ. Ah, that's him, and that's like ah. and new no. hit you like that. Mm. So Rollins and his wife are both hurt. And both lost in the opener. All right. <laughs> I was like, hang on, what? Like, What's he doing with Drew's wife? Um. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh, Rollins cries and walks away. The, uh, the commentators point out, yeah, he's injured because of last night. Okay. And he got Drew. kicked in the head. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Got a big old shiner above his eye, didn't he? Good lad. Uh, Drew sluttily climbs up the table. What? I did not the... write that. Oh, you're reading oh from your own. Oh, my God. Matthew's reading from his own see? Matthew's reading from his own notes there. How did he do that? Like, I was the, the nerve of this big old Scottish slut to be doing that <laughs> mount <laughs> on his knees. Sex Panther. Happy oh. birthday, Mr. Punk. It was, it was yeah. wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> With his belt Not only am I champ, I'm sexier than you as well, punk. Ha ha. The... And you can't even jerk off me because your arm's broken. Oh my God. <laughs> I saw a tweet that was like, I didn't follow them, but it was a girl who had a lot of retweets on this because it was like, well, this is how I know that Tony Khan's out of touch because if Punk had looked at me and threatened to strangle me, I would have like... <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, no. Radio edit. Yeah. Imagine yeah, yeah. if the audio gets released of that backstage scuffle. All you hear is like yeah. Punk shout at Tony, Good, Tony! <laughs> Go now! <laughs> Get your hands out of your trousers! It'd be funny for this audio as well, and obviously Punk's like, so I told him, uh, A-I-F and quit. And it's just some like, same Punk's like, you, you big idiot! <laughs> <laughs> you stupid idiot! <laughs> you poo-poo head! I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hand hurts. <laughs> anyway, uh, you, for also, match, Drew, for sorry. Match, oh, sorry. I was going to ask you a question. Uh, I was yeah, watching the emotional. match bit. Um, oh, wait, sorry. Stop, we need to stop. Jack's hurt himself. <laughs> I have my tooth on the rim of the glasses. Oh, okay. no, on the Jack's rim. Jack's hurt himself drinking. Mm. Hurt himself by putting his mouth on the rim. It was real glass. <laughs> hey, <laughs> cry me a whiskey yeah. coke. Um... For you, Matthew, was there one too many kickouts in the port? Because I was interested watching. No, the... no, because they went really quick and fast. This was like a Brock Lesnar match in without that, that name being around. Well, I yeah. hardly agree. And he did. So I was absolutely fine with it because he's like, now kick out, kick out, pedigree, finish his own. Hanging match. on. They yeah, were, they were both hanging on. Yeah, and it didn't even go that bloody long. So I'm absolutely fine with it. 10 minutes 32. Well, it were... makes sense for me to be kicking out because it's like, hang on, I'm not even sweating yet. And I like. I to... am actually sweating now because it's actually hot in Philly today. <laughs> I don't think I'd have liked it if the story didn't warrant this type of match, but it totally fit because Drew would want to finish Seth off fast because he knows how weak he is now. Mm. And Seth would probably... Of course. Seth also yeah. doesn't want to get dragged into a long match because he knows he's breaking down. I thought it just all made sense. Yeah. And again, Drew... I feel like all the notes said, hold, <laughs> Drew, Drew holding his title in front of Punk and going, cameraman, cameraman, take a photo. I want to have this framed on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> and Punk's like, right, you sexy bastard. You know, finally losing it. I like when he's like, Drew's like, this is my moment. This is my moment. And Punk's like, well, yeah, we'll stop making it about me. You dick, yeah. go yeah. away. <laughs> I can't hear anything you're saying. I've got the headset on. And he's just carrying on. And he's like, right, not to this. <laughs> Sweeping him up, hit him with the brace, and then the music kicking in. And I'm like, why is Damien Priest doing this? I'm like, oh, right, because Drew, Drew versus Rollins is over. Rollins is injured. Punk is still injured, so he can't do nothing. It's like, yeah, Drew needs something to be doing for the next few months. Maybe get that title back at the uh, Hydra. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So I was like, oh, yeah, actually makes a lot of sense to be doing that. And it, again, keeps on the uh, CM Punk-Drew feud. And it makes a lot of sense after night one because you're watching Rollins at the end of that match, the tag match where he can't walk. And you shout, where the bloody hell's Mr. Briefcase? Send your briefy case. Where the hell is he? Yeah. He clobbered him with it as well and it went flying. Oh, I <laughs> Yeah. Bang! Really like, I'm sick of holding this bloody thing. And yeah. his uh, South of Heaven has to be the best of his career. The set out choke slam that he does because Drew. I don't know if people know this, but he's a big boy, and the height he got on that big boy, you would think Drew was a little boy, but he's not. He's a big boy. You would. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very interested to see where it goes because, like, the presentation of Damien with the briefcase has been. He didn't feel like a potential world champion with the way he was booked. Nope. But now he's got it. I, when he did the entrance on Raw, I was like, with the new music that Def Rebel have finally done a good theme, I think, for Damien Priest, which I think he did the uh, the vocals for as well, by himself. He looked the part in his red suit with a belt, so he looks the part, but will they will they follow it with, through with the booking? I Ooh. don't know. Hey, oh, hey. what a tease. Well oh. done, bisexual Undertaker. Yes. Bondage Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's only one way after that amazing intro, and that is down. Bubba Ray Whoa. Dudley. What are you talking about? All oh, right, this bit. Yeah, Bubba Ray Dudley is the surprise ref. 
for Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits versus the Final Testament. The babyfaces win and celebrate with guest commentator Snoop Doggy Dog, there he is. who provided oh. the best advert he could have done for his own gin and juice because <laughs> yeah, he, he wasn't on this planet. His line when they get the table oh, yeah, yeah. under the, the under the ring and they go, "Oh hey, 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 Yogi Bear!" <laughs> I forgot what he said now. He's oh, hey, Yogi Bear! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he says, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. gonna get the pick the tables out." Ooh, Shimon. What's that? It's Michael. I was just <laughs> as Michael Jackson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If you want to do the crime, think about the time. Yeah, that's, that's Yogi Berra. That's exactly what he's saying. <laughs> this Animated one. band doing a Michael Jackson impression. Because <laughs> we've heard Snoop Doggy Dog in the past. He's not sounded that interested. But this match here, he was fully invested. Oh, Snoop Dogg commentating. Oh, he, he, oh, he's getting into it. Him, him watching the boxing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mike right, Tyson versus oh. Mike Jones Jr. He did, that guy got KO'd in the open and he started singing. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> There's the Na- him. Is that when Jake Paul knocked out Nate Robinson? Yeah, yeah, it was the... Snoop's going like, oh my god! He just started singing. Oh, yeah. it was so great. Yeah, thank God Snoop Dogg was here to give us match summer because again, love Lashley and Street Profits. Don't care about the other team, but there was nothing here. What? No, no, no. The AOP were good in doing their super colliders and whatnot. Okay, I was yeah. a big fan. Right, B Fab and Scarlet in the ring. And B Fab sees a table on the floor outside the ring, and her and Scarlet end up on the apron together. And what's the one move you wouldn't do if you were, <laughs> if you were just trying to hurt your opponent, not yourself? Hmm, let oh. me have a think. It was a Russian leg sweep. Oh. She, she does the side Russian leg sweep and takes a worse bump than Scarlet does B Fab, which was a fantastic moment. Yeah, she's rough. She's from NXT. Yeah. She's still polishing up that ring IQ. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tez's dive over the ring post to the lovely. outside. No where he, he landed arse first on the barricade. That's yeah. how far he went. It was fantastic. Uh, I thought there was, you know, despite what he is, fun bit with Bubba in his glasses when he carrying crosses going, where well, you old prick? And then Bobby's like, Bobby. Bubba's like, put me glasses on because I'm a Dudley boy. Yeah. yeah. She couldn't prick. tell he was talking to him. <laughs> and he turns around into a spear. And, yeah. Do you know who I am? And oh, Bubba good. was not an impartial official. No, he wasn't. He was fully baby face. He was wazabbing. Yeah, I really was. thought Devon was going to come out with the setup for that, you know. Yeah. Got Dawkins Dudley instead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Again, the match was all about Bubba rather than the wrestlers, which, again, sucked for Lashy's lads. It yeah, I would at, agree. Oh, I don't know if I agree. Table didn't break. Oh, sorry, table did break. Ha, oh, ha, they, they thanks. Subbed, I appreciate they, that. They I am out. the table. I am ha, the table. Ha, no, you're not. Ha, ha. There was a lovely splash from Tez for the final fall on the new table that wasn't broken. Yeah. I, I, I Again, I couldn't give, as I said last week, a solitary SH1T about this match. Right. But coming out of the match, Bubba's involvement, I thought, was a fun affair. Maybe not WrestleMania main card. If we still did kickoff show matches, that's a kickoff show match, but we don't yeah. do them anymore. So. I don't know what two for two for like, hey, it's the celebrity or whatever overshadowing the wrestlers who were here every week. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I don't know, because I thought Tez looked very good in the match of what he did, especially. Yeah. Dawkins was like the Claude McAuley holding role. Yeah, and yeah. Bobby did a couple of good moves, but yeah. Also, Graves said it's a the first WrestleMania appearance of Paul Ellerin, you lying bastard, WrestleMania 8. Yeah. Ah, with the road? No. Yeah, so yeah, yeah always, the road was yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. He showed up and said, look who we've got driving our train. And Does it... Paul Ellerin showed up and the kids are like, who the hell is this? Interview with Mean Gene, isn't it? Yeah. And someone else on that side who I can't remember. Rocco, the talking puppet. <laughs> what did you say like that for? Are you Jesse Ventura now? Rocco, the Rocco. talking puppet from the Baja. <laughs> Going through my paint. After arriving in the Slim Jim car. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at the Slim Jim car. Really cool. Don't, laugh. Don't laugh at it. He did one of the worst handbrake turns I've ever seen. <laughs> I did better than that when yeah, I was 18. The, <laughs> stick, the stick was pepperoni, mate. Uh, Come on, man. I refuse to believe that Alan and I can't do a sick handy... Handy T. Handy T. Handy T. Handy T. Handy T. He'd be talking to you and giving you a handy. Yeah. I tell you what, though. Who's the best in the business? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the Cut best the the, promo? When the, the, uh, you have to include this on Botcha Mania because oh, yeah. you know, the old catchphrase is snapping at the Slim Jim. Yeah. There's a fan deep throating <laughs> a Slim Jim when they go to the crowd. He's just there at the front going, oh, <laughs> back and forward. It's. <laughs> It's you can feel it through the screen. He's doing it that vigorously. <laughs> it's incredible, what? really good. I did not notice that the first time I watched WrestleMania. It's now the, we'll have to rewatch it. It's not the pack of fans that are at the front where the lady gets the. the I hope not. Just like eighty. Yeah, so. I know what she's gonna do with all that horsepower. Who knows what? To, but either go in, deeper in the crowd, and it's just this lad. He's a young lad, not too young. No, no, no! no don't make it weird, <laughs> Ross. He's like, if, you know, twenty, I reckon. <laughs> 
young compared to us, and he's just deep throating this slim gym like there's no tomorrow. Look, everyone needs a hobby, all right? <laughs> uh, it's impressive, though, because how do you know? doesn't matter. Um, Practice. LA Knight <laughs> beats AJ Styles. The one who won the car looked really confused. I felt bad for her. Straight on eBay, that car. Like, uh, Yeah, you wouldn't want it. You wouldn't want a pimped out right. You, you don't want to drive the Slim Jim car down the street. <laughs> <laughs> is it a gift or is it a curse, Master Wayne? <laughs> oh, hey, dear. But AJ's being deaf rebelled now as well. His oh, new theme. I, no, even... I like I like that because he's a heel now. What? So it makes sense for him not but to have Max, I get the, uh, yeah, get yeah. that book. Give him I can't even begin to picture the song in my head. I can't remember anything. Give him a good one. It's regards to the Slim Jim car. <laughs> no one wants one. No one wants one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I like know. the Kavorka of the match. It was very different because we've yeah. got like eye gouging, we've got head biting, we've yeah. got Ellie and I, well, he nailed his top rope. That, that doesn't belong with head biting and, net and eye gouging. His hop up to the top rope yeah. for a German. But you know what I mean? Gnarly stuff. Um, I like the fact that Ellie and I exposed the floor, but then yeah. he was the one who take the big back body drop on the floor. Bump, bump. Just about beat the count back into the ring. And it just turned into a proper ding dong because the story was Ellie and I proven that he was was not as good as AJ Styles, but not a, not a, what do you call him? Like an overachieving yeah, right. dick. He's not one of them. He's nearly as good as AJ Styles, if not better, because he got the win. Uh, um... <laughs> you nearly, you nearly dropped it and you call it again. I like that. I noticed that like, um, when LA Knight is, is kind of on top, it, it feels as though AJ, I don't know what, has he been kind of overshadowed in this storyline or not? No, but I mean, that's, Almost a storyline, isn't it? That LA Knight. Like, Knight. LA Knight. It's always it's always great when you got the veteran who's like, damn it, here comes this young up and comer. He's forty or whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Just pretend. <laughs> Wrestling's fake. And uh, yeah, it's like, no, I'm gonna show I'm better than you. And it worked really well because AJ Styles' style has changed dramatically. Yeah. Not not just because he's old, but he's doing he's accentuating his positives now. We're not going to get 03 AJ Styles anymore. We're getting this version of him. Where yeah, it's just fair a, enough. He's just a huge dick. The you macho know. man. The macho yeah, man of his day. Exactly. With huge veiny arms. The huge veiny arms. There's uh, no way that, that lad's throating AJ. Um, so, <laughs> it, so it was great. They you don't know, do you? AJ, <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what, mate? Yeah, you know you do they what you want, lad. Say it's a free country. The shrinkage. Yeah. It's, you know? They say it's a city of brotherly love. So uh, AJ Styles <laughs> worked that style to compliment LA Knight, which I thought was fantastic. LA Knight was great. The crowd, again, loving LA Knight, all behind him. You know, taking all the bumps on the concrete and stuff like that. But it was... Didn't even need to go that long as well. I love mm. the timings of these matches, apart from obviously 45 minutes, uh, whatever one. Like, yeah, 12 minutes, 23. That's all I needed to go. I think I'm right in saying that at WrestleMania 3, it's been a while since I've watched it, but in the closing stretch of Hogan Andre, doesn't I think Hogan tries to pile drive Andre on the floor just before they go back in the ring and do like the power slam. What a dick. Mm. <laughs> oh, well, fair enough. My friend Andre. Yeah. <laughs> I've not seen it, but I've heard of it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Am but I yeah. all right to finish off the Tiffin? Oh, you go for me, Tiffy Tuff. Square, like. I'm starting. You've been such a good lad. I'm st- thank you. I'm starting to get that. Oh well, I can open a different one if anyone wants the last Tiffin bit. No. Oh, you go for the Tiffin. I just I'm starting to do that thing at school where you like zone out a bit, and then you go. Oh, so I'm worried that I'm going to fall asleep. You on the get pod. all the drugs all right. in you you need, mate. Just take a slap like from Matthew. Just yeah. Like, we're, sorry, we're, we're sorry, Snoop Dogg is near for the gin and juice. That would really help you. Hmm. Hmm. With help from his prime mascot, who turns out to be YouTuber I Show Speed. Everything I know about that person has been uh, not of my own will. Uh, Logan Paul beats Randy Orton and Kevin Owens to attain the North American title. The thing I know most about I Show Speed Go is on. that he doesn't know how to pronounce footballers' names. But also, oh. his house keeps getting raided by the, I don't know if it's the FBI, some sort of force. Right. Swatted is the term. Swatted, yes. yeah. Oh, where people prank call people do is, okay. I think so. Um, but he, I thought he was fantastic in his role as the prime bottle man. He barked like a dog and swore like a Dwayne the Rock Johnson yeah, he did, yeah. at Randy Orton and then took one hell of a bump through the announce table. Mm. Us YouTubers, we are just like our show speed. Don't we say all, that. We all deliver when called upon. From what I, I've when seen called him, up to duty. From what I've seen of our, our show country. speed is, yeah, he became a football fan, but like... He loves Ronaldo. He loves he? Ronaldo, yeah. He calls him Christo Ronaldo. Suey, he says, instead of Sue. Um, and then he's, he's sort of, because of that, being invited to different, like, YouTuber charity football matches. Just two foots, people. Like, he's just... He's oh, just so his favorite's full, Roy Keane. Fully <laughs> flying in, like... And, Keeney, uh, is he called <laughs> Keeney, yeah. Yeah, it's strange. Um, yeah. Don't know much else about him. I saw him once light a firework in his room and it went badly, obviously. Yeah, okay. man, yeah. He loves yeah. Mario Balotelli. Mm. 
Big fan of the entrances in this match. First of all, Logan Paul with his massive prime bottle dick on his... Yeah, Pat Cohen, have you ever seen a bot, uh, tank the size of that before? And yeah. like, he was yeah. shooting his load and yeah. making fireworks happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kevin okay. Owens, do you get it yet? Kevin Owens seeing that big car and then getting his little cart with KO yeah. on pen on the on the Come on, on Randy. On the hood. They went, said, I've got this Kevin from going, Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> I was scared for I'll Randy. Drop me off. I was really scared for Randy. They went he quick. flew down that ramp. And you saw Randy going, slow down. Yeah. And there was a nice moment with Sammy just before that backstage oh, like the night course, before, yes. which made me think Kevin was going to win, just because, you know. Yeah, same. He's really let his friend down. Symmetry. Yeah. Mm. Um, I like the structure of the match, just the fact that the two old wrestlers, older wrestlers, whatever, the two vets beat down the young whippersnapper, and then eventually they had to come to the bit where it was like, I like that they disregarded the trope, where obviously they went for the pinfall in the match, but instead of going like, I'm shocked that you want to do this pinfall in this triple threat match, they were like, I guess we're going to have to start fighting now, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. yeah let's right, Randy went for the RKO and Kevin obviously saw it. So, good lovely shot of Randy's going, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, good. Again, the, it's good for people who've been watching wrestling for a while and knowing these are veterans going, yeah, okay. It'll be more offensive. They were like, but, uh, I can't believe it. They're I like, no, you... I can believe this. It's a very believable situation we find ourselves in. I don't know if you mentioned the bit as well there. Sorry if you did, where they get pushed into each other and then they go like, Oh, he pushed you into oh, me. Oh, that was great as well. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Logan couldn't, like, oh, oh come wait. on, guys. Like, no, no, that no. was an accident. Oh, yeah, fair enough. And then they just stopped beating him up again. I thought that was yeah. very funny. Paul's going, y'all fight. Come on. Yeah. Uh, crowd started chatting, Gatorade. <laughs> Prime. Very H2O. Good. Well, did you know that Gatorade is a proper isotonic drink, whereas Prime is not? I watched a YouTube video about uh, it. Yeah, apparently some people are confused going, wait, Prime's not, like, good for you? You're like, uh, oh. It well, claims yeah. to be something that it's not. That's so funny. I remember once hearing a like rumor. We claim to be experts. <laughs> I remember hearing a rumor once that Subway's bread is so sugary that legally it's a cake, not a sandwich. I think I might no, have just been in Ireland, but I. They're getting me nodding so I, I seriously. No, I that's swear true. it was only Ireland <laughs> that did that, but I've, yeah. No, no. Is that, that cut? Well, can't be yeah. true. I think, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, it was Ireland. Yeah, I think so. It's been a while since I've had a look at that. I'm sure uh, Sesh, if you ask him politely, you have a look at it. No, um, it's all right, Sesh, don't worry. No. Sesh knows strong, his way around Subway bread. It's yeah. all he eats on most days. He's been out until 4 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Only thing open now. Yeah. Subway. Yeah. Uh, Paul getting the brass knocks and clocking Orton uh, for two. That was quite crazy. It was, Ian. I like the Orton just going, brass knocks, no, no. I'll be the weapon. <laughs> Go yeah. to kick I'm a big Logan weapon. Logan in the head. I think it was Corey shouting, he is the weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, go, no, 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 don't say that. <laughs> no, they say, I, once you notice it, American commentators say quite a lot, what a human weapon he is. <laughs> what a big weapon. Because <laughs> weapon means like idiot up here. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, I show speed. And again, I've said this beforehand when we used to get hate mail, people go, Matthew, you need to say nice things about Logan Paul. No, screw him. But at the same time, that he's doing the right thing by having lads like this. Mm. Yeah. So that is what the youth people need. They can't just have, you know, whatever Vince thinks is down with the kids, which is, I don't know. Great kid, balls of fire. Yeah, <laughs> great great balls balls of fire. yeah, so obviously they should battle people like this. I've seen a bit of I, uh, I show speed. Honestly, my head went, I slow speed. because that's not his name. <laughs> I show speed. And he's like, no, I, not my thing at all. Not my tempo, but it, I'm 36. So, yeah, why would I be watching this person? Tell you so what, this is what they should be doing for having the, getting the youths and other people watching this. So fair play to them. Even if, if, we're, I don't care about them. if we're still alive in 1.5 to 2 million years' time, <laughs> we might get the call to be the YouTuber in the Prime Bottle. Yeah, maybe. Because they've gone from KSI and they've gone a little bit down to I show speed, I think it's fair to say. So 1.5 to 2 million years' time. I love your sure positivity. <laughs> yeah, and this one again, but... Uh, Pop of Powerbomb's counting an RKO, but Paul shoves Orton outside and hits the frog splash to pin Owens at 17.38. Yeah. It was the right finish, wasn't it? The proper poo out yeah. one. So he did show a little bit of flamboyance in the match, Logan, like when he did the, God, was it a frog splash? And he did a roll through yeah, yeah. and then a, another splash to Kevin Owens, I think it was on the far side of the ring. Yeah, and they let Cole go, wow, he's so athletic and amazing and generous with his money and he <laughs> definitely gives uh. back stuff he's stolen afterwards. <laughs> and then, yeah. Um, Sorry, he's playing a heel. It's all right to say that. Um, yeah, I thought it was good. I thought it seems like the wrestlers who get involved in wrestling, sorry, the non-wrestlers get involved in wrestling these days, like I show speed. I don't really know. But he, he took the bump full on, like on the announce table as well. Like he wasn't scared to. And he, it, to be fair, because the RKO is now like a meme outside of wrestling. It's probably like a dream for many YouTubers to take an RKO. A meme dream. Yeah, a meme dream. Meme Oakland, dream Oakland, yes. Hey. Ah, up oh. next, Bailey is now Egyptian. 
And she defeats Io Sky ah. to become the new WWE Women's Champion. Don't be silly, Matthew. We all know that there's an Egyptian-themed theme park in San Jose where Bailey is from. Graves frantically looking at his phone going, yeah, yeah. why is she Egyptian? <laughs> uh, no reason given, uh, apart from that, and no sponsorship reason. So it's just like, yeah, okay, cool. Fair I enough. thought it was, because she did like an Egyptian-themed gimmick when she first turned heel, didn't she? Like a, a look, I mean, like an attire. Mm. When she had the proper Karen haircut. I guess she had the thick oh, eye. Oh, is that the, the what the hair was supposed to be room. like? Because that's know. what the hair's like in The Mummy Returns, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, The Rock should have been fearful. <laughs> Baby should have turned into a giant scorpion <laughs> and ripped Eo Sky apart. Anyway. She kind of did rip. No, she got ripped apart, but still won. She absolutely did, because bloody hell was Eo Sky good in this match. Yeah. Oh, I thought Buddy Bailey was good. They, they were, were both, both great. Good. But just yeah. like, I put, oh my God, the rose plant block was amazing. I oh, jumped out my seat. The flip through one. When yeah. she did like a bouncy bounce. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Sh- Shiver my timbers. Yeah, RVD or whoever. I wouldn't show that speed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I think she had speed to pull it off. Um, um, the, up the drugs. The selling from Bailey I thought was really good. Like she really uh, played the sympathetic baby face well. And because the story had built up to it nicely, it was like, extra effective yep and when it came time for her big comeback and eventually winning the crowd was really behind her which was nice to see yep lovely lovely Bailey <laughs> oh. lovely lovely lovely, 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 lovely Irish Bailey. Baileys <laughs> I'll tell you what though I thought they missed a trick not having the tube men come back that's one thing I was missing from the entrance there just to go I was alright that feels like a different version of Bailey oh but there's, there's no stopping us now we celebrate on the floor yeah if the Tubman had if the Tubman <laughs> Yeah. What's, what's Richard got to do with this? If the two men were dressed as Egyptians. <laughs> that would okay, work. yeah. Fair Anubis enough. having a good time. <laughs> Tutankhamun. Hey. Tutan, uh, come on. Yeah. This was just a very good match. I don't have any other notes. Yeah, Bailey was selling the leg for ages, and then eventually Eo. I like the bit of storyline with Eo doing a, doing a Jimmy Uso by saying sorry, and then Bailey kind oh, of buying yeah, it for not really. Yeah, similar that, wasn't it? Yeah. And then she hit it with a shote. Yes. Which kind of missed, but Palm strike. sort of, but it was okay. Yeah, and I like the finish for the win, getting the old macho man elbow drop before mm-hmm. the rose plant for a nice competitive match. It was the right story as well. I like damage control not getting involved as they want like to do. Because um, obviously what, what was to come, it was different enough from that as well. Yeah. And they were still reeling from their loss to the, the big three. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I wish I had anything more interesting to say about that match, but we've said it all. T Pain next up, right? I need to say this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But was it very interesting that he was wearing headphones inside the stadium? I can only assume that was down to Death Rebel. I, I know there's been a lot of Death Rebel hate in this podcast, but it's deserved. <laughs> They're not very good. I, I, I worried a bit because on the What Happened Up video, um, I went, and now we see some celebrities in the crowd. Look, it's T Pain. Teddy Fizzle's in the house. And then I realized, do people, does anyone call him Teddy Fizzle or have I made that up? Have you heard this, Joel? I think you made that up. <laughs> Teddy Fizzle. <laughs> I liked it though. Teddy Fizzle. I thought a song that was by someone called, I don't know if it's Mainu? Mainu. The footballer. Aye. Well. Mainu, he was in Legacy. Uh, not him. I don't know him. Sorry. Mainu. But aye, T-Pain. A song called All the Above, Joel. Do you remember? It was a prime P Patrol song back in 2009. Paw Patrol. Ah. Uh, uh, when you're cruising through the streets in the back of your friends. Oh, a different friends, P. Friends, Renault Clio. The other animal. <laughs> Uh, All the above by T Pain, and I think he's called Mainu. But I said it was a T Pain song in the video. I've made a right mistake. Anyway, I don't know how to do anything. No, oh, yeah, with T Pain. Oh, because yeah, <laughs> uh, he was there. Vanessa yeah. Hudgens oh. was there both nights. Yeah, uh, and Snoop Dogg and the Philadelphia Eagles cheerleaders came in, and Snoop Dogg, oh, there's a lot of people there, gave the attendances, and then the combined day totals is 145,420. Yeah. As it came out 298. <laughs> and I don't think the commentators realized, like, no, the drug number, silly, 420. <laughs> and uh, and then he danced with not just the Philadelphia Eagles cheerleaders, but the mascot as well. Which was fantastic. Yeah. It was very reminiscent of that scene in ECW where the fans got in the ring and then eventually the ring collapsed. No, it wasn't. It wasn't as <laughs> cool. was it like, <laughs> The ring was proper bounced now. I was like, oh my God, it's going to snap. That no, was a good it was, time. It was more cool, actually, because this time they didn't need to rely on pretty ladies. No, way. I'm thinking of the other one. The ECW one was cooler because they didn't have to rely on pretty ladies. What am I talking about here? This is analysis. <laughs> and then the main event. This is why we're paid the, the medium to small bucks. Yes. Between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. The counterfeit bucks. Features a lot of interference. Uh, Jimmy Oso is first. Gets speed up the ramp through a table by Jay. That made me forget about that match on night one. That I, I fully scary, agree. Scary spirit. What a lovely match. Solo Sokoa hits Cody with a small spike like he did last year. Ah, uh, yes. And this then time, what did he do? 
Cody kicks out. He so, started barking orders at Roman, which I think they'll call back to in the future. Yeah. Yep. You beat him now. <laughs> Marvin the Martian <laughs> voicing Zilla. Roman, you see, you look uh, what I did here. You beat him now. Where is seen, the Samoan spy? I saw a clip of Solo. <laughs> been earth shattering spy. <laughs> I saw a clip of Solo breaking character on up up down down. It was really good. It was, what did he um, say? He didn't say anything. It's because the, it's the entrances, and they've obviously set it up to rib him. So like his opponent makes their entrance, and then Solo's playing as himself. And he's entering, he does like a big handspring and stuff. And Woods just absolutely loses his mind and he just goes back to Solo, just going like <laughs> rubbing his face. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, sorry, you're earnest and all that. <laughs> uh, so John Cena arrives and AA Solo through the announce table but because Solo beat Cena. Aiden at gets 40. so cruel whenever Cena turns up. Aiden's like obsessed and horrified by his bald spot and he's really nasty about him. Aiden, oh. of all people, right? Aiden who uses products to stop that happening to himself. That's what he means though. He says right. I think he feels I think he feels I think he feels like because he uses the old concealer thing. I hope he doesn't mind us saying that. It's too late now. Uh, it's not, this is pre-recorded. Yeah, but famously nothing gets edited out of these. I don't think he minds. He's very open about it. Yeah. But um he was like I think he feels therefore that he because he always says like John just get a bit of like product on that and it'd be fine. But John refuses to. And maybe I admire it's, that. Maybe it's John. under the glare of the lights or the yeah, know. if it is thin, it'll just shine through, won't it? Maybe. Like a diamond. Or maybe it's the like sweat. I feel this is going to sound so harsh and needless. Go on, Jack, say it. Since he stopped fake tanning, obviously, and now he's an actor and stuff, since he stopped fake tanning, let his hair grow out and that, the, it's, it's something about the tone of his skin or the way it clashes with his jeans or whatever. I, th I think he looks like he smells bad. <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you get that? Or that he's, like, really sweaty? <laughs> Nah. <laughs> no, okay then. It's just me. This is like when back in the day, someone said, I can't remember who it was, but someone was like, I think Charlotte Flair's feet smell. Yeah, I remember that. I know, I know, I know who said it, but I won't reveal it. Yeah, I was like, like how, have you come up, how have you come up with that? <laughs> yeah, I didn't get I'm that. I'm getting those feelings again. Cena <laughs> looks like he stinks. It's like the, is it maybe the hair? With yeah, your smelly hair or lack like, thereof. Because suddenly his hair's all greasy. Uh. It's not, it's just slicked back, isn't it? But like, and then the pale and the jeans. <laughs> There's just something about him. I'm like, oh, he looks like he, he needs, he needs a shower. Pale, sweaty loser, yeah. John Cena. I did, I That's don't know. Awesome. You know the episode of It's Always Sunny where... <laughs> no, I can't say it. Oh, uh, yeah. You know the episode of It's Always Sunny where Dennis, they ha he has to like go to a bar and try and chat up a girl without his makeup on uh. and all that sort of stuff. Is that... The sort of vibe I'm getting, maybe from him. Do you know what I mean? John Cena, I kind of know what you mean. John yeah. Cena and the implications. But Cena's still <laughs> confident as ever. Like you're still running around. <laughs> still a buff lad, yeah. Oh god, yeah. Have I told you I love you, Jack? Please. Thank you, mate. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you. But why? <laughs> why? Because of this? What I thought was a fair point. Oh. The Rock comes out. <laughs> sees he Cena. looks like he smells fantastic. The Rock. But a hazmat suit on and puts it, <laughs> Cena, <laughs> puts Cena down the rock bottom. Seth Rollins arrives in shield gear. I Philly lose their minds as I did I and thought, yeah. wait, wait a minute. There's no I, way uh, John Moxie's showing up. Yeah, you're right. Of course not. He immediately shows up and gets taken out seconds into appearance. That yeah, but funny. that's that good. Funny. Because yeah, yeah. he dressed that was so funny. No, he dressed up like the shield to finish his own story with Roman. Mm. Yeah, of course. Because then it looks as though Rock and Roman are about to beat Cody. How are we addressing? I have to put I my know, special man. clothes on and play my special music <laughs> yeah. to finish my story. And then uh the Undertaker, Dong, gets an even bigger reaction, choke slams the rock. Uh, oh, Taker's face was quite meaningful when he's fuming at Rock, but his eyes are bulging. Yeah. <laughs> Taker leaves, and Roman can't resist seeing Seth there in his shieldy gear. Roman's got the chair. He's like, hang on, remember 10 years ago? And hits Seth in the back with a chair, clearly taking his eyes off the prize. Cody avoids the spear, hits three, count them, three crossroads to become the new WWE champion. Oh, Cody gets a big post-match celebration with Brandy and various other baby faces from the locker room. He presents the belt to Mama Rhodes before bringing out Triple H for a hug. Uh, and Bruce Pritchard, Ooh. who did not get that positive reaction in the stadium. No. Michael Cole repeatedly mentions pressure wrestling on commentary. Oh, and uh, Samantha's voice breaks, and she calls it. Yeah, yeah Samantha's yeah. on Bloody the Bloody hell, yes. That final, I don't know how long it is, 10 minutes, let's say. Let's say, yeah. That's a, it's a wrestle wank, everybody. It's a wrestle wank. I'm going to coin the yeah. term. I don't know if it's a thing already, but it's a wrestle wank. That's one of the greatest stretches of wrestling ever. 
And got all the through. Undertaker was a bit of an odd choice. Well, they wanted Austin. But of course, yes. Because the yeah. truck told the truth. The truck predicted John Cena was going to come back and help. Mm. But John Cena's appearance did make sense because Solo was the guy who yeah, wiped yeah. out Cena. And then obviously yeah. The Rock came out to meet Cena. And I thought history. it all made sense until Taker. Yeah, until Taker. Yeah. But it didn't ruin it too much. I, that's what I'm saying. Even if it was like, oh, okay, whatever. It didn't ruin it. I no. guess you could say like Taker wants to save. Cause the, the story from Rollins' perspective was like, we need to save the WWE. The, so I guess he's the conscience of the locker room. Yeah, <laughs> the character of Taker's always had an unexpected nice streak. Remember when he opened his jacket and had the American flag? Oh, when he was a smart. really old version of the American flag because I guess yeah. he's been around for ages. Yeah. Yeah. He's been, la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't put my pants on because I love America. <laughs> and it was like, Undertaker's a patriot as well. Cody's a patriot. I've seen people suggest that it's because The Rock once cost him the hardcore championship as well. <laughs> oh, In like of course, 2001 yes. or 2002. Yeah. Yeah. But so. that moment where Roman, like, he's got the decision to whether to just, you know, end Cody or just close the book on the old Seth Rollins thing from 10 years ago. Yeah. And just because Seth's re- wearing those clothes and he goes, I thought that was b- brilliantly done. Yeah. As many people point out, like, with Drew McIntyre and Seth, sorry, and Seth, and uh, Roman, they both had the things of, look, if you just let it go, it's okay. But he couldn't let it go. And either of them could let it go, the things in the past. It's very much how the Disney villains always get theirs. There's not a moment of Disney... Uh, film where the hero goes, I've had enough of you, and just shot Gutton in the face. It's always the villain given that chance to redeem themselves, like in Tarzan, where the guy who's voiced by Brian Blessed, I believe, is like, Come on, let me help you. And he goes, No, and then cuts the vines and accidentally hangs himself. Oh. This is one example. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a great that. way. It's because it's like, that. obviously, Tarzan's not going to break his neck. So it's just like, You know, not only do I help you, stupid jungle boy. God. Real glass. And then he dies. You stupid what? Well, what's boy, on? he said. Jungle Boy. Yeah. Oh. Jungle Boy. Tarzan. You're giving him feelings. I'm so, oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, Roman Reigns was fantastic here. I hate that I see him in like 4K interviews and he's got grey hair and stuff because he still wrestles beautifully. Yeah, he looks um, like stay. He looks like he smells bad. Actually, no, just yeah. smelly Roman Reigns, mm-hmm. they call him backstage. No, I've seen it does. He, he smells he, weird. Great right hairs the, and the beard doesn't matter. I'm having that. I'm no, I think, I think it actually suits Roman quite a lot. Yeah. yeah. Nothing could make that man not he gorgeous. Get he hits the crossroads on Cody, goes for pin him, and it doesn't work. And he's like, I just want to hit that. Paul, I just want to hit that on him. What a crappy finish. I, I, I knew that oh. finish wouldn't work. It's yeah. crap. <laughs> yeah. And Paul's like, yay. Oh, uh, yeah. After my, my brother messaged me, he goes, Why is everyone talking about Cody Rhodes? I was just like, He, he beat Roman Reigns for the, the title. After Roman's held the title, for four years. And he went, four years? I went, yeah. And to tell him, I was like, yes, that's just how long he's held it. Mm. So this was an event. This was a feeling. This was the perfect way to open up the Paul Levesque era. He couldn't have done it better. I saw okay, t- maybe with Austin, but okay. I can't remember who now. did it, but I saw a tweet that was like, about the post-match celebrations. And it was like, Michael Cole whispering, I love you in Cody's ear has me fully bricked up right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, ready for a poo. No, no, that's not what bricked up. <laughs> that, I mean, that's no, no. Um, I liked it a lot for what it achieved. Like, I think the the way I described it on my matches of the month podcast is that um they'd done all the good work in the build, yeah. So all they had to do was just kind of send it home here, just stick the landing, um, and, and they, they did, did, yeah. And um, if there's one person WWE could choose to be like the the ambassador of this new era or whatever, Cody's a great choice. Very like you know, he speaks well and all that sort of yeah. stuff. He's a good PR guy, but also has just had this, like, absolute second win. Because when he lost last year, I was totally wrong, but I was like, they've blown it because they'll never regain that popularity that he had. They'll never be a bigger moment. And whether they kind of looked into it or not, there totally has been, and it was even better, so fair enough. Yeah. And he deserves it, I think, because he's had a very unique journey. Well, no, because we're Absolutely. watching it, like, when Jimmy's turn, return, second turn happened, mm. we're like, oh, they've buggered it here. They've yeah. realized they've done wrong and now the story doesn't make sense. But then I think it is obviously just obviously the reaction to Rock coming back. I wonder what would have happened if the Rock didn't come back. I think, I think is it's that even worth wondering at this point? Honestly, I feel, still think it would have gotten this bigger pop, this you think bigger it still reaction. Have won? I think it's only added to it because the Rock's definitely added a lot. Turn, yeah, yeah, turn yeah, and yeah. heal the way he did. Yeah. Um, who was, who's having decision that was? He beat him. He did. God. And that'll never get talked about again. Uh. Well, Brandy, when you watch Brandy come out at the start, Cody's got that weird mask on. 
<laughs> didn't do much. I didn't do any favors, but whatever. <laughs> and she gets the Linda McMahon pop. We have the yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the brandy yeah. pop after what the Nightmare Collective I was on about the other day. How she came back from that to get that pop at WrestleMania. Oh, you knew you, was there. You knew you're on for a winner. Straight from that moment there, just yeah. all the stuff Only that happened. Only way would have been better is if instead of Undertaker, the dog took out the rock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, that would have been great. And it ended up being very much like that uh, Avengers parody that went viral <laughs> a few days beforehand. It's like, yeah, that, yeah, it's pretty much what it was. Because he's a big, like, you know, that nerd. sort of film yeah. fan. No, that sort of film fan. Right. Whatever, no, he's that, a, sort he's a film, whatever that sort of film. Whatever that sort of film. You should dress up as uh, Metal Gear Solid for Ring of Honor. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, it was um, yeah, Metal Gear Solid uh, 3 edition, yeah. isn't it? Like the, the camo. Yeah, yeah, it was dog. Oh, it was so good. But like the reactions in the crowd, we saw Logan Paul on his vlog. I don't know no, what No, we didn't. We did. I was going radio rental, he was, and it was fantastic you to see. Fake bastard. Ricky Starks. Are you going to call him a fake oh, bastard? No, he's real. Ricky Stanicky, yeah. Oh. Looks like he <laughs> smells a bit <laughs> weird. Ricky Stanicky does smell. Smelly Starks. Was He's there, an alcoholic yeah, actor. Uh, but Ricky Starks losing this stuff. Samantha Evan again on the call. like oh, what Her voice call. breaking. My, and the, the the message at the end about the new era. Like I think Michael's the one who says, I love professional wrestling. Oh, I love professional Corey's wrestling. Corey's one who's like, professional wrestling's back, I think. And then yeah. Pat's like, hey, isn't it good? <laughs> <laughs> and Pat, earlier, <laughs> earlier in the show, um, Cole or Graves said something like, wow. It's uh, he's some for some reason I like, wouldn't say the S word, but then I'd sense himself. It smells like <laughs> S. And then Pat just said it two yeah, seconds later, yeah. and there was a pause on commentary. I guess where someone said, "No, don't say that." Actually, how could he not after that weekend though? Paul Heyman. Were they talking about John Cena? <laughs> <laughs> John Cena smells like poop. All right, and John Cena smells. What do you mean? And then you just said immaculate. It. Yeah, there's no way that he doesn't smell great because that Latin for crap. He's probably like bought some amazing. He probably wears <laughs> some still talking about that. Very classy. <laughs> yeah, forget Cody for a second. <laughs> forget the greatest WrestleMania of all time. Like, as they've been calling it. I know that Cena probably doesn't smell bad. Just, probably. He, he, he just he's really never had B.O. Oh. in his life. No, no, but now he looks like he could. Whereas he used to look he like could. He could. He used he's, to look like he's he still looks like a Greek god. Just a. He's. <laughs> They smelled as well. He looks like a marble, I can't talk, a marble sculpture <laughs> of a Greek god. Yeah, but you'd be That's like... how white he is. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I've lost the plot. Anyway, I saw someone He's call white, this... He looks whiter than this podcast <laughs> right now. He, I saw someone say this was oh. like Starcade 97, but done proper. Oh, that was a good comparison. I like and I that. was like, yes, it is. Yeah, a absolute 100% definitive feud ender. It's over. All the bells and whistles, all the all the rewards for people watching wrestling yes. every week. And for years, it's been a while since I've had one of them. It may just be a Paul Heyman thing about all the feuds intersecting and be a big blow off. But yeah, it's been a while since I've had a big one of them. And this was probably a lot of people's... I mean, it obviously hammered at home of the Monday Night Raw about to get to that. This is the best WrestleMania of all time. But for a lot of younger fans who have just started watching, it's like, well, when Roman Reigns lost at WrestleMania 40, that, that's going to be their bloody... Andre getting slammed at WrestleMania 3. Mm. Yeah. Like, remember that? Do you remember Brian beating Triple H at WrestleMania 3? That, that's their thing. Because like, it's like, what, a, what an amazing moment. And they emphasized it after, again, a year's worth of build for this rematch. Because it was still a proper... Sh when the final four happened, it was still a proper shock. Yep. For me, anyway. Yeah. I still, <laughs> probably should have kicked I still couldn't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> if that was it. He's just, he's, no more people interfere. Everything's equal now. Cody, and then set, Roman just not being able to let go of the shield. What was your reaction, Joel, when Cody beat? I can't remember. Uh, I loved it. I yeah. thought it was great, yeah. Did um, you have a wrestle wank? <laughs> he had a big wrestle wank. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I think on like when Seth came out at first and got one? battered, I'm right. I was like, oh, he looks, he looks terrible. But on reflection, the, the, the story is perfect. Yeah. He and got in the ring and he dropped shield. the chair that made Roman lose his title. So good, mm. yeah. Vindication. And it, you can justify yeah. Undertaker being there because Roman took his yard. Oh, uh, he took his yeah. yard. And he's had beef with like Rikishi, but what was Yokozuna, But it was the Rock, rock that he was beefing with. Yeah. Oh, Undertaker's always hated the Samoans, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I thought it was great. But what about the character now? Um, <laughs> <laughs> just, just kidding, guys, just kidding. It is funny how he's the one to answer the call, though. Austin obviously couldn't get the deal worked out, but when where there's a penny, there's a taker. And it's the Undertaker. Yeah, because yeah. he's got no money, that poor Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Monday Night Raw. Unbelievable. Triple H opens the show and gets, thank you, Hunter. Chance. It sounds oh, just like Hogan that. and Raw, 2002, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah, 
pretty much. <laughs> yeah, thanks to the, thanks and to the fans. Uh, <laughs> for taking WrestleMania 40, the greatest mania of all time. Uh, he welcomes us to a new era and brings out Cody Rhodes. Triple H congratulates him and shows a video package recapping Cody's career on the really small screen because there were that many bully people in the arena to accommodate them all. They had to have little TVs you see in you know Dixon's windows. It was the largest gate. He said in the history of the company, by assuming he meant in the history of Raw. Yeah. Over, tw- yeah. over 20,000 people were in the arena for the... Bloody hell. Yeah. They hug and Triple H leaves. Cody asks Samantha Irvin to announce him as champion again, and she does. Then people like, yay. Cody says he acknowledges Roman Reigns and calls him the most important superstar of a generation. He shows a clip of his daughter and says she's the reason he had the drive to become champion. baby. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Papa. I hate you, Dad. She was a little bit sort of Sound of Music family. Pa- Hi, Papa. <laughs> Papa. Papa, can yeah. you hear me? The Rock and Roll Service. People's just champion belt. End of. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking where have I heard that before and I can't. Yeah. End of is what you do. So it's, oh, never what do you wait? Oh, um, wait, is that a sample? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to say it's just like Duffy's involved. Oh, yeah, I look. I love Duffy, me. <laughs> Nah, he... Did, did Endum sample that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who's this woman in my bed named Who, Shaniqua? What's the and what? <laughs> it's like an opera, isn't it? It's all, Shaniqua like from... Uh, Kachin. The Bashams. Karisha. Oh. Karias, Karisha. Um, Endubs. Shaniqua's from the wrestling. Yeah. Basham Brothers. Endubs. Papa, if you can... Papa, can you hear me? Well, who does the original then? Oh, yeah, the lyrics of this version are DAPs to the Y, Nana Frickin'. And this is for my dad. DAPs to the Y? DAPs to the Y. Are those two P's? DAPs to the Y. Do you not know how to spell his own name? DAPs to the Y. P's plural. DAPs to the Y. DAPs. Anyway. DAPs to the Y. Right, Shut up, No, green. no, no, no. Let's find out what... Look, go back to bed and I'll read the rest of Raw, right? Original? Who did the original? The original version. Yeah, the original. Papa, can you hear me? Papa, can you hear me? That would have been great if Samantha went, please welcome the greatest, rest, the greatest rapper of all time and Daffy. Daffy. <laughs> and Simon Daffy with two P's. Phaser. I think this is an that original, you know. I think this is an original song. To be fair, Dappy, he did have one good song, which was in the charts when I first started uni. Starship. No. Star. I can't remember what it's called now. Spaceship. Oh, bollocks. Rockstar. No. They say that I'm famous. Mm. Um, Stairway to Heaven. Number no. one by t- number one with Tinchy Strider. <laughs> that was before I my uni time. I don't understand yeah. how. Oh, what was, was it? Why were we talking was about Was it Rockstar? Oh, no, it wasn't Rockstar. They say that I'm famous. I like Rockstar. It wasn't Rockstar. Joel. No regrets. Scrat- no, no regrets. regrets. No regrets. No more crying after yesterday. After yesterday. <laughs> No, re- turns out me and Ross are big <laughs> dappy enthusiasts. Yeah, I had no idea with that in end. Dappy's we're, No, we're not. We're just dappy's are nuns. It's, we're just we're just the age where he was. Oh, in so a, he'll be in the prime bottle next year. Then we're just the age where he was inescapable for a few years. It was strange. Him and Talisa. Yeah, yeah, escapable. That's a good word. Curry says he acknowledges Roman Reigns. Blah, 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 blah. The Rock interrupts with his People's Championship belt and the crowd chant Undertaker. Oh, that belt, man. Rock oh. says Philly broke another record this weekend. The largest gathering in Trailer Park trash, tell him, Rock. Yeah. <laughs> Rock gives credit to Cody for beating Roman and says Dusty would be proud. He talks about the friendship between their fathers and asks Cody if they can hold the WWE title. Now I Cody's thought... like, hmm, only if I can hold your fake people's belt. Yeah, what the they f- swap and the crowd chant, this is awkward. Rock says, this feels right. He gives the belt back and says he has to go away for a while. <laughs> Which made me feel like, you know, when Big Al leaves in South Park. Like, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> but when he returns, he'll be coming after Cody. Cody will <laughs> finish his story. But this story has just begun. Rock gives something to Cody. We don't see what it is. It tells him never to break his heart again. All right. We've so this is predictions out so there. So sexual. This don't is you rock. ever break my heart. I used condom. <laughs> this is Rock. Well, I've got to be the good guy at the end, like he has in all his films and stuff really? like that, where he can't lose uh, Did you anything. think? Because what, he after... He the biggest gathering of trailer parks. Shut up, I... bitch. Whip, whip. I'm going to beat your mum up. Whip, whip. Oh, man. So good to see you, He man. was yeah. still, so he was still heelish and like, don't break my heart again. I think don't he, break my heart again. I think I, I, he I, gave him the... I'll give you a secret the custom gift. side plate that would have gone on his title. Uh, that, that's my prediction. That would be really nice. And acting... A... What's uh, your prediction? Is that any different to that? Uh, that's so good. I want to say it was one of those remote controlled mines that you see in Goldmine. It says Rocker. <laughs> no! It blew him up. Dun, dun. <laughs> Session. <laughs> Let's do a clip them on the ding. Da, da, Session, da, what's your prediction? Ding, ding. Well, the, the it theory, just touches his goosebumps to set The theory off. I've read on Twitter is it's a lighter because he. he um, a lighter? Yeah, he, he, Rock is the one who set his bus on set. fire. 
Oh, no. that's the I've theory. Yeah, it's Ross on fire. That's the theory. I'm yeah, we mentioned that. Um, I don't think that's it though. I that's a good story, that though, isn't it? A Imagine golden <laughs> ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Waking up at one a.m. and your bus is on fire. Uh, I'll grab three things: it, a picture of my wife. No, it's it, it gives it the Cody. It's the everlasting gobstopper. <laughs> you did it, uh, Cody. You won. You won. <laughs> I I think it'll be like. The WrestleMania 41 logo, and oh, like is like what are you on about? Sesh, it's because that's Sesh, the rumored, you're off the rails. The rumored, rumored, logo. The rumored match, isn't Throw it? Up the Sesh. Come on, Sesh. Off. It's time to get your life together. <laughs> he gave the him, logo. He gave him. He gave him a stash of pills. Then Rock went, Officer, Officer, <laughs> <laughs> arrest that man. <laughs> I've seen people suggest that it might be the watch that Cody bought for all of the main eventers, but Rock's given his back. Mm. Oh. I like that story, by the way, from the press comments where Brucey e. P, the much maligned uh, Brucey e. hmm. P, and Triple H bought back the watch Dusty had to sell to pay for Cody's acting classes. Uh, oh, that's very fitting for Philly because yeah. there's a famous story about Sylvester Stallone that he was so poor before, obviously, Rocky got made and everything like that. Oh, and I hate this story so much. He, he sold his dog. His pet dog, yeah. and afterwards when he obviously wow, I've got money now. Rocky did all right. Isn't he the, went and found him and reborn him? Isn't the him. dog actual Butkus from Rocky One? I think that's the real dog. Possibly, I'm checked it, but that sounds about I right. I hope so. Butkus, Dick Butkus. After, after, after again, Dick. after the award-winning, <laughs> much much loved American coach and former NFL player, Dick Butkus. Yeah, Dick Butkus. Dick Gut Butkus. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> and Rocky's like, oh, your Butkus. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Dick butt kiss. Butt kiss. Butt kiss. It's but he, for some reason Rocky pronounces. Yeah, why does he say butt kiss? <laughs> but butt funny. kiss. Like like um like. It's like when you listen to Conrad and they're on about Dick Togo and he's like, "Hey, Dick to go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want some Dick to go? <laughs> Chat me up. How do you... <laughs> anyway, right. Apparently, the reason they did the belt because I watched this live. Oh, God, me heart. On BT Sports, and it was a long forty-five minutes. Oh, this yeah. Program. Oh, it was a long segment. Apparently, I saw someone theorize on the Twitter machine that 10 years ago, if not a bit longer, because it was when The Rock was unveiling that new big logo championship. After the same punk match, yep. Dash and Cody Rhodes was like, hey, can I hold... <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, can I hold that belt, please? So apparently this is calling back to that, because now Cody's got a belt that Rock wants to hold. No, okay. I didn't quite understand the stuff with the people's title. That just... I don't know if it shouldn't be on TV. The Rock shouldn't be pretending it, it's like a real title. I think it makes yeah, the that, Rock look silly, yeah. If yeah. he's trying to be heel, fine. But he's trying to be face and doing it. Yeah. You I can't be face is, with your made up is, belt. I don't know if he is trying to be face because trying to get... Cody no, because no, people go, boo, there's no real belt. He went, it is actually because Muhammad Ali said that was a people <laughs> champion. Like, <laughs> what? Get, what? But but I got him sucked. <laughs> but getting Cody to swap belts with him for a bit, that felt really sinister to me. That felt heelish still. Yeah. Stop raising your eyebrows like that. I was sad about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, I'm being like The Rock. Like, yeah, yeah, gives you belt. He raises his belt. Oh, right, right, right. Gives right, right. right. you belt. Gives you belt. Don't be shocked. Nah, drop your trousers. Don't walk down. away from me. I know you can hear me. <laughs> Get your dick out. <laughs> Get your dick out. That's what I felt he was saying to me. I think, I know what he passed him. He'll have passed him one of those little playground game paper oh. games, and then you open it, and no matter which one it is, it says, says, I like you. John Cena Do smells. you like me? <laughs> Bob the dick. <laughs> Talked over my friggin' punch on this. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, I'm no, no, sorry, no, no, no. Jack. It's okay. No, anyway. You're tired and I have had a drink. I tell you what, I'm, though. I'm back. I'm back. He's back. Oh, yeah. I'm getting my second. I've kipped up. Oh. It's, I'm glad this segment. Yeah. The first hour of Raw this week was Neither commercial way, free, which was good for this segment because yes. it went on for a long time. Oh, if only WrestleMania was commercial three, it would have been two hours long. Commercial three? Newcastle upon time. <laughs> So, shut up, bitch. <laughs> Quote The Rock, I the people's champion. The, I don't know if it got changed, but on the live BT feed, the shut the F up chants from the crowd yeah. were not bleeped, uh -huh. but The Rock's F was muted, though, so they did quite well there. Um, I like The Rock's cadence when he was talking, because mm. he was like, hey, Chico, <laughs> Razor Ramon. He was like, hey, your, <laughs> your daddy was my hero, man. What, what? Your dad and my dad ran <laughs> those towns. Like 
He did, didn't he? he? Yeah, he did, but it's scat, scat, scat. <laughs> Why did you like that? It's I creepy. Thought it was funny. Famous jazz singer, The Rock. It was very sinister. Hey, he's like, be 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 welcome be to be Jazz Club. And then nice. he's like, my dad, be 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 be. your dad, be be be. and then he was like, oh, I don't care if my dad I think dad the drink's was... starting to hit. It's, it's getting a bit reckless now. I'm, I'm sweating whiskey right so now. I'm so long as he's shown here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That was, <laughs> the bit where he's like, I don't care if my dad was proud of the things I did to your dad. I don't know what's going on. But I like this cadence change because it was like, oh, he feels a bit sinister here while, while being quite trustworthy to yeah. with the belts. It was a nice juxtaposition. It was a hard word to he say after like, a few counts. He felt like the older lad at school who like wants to yeah. like have borrow the younger kid's shiny yeah. Charizard and you're like, no, don't do it. And you're like, I have no choice but to do this. But oh, I thought mm. made Cody look like a bit of a bitch because... He didn't have to do that. No, I mean, no, but Cody went, let me hold your fake belt. Yeah, if I can hold your crap pretendy belt, the Rock could have just gone, ha ha, bye. Yeah, yeah. When, you beat, when you beat Muhammad Ali for that title. Yeah, I guess so. Lying weirdo. Yeah. But it, the Rock made note as well that he's coming back for Cody, whether he's champion or not. Ooh. Yes. Spence. Um, I thought this, it was, on, I right. think the end to this story would be a nice ending if Cody got, not the belt, but the moniker of people's champion passed on to him by the Rock. That would be a nice ending. If it means anything, that would mean something to Rock. But again, the entire point of bringing the Rock in was to take all the tension away from the Vince stuff, publicly traded TKO and all that other nonsense. So if he comes back and has the people's title against Cody or whatever, it'll be fine. It can't be title versus title. No, no. Uh, you know exactly no, no. how it's going to be. No, course. no. I'll go to Cody. Cody can myself. go, what are you on about, you idiot? <laughs> you no, daft Cody's so like, the character Cody is so honorable and stupid. He'd be like, Fair enough. This is a prestigious stipulation. You know what? I'm going to put the WCPW title on the line as well then. <laughs> oh, he was the internet he Internet, was the internet title champion. wasn't Champions. good enough to be the world champion. No, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> should wrestle hard then? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he should have wrestled He could harder. not beat Joseph Connors, to be fair. Connors was... Who, a, very few can. To be fair, I don't know why I chose Connors there. He was a, he was arguably our best champion. <laughs> oh, him and Drew having that match. Oh, hi. What a feeling that was. Oh, what a feeling. Dad's in on the ceiling, which we all was, are right now, so yeah, let's move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, this was, this was just, I realized what this is. In the Bond film, every like two Bond films, the villain will get Bond and be like, ah, oh, Mr. Bond. And he'd be like, whining and dining him whilst being like, I could do what I want with you right now. That's and why Bond, I like the cadence. And Bond is completely unfazed, like, yeah. And That's why I, like the I hip- shagged your assistant. The hippie cadence change from The Rock was quite nice and luring. Yeah. Alluring. Yeah. A lure. My, my watch has got a laser on it. You don't scare me. Yeah. Hang it in the Louvre. That was it. I watch for laser. So who was the unfazed <laughs> one, Cody or the Rock? Rock. It, uh, that's actually a very good question. Because, I was genuinely, yeah. Because Rock's always going to be beloved. I feel After like he smashed Cody Daft with his belt and his mama's belt and everything I else like that. Crowd is still going nuts because it's the Rock. Did you think Cody was a bit too accepting of the Rock, given all that he's done to him? And he's like, no, because oh, he won. It's the Rock. Yeah, true. He won yeah, the war. True. Like, all right, yeah, talk you taught me. Mm. And to be oh, fair, I'll come back later on. Whatever. The Rock did pin him. That did happen. So he has yeah, a tag claim. match. He has a claim. Yeah, he does have a claim. That's Seth's fault. But then afterwards, Nakamura arrives for his opening match, and everyone goes, "Oh, it was so, it was so great! The, maybe this could be a new pop with the Lashleys and Bruce Pritchard and all the other what we've got there." That Nakamura's like, dow, 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 and the Philly crowd went, "Oh, Nakamura! <laughs> I forgot about him. Yeah. How's he doing? Is he all right? He wasn't at me." And then decent match is done. Freeway dance. No, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that. You know that. Uh, yeah. Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov wins and is a lot more concise and less dramatic than he was in NXT. He so was still pretty for him, Ross. He was still for him. pretty dramatic. He's like, "You don't go anywhere. I got you." In between the German <laughs> suplex attempts that he was doing. Oh yeah. I liked I liked the fact that he was on the show because you think with him retaining the title, he's just not going to be on the main roster for because he's got the NXT title. But obviously they did this again later in the night with somebody else. But like the the, the unexpected happening compared to what we've seen in years gone by. The but, past few WrestleMania, uh, Raw after WrestleMania's have been really une- deliberately uneventful. Yeah. But there's two, again, people, I think, the days of having the European, as they said, fans sabotaging Raw and doing what they want because, yeah, fight the system, whatever. It's over now. Because fight the system, did he say? Fight the system. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. I thought he said something No, different. I said Newcastle upon time, T-I-M-E, the system, you lying bastards. Um, it doesn't matter because there's been two solid days of this, plus NXT, plus the Back slammies, and everything else like that. Um there's no need for Raw to be this completely insane and stuff because it's like we've already spent. Just have a good time. This is like the the after party. Yeah, 
So oh, it's nice. We'll get a preview they, they, of the um, the draft that's coming up. Sorry to talk about you, Ross. Oh, yeah. The 26th yeah. and the 29th they're going to do it. And Dragunov is in the draft. Well, up, Will so he be getting drafted time. with the title or Trek, not? Trek, and they were talking, and Pat Trek. did a good thing of going, so what is that? It's a torpedo Moscow? Uh, Bring headbutt? So, yeah, that's exactly what it is, Pat. Oh, great. So Pat is can be the voice of the people. It's kind of, it, it used to European be. It used to be that he'd use his head, right? But it's it's, it's more shoulder. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, because you know he, he should live. I to, don't want him he to, should live to be thirty. Yeah, you know? yeah. But it was good. They're good opponents for each other because they both hit hard. And yeah. if anything, lads, it was a nice, you know, nice knees exchange, all that stuff. High kick from Elia, fantastic stuff. End of the day, it proved that the current day NXT is better than Nakamura's era. And if there's any dispute about that, <laughs> you can suck my dick. It was. St- <laughs> <laughs> You know, Ross, just because it annoys people because we say stuff like that, even though they usually deliver, like, yeah, that's two years of the PLE. Uh, that's the PLE, yeah, I'm not Tory. The pay-per-views have been awesome. Mm. Yeah, they do. They've all been NXT TakeOver New Orleans, all of them. Some of them. Stop you shaking your head behind yeah, that. Yeah, shut up, no, man. No. no. I'll just check the time and I'm worried. You don't even... No. Don't be worried. Forget no, about the time. Worried. <laughs> Wrestling's the great. Wrestling's wrong. back, baby. Just like, enjoy the ride, brother. Yeah. yeah, stop worrying about how people smell, all right? My dad and your dad did things together. <laughs> your dad you? and my dad sitting on the fire. Scat, scat, Dan and I. <laughs> my dad shagged your dad, Cody. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the... We're still on roll, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Dom, JD, and Baloo in the ring. Bring out Rhea Ripley and Damien Priest with their belts. Uh, crowd chant, you deserve it. Uh, the man who cashed in his money to find a good dude right. just lost it. Our and he goes, you're damn right, I did. I love wrestling fans. What's with Priest and Rhea's... Have they used the, the terrible... T- the Terror Twins before? Oh, I didn't like that. I found it creepy. Yeah. And it's... if I was Buddy, I'd be having serious words. The terror Twins. It's what you say about infants. And he's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're oh! terrible too, so Oh, it is. The yeah. Mesh Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> it's them. But um, then he went, we always rise to the occasion. I was like, all right, yeah. Damien. And then as they're doing that, our truth for yes. Peter the Raw tag Fantastic. belt. He goes, what? He goes, he's proud to have brought the title back the Judgment Day. He's it's brought the titles cinema. back. Cinema. Yeah. yeah. The Miz arrives to join Truth. This and, is going uh, off the rails. We're just rambling through it, but yeah. it's good. But the Judgment Day won a rematch right now. Truth suggests a six one instead because there's three of them. Himself, the Miz, and the guy you can't see. And Miz goes... You don't know I mean little Jimmy D. He goes, well, you can't see him. The heels attack, and the match begins. You won't believe the punchline, but you know what? It's all right when everyone's in on the A joke. mysterious scent wafts through the <laughs> arena. Who can, <laughs> oh, who can what the? Oh, here we are. We know it is. Here yeah, comes right. John. It's un- Smelly the, John. The green mist. Is it Muda? <laughs> no, it's Cena's it's, smell. It's pale Cena. <laughs> <laughs> From the film, Ricky Smelly. <laughs> Dom, Finn, and JD dominate the new champs. Ricky until... Smelly. <laughs> That's what it says here. On my notes written by Jack at 3 a.m. It just says, help me 40 times, but there we go. Until John Cena uh, arrives to be the third man, and they tap out because he gets his arm pillow. <laughs> just, no, 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 I'm out. No, they hit a simultaneous triple. It, it was, they tried their best, and it was fun. JD, now they got killed by Miz, Miz doing it to Dom. Too late. <laughs> yeah, and he landed, yeah. he landed. Um... I like the Miz going like, truth, you don't even want to be in Judgment Day. I was like, what? I don't know if I like... No, I don't. That's the opposite of liking that. I didn't like that because truth does. What's Miz on about? How knowing he's is truth the about what he's doing? Does he still <laughs> really want to Miz be... Miz is trying to look after him. Like, he's just a bit silly. Cause Cause Miz well, because if truth joins bloody Judgment Day, <laughs> Miz has to. And Brian Alvarez will... His head will explode. Huh. Mm. Miz all goffed up. I thought it was very unprofessional as well of smelly John Cena not to turn up for the start of the match. <laughs> he just looked it weird. It was a Ron <laughs> Seal. It was a Ron Seal. Long beat down from the JD. Then Johnny Smelly lately arrives for all the glory. House show bollocks. Cena was hamming it up. Yeah. Big time. The only oh, way he knows how. I forgot to mention when we were talking about the post-mania celebrations, Cena can't help himself. Like everyone's just celebrating with Cody, and they've kind of they've kind of half slipped out of character, and they're just having a nice moment. Cena's at the back of the ring, mean guy like like Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I forgot how often he would do it because people go, oh, people complain about Cena's like blah blah twenty ten twenty nine because he did those faces, and I forgot it was the- him and Rock squaring off, and he's got that. Oh, <laughs> am I? Oh, that's that's the guy I've it hated. The, that I, it brought it all back. All these bad memories are going. God, you idiot! It like, was the bit where the, the the songs like looped like four times by this point. But it's coming up to the whoa, and he knows yeah. the crowd about to do, it and he goes like, 
Yeah. <laughs> I had forgotten about that. Look, you didn't do that like during the Ro open. It's like the Ross from Friends phase. <laughs> the bit that got me about Cena it's in the, the back Ro of the ring. Him and Punk were having a good old chin wagon, laughing like really? friends. Punk and Cena. Oh, the chemistry was off the charts. Yeah, Ross. some of Punk or Cena. Well, he's a poor him and guy. Who's Cena? Punk. Oh, is he, I think it's a Punk and Punk Heyman. and Cena. Punk and Cena. Yeah. Oh, Punk and yeah. Cena. Oh, sorry, I've been missing. Yeah, someone... But they've had a great feud before. Sit them down like they did with Randy Orton some and Punk. That's what I'm saying. Some of the best matches they've ever had. Those two. Film it. How, th th those two talking to each other would be fantastic. How you can't, you can't make someone sit in a small room with John Cena. Pearl, <laughs> Pearl John Cena. <laughs> well, this is a win Give See him a window. It. Punk, you look, <laughs> Punk, you're looking good with your gas mask. <laughs> I think just if he if he got a show back in sides again and went on the beds again, I think the, the feeling that he smells bad would go away and I would forget all about that. I reckon you're the only person who feels this way in the <laughs> world. Nah. No, don't look at that. <laughs> nah. What? What's no, this? Maybe. Oh yeah, Dennis always sending Omega. Yeah. That, there is a bit of that. <laughs> I can kind of. Oh I no, do that. that does look a bit like him. Actually. No, I, that's harsh. <laughs> that looks that like you guys. You said it. What do you mean that's harsh? I know, but I feel you, like it's the thing you brought saying. up, and now you say it's harsh. I regret it now. <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> you Sesh? broke the app. What have you done? Oh, Sesh. Nothing. Oh, there you go. Right, Bronson Reed. Bronson. Uh, Bronson Reed. This is a very interesting when, part of Won the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Bronson's backstage was trophy. No one cares because then bloop comes up for like half a second and people freak out and think it's bloody it Uncle Howdy. Hello in the bottom corner. I, I, it was for maybe half a second. I think it was uh -huh. just a technical error. I love we're at this point we're going, it says it's hello. Uncle Howdy. It says hello. It was clearly, I think it was going to be this. It'd be a bit longer or a bit deep. But they did a thing before Raw went on the air as well. Like I saw a video on the gram the other day. Um, yesterday would have been. All right, Tom. Where, uh, oh, oh, I wish I had some. Get me through this podcast. But anyway. You're doing great. Carol. On the netty, I was sat there watching. And just before Michael Cole comes out for his entrance during Raw, or before <coughs> Raw starts, they flash up. They do like, do you remember they used to play? Um, um, White, White Rabbit. Yeah, White Rabbit for Jefferson Brave. Jefferson Airplane? Mm -hmm. Jefferson right. Airplane. They play a similarly old sounding song, but not the same song. And then Ooh. turn the lights off in the arena and then do some flickery stuff on the screens. So I think it is linked and I think it probably is Howdy. What would be a good creepy song that's not creepy in content? Like if it's like a creepy... The Monster Mash. Yeah, or like Informer. you... Informer. <laughs> yeah. I like your bum bum down. <laughs> What? No, like it's a creepy song. Do you, remember, do you remember when the film Us came out and it had the creepy version of I Got Five on it? And it's all with like the ding, 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 ding. If they had like like that Batman film with uh, Nirvana standing oh. in the way. In the way. That was great. That mm. like reminded me of that lovely time. Well, Bronson. I right, Bronson. I, I'd be really annoyed if I was Bronson Reed and for maybe a tenth of a second something that came up and that's all people are talking about. At the same time though, it's, I won the Battle Royal. I'm, I'm the tits me. I'm sorry, were you missing during the fall of 2022? The I fall, wish I was. The autumn of 2022? Fall. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, had yeah. we had a great time. Yeah, but it'd be time. like, aha, the mask is there. This was maybe a technical error. It said hello in the bottom corner. <laughs> <laughs> and... TVs don't do that by themselves. <laughs> this one did. <laughs> Mine does, I did it with me slipper. <laughs> <laughs> Backstage, Ray Ripley scolds Dom for putting his faith in Andrade. I mean, yeah. You need to sort it, buddy, she, she says. Oh, there's Ms. Mes Marvin again. <laughs> he tells him to deal with it, and he goes off to find Adam Pierce. A chair flies out of nowhere and smashes Rhea in the side of the head, upside your head, thrown by Liv Bastard Morgan. Sabu, she, I told you, Sabu. You were right. You were right all <laughs> along. It's not Sabu. She showed up. She beats the champ down until officials drag her away, and Cole's like, well, guess the Liv Morgan revenge tour is still on. It's the first time I've had a chair at the head in quite a long time. What? Yeah, That must have been a gimmick chair. She I hope so. It, she threw it like a bastard javelin. Yeah. <laughs> have some. <laughs> chair out of nowhere. Bloody hell. But the cinema from going from that backstage segment, like it was like the rock promo from WrestleMania 20, going through those doors into the crowd, then into the ring for Puzzle, someone's yeah. entrance. Oh, yeah, it's, it's another goodness. good fellas thing, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yes, of course, easy. Kin kinema. Mm. Indy Hartwell's opponent is real to be Roxanne Perez. More unexpectedness. Ooh. I, I think it's because I saw her entrance quite a few times this week. She doesn't need to do this every time. You know her like, come on, cheer for me. Just kidding. <laughs> she does it every time. I thought she she looked like she fit here in Raw. Just like, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. Sure. There's quite an age gap, but you can't say she's really fit here, really. No, <laughs> you're 20 no, no, years. Yeah. No, no, she did. She did look like. Oh, wait, man, if that's the way, the only person I can hit no, on is she, our truth. <laughs> <laughs> no, she. Steph came out. No, um, she did. Uh, she did look like she really fit here. 
Um, I don't know if it okay, if it was in time with Raw, but I saw Alexa Bliss tweet the Spider Man gif. That's not very nice. I know. I was like, <laughs> yeah. sounds so genuine. <laughs> like, Bliss, you've been gone long enough that Roxanne can do what you were doing, kind of, but also, not really. You didn't. Yeah, in, I don't see the, the same yeah. thing. You yeah. didn't invent being a heel. She yeah. Well, what are you saying? Is that it because she's like? a short heel. Five subway sandwiches long. Yeah. How tall is Roxanne Perez, please? Probably she's in subways. Probably yeah. five foot. Do you reckon she's five foot? Is that where she's going? Anyway, yeah, she faced Indy Harbour. Yeah. Too she? much sugar, so she's legally yeah. considered a cake. Hey. <laughs> Whoa! Per- What's that in feet? I don't know. Five one. Five foot one? Oh, she's a bit she's taller. She's five one. Wow. She towers yeah. over her ex. I noticed that when Natalia, although Natalia was wearing heels, but later on when Natalia does a stare down, Natalia's like towering yeah. over her. Yeah. yeah. Perez talks a lot of trash to Indy, saying she never deserved to be NXT Women's Champion. Candice LeRae interferes, but Indy refuses her help and ends up losing the match because, of course, she does. Mm. Candice is frustrated. Now, backstage, Natalia confronts Roxanne. <laughs> Roxanne in this, this false promo. I guess I'll be seeing you tomorrow in NXT. And the commentators seem to take the piss out of her. What did they do? Was it me saying, well, I guess we'll see her tomorrow in NXT then? Because <laughs> it was just such a simple line. It was like, yeah. that's what's happening. Mm. Roxanne repeats what she says, but not really, which is like, no, you'll see me tomorrow night on my show. Oh, yeah. So they sort of say the same thing twice. Oh, and then they said it again. I'm like, okay. I liked I liked how consistent it was with NXT though, because straight away she just slaps her in the face, yeah. proving that she's still a bitch. I like Candice cheating on behalf of her friend, but her friend not liking it. Ooh, which way will Indy go? Will she Indy go? Indy go go. Will she go to the dark side or continue to be a shining light in all of our lives? <laughs> 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 and Pop Rocks for the win. Not even need for the heel finisher. Just Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks is sick. No. Crap. But I can't give the women too much time. No. So, what Ross, the Rock said if the women Ross went longer is, than three uh, minutes. Ross's argument is that Pop Rocks, and I, I accept his argument, is that Pop Rocks doesn't look very impactful and looks quite tame. But I would suggest it's more like the perfect plex. You can't get out of it. It's so perfectly executed. <laughs> well done. You're trapped on your back. Like a little turtle. Yes. Jey Uso and Sami Zayn congratulate each other in their big WrestleMania victories. For, Kadi- old, Kad- for old times? Oh, and for old times, yep. Yeah. Khadija, that's her Kadija. name. Got it written down. Sami heads the ring and the crowd chant, you Wait, deserve it. that was Sami and Jimmy's high five, wasn't it? They did it with Jay as well. They did it with Jay. They were both of them. Okay, okay, just checking, okay. Maybe Sami did it to Jimmy, and Jimmy was like, oh, well, our politeness, I'll do it. Him and Jimmy, the, the, the ones over there, mate. Sorry. I swear him and Jimmy were the ones at first, because Jimmy liked him at first when he joined the bloodline, but Jay didn't. So great. What a great story that was. Yeah. You oh, I'm, I'm so glad that we were that, that one that did lose. Huh. That's the first moment I've seen someone look back on the bloodline storyline like, oh, what a good time that was. It's Eesh. over. It's the first time since January um oh, 2020 <laughs> uh, that there's been no members I've of the started, Shield as world champion. I've started seeing those nostalgia posts like from people who just happen to have been young at the certain time. They're like, we really need the 2012 WWE energy pie and <laughs> stuff. Oh, like that. oh yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Times like this, am I right, guys? <laughs> it's brilliant. Anyway, uh, someone pays tribute to Gunther and his record-breaking title reign. He thanks his family and Kevin Owens. He's about to thank Chad Gable, but <sighs> Ludwig Kaiser... And the ever what's that? You're right. I'm just reading the, the word. I'm going to try and pronounce it. The word that Sammy says after 666 days is astag firula. What does that mean? It's an Arabic word slash saying that seeks forgiveness from Allah after saying something foul. Oh, like the devil. And given that 666 oh, is the devil. So that was oh, bless said, him. It's like saying like um, like. Bless you when you sneeze or something. I'll I'll doing the sign of the cross. Kevin Phillips. Like. Yeah, like yeah. Kevin, what? Yeah, Kevin Phillips. If you say Kevin what? Phillips, I'll be yeah. saying Astro Philad, you know, again. Hey, he was a fantastic striker. Sunderland, though. Right. <laughs> There's a few other uh, worse Sunderland uh, football players I can think of. Uh, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci interrupt. <laughs> is there one in particular? Uh, uh, yes, there is. Kaiser says it's such a shame that Gunther's reign ended at the hands of someone who looks like all those other peasants in Philadelphia. Oh, he's so smug. They prepare to attack Sammy, but Chad runs out to make the save. Chad. And Chaddy the two daddy. sides prepare to have a tag match. We're going to get a hype package for Seamus, implying that he'll be returning soon. That is nice. He's been eating some chocolate there. What type of chocolate, Ross? Irish chocolate. There you go, that makes sense. Yeah. Sammy um, and Gable have their tag match for Did Imperium. they not mention, they didn't say date, did they, for when nah, Seamus? Nah, okay, soon. Probably. Sammy has the match won, but tags in Gable and lets him hit his finisher for the win. All that later on. This was really good, the finish, as we found out a bit later. Should we do that segment now? Because they did the finish, because yeah, obviously what? this, okay. Chad asked, okay. Chad asked, oh, I'm ripping up the rule book. Uh, Chad asks Sammy for yeah, a favor. Gable is hanging out with the rest of AA backstage, but Sammy interrupts and asks for a private word. Sammy knows he owes Gable a favor. It's so nice because he says, well, I guess we're squits now. I'll let you get the title. I goes, no, no, no. What? what the hell? And Sammy goes, no, no, I'm, I'm kidding with you. 
you want an icy towel shot, don't you? I'll give you one next week at my home in Montreal. And Gibbon says, oh, yeah, sweet. Cheers, mate. Gibbon says, I can't wait. I can't wait. And when, he had really Natalia energy oh, when he said it as yeah. well. When like, Sammy, oh, here we go. When Chad, when Sammy said in my hometown of Montreal, Stone Roses, this is the one came in my head. This is where Chad needs to turn heel. Imagine the scenes. There'd be a riot. In Montreal. Chad hmm. cheating to beat Sammy. Would you do that straight and, away after and when, and when the fans start booing him because he cheated, he goes, shush, shush, mm. I thank shush, you. Shush, en français. <laughs> Owen, Owen would be heartbroken. Uh, merci. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Owen would be heartbroken because he loves, <laughs> he loves Chad. Otis shows up and knows all the, all the poutine. <laughs> <laughs> and um, <laughs> I did in this segment as well, Did it, I found Sammy really off-putting here. No, because you haven't been able to play with him. Uh, well, I didn't like that play. Well, no, because that's what you're supposed to think. Wasn't it? honorable. Because Chad's going, no, it wasn't what? honorable. I helped you win. And Chad's like, oh, I'm, I'm, Sammy's but, like, but, I'm kidding, mate. But Come he on. didn't say I'm kidding, mate. The way he said it was like, Chad went, whoa, what? And he went, Chad, just stop it. I'm only kidding. And so, well, he didn't know that. Well, Sammy's not a <laughs> type of person, so he's got to be, that's how we talk. That's his type of crack. Sammy used to be like that when he was a heel, <laughs> you know? God, he was when he looked like Fidel Castro. Yeah. yeah. That was good. I now now he doesn't feeling, like Fidel. I guess he's not feeling very oozy recently. Anyway. Oh, for the match, Ludwig. Sorry. Ludwig did a, a really sort of like nine, followed by a Stephanie McMahon Smackdown era slap finisher. Yeah. Do you see it on, I think it was on Sammy. <laughs> Oh, He's yeah. just like, nine! That's was sehr gefunklich. <laughs> yeah, and then Pat was something like, well, that's nine, that's the German for no. Like, oh, geez. thank you, Pat. Ah, <laughs> uh, peel, peel my under them. Nine. <laughs> it was a comp Not the number. competitive tag match from there. I was waiting for the, the, the turn to happen there. But then, of course, we got the finish there, which blended the same we just talked about. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was, I'm, I'm on board with Sammy and Chad and see where they're going to go. Yeah. yeah. It was a stunning um, moment from stunning. Ludwig, Ludwig Kaiser, who's obviously stunning by himself, but he does the I'm taunting and better than you. And he goes to do the elbow off the top. Chad turns it into a German suplex. Oh. And it looks smoother than peanut butter. Did we mention. Dripping off a cum tooth. What? Did we mention. Uh, in the US God. in the US title match Orton's counter of the pot of power moment at the RKO I think we briefly mentioned it but like oh dear no we didn't it was quite a like a unique one wasn't we'll it we were probably talking about like seeing it in Lynx Africa at that point <laughs> so. <laughs> but no it just it was really important obviously it wasn't like as awe inspiring as the Rollins one at 31 but it was still I was surprised a man of Orton's age could alright I'm just looking for a charger because my phones are on back can I go for oh. a piss I thought it so yeah let's have a little oh, do you yeah. have a break now alright yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. no, thank you good point Jack we will be back with more merriment oh, it was Ross loose. I just backed him up let's go for the pisses this. yeah we're back uh, the main event later on is a fatal four way number one contenders match for the world heavyweight championship Jay Uso is in the match. He cuts a backstage promo about how he's going to yeet the other three guys. Oh, that's nice to hear. I was surprised he was wrestling after that bump on night two. Mm. Mm. Pat McAfee, that it's bump. Built, it's built bump. After that bump. Yeet down. That's what they're doing it. Down. So they're saying down. Oh. Do you that? <laughs> that's, hello. That's Cody saying hello. <laughs> I need to mix that in with you. Uh, cha-cha, cha-cha. Um, bow, bow. Cha-cha, cha-cha. Oh, do you need to mix in, sorry? Oh, that the song. song, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember who sings it. It's on adverts and stuff. Mm, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh. Ricochet is also in the match, and we see him shadow boxing. That's good, isn't it, Jack? Right, so I insisted that Matthew <laughs> leave this in, because I wanted to talk about this. Does anyone find it weird that Ricochet shadow boxes? We've seen this multiple times now. He's not, but he's not a, he's not the Undertaker. You know, he's not the best pure striker in WWE. Okay. I think it is slightly peculiar. Thank what you. should he be doing? Just backflips backstage. Wee, just just wee, a bit of this. Wee, no, I'm not going to. Go on. Well, no, I'm not going to do it. Go on. Do your backflip. Just, Don't be a coward. Just little, like, squats getting ready to jump, you know? I'm going to sit down. Box again. jumps. <laughs> box jumps. Mm, box jump. Jump in that box. Jump. The three GMs are backstage talk about the upcoming draft. Yeah, Ava's is the best one. Uh, it's a draft. You should have seen the you should have seen the weather on Saturday. Bloody freezing. <laughs> Chelsea Green interrupts to complain about not being on the Mania card. Alan Pierce says they booked a special match for her tonight. She heads the ring, and her opponent is revealed to be Jay Cargill, who wins almost instantly. I womp, felt, womp, womp. felt bad for Chelsea there, just not in the match itself, but in terms of the way the managers did that. Like, oh, if you go to the ring now, you'll get your special moment. It felt cruel. It's like saying if you like, tell a child to go in the depths of a forest. <laughs> And just get <laughs> shot in the to face. To find unicorn <laughs> blood. <laughs> yeah. If you're lucky, that's all I'm sorry, Professor. I thought you said the four of us. 
<laughs> I'm going to make it. Oh, that's quite right, Mr. Malfoy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just make me laugh I'm going to make a Sorry, stupid man. bollocks prediction for this time next year. Coming out of WrestleMania 41. Not in terms of being beloved, but Chelsea Green's the next Sami Zayn. Oh! In terms of a guy, like Sami, for the three, four years leading up to WrestleMania, the, not, the WrestleMania were Knoxville. It's like from 34 to 38. Was used right. sparingly and wrongly. Chelsea's being used sparingly, not wrongly, but you know, she could be used more. I think coming out next year's WrestleMania, she'll be used like, she'll be Ooh. one of the focal points of the ladies. Well, that's Ooh. interesting. Because the character work is there. It really is. I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, she's always been, yeah, she's great. Because the 30 second, I saw a lot of like fallout about the 30 second match and it being like, oh, New Era, bollocks, we're still getting 30 second matches. No, that's all right. In terms of this one, it's all right because it's Chelsea Green getting a big moment, then spaff, she's gone straight away by the big strong lady. Spaff. Spaff. Mm, spaff. Bash. Kabong. Um, wank. <laughs> not wank, no. Um, so, yeah, I think this match alone is a bit different because it's not like it just, oh, let's get women on the card for the crack. Jade's being kept short for some reason, even though they've had to go through all the training that AEW didn't give her. Meh. Um, and Chelsea's a heel who can eat losses like this. So mm -hmm. I think it's fine for this occasion. Yes, I would agree. Well so, Drew McIntyre cuts a promo about before the main event. He says what happened at Mania was complete BS. By the way, a little shout out to his family for immediately leaving yeah. the stadium. Yeah, they took that. a picture, didn't they? Go, yeah. Hey, get away there. No. It's out of rain, only lasted Ach, for, no. it's for five minutes and 46 seconds, which is still five minutes longer than these fans last in bed. Yeah, I thought true. that was very admirable, admirable of him to think to even get into bed. Right. And how dare you think Jack gets any sleep whatsoever in any form of bed? He hasn't had, <laughs> he hasn't had five minutes, 46 seconds sleep. Bless him, he's working hard. I, I got That's what he means, right? I got a yeah. full night's sleep. I just, I just it, it was really, really early on, as in like in the morning. But yeah. Drew says he doesn't like Seth Rollins, but he respects him and thanks him for the match, which is nice. That was nice. But then Damien Priest screwed it all up. Drew threatens to wha whip his ass, I almost said wipe his ass, but says he'd probably enjoy that. <laughs> it's a dude wipe. I'm going to wipe your ass. Do you remember when your mom used to wipe your ass? No. No, it was a long time ago. Yeah. I've got vague memories of... <laughs> Of being like finished, bang on the side of the bath, and then she'd come up. <laughs> How bad? The side of the bath? Oh, yeah. I see. Because it's all right. It's next, to the <laughs> next to the toilet. Right. Okay. Yeah. That took Ross, a few, that took a few seconds, Ross, for me to. All right. I did not <laughs> poo in the bath. <laughs> Although when I was a toddler, fun story. We had like these paving. Oh, stones. I bet it's not. No. We had these paving stones that went up the garden, like up the grass towards the back end of the garden. Mm -hmm. Apparently, when I was a toddler took a solitary dump on each of the st stones all the way up the garden. And a p there's a picture somewhere. Apparently it's a work of art. <laughs> How did you do that? I don't know. That's a I can't remember. skill. That's so impressive. Just like a dog. That's amazing. You were the Brian Danielson of childhood <laughs> crapping. Yeah. That, that, yeah, that's really impressive. Cheers, thank you. Oh. It looks a lot like the midget gem sweet you can get. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, uh, what well, bondage Undertaker? That's why I said. Oh yeah, yeah. Ass, yeah. Priest, yeah, he's kinky, so whatever. Drew calls the Money in the Bank briefcase a joke and says Priest is nothing but a transitional champion. Drew turns his attention to CM Punk and calls him a coward for only attacking when he turned his back. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Now Drew is going to go for Punk's weakest part, which happens to be his entire body. <laughs> oh. It's on site. Remember that from a few years ago? Yeah. On site yeah, between on -site. Drew and Punk now. Yeah. On site. He's in order to buy the other competitors' entrances. He finally shut him up. In the main event, Ricochet puts Bronson Reed through the announce table, the stunning 450 springboard, leaving Drew and Jay alone in the ring. Drew sets up the claymore, but that dastardly CM Punk comes out from under the ring and grabs his leg. While Jay... laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Jay takes advantage and wins to become the number one contender. I'd rather Drew won, you know, but I like the way it's going, the story. Cool it off with Drew for a while. Yeah. Bring him back in the summer. Mm, true. I really like time for Glasgow. Yeah. yeah. Bronson and Drew slapping their meat together was fantastic. Drew with a very impressive Michinoku driver, which Michael call. That's his kryptonite, isn't it? The Michinoku driver call. He called it right this time, which was great. No blow through the driver here. <laughs> Do you know what modern sort of commentating phenomenon that Michael Cole's tried to introduce that I'm not a fan of in this new era, actually? Instead of saying Drew kicks out at two, it was Drew kicks. I don't like that. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Cole looks like he smells. He doesn't. <laughs> Absolutely. He, he, he knows he's got a load of like 
aftershave on. Sex Panther. <laughs> yeah, it's stuff you've never heard of, but people his era like. Old Spice. Old Spice, yes. War Reporter Spice. War Rep- Desert Storm Spice. <laughs> Um, uh, Trevor, when he did his 450, looked over to his significant other, Samantha, and went, I'm sorry. That's so hot. I mean, Q. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a good way to wipe Do Bronson. Do you see me shadow boxing? <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have turned a corner on Ricochet a bit, because I didn't write the word stunning, and you said he put Bronson through the table with a stunning 450. It was, dude, he's, yeah. he comes and goes, and it's not his fault, obviously, because in the ring, he's always there to bring. It's just oh, the character outside of it. It's the Roxanne Perez, Lara Volcari effect because he just sounds like, again, the biggest nerd in the world. In ring, no issues with him I don't at know all. what he's done in ring, but the past few weeks, I think we said it last week, he's been wrestling with more like feeling in his matches. Do, that Ivar match Restore had last week. Restore the feeling. Restore it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, it was a very good way to rub, uh, wipe Bronson out of the match. Because mm. yep. uh, he had been doing big, impressive things again. Put Jay through a table, so did Bronson. Yeah. But yeah, it was a. I like Jay going on to face Priest because Jay's hat, his reactions are white hat from yeah. the crowd. Uh, whereas Drew can do stuff with Punk and be very entertaining without exactly. wrestling. Exactly. Yeah. And it means we might get more Ricochet Bronson Reed matches. And these guys have had great chemistry. That mid guard, under division, under division. Yeah. 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 Thank the you, the underneath. That line was sponsored by Captain Morgan. <laughs> um, yeah. Him, Reed, uh, Ivar, Otis. Uh, to name but a few Chad Sammy Chad yeah. Sammy it's like oh hell yeah mm. hell yeah what a great hell role yeah, people are kind of expecting you know I don't know f- classy Freddie Blassie to appear or something like that like <laughs> no that era's gone but what we get is a nice solid entry and it setting was, up stuff for future it was a good role. Ask. Yeah, it was a good week for the fed but you it know what nice as well because the last couple of roles after Manias have been wank mm-hmm. whereas this mm. one was newsworthy wank it news was. wanky I like that news wanky. News wanky. But who cares? NXT is next. Oh God! Can we just say, you know, when they did that camera shot going through at the start? Yeah. It looks like Tony Khan, with glasses, is having a conversation with Sol Rooker. Maybe <laughs> in the little room just to the right hand side. Tony Khan. He does wear glasses. No, but with you on about big, big glasses. You know, Nick... Dame Edna Everidge's glasses. You know, Nick Khan. Yeah. When Cody like shouts him out and gives him a hug in the front row when he's leaving WrestleMania. Does Nick Khan hate Cody Rhodes? Or can he just not smile? Because he's like... Every picture, every video I've seen in him, he's got that furrowed brow like that eagle yeah. from the Muppets where right? he looks like he's scowling. All so. right, hey, Hachi Mishima, mate. I'm very well, happy to see you, yeah. Cody. It's, I think that's just his face. What are you playing with? Oh, get him, get him. he's switching. Oh. He's switching it's to NXT, spirits. It's NXT time. Oh. Oh, now's when... Oh, yes, now let's get the drink out. Now let's get the drink out. Because I've not been drinking up until now. What are you drinking for NXT? Honey Jack Daniels. I'm so gel. I've only got the... Would you like a little tip? No, that's lovely of, of you to offer, but I'm I'll all right. I'll get a little you. double measure. Would you like Captain Morgan, who I believe was a pirate? No, no, I've got my. I've still got my drink. I've still got some. What, are you, was... what are you drinking anyway? Normal Jack Daniels. What all right, Jack... let's, not, let's not turn this into the, the, the Two Bears podcast. Anyway. No, it's just that I took go. Owen to wrestler's court and then the veterans of the office made him buy me a bottle of Jack... No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> just to say sorry. For... Let's release our own vodka. Whiskey. That's right. Let's let's storm and gate crash Pat McAfee's little thing. To be it fair, we make asses of ourselves. We I love reading about them. Man. We don't insert adverts in our podcast half as much as those dickheads. No, That's so great. Was it? They got those two lads on. I watched them one the day via comedy. In, is it comedy enforcement? Yeah, they're, just, they're like. So anyway, it's great. Like you need to drink more. <laughs> Interrupted his thought to go, why are you drinking? <laughs> anyway, uh, Roxanne Perez comes out and some of the crowd chant, you deserve it. But she shuts them down, saying she needed their support a year ago. Thank you. Why is it any time anyone wins the title, people are like, yeah, you definitely earned that one. It's like, that, no, you sod, shut it's up. It's about time someone told that rowdy section opposite the hard cam to shut up. Thank you. Yeah. Roxanne brags about taking advantage of Lyra's injured arm. The next time she has the title taken from her, will be when she goes up to Raw or SmackDown. Obviously, that's coming up. Lyra interrupts with her arm in a sling and asks if Perez thinks she's too good for NXT. Lyra looked so stupid. Yeah, she Lyra really looked, did. She was getting chance of you tapped out as well. Which yeah. Is, yeah, I'm like, wait. What, oof, really that's not where the storyline's been, yeah. but it's mm. again, the delivery is just not there. She wants a rematch tonight. Roxanne points out she isn't even medically cleared. Tatum Paxi interrupts and says that she's ready. Lyra says she loves how Tatum stands up for her, but she's got this. Yo, cleaner, I've got this. Tatum <laughs> doubts that and throws him the ring steps. I think it's a good setup. Officials drag Tatum away and help Lyra at the back. Proxander laughs and says there'll be no tell match tonight then. But Natalia interrupts. Wee! Wee! 
You know what they say? No, I can't do a breath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Natalia wants a top shot tonight, but Perez says no. Ava interrupts and makes the match. Roxanne tries to attack Natalia, who almost gets the sharpshoot locked in, but the champ bravely runs away. So, right at the start of that quite long opening segment, when Roxanne's cutting her promo, and the bit I've mentioned where she like shuts the fans down when they're mm. chanting, you deserve it, and she goes, no. I was so shocked because... Oh, well done. Yes. I was, for audio, audio listeners, Ross is stacking his cans. Ross will just be like a wall of booze by yeah. the end of this. Um, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> We're near the end, surely. Please. No. Um, but when Roxanne does these little bits of improv that she's forced to do because the crowd are trying to disrupt her, shes it's the best bit of the promo by far. Yeah. And yeah. I was shocked because she seems always so tightly scripted that I didn't think she was that sort of promo who could do that. Right. I'm looking forward to her going to anywhere else other than NXT to see what she's capable of doing with Triple H. It seems to be a way, way easier. A bit more of a cool... much less scripting. A bit more of a cool dad. Yeah. 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 No, like, I will deliver these poorly written lines from 80s action movies that Sean has seen recently. (laughs) What's a roadhouse? (laughs) (laughs) I didn't see the new one of them. It's on Prime. Oh, my God. I mean, the review, some of the reviews have been really positive. Really? Like, really? Didn't it take, like, nine years to make? Conor McGregor there tweaking. Mm. Jake Hard to watch. God knows what happened to Jake Gyllenhaal. I have seen some really good reviews of it. I'm like, oh, okay. I felt the same about Top Gun Maverick. Oh, yeah. People like Top Gun Maverick. I like. I saw that a few weeks ago. I liked it very oh, much. Oh, do you I'm like a, things without? Do you like things without a story? Do you? Okay. Well, I like. Tom there Cruise. is a story. <laughs> we mean there's, there's no story. Tom Cruise has had a hard life, being a very short man. So I like the fact he's been given a film where he just looks great from start to finish. Yeah, he can't do it. Yeah, there's not many of them. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> short gun man. I'm fully on Team Tatum here, though, because Lyra sent her mixed signals all the way throughout their relationship. Thank you. So the fact that Tatum was like, no, you nerd, get in the steps, you bitch. That was a good swerve. <laughs> I deserve... She You're deserved. hurt. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you are. Now you are. <laughs> that was, see that you was later. Good. And it's glad to, I'm glad to see that she still lives in her hole, just uh, Tatum at the ringside mm. area there. Did just, you see the crowd pretending to be shocked when she emerged? There was a bug pretending? Going, oh, what? No, he was at there's, there's a Perspex barricade, then there's okay. the actual yeah. wrestling barricade, and there's a hole. Then there's a dude sucking hole. off a Slim Jim, and then there's her. Jesus Christ. Why are you bringing that up that again? That yeah. was a throw. I didn't work as well as I thought it would, but I'm very sorry. In a secluded area like that. Hmm. Uh, John Cena would smell awful in that trench. Dude, imagine, do, <laughs> imagine doing that Slim Jim with the lights off. <laughs> we, see NXT, we, we see we NXT anonymous footage. No, no, Ava. Her oh, well, delivery no. of like Roxanne thinking she's not going to have a title match, but then Roxanne having a title match is arguably <laughs> the worst words I've heard spoken <laughs> in a sentence since this is on NXT. since last the last minute of this podcast. <laughs> Why can't... There's one later on tonight that's going to be like, but Wait, you thought that was that really bad? I was thinking to myself that maybe you should have a title match. And then I thought to myself, you should have a title match. Yeah, oh. she's the best GM in the world. <laughs> and really young. I'd love her... She's I'd really l- qualified for a job and she's the best GM ever. I'd love for her to just try once. I know it might not naturally... Oh. No, 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 wait. Oh. I'm not finished the sentence. No. I'd love for her to just try to... A Jamaican accent. No. <laughs> no. I'd love for it, and it might, not, it might not come naturally, but just give it a go and see if it does. For it to just go like, Roxanne Perra, shut your mouth. I'd love for it to try and do a bit of her dad. That would be brilliant. But yeah, thank you, Sesh. Yeah, yeah, I'd like that, yeah. Sesh yeah, likes cheers. that. Sesh, what? Uh, only the other day, right, was trying to get Ryan's attention. I was in this side of the office, and he leaned over and went, it was like a problem with his computer. Ryan's got at IT, so we went, Ryan, Ryan. But Ryan had his headphones, and he went, Ryan, Mr. IT. He started his headphones, and he, in a quieter voice, went, Riser and Ryan went, Yep. <laughs> What's happened there then? Riser. Riser. Riser's he Riser's loves Riser. <laughs> he loves being called Riser. Yeah. <laughs> Owen said it quieter and he heard that one. Yeah, what other nicknames are down in this little I know. cesspool of humanity? Cesspool. <laughs> hey, cesspool is good. What's Dad Heppel's? This has got to be like. Heppel Titus, isn't it? Wank yeah. Twink 79 or yeah. something. <laughs> Wank, <laughs> that's the one. Wank Twink yeah, 79. I think, it, I think it is that, yeah. <laughs> Classic dub T. <laughs> he loves it. Hey, and right. N- dubs forever. <laughs> what did NXT Anonymous do, Matthew? I, I'm glad you asked that, Ross. <laughs> uh, there was footage of a conversation between Ava, Nathan Fraser, and Axiom. Oh, God. In the aftermath of the stand and deliver. What do you mean? Oh, those, God, three, can those, th- those three talking. You bloody can hear hell. them, though. They knew. <laughs> oh, hi, Nathan Fraser. <laughs> the challenges went one never shot at the tag titles, and Ava eventually agrees. Over Twitter, they're right there and whatever. No, but she was later convinced because it they got leaked and they were like, guess this wasn't meant to get leaked, but what do you think? Oh, NXT Anonymous. Yeah. Hit that 
Um, oh, Booker T. A big E got in he a did. jab at him on the pre-show for one of the Manias one night and goes, well, I don't want to like say what people would be doing backstage and incur the wrath of, <laughs> like Booker T. And then Amelia was like, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, good. Booker spilled Sammy's beans on a plane, didn't he? That's so great. Figuratively, not literally. No, not literally. Mm. He spilled his beans and then he <laughs> did a leak stuff. <laughs> Rancid Kelly Clancy interviews the pair backstage and they're deci- they've decided if they lose again tonight, they're done as a team. If this is the end of the road, it's been a hell of a ride. <sighs> Amigo. That was emotional. Down that lonely road of faith. I need to stand up and say this. Why are you standing up? Can you be I standing? hate <laughs> this kind of booking. <laughs> it's Why? The, I like It's it. like the Pat McAfee minute, but it's the yeah, Ross minute. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah, need yeah. to... Wish, wish, <laughs> NXT. wish Jack a happy birthday, even though it's not his birthday. NXT, right? If you're going to have your new champions become your new champions, yeah. just have the faith. Make them the champions on the biggest stage of them all. To do that is a load of bollocks. No, I to a man like Stuart Pearce. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, mind didn't it, like you know. it, you know. I oh, I didn't mind Did it. you not? No. It, it is, there's always going to be a week after. There's going to be a match afterwards, and this is the week what after just WrestleMania. Yeah, You're right. Something that? definitely fell, but there's not on the floor. Oh, no, <laughs> Ross, no. <laughs> Don't fall from the floor to the floor. That could kill you. I thought, could kill I thought you. my phone fell out of my pocket. It's still in there. Rest in peace, Mr. Rutherford. Floor. Jack's so tight, he's hallucinating. <laughs> Why bring him up again? <laughs> Poor man. So, yeah. No, I'm all right with it. No, because, don't like the, it. because they're great chemistry. It's they had such... a great match. Oh, no. Let's have another this great is match. Appalling. It's a soy, <laughs> soy booker move. <laughs> a what? Not a soy booker. Soy book. What are you saying now? A soy boy. Mm. A soy booker mm. move. Bad As Jack podcasting. said, the intrusive <laughs> thoughts are becoming less intrusive the longer this podcast is going along. A I soy booker. I hope people if, don't mind this episode. If you like, want to so... be interested to see the feedback. I'm so worried. Once a year is fine. <laughs> If you're going to have confidence in your champions, make them on the grandest stage of them all. Point at the sign in the sky. Is is it not like, you know, Raw after Mania, though? It's it's the NXT after the NXT. That's not a thing, though, is it? It's not been an established thing, the NXT after Mania. But it can be now. They were established in it now. The eyes of the world are on NXT after the the amazing (laughs) stand delivered. They they stood and delivered. So now people are going to watch the weekly show. I don't know what's happened. The few months between <laughs> Stan and Deliver and the draft are always wild anyway, aren't they? Wild and young, because people are getting drafted, people are losing titles and stuff. Thank you. Plus, it gave people um, it gave some tension and excitement for, like, oh, obviously, Bron Breaker's going because he's been on SmackDown already. Yeah. So, obviously, him retaining is like, oh, that was exciting and unexpected. Mm. You're, you're being silly. No, <laughs> no. Uh, Chase you, Andre Chase Awards, Han oh, Henley, and Jesus. Clyde Jordan with honorary Chase University degrees. JC Jane and Jasmine Nix interrupt. Thea almost goes for them. But Riley Osborne holds it back like a big dog. <laughs> JC finally reveals the reason for Chase Hughes' gambling debt. And we have been unaware about this the entire time, all right? Because they've just written it in. This is crazy. <laughs> Mr. Chase put a big bet on Thea's title shot at the Great American Bash, which was ages ago, and lost the money when he threw in the towel, thus him being more focused on Thea than the university. Yes. JC mocks Thea for going through her rebellious phase when Andre had her best interest at heart all along. And Thea goes, Mr. Chase, is it true? Mr. Chase goes... He takes a knee. <laughs> he pops, yeah. pops a knee next pops to his her. knee out, goes, ow, and then goes, <laughs> it's true. Apologize to Thea, who storms off. What a twist! Now, Thea storming off. That's a Russian name. Mr. Chase. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Look at how much rum he's just put in that cup. Carry on. Jesus he's so Christ. happy with that pun. He's gone, I'll have the rest of my rum. <laughs> yeah, you know Carry on as if nothing's happened. Um, Thea Hale, right, is let's unpack the situation. Andre, Andre's done a, best, Andre's done yeah, a bad mouth. thing by placing a bet. Are you drinking that neat as well? Straight. Yeah, I've been drinking it the Have you? Jesus Christ. Oh Carry on. Thea God. Hale. Is everything okay at home? <laughs> 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 How are you doing? Do you, Hale. I've got, do you want some Coca Cola? No, I don't like Coke. Are you sure? Coke stinks. Okay. Oh, like John Cena. <laughs> so let's unpack the situation. Only when he's pale. Mr. Chase and a bad thing, right? By placing a bet on a big title match involving one of his lead students. That's right. Right. But then, despite all that money being on the line, he's thrown in the towel because the student was in, in a near death situation. She could have been choked out and died. We don't know if she couldn't have died or not. So the fact that he's put all of his faith uh, into her rather than money, surely that means more to her 
Then what she let on? Why did she steam off getting Because no. he's lied to her yeah, by not I, telling her. Yeah, I agree. I agree Has with you. Has he lied to her? I sound like your mum talking about Emmerdale. Right? No, yeah, I, I agree. I just, I just heard myself I, in my ears. I agree that I'm on Team Tia, Team I'm Thea right now because he shouldn't have put the bet on in the first place. And regardless of his better intentions later on to protect her rather than try and win the money, it's still indicative of a gambling issue at heart, and should that really be a man? Gambling time? addiction is oh, no, no joke. <laughs> it's the Ross Minute pod. Too. As a Newcastle United fan watching the turmoil Sandra Tonali has been through, I wasn't making a light of <laughs> oh, gambling wow. addiction. <laughs> also, as a Newcastle fan, sorry to hear about the news of a big joke in here passing away. Oh well, yeah, that's my dad's reaction as well. He says, "I'm not going to speak ill of the dead, so I'm not going to say anything." He so, thought like, Johan Kabai's name was, and I quote, "Kebab." Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, anyway, oh I, I think God. Thea should be honoured that Andre was willing to lose all that money just to keep her safe. I disagree, but there we go. But that's what makes wrestling fantastic. It's what makes NXT it's so fun. Different opinions. Yeah. The world would be a boring place if we all thought the same. Yeah, shut up, comment section. <laughs> I'm so, yeah, I'm glad I'm so that scared more... for this video's comments. I, I, I'm, this was such a good like addition. The twist was fantastic. Yeah. Mm, okay, okay. Because you forgot, when was Great America? That's the summer, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. almost like they forgot and then thought, oh, how do we, oh, we can. That's how dare you, you <laughs> cynic. <laughs> Mr. Chase stinks. Imagine, right, we will be the uni. Imagine the dean putting your <laughs> life ahead right. of the uni. How special <laughs> you would feel. Yeah, mine was it's... Bill Bryson. I'd have been buzzing. Really? He was the president of Durham University when I was there. I couldn't even tell you what my dean was called. He didn't care about mine me. Mine was travel writer Bill Bryson. I have no idea who you clans man is. When it came to my graduation, Bill wasn't there. He was back in America where he's from. So we just had the vice president give us our degrees. And it was that? Just some guy. Yeah, I also don't know. Yeah, We had one of the writers from Hebburn. The, uh, the... Oh, the sick Oh, really? He went not, and... not Stephen Petty? He went... No, no. He went oh. to the thin lad with brown hair. He went, mm. to, he went to Sunderland Uni. Young lad at the time, 10 years ago. Oh, can't okay. remember what he was called. Not Chris Ramsey. Not Chris Ramsey, okay. no. He was, he was the star. star. He was the star. Yeah, the writer, that's who we had. No, honestly, that program... And Steve Cram. That program was offensive to people from Jaro, that heaven program. There was, was it? There was an episode where they're like, they're in the pub and they're like, oh no, Jaro lads are coming. And they're all these, like, <laughs> all these like <laughs> comic, <laughs> all this like comic book 70s punks with mohawks <laughs> barge in and go like, Ugh. I'm like, all right, that's not what we're like. Because there's a rivalry between the two uh, times. Yeah, 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 but if you're from Hebron and you're writing Gerald Lad, that's exactly how you're going to write it. came in like the Bash Street kids. <laughs> <laughs> Points, no. That's exactly how, the, it was called Bishop Auckland and we had Sheldon lads come in. That's uh, exactly, the three eyes and webbed feet. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Fallon Henley and Kalani Jordan take on Kyle James and Izzy Dame. What it is, is what it, it is. is, what it is. Yeah, yeah, now you do it. Fallon takes a bullet for Kyle. Cal- <laughs> bullet? Well, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> bullet. <laughs> I, think was, I think it was a knee. I think it was a <laughs> yeah, knee. Yeah. Oh, it's 20 past five. I think it was a knee. It ends up costing her as James hits the 401k for the win. Yes. Too valiant for her own good as Fallon because we had the storyline going where she was pissed off at all the attention, or it seemed that she was. It it's, seemed like it had sound delivered. Yeah, it's Thea Hill was getting all the attention, and then here... She was completely fine. It's a shame that the Mean Girls Club are called the Mean Girls Club. Are they? They're called the Mean Girls Club because they are mean and girls, and they are together in a club. Okay, fair enough. Could they Thank not you for explaining that. Could they, could they not have thought of a better, better name? Um, what else is to say? Well, they took a bullet for her, and they're a club, so I mean, <laughs> what would we call them? Bang, bang, baby. Uh, Kalani Jordan's footwork is up there with Christian Cage's, which was displayed when she got the hot tag by doing a flip and then a roll through. Christian yep, Cage would do the is same she thing. Is the breakout one? Is Fallon going to turn heel on her, maybe, if they do Potentially, Fallon? yeah. I d- I'm not ready for heel Fallon Henley because I really want to root for her all the time. That would tie in with the Mean Girls Club as well because the Mean Girls Club of earmarked Kalani is the one to watch. Yeah, they have, yeah. Um, mm. Fallon does a nice shoot baseball drop kick as the heels were hanging on. That's all I've got written down for the match. <laughs> 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 I guess hanging on to the ropes, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, hanging, hanging on, on the match, yeah. 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 Hanging out. Keep doing the me same old thing. Out. J- Evan. No. <laughs> Javon. Javon Evan. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> Is excited to get his own hype video. He's, He's 19 and ready to grind. Stop that. Grind, NXT, you're about to find out that your boy is about it. About oh. it. There you go. OGM, watch on and annoyed about Evans trying to steal their spotlight. Yeah. Yeah, he's not a real OG. Is he calling himself the young OG? My name's Scripps and I'm a real OG. I'm 19, but I feel like I'm 38. 
Is that what he said? That's just basically what the young OG is, isn't it? Oh, right, I see. Yeah. I'm 36 and also feel like I'm 38. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. Scripps was a very interesting first opponent for Javon. Oh, it was like oh, two, I'll say, it was like two dancers. We're going to skip that match if you want. No, because Scripps is the bad. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. You can't, no! You can't, you, can't, <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can't deviate from NXT's Ro- Ross, watching, <laughs> Ross watching Jack and get hit by a bus. <laughs> no! Ollie! Oh, for sake, Ollie. Hey, Jackie. <laughs> Um, you can't deviate from NXT's carefully selected running order. It's very deliberately it done. It is very deliberately yeah. done. Because Scripps is the original bouncy boy, and now he's got this younger, fitter bouncy boy. <laughs> That's it. We're wrestling, man. There's always going to be a younger, fitter lad coming on. Javon Evans you. is the biggest stoner I've ever seen. Like He's got <laughs> such stoner. Doesn't he? He's so sleepy, yeah. but also incredibly talented in the ring. He's it's, just having a good time. His yeah. springboard hurricane rana, his Bob Holly dropkick, oh. his bouncy Will Ospreay flippy through kicky thing that he does. Better than Will. What does Will call that, Jack? You What's know? that? We bounce off the ropes and then just sort of does oh. a flip in the air. I just call it like a handspring. The hand bloody spring. Essex jelly deal, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I just call it like a handspring kick, I suppose. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. And then I think this came third in my move of the week. The highest cutter I've ever seen off the rope. Oh, it have, was mental. Have we oh. skipped to the match? Oh, but yeah, we it's have. After you yelled no, we're skipping yeah, the match. What are you no. talking about? Because there's a bit in between us. Oh, sorry. It's all, you went no! <laughs> you yelled no and we're skipping to it. It's funny. That's my mistake. It's all right, you're pissed. This is such a car crash, man. Javon's yeah. uh, Winter's G- debut match. Javon Evans! I hate. <laughs> I'm just happy I'm sat down right yeah, now. Right? Yeah, yeah. I am tra- Burt Kreischer. I can't believe you've been, been drinking that straight. It suddenly makes a lot of sense what Burt Kreischer is the way he is if this is how he sees the world 24-7. Johnson I Lennon hope the is. world appreciates me when yeah, I'm does dead. He want, like, to... <laughs> <laughs> Which would be tomorrow. <laughs> Neiman and Price try to attack him afterwards, but he gets away because he's oh so nimble. <laughs> he is oh so nimble. Oh, yeah, it's stunning. Really yeah, good. Yeah, really good. Putting him in scripts together was a very, very good idea. Put them in a tag with... team. Them, imagine those two versus Nathan oh, and Axiom. You can't, oh, you can't that's a wrestle wank I've ever saw one. The fastest match ever. Spanish wanky wrestling fly. You can't. <laughs> trust scripts though I wouldn't do it I wouldn't do it what was the bit in between Take him. oh it was the no quarter catch crew minus oh, Drew Gulak God, I... whose big head was at the Hall of Fame are backstage Charlie Dempsey talks about his win at Bloodsport Ooh. he did didn't he he looks like Charlie and even, you know what I heard that and didn't even register it and did it there in print yeah it's talking about Bloodsport this he? black eye didn't stop me from winning it looks like Charlie's now the leader Yes. Which means Drew Gulak is Willy Wonka. Which is odd because, I th- in my opinion, only one of them can really talk, and it's Damon. Yeah. Yeah. Is I haven't, I haven't seen the Joint Depp version. Is it true Christopher Lee plays his dad? I don't know. In Pulp Fiction, I. <laughs> Let's move on then. I've, met, I've misjudged the water. They mentioned <laughs> a deal with the D'Angelo family, who arrive without Tony. Luca Crucifino says Tony is away this week, so the crew will have to wait for an answer. All right. Stax accuses them of being afraid to get their hands dirty. The NQCC take offense and want a match tonight. Did we know about this deal? Or did, is this a first uh, No, this is... It? No, made, he's not standing up again, are you? Oh, sorry, okay. I just think I'm a charger. Continue, sorry. Sorry, Ross has gone for a piss. So, yeah, so they've just gone, all right, so we want you to do this job for us. And goes, all right, yeah, <laughs> we'll do the job for you. But then we're going to complain on TV. So everyone knows we're doing it for you. And I want a match. Yeah. They're not good businessmen, are they? No, but Tony's away, so they're just loose cannons at the minute. Utah. They are the subordinates. That's yeah. why they are the subordinates. That's right. They're everyone, the motley crew. Everyone according to their own station in life. That's what the conservatives say. <laughs> <laughs> you knew that very quickly. Charlie yeah, Dempsey. yeah, I did actually. Well yeah. done. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Charlie Dempsey definitely votes Tory. No. Um, Charlie Dempsey. He's an American citizen. No. God damn it. Well, what's he doing voting conservative then? He's from know. Blackpool. Well, exactly. Earlier today, we see footage of Kelly Clancid getting her makeup done. But she rushes off to chat the ridge. Oh, oh, so, oh, oh this, this, is this, this, yes, this, this is one of the not not our Hall of Fame, like the WWE Hall of Fame. It's such a good segment. Yeah, it's great. So Kelly, smelly Kelly Clancid, uh, Shades of the Late Great John Cena, <laughs> getting her makeup done. So she's like, in her lines. Oh, she goes, oh my God, it's Rich Holland, which is hilarious by itself. Rich says he needs to apologize to Joe Gacy for the attack at Standing the Liver because he just snapped, which is not what happened. Baller. Joe, yeah, right. Joe pops out from behind the curtain and ex- say his name and <laughs> he'll appear. <laughs> I been- believe in Joe Gacy. 
He appears like a meerkat out of a curtain, accepts apology, saying it must be frustrating for Ridge to have retired. Ridge hears that and goes, harumph, storms off. Ridge has no right to be this angry. This is staggering. And bumps into the LWO. This is why people think HBK did the one final beat. He bumps into the LWO and so say immediately, (laughs) we don't believe your whole good guy act. Ridge barge past them and out the building. Del Toro tries to follow him, <laughs> puts his hand in the doorway, the door that Ridge ha- Holland assists open, slams back at him, and he goes, ow, oh, me finger! Del Toro. <laughs> so then Ridge goes, oh, sorry, and Joaquin goes, I guess that was an accident. Yeah. It was an accident! <laughs> Yeah. What the bloody hell was this? I'm really confused. We've what... gone backwards in the story. Surely, at Stand and Deliver, Ridge was just a, a, a ruthless wrestler. Yeah, he's a heel he's again. Sean uh, Spears has shown him the way. He's gone from having feelings to just being like no remorse, just kill people. We've gone back two chapters now. Kelly, yeah, I'm right. so ashamed of my action. It's just the reaction. He slams Cruz oh, Del Toro's heart it, hand in the door. Oh, and oh. Joaquin's like, well, I guess that was a mistake as well. It's the... Yeah! Oh! He can't live with himself that he has made a legitimate <laughs> accident yeah, here. Yeah, Rich comes in and goes, oh, hey, hands behind the head going, oh, no. So he feels... he feels. Then, really, he, lo- then he walks off. He feels <laughs> less guilt than he should for brutally beating a man with a chair. Yeah. But feels way more guilt than he should for accidentally closing the door on someone's hand. Yeah, because it was a proper accident. He yeah, is yeah. the worst, maybe outside of Lyra and uh, Gigi Dolan, because she wasn't on this week again. She's gone, been gone for a while. Yeah. This makeover's taken a long time. They're the, <laughs> they're the three new pillocks of NXT. <laughs> Absolutely. The way they're written. Yeah. Ridge, Gigi, and Lyra. Yeah, it's not their yeah. fault. It's the way they're written. The way they're written. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. terrible. No, I need a fourth one, though. You're four, but three pillars. Oh, we'll that, 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 that roof's fallen. But in my heart, be Thea Hill, because you should be grateful for the support from Andre oh, Chase. I was going to say, Andre's verging on it can for we, me. Can we have Knuckles as the fourth? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is oh, what... Just, what an awful... This is the exact point, I imagine, people who saw NXT stand deliver were like... Oh, this is what the show is like on a regular basis, right? Okay, back to porn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> behind the referee's back, Lola Vice attacks Natalia during a title shot against Roxanne Perez. Perez wins with a vicious pop rocks. I'm not mm. sure if that's sarcastic or not. Mm. It is, Jack's That was to annoy Ross, yeah. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> it was but, a particularly tame pop rocks, this one. Yeah, it, it was. was. <laughs> Later backstage, Lola rants about wanting to be a champ and says she can't wait to go for the Women's North American Championship. Natalia attacks her from behind until referees separate them. Yes. So the match b- itself between Natalia and Roxanne, full of the fundamentals. I think that's what it was about because that's what Natalia does. There was the slap heard around the world. Another but one. I get a feeling that Natalia likes that sort of thing. She got slapped by Roxanne, like a gunshot, but I think Natalia likes that sort of thing. <laughs> also, Natalia point out, I have won every women's title apart from the NXT one. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you dafty, it's for up and comers. Okay. You're well, already main roster, you're already uh, champion by 2010. Charlotte Flair went back down and won it. So Becky, Becky went down Lynch, and won it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. They, they, sort, yeah. of, they sort of see it as like, <laughs> <laughs> they sort of see it as like, like a, a, a gaming, gamer score trophy. What are they called? You know, when Achieve, you go back. Yeah. You go back achievement you, achievements, achievements, achievements. Not like a completionist. No. Who, who put out a video a while ago I and it's like, know. how dare you? Is it YouTube drama? Yeah. Okay. Mr. Well, I'm not charity money. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, That feels like nine years ago, but still. uh, There was a bit at the start of the match where I felt bad for Booker because Natalia's doing her rounds, high-fiving all the fans and that. She goes behind the commentary table, gives Booker a little friendly, a little shoulder squeeze to be like, we're pals, you know, we know each other from the main roster. Carries on, high-fives Vic. Vic goes, I got a high-five, Booker, but she left you hanging. Shut up, Vic. She knows him better than you. She gave him a little shoulder squeeze. You just didn't see that. Yeah, but she knows not to give Booker too much because then he'll just repeat it on a podcast. I saw <laughs> that comedian, Ross, like Shane Gillis, talking about... <laughs> is that, what that comedian, <laughs> Ross, like... <laughs> talking about... Talking Jack about, is protecting... Jack also said he liked him. Yeah, he was good. The the go. Jack is protecting himself. <laughs> no, that, that, that's little, good strategy. The little, the little bits that I've watched are good, but... All right, Machiavelli, what did he say? He's talking about <laughs> Booker T. So... She goes to talk about Booker T. Yeah, yeah. He's talking to his mate. First, they're talking about... The first clip I saw of him talking about wrestling was him talking about how much it affected him, the I Quit match at the 99 Royal Rumble. (laughs) Or the 98 Royal Rumble. Oh, no, no, 99. Oh, I mean, absolutely. He was like, 
He was like, as a kid, he was like, I knew, I knew that was a conspiracy. I knew it wasn't Mick Foley's real voice. <laughs> and all the other, like, yeah, exactly. It's on Mark Norman's podcast, him and Dan oh, Soder went on it? and talk about wrestling. For so the oh, Joe another... was only watching it because Ross likes him. So there's another bit, there's another bit where he's talking about Booker T accidentally saying the N word in the We Coming For You program. Oh, okay, yeah. And his co-host who doesn't know wrestling goes like, oh, and he said that. And, and, Book, and he tells the third guy, he's like, and Booker T's a white guy. And Shane Gillis goes, no, he's not. No, he's <laughs> really, no, he, no, he's really, no, he's really not. <laughs> he's like, absolutely not. <laughs> and I just found that, I found that funnier than what the clip was meant to be about. Oh, I love really that good. clip. Yeah. Was Booker good. T's white, what? No, he's like, he could not be so, le- he's so not. Legendary white guy, and Booker T. Shane Gillis also really likes the fact that Stevie Ray, when Booker says it, like Booker's obviously like gutted. He's like, oh no, Stevie doesn't flinch at all. He's like, yeah. damn right, <laughs> <What a> bro, <laughs> we are coming for you. By the way, speaking of I quit match. I saw the Tri-State Wrestling Alliance. Is how sad I am on my spare time. Um, the thing that predated ECW, they mm. did an I quit match that went like forty-nine minutes between uh, DC Drake and Larry Winters. It finally ended because DC Drake distracted the referee and DC Drake's manager got the microphone going, oh, I quit. The person did went, well, I quit. Bring the bell. That's very good. Um, Ross has made me re- feel really emasculated with my baby measures of alcohol, by, right, by the way. Who has? Ross. I like my twaddle. Don't, 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 be looking so at the, them. don't be looking at the man's drink. All right. Just oh. be happy in your th- happy. Be happy in thyself. Yeah. Like, practice stoicism and drink your Coca Cola. Take yourself to the dungeon like Roxanne did during that match with Natalia getting stretched, baby. Oh yeah, that was half an hour ago. Um, um, yeah, go yeah. On. Uh, right, good heel stuff from Roxanne running away from Natalia so she could push her into the steps eventually, like a, a game of Benny Hill. The mm. game of Benny Hill. Yeah, that I know what you mean. Yeah, I'll have right. confidence in your lines. It's on. on the rails still. We're still going. We're still going. Right. And then I was a big fan of the crowd who were in the sharpshooter when it was locked in. Crowd. Lo- the NXT shed. Love Natalia. Natalia, like, for all we mock her for being too straightforward and like on the main roster and everything, and for people being like, oh, it's naughty. Yeah, she gets like superpowers on the NXT. It's it's. Is it because she's NXT alumni? I think it's because she is. She has the Guinness World Records, which doesn't mean anything because you just pay for it. But she has had the longest tenure of any yeah. woman in the history of WWE. Yeah. You pay for it, do you? The Guinness World Record, there's a whole thing. And you don't see the, um, I'm gonna the legit- video that went viral about in, the... In a, um, in a few weeks' time, I'm going to legitimately try and break a record. And if I could just pay for oh, it... Oh, just rather, pay him, yeah. I'd rather do that, yeah. Yeah, no, it's no, all bollocks, mate. Yeah. I was heartbroken I've found watched the H-Bomber guy. Like, really H-Bomber guy, there's an amazing yeah. video about Tommy Talarico. Oh, no, and he's we just can't like, get into this. Again, very <laughs> briefly, was, very that briefly. That video's like seven hours long. Yeah, again, I recommend you watch it, but I know you're not going to watch it because it's a long one. But yeah, long story short, Guinness World Records, yeah, they're not as real as you thought they were. Oh, don't tell Ross that. He's really had his heart set on this, Matthew. Well, just get your wallet out and ring him. No, no, no. No, I've been speaking to Dommy who runs their social media accounts. I'm going to legit- legitimately try and do it. Yeah, let him do it. The amount legit. of wrestling themes or WWE themes named in one minute, that's going to be that's, mine. That's oh, an objective mine. one. That's one that you... No, you're I gonna, am me. Ross, you're going to do it legit, and the day after you do it, I'm going to pay him and beat you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if this happens. Road dog, gangrel, rip, clip this. <laughs> clip, this <laughs> clip this footage. Remember this footage. Oh, we're going to remember very little from the second Whatever number podcast. you get, I'm going to have one more than you. Well, the record currently is 18 in one minute. Who's got the record? I don't know. Maybe Natalia. I don't know. Yeah, Natalia <laughs> did it. This was good. I, I like the fact that um, Lola Vice's thing is just doing her taunt constantly. Any other person doing this, it would be ridiculous. But because she did it last week in front of her, in front of Natalia, she's like on the floor going, how could you? She's going, uh. Yeah, it's <laughs> like amazing. it's like a character select stance. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. You, haven't, you haven't it's pressed X time. yet. Yeah. It's the first time since Grandmaster Sexy in SmackDown 2 Know Your Role that someone's done nice. it. Yeah. You see? I can do the Look video game you, references. You big nerd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You're all right. I just didn't make full. Oh, God. It hadn't mixed very well, and I went, eh. Oh, no. I don't know how you're drinking that straight. Anyway. It's easy. It's only thing straight about us. Backstage, Brian Corbin wants <laughs> Ron Baker. No, you fancy Ray Ripley as well. To admit that there's nothing wrong about that. <laughs> Even the gays love her. <laughs> they make a great tag team. Speaking of gays, these two, oh, my God. <laughs> they are married. 
Coming next week to the podcast. They are married. Matthew's fan fiction for Baron Corbin and Bron Breaker. The fan fic, you mean playing clips of NXT? <laughs> this Unedited. Was, this was really cute. This, this was, was really, really cute. Funny. Bron says he's going to admit that they're a great tag team and walks off, but runs back in the shot and screams, Well done for life. <laughs> he does. Oh, you love to see it. When him, he runs man. in and goes, Ha ha, big boy. <laughs> this, is what we mean. this is what we mean about having a, a person who's really miserable, a person who's really full of energy. They're a great gay tag team. Right. Right. Yes. They're you and Knuckles. <laughs> Charlie Dempsey tries to interfere to help Kemp and Bourne in the tag match against Dax and Crucifino, but the D'Angelo family pull out the win. Well, that business just... deal went south quick, didn't it? It went very south very quickly. But Stax was wrestling like he had a flame in his arsehole. Um, the Not way no. he was kicking Miles Bourne, his cannonball, I'm going to sneeze, into Martin Kemp was fantastic. He is he is gonna turn on Tony D, isn't he? He's gonna turn on him. He is. I think that was very what? timely the way he was wrestling because it is. I think it feels like the the under the under has become the final bows. Whatever. What was Tony called? The Don. That's the one. Yeah. The Don. He'll that's the Don. takes on the Rock next week. Um, but no, you are right. If the <gasps> point of that match, uh, does Sta- Sta- go on. Does Interrupt Stax me. Stacks look. <laughs> does Stacks look like Ricky Starks? Nope. <laughs> Why? <What? laughs> Where did that come from? Help me, Joel. Help me. Uh, no, no. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Both, you know, skinny bronze boys. Starks. Starks. Yeah. My God. Yeah, yeah. You've you've split the atom, Jack. Oh. No, I don't think that. Um, oh. If the point of the stand the liver match was to build up Starks as a guy to take on Tony, then you know what? Fair enough. Mm. It still doesn't um, beat any of the stuff they were building up on those little promos that apparently just enjoyed shooting a movie. Oh yeah, I think Sean's gonna retire from wrestling and just do little straight to DVD movies. Yeah, and that'd be very much enjoying them yeah, all. I'll oh, watch all God. of them. There was a lovely dropkick <laughs> slash German combo from the NQCC. Shades of Andre Chase from the Legal Eagle. Um, he was taking names like Stax was, because but he, he was wrestling in slacks. Therefore, their tag team name. Wait, is Slacks? Oh. Does he Slacks? Does he look like Ricky Starks? No, no, no. Stacks and Slacks. Stacks and Slacks. Very good. Stacks and Slacks connection, baby. Yeah, it's good. Uh, d- Joel, do you remember when we went to London last year and Dan kept going, London, baby. Yeah, oh, yeah. what the <laughs> ever since, Ever since then, yeah. I've not been able to stop myself saying baby. Did he do it? <laughs> did he wait until like a moment when no one really knew what to say and then he just go, London, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. Exactly. It was classic. Uh, Dempsey, <laughs> D- Dempsey? Dempsey was getting played by the fam, trying to get involved in the match at the end there, which allowed the assisted lung bow behind the referee's back. I thought he was recording is, us there, Matthew. I know what's happening here. I've got all my notes on my thing. Yeah. Look, it's a phone. But you changed your stance. Okay, fair enough. My stance. Your stance. 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 What do you say, Ross? Stance or stance? It's stance. It's stance. It Thank is stance. you, mate. You're it's a good bath. Life. It's grass. Bath and grass. Scone. It's bath. scone. What oh, the no, hell? It's not now. It's Sesh scone. one. The worst thing about Newcastle upon Tyne as a city is the fact that we have a dog cafe called yes. the what? Dog and Scone. Because it says rhymes scone. with bone. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's scone. Yeah. It's scone. Oh, yeah, that proves it. Yeah. The other bad, the other bad Have you been there, by the way? No. I've been there seven times, I think. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't mean to brag. Like Kid Rock on Platinum. <laughs> I was there when the Pug was there. The Pug's no longer there. Ah, oh, there wasn't Pug when I went. <laughs> I've been to see the dog seven, seven times. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I like one. Uh, Obafemi arrives. I'll tell us about this win at stand. And we, the- stop there. Because oh. we get a recap of the North American title announcement just before this segment okay. from Bioba. Okay. And Booker, <laughs> do you know what I'm on about? When he comes back to Booker T and Vic. No. And the talk no, man there says, and Booker some... starts going, yeah. <laughs> Does he? Oh, oh they, they, have that yeah. Long, they have that long shot, right? That long shot of Vic, and Vic's like, we have it. <laughs> and Booker, yeah, he just stays on Booker just to have yeah. it. He's speaking about little Ava, 22-year-old Ava. He's going, yeah, she's shaking things up, baby. Yeah. Oh, well, he's not saying it in a <laughs> naughty way. But why do that about a lady? Because she's, she's happy. Because she's shaking things up. He doesn't have to shake his teeth, Miss though. Annabella. He doesn't have to shake his teeth. <laughs> if you've got a flaunt it, man. Obafemi arrives and says, Booker, calm down. He says it was a hard battle, but he's still, still the North American champion. He's entered by Ivar and... The- it was again NXT is fascinating because the shared will react crazy for anybody on the, yeah. on the main roster. So it's only got and Ivar the civilian. Uh, shows Can up. I, how many weeks have we sat here and gone? The Viking stuff is holding them back. <laughs> it's been proven true. The prophecy is no, 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 no. true. The tag team with that bloody idiot, uh, <coughs> oh, Manit, 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 Eric, whatever. Eric. 
Valhalla. Eric. No, 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 not Eric. Val- Valhalla. Oh, Valerie. Um, Livehouse being bloody mint. And he says he loved the chaos of the match on Saturday. Livehouse says he knows he's the man who could take the title from Ober. The champion headbutts him and they brawl. Livehouse stands tall and raises the belt. He did his springboard crossbody clothesline, whatever it is, off the ropes. Uh, in jeans and yeah. boots. He should be cast as the modern day one man gang. Get this bollocks Viking stuff away. That's a world champion. That's a that's world champion. That's a champion. world champion. Beat Cody Rhodes with that. <laughs> I'm joking. Maybe beat Damien Priest with that. The Ivan. Scandinavian dream. <laughs> Finish the saga. <laughs> oh, wait, that was me. Get- I like that. So, thank you. Cheers. I took a sorry. few seconds. Sorry, thank you. I'm cheers. on a delay. I'm on Wi Fi, Jack. I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't have reacted. I should have just waited. Sorry. But I like the fact that NXT can just have a lad, a mid card dude who's got nothing going on. That we go, well, we don't want to lose him, but we want to keep him. We're going to slow cook him, send him to NXT, and have Obafemi bounce him around. Those plants at the arena are going to go, sorry, they're the hall, even, they're, they're not, not even plants The anymore. gym hall are going to go crazy. Gone rogue. And it's, it's fantastic. No, I think that's great booking. Going, yeah, because yeah, Obafemi versus him. I want to see class. that. Yeah, it's going to be That's going to be mint. I want to see Obafemi do a cartwheel. The meat can. division. One step closer, we get closer to God. And Wade Barrett's <laughs> idea of the meat planet division. To be fair, though, it. Oh, but it does not qualify as a meat planet. I'm sorry to break it. Wait, to it's oh, a meat planet on. where they go to Toy Story. Oh, come come planet. on now. He's not over three bills, so he doesn't oh, qualify. Ooh, Obafemi's not Obafemi's over three Femi's bills. Not, he's 280 something, I think. I oh, reckon, oh yeah, man. Just put wet clothes on him. I reckon, <laughs> in terms of build, and sorry, in terms of real weight, I reckon very few members of the roster are actually over three bills. Mm. Mm. How dare you say that about the notoriously um, 6 2 Adam Cole? 6-2. And so they put him on the NXT back, one He's, like, he's yeah. had a drink and Honestly. he's bashing NXT. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, AEW. It was yeah. the funniest thing. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with being five whatever. But oh, calling yourself... Sorry, I wasn't disagreeing. I was taking a drink. Yeah, I know. There's a horrible pause then. I went off. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll move on. I'm five whatever. You're, you're beautiful. Thank the you, metaphor mate. are buzzing about the job they did of hosting Sander Deliver, apart from more <laughs> mention. <laughs> Who was angry about getting shoved backstage by Oba Femi? Yeah. He says he'll be the one to end Oba's title reign, but the rest of the group don't seem convinced. Dajak interrupts and wants to know who came up with the idea for the skit about him. <laughs> and they're like, Ugh. but Dar goes, no, 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 Dar, I'll, I'll, I'll own it. Dar's I did. So brave. Here. And Dajak says, this is a one and only warning. Again, wrestling's great. That little bit there, that wasn't just to get the metaphor over. It was also a setup for Dajak to go, who are you to make fun of me on that thing? Big it's Dar so energy. This, is, this them... is NXT you're saying is so Big great. Dar like, energy. Because I'm going, that's nice that they've like used that as an angle. Yeah. I just think it's nice when they use every bit of minute. I think when he comes in, he even says, I've just finished watching Stand and Deliver. <laughs> Which what makes sense for a wrestler, but yeah. they're not going to watch it the day of. He's had a match. Yeah, he's going to watch the, you know, yeah. the, the big Cody match. But then, uh, yeah, he just went, all right, whose idea was that? And then they go, <laughs> Can I just, after just re- We're going to hit six hours of this podcast. 100%. <laughs> We're yeah. going to hit six Please, hours. Let's... It's all right, because Joe's going to show us Pachiti, and Pachiti's just going to go, oh, my God. You haven't got any plans now, with Joel? Nah. Yeah. I'm free, man. I'd, I'd love to, I'd love to go to bed at some point. He's got the best of end dubs. Yeah. Should we go out after this? Let's no, go out. Yeah. He's got to blow off the dust. <laughs> um, end dubs. I remember them. I'm wearing Nike trackies. I can't go out. We can go to certain places. A pop world. I've got to work tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Wait, where would you go that would reject you from wearing trackies? Filthy McNasty's in Newcastle. Yeah, filthy. the filthy stop people wearing track. You stopped him. It was uh, really. No, I was wearing shorts. They were uh, they were, they were shorts. I, it is but, shocking that people uh, get well, bored having shorts when we're having global because, warming. No, it was because they were Adidas shorts, and he didn't. He said if if it, if they weren't branded. If they weren't sports shorts, yeah. you'd be letting. I'm sorry that BP are destroying the planet, but you can't wear shorts. So <laughs> but you look, can sweat and smell like John Cena. <laughs> Fraser lived nearby at the time, so he let me a pair of obviously chinos because it's Fraser. <laughs> I'm really no, I'm grateful to him for... <laughs> it doesn't sound like it. I'd never... Of course, Fraser had been chinos. I'd never worn a pair I'm of... I'm very grateful. I'd never but, worn know. a pair of chinos in my life. They didn't, they didn't really gel with my CM Punk is the best wrestler of all time t-shirt <laughs> I was wearing. You should have seen with the hat was on, the CM Punk t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Beige chinos. Nah, they were, they were blue ones, so they kind of looked like jeans. It was all right. It was fine. Oh, God. Despite being Bryn active... Can I just say, Dijak's t-shirt... <laughs> no, come on. Says... Ah, ra- ah, no. You know, yeah, you know what? You can't, Ross. Dijak's t-shirt says ratio. He's a grown man. Who gives a... Uh, I, know, I know why this is. It's because he's been a Twitter fiend. I but say x fiend, but that doesn't work Dar well says, Dar says you need a bit less ratio and a bit more sunshine. That's what he said to him. Because oh. Dijak's always angry. Yeah. 
Uh, apparently, I've not. I follow him, but I rarely see this. I just hear about it secondhand. That Dijak is a fiend on X because people go, uh, "Dijak, if you reassure me, I'll wear Dijak as the best wrestler of all time shirts." And he just goes, "No." And stuff like that. So apparently that's what that is referring to. Dijak is becoming an internet hero on NXT, which yeah. is bizarre because his gimmick is uh, Stallone and Cobra. Sex master. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dungeon master. By way of the lad from Judas Priest. Okay. <laughs> but on, on, on X, he's a fiend. He's a sarcastic oh, this is bastard. Such a long part. Despite being Bryn active and staying active, Brynny Reese loses a singles match to Jada Parker. Have you heard of Reese's Pieces, Powers of Motivation Techniques? I was so happy with this at Reese's Pieces. I even thought, shall I bring on the podcast? How sad would that be? Booker T's reaction, that. no, they haven't won in six months. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, Booker did nothing wrong. If Booker doesn't find you attractive as a lady, he does not entertain your <laughs> stick at all. The, we um, found out that he doesn't find Bryn active attractive. Oh, bars. Booker's talking about um, passing the airport test. He's like, no, it's the Booker test. The, uh, the biscotti the, test. The, <laughs> Jada's oh, finisher, like just the running hip smash, was class. Yeah. Someone's been reading yeah. Twitter. Oh. Her bum oh. takes over Twitter. So oh, does. like Sky Blue in a Sky Blue way. Mm. Okay. So they've seen that and gone. We'll give her the running arse as a finisher. It's a hip smash. Come on. The running hip smash. Yeah. Yeah. With a side of arse. Oh no no no. That's how the hip works. That, that is. Thank you for explaining the body. Thank you for explaining the human body. Right. Hers is different because it's away from the corner, and Bryn took it well. She went like bang. No. And the commentators both went, ooh. Yeah, maybe. but Booker maybe for a different... Anyway. <laughs> In the locker room, Ariana Grace bragged about how great she was on the Standard Liver pre-show. She was good. What? Sol Rucker isn't paying attention, good. but perks up when Grace mentions the Women's North American title, which is new. Grace leaves to take a phone call. <laughs> so the slide away. <laughs> Sorry, I have to take a phone see, call. See the slide away she does from her. It's very... She the, goes, oh, I wanted that belt. Well, I wanted that belt as well. And Grace goes... <laughs> yeah. Without somehow, she's on, a, she's on a track like the she's railway like, children. She moves her legs without oh, moving. Oh god, we're reference. To... Sorry, she's so. <laughs> she's sorry. So... I thought Tom Campbell's in the room. I'm sorry. <laughs> she's so Santino's daughter. Like it's unbelievable. Yeah, really good. Yeah, she went. Mamma mia, my phone. She rings. <laughs> uh, Lola Vice storms in, angry about the attack from Natalia. Saul says maybe Lola should should not have cost Natalia her title match earlier. Right. And then Vice Sol's says like, a lot yeah. has changed around here since Rooker was away and Sums off whatever dude. She says whatever dude. Yeah, Sol's like, you, you should expect that, that you tit, which Sol's, is true. Sol's like WWE, CW, Rob Van Dam or early 2000s up Rob I Van Dam. Yeah. She just says cool and dude. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Georgina, that's the main takeaway. No, still nowhere to be seen. She should be dressed up as a dick, excuse me, by um, Ariana Grace, but isn't being for some reason. Very strange. Where, yeah, I hope she's all right because she might strange be strange behavior. She might be like injured or something. Well, even if she is, you can still put her in a dress, can't you? Make wheel her out there. <laughs> Get her out. <laughs> I'm not asking. Where's for... that wheelbarrow? Chuck her in. I'm Come not on. asking for a 30. 30- <laughs> oh, no, it's the third Ross minute. <laughs> I'm not asking for a 30 minute NXT takeover main event. <laughs> what did you say? I'm asking her to get in a dress. What are you say? She's injured. You can still put a dress on. <laughs> she lost that match. Put a area. dress over the brace on your arm. Has she got a brace on? I didn't know that. That's Sorry. We can't tell because she's wearing a That's dress. Shit, really. <laughs> I just oh, thought she was away. You guys have killed me. I, I'm i really sorry. I need to go to the toilet. That's, That's right. okay, man. Jay, I'm... Are you going for a spew, are you? No, I'm going to... <laughs> I, I, I know, I know. I'm trying to do this. Oh, oh, I was going to I was gonna try and sneakily move along with you, but you're going as well. Right. No one's here. We'll be back in just a few short moments. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? What happened there? I'm taking a tumble. <laughs> well, I just had that run to go to the toilet because... Uh, well, you're right, Jack. Yeah, I just don't, don't wrestle with one thing. It's heavy news. So I had, a, I had a look. No, I didn't. I went to the toilet, came back, and I heard these two lads go, "Oh my god!" Apparently, some news has happened while we're doing this, oh and they won't tell me. They won't tell me on the podcast. Well, we're on the podcast, Ross. What's happened? O.J. Simpson is dead. The former American footballer who was controversially cleared of double murder, yeah, has died at the age of He's 76. dead. <laughs> Orenthal James Simpson rose to fame as a college footballer playing for the NFL. In 1995, he was acquitted of the murder of his former wife, Nicole Brown, and a friend in a trial 
He the did gri- it. They gripped America, but also appeared on WrestleMania 12, 12 13. Uh, I mean, that's <laughs> 12, but I know where, man. She appeared. In 2008, he was sentenced to 33 oh. years imprisonment on charges. So OJ has passed away during the podcast. Wow. We've been going that long. <laughs> One of the most fascinating human beings to ever live. Yeah, obviously, great legacy. Great... No. <laughs> His legacy will always be for me. Logging on Twitter and oh, everybody... <laughs> He, ah, he bloody did it, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> no one else has been investigated. He did. No one else has been under suspicion. It's just, it, there's that much water under that, underneath that O.J. Simpson bridge. He goes, hey, everybody, it's yours truly. <laughs> Isn't the weather great outside today? <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Amazing. Amazing. I, I, I thoroughly recommend the, the amazing O.J. Simpson made the in documentary. America documentary. It's so long. I've got on Blu-ray. I'll lend it to anybody who asks. It's bloody amazing. Honestly, but again, things keep, keep, wrestling. things keep happening to slow this podcast down. To keep them with wrestling, Bruce Bridget on the Conrad Thompson podcast oh said God. that Russo's idea, yeah. for us made 12, was to get <laughs> the father of the person that O.J. Simpson allegedly didn't, I can't say in a court of law he did, but he absolutely did, um, <laughs> killed, uh, was to show up to WrestleMania to wrestle O.J. Simpson and was allowed one of three weapons, one of which was like a chair, one of which is like on a table. The third one was a live grenade. <laughs> and the idea did not get off the ground. So instead they did a little cameo with him doing the little chase instead. It's a real shame. That Life that is fascinating. OJ Simpson. The juice is loose. R.I.P. Wow. He absolutely did it. <laughs> Allegedly. How much of it was it? He <laughs> sues me from beyond the grave. He did it. I guess he's still got. I have a copy state. of my Kindle of the OJ Simpson. Yeah, allegedly, allegedly. If I did it, yeah, we, I have it. It's, yeah, it's grim. If in smaller font than the rest. Yeah. Of the year. You know who did do it? Nathan Fraser and Axiom <laughs> because they beat the Wolf Dogs to become the new it. NXT it tag team. Thank well you lying. very much for waiting until I came back to go, Matthew. Breaking news. I just like. know how much you're for fan you are. For <laughs> <Jim Simpson>. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I need a minute. <laughs> You talk about what were your favorite bits of the match? Well, I cry. Braun Breaker running those bloody ropes like no one's ever run those ropes before since Mad Cab Moss was in the World Wrestling Federation. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a hell of a throw by. So Braun got Nathan by the head. Either like he had like Charles King Charles by the ears and just threw Nathan Fraser over the top of his head. It's fantastic. <laughs> uh, Nathan reversed the gorilla press into a DDT was also fantastic. The save that conked out Axiom uh, with the. The stylist special, I think they called on commentary, the bulldog yeah, yeah, on the top, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Nathan was done for, but Axiom, who was knocked out on the mat, kicked uh, mm. Braun in the head, I think, was making the pin at the time. Uh, there was a kick from Axiom when Braun was going for the spear, which again, just like at the weekend, was absolutely fantastic. That's how a super kick should be used, not like a punch in that Usos match, yeah, yeah, those yeah. cucks. And it was great camera work on the apron for the for the ending, which really made you feel the impact of the moves happening. Honestly, the last bit was so lonely, Road of Faith. Hey, go like on. The, when Bron nearly runs into Baron and then stops and goes, are you all right? Are you okay? <laughs> and then obviously it all goes wrong. They get shoved into each other. And the baby face, well, the baby face is the, the challenges win. And I thought, I thought that was Aww. nice. I bought it as well, because I was saying before the weekend, how do you beat the wolf dogs? With those two little boys. I sound like such an old man. Um, but do it in a convincing manner, and they did do the crowd with it. As we all, all know, they're not plants anymore. It was a really good match. Yeah, because they said, like, why did they put the, the career on the line? Because we saw what they were made of at Stand and Deliver. We reckon we can beat them. Oh. We've got their number. And they were right. So it was actually good that they put that up. Fantastic. Yeah. And again, it ending... Because they've had such a weird Kavorga backstage, which is basically antagonizing one another until the point where they like each other, which is funny. It's like a playground romance. Uh, but yeah, then Robert, oh, you're right, mate. And then that's like, that's it. That's all it needs. No, it was more tender than that. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, Baron. <laughs> and then, yeah, the, the little lads won, and they won convincingly. Mm. And I thought that was a hard... I thought on the weeks building up to this, it was going to be a hard thing to vault over. These two looking convincing against the wolf dogs, who look mint. Everything they do, Boom. And then there's, you know, Nathan Fraser going, hi, you know, but they're able to do it. i tell you what, I and hope well done. the Wolf Dogs need to continue on the main roster because oh. you can't be doing too, stuff too soon with Bron. I don't want to see Bron straight away. Oh, like, you in, could. In well, the Intercontinental title picture. I was going to say, on WWE.com on the YouTube, they put basically uh, the big dog saying, not the other, no, the, the other big, dog, I guess. Roman Reigns. The much smaller dog saying, buy NXT, 
Thank you very much. And if this is the end of it, which looks like it is, yeah. uh, next year draft coming up and everything else like that, what a run. Oh, yeah. yeah. What a lovely example for the people, the snarky fans who go, oh, NXT, Tosh and Piffle. I will watch another Akira Tawi match. <laughs> um, Bron Breaker has killed it on the roster. Yeah. He's NXT champ in the tag champs. A being a dick, being a good guy. A little wobble in the middle when he's a fisherman. A little yeah, wobble. Yeah. That one segment where he was a fisherman says, I don't like people. I well, ignore that happened. I need to get on the lakes to get away from the noise. The weights and the measures and the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was crap. But apart from that, flawless, fantastic. Because yeah. he even went through a little scene period, didn't he, where the crowd in the shed... When we thought there were plants, but they weren't. No, we no, they were. They were. Man. When they were booing them. They were holding signs again. that said, like, Braun sucks. Opposite the hard see. cam. Right there uh, on hard cam. They're not plants. Oh, don't even. Okay. Oh, oh no. Real real fans bring signs that say, Final Fantasy IV is really good, actually. Uh, no, they don't. God. Fake fans bring I don't even know signs. what a chocobo is. Right. Thank anyway. You. Isn't that a um, milkshake you can buy? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you, like, harvest them or breed them or something? Well, it depends what mood you're in. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. Nathan... Oh, no, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. Because then... Shoot attack. Yeah. (laughs) You know what I said earlier about Ivar the civilian coming out and going, that's nice, he's got nothing to be doing. (laughs) The Final Testament were at WrestleMania and they're already on NXT. Oof. Go go down there and learn a new hold. Oh, my God. That's so nasty. Harsh but fair there. Harsh but fair there. I guess they're going to get set... Are we learning things like Roxanne? Is she going to get set up to the main roster? Like Elia, is he going to get set up to the main roster? Bron, we know, is going to the main roster because he had promo packages and whatnot. Melo go to the main roster. But Ivar, I hope, isn't going back to NXT. But the final testament, I don't mind going back to NXT. If that's what we've learned from this NXT is your happy place, though. It's your sacred playground. Not for long. I like the AOP. Karrion Cross and Scarlet have got potential. I can't wait for the Potential for what? Great things. I can't wait for the Ilya Dragunov <laughs> Carrion Cross feud. Carrion, Carrion, Carrion. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Scarlet, great. Yeah. Cheers to Scarlet. Yeah, whatever. Trick Willie arrives <laughs> and cuts a promo. Talk about how much a success Stan and Deliver was. Trick, pick, oh, no. the, the, sorry, the. Uh, the air's on, so it's knocking my notes out. The air is on. Trick pays... Leave me alone. Trick pays respect <laughs> to Kamala Hayes. He beat him and showed the world what Trick Willie is all about. Trick mentions Cody finishing his story and says it made him wonder what's next in line for him. De- what's that noise? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Shut up there, sesh. To get to next... <laughs> <laughs> he wants to win the NXT Championship. Ilya Dragunov arrives and says he's proud of the superstar Trick has become. He calls Trick the leader of a hungry young locker room. But his answer is, no. Dragunov says Trick had his chance and failed, so someone else should have got an opportunity. Trick asks who he needs to beat to get another title shot. And he says Trick is a risk taker, so he's willing to give a rematch at spring breaking. If Trick loses, he has to leave NXT. Trick agrees, and they shake hands. But Camilo Hayes runs in from the crowd and knocks Trick into Dragunov. He beats Trick down and tells him he won't make it to spring breaking, because next week, he's going to beat his ass yeah. in a steel ass match. Steel ass match. Um, right. Sponsored by Manly Ass Wipes from WrestleMania That's Party. right. Don't be a girly girl and buy normal wipes that are cheaper. Buy dude wipes. The mailbag feels so far away. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jack. What are your opinions yeah, on Yeah, we're record breakers here. We're going to enter the Guinness <laughs> World Record. Uh-huh. We're gonna the drink. Longest. We're gonna drink Guinness. Yeah, I liked it. Um, I found it funny when Ilya, a man really serious and dramatic, had to say at spring breaking. Um, but yeah, I liked it. I liked that Trick and Mello are having a different another match. There was reports actually that the take. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm just... He's just Go pouring on. his drink. Pour drink. I'm, I'm, I'm watching. I'm listening to you, Jack. There's. What's he doing? I don't know. There's, um, All right, I'll stare at you. There's Sorry. reports. Go there's on. reports. No, then I'll feel weird. Go on, do the eyebrows again. All right, I'll look at Joel then. Go on. <laughs> there's reports. There's reports. I'm like Medusa. <laughs> there's reports that the match at um, Stan's Liver was meant to be the steel cage match, but for whatever reason, they didn't have that mm. stipulation. I can mm. see that, yeah. Mm. I think they should have, they should change their name to Wackier Stuff so Ilya Dragunov can say it. Yeah. Okay, I will give you the title shot. At spring breaking two, electric boogaloo. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's it. This is that 
we're at a changing time. I like this period of post WrestleMania yeah. where it's like, all right, let's end things, move on, next. This is it. Oh, I think the waters are muddy now, boys, because. Uh, oh, shut up. What? Didn't you find it funny? Muddy I waters. I want to sound like the wrestling Matt Letizia here because oh. did you not find it a bit weird? That Elia was like, you have to beat somebody to get back to me. And then all of a sudden, Mello appeared. Oh, wow. Are you not registering what I'm saying? Are you saying that it's fake? Are you saying that, am I saying, is someone saying that Elia Dragunov and Trick, Me uh, sorry, Carmelo Hayes no, are working together? How no, dare you no. mark me for being paid? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm no, all no, over the shop no, here. No, they're not, they're not but in it cahoots. Is, they're not in cahoots. In the words of Letitia, it makes you think this. <laughs> Ross is currently playing tennis for themselves. <laughs> that they are you are not. right. Wrestling's fake. And it is funny, like, yeah, you won't make it because next week, Steel cage match. Uh, on I, this week of all weeks where Matt Letizia claimed the government controls the weather. <laughs> Why are you bringing up Matt Let Stop bringing him up. Please. I'm putting it to you. The trick... No, Carmelo Hayes and Elia Dragunov <laughs> might up. be working together. No. Matt Letizia, <laughs> which is French for Matt the Tissier. Matt the twat. <laughs> but it was a good segment apart from that. Yeah, you have that trick, yeah, Willie. Yeah, yeah, good. Uh, and again, Elia managed great to say goals as well. Yeah, yeah cool. Called AEW Dynamite. Oh, thank God. Samoa <laughs> Joe arrives for his match against Dustin Rhodes, but his attack from behind. Oh, this show was wank, wasn't this it? Match was, this show was wank. Joe fights back, but Swerve puts him through a table. Joe has helped the back just to delay the inevitable. I guess. Dustin was, was late, late for right? work. Dustin was late for work. Dustin was late for work. That's my rationale for doing that. Well, for. For beating him up, for beating up Joe. Yeah. Because we never saw Dustin. Because Dustin was never there. Ah, Dustin did, was yeah, late for work. It did feel a bit pointless, didn't it? He got stuck in traffic. <laughs> Why wouldn't they just make <laughs> Do you it? you think instead of like a limo? He doesn't swerve when he drives. Why wouldn't they just make it the main event anyway? Yeah, yeah, you're right. No, you're right. Do you think instead of a, a limo, like like back in the if day, you say a Ford Bronco. Throw him up for OJ. No. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Drinking for OJ. <laughs> Two less we're gonna worry about. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Two? What's happened there? Two? What? Yeah. O and J. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> New Jack did a promo on Smoke Mountain Wrestling. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out to my homeboy OJ yeah, Simpson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two less. <laughs> yeah, he did, he didn't he? God. And he's looking off camera to cut Jim Cornette the entire time, going, Are you sure I can say and, this? And All right. That was in like backwards, like. 95. <laughs> I can't believe you. The ball's on you. In front of fans going, what in the tarnation? Oh. <laughs> anyway, I like the attack from Swerve because for the match with Dustin, it gave you that bit of jeopardy because, you know, you think Samojo is never going to lose to yeah, Dustin, yeah, yeah. even though it was a title elimination match, a title eliminator <laughs> match. Um, but yeah, Dustin arrived late for work. That's what I've put that down to. I was going to say he arrived in that, um, you know, that match at Uncensored. It was in that. Oh, we even call it a truck filled with hay. Oh, the uh, the old um, oh, yeah. what the hell was it called? Yeah, going down the road. Uh, the King, of the King of the road. King of the road. King of the road. That's the one. Yeah, hail but, bales. But you know what? I should let Jack just do his OJ reference. Renee says that OC will be in action on Rampage. Oh, good. No one's going to see it, and we'll give an update after he was betrayed by Trent last week. What do yeah, you know? Cheers, good. then. Big, Orange Cassidy's good, man. Big teaser though, because Chris Statlander had Trent whisper something in her ear. What did she? What did yeah. he whisper to her? She was. She seemed dis it's free real estate. She seemed disappointed in him, so maybe she's. Oh, I don't know. Did you see the teaser they did with Chris Scott on the running towards the camera, going "Watch AEW." No, and she no. watched the camera. Right, I've never seen that. Was one. It good? That came up to Twitter randomly. I have no idea where it came from. Was it good? I liked it. Yeah. Three seconds, and that's all you got to go watch AEW. That's fair enough. Nice. Yeah. That's all you need. Reaction times. Boop boop boop. AEW. Adam Copeland beats Penta to retain the TNT title. What he's confronted by Brody King and Julia Hart after <laughs> things is broken the notes. Brody attacks but Willow Knight and Gale. I have to hold it like a scribe. <laughs> but Willow Knight and the Gale runs out to attack Julia and even the odds. The faces clear the ring. Yeah. So this match, you just said what a match. Oh yeah. It was long though. But it's Adam Copeland. Uh, yeah. It, I had that expectation yeah. going into it, and I like the fact. My main criticism, I want to compare this to Orange Cassidy's reign of the international title, is that you sort of knew how the match was going to finish with a roll-up. That's a good point. Whereas in this match here, for some reason, Edge, Adam Copeland, turned into a luchador. Yeah. Tejeras, one, two, three, four, five, six Tejeras. There was lots of Tejeras. <laughs> 
Have you ever seen Adam Copeland do a Tejeras? No, not even one. We saw loads in this match here, which shows he's changing his offense with different opponents. What's a Tejeras? What Head was... scissors. Oh, thank you. Head All scissors right. take down. Oh, oh, yeah, in that case, you're right. You, yeah. But in Spanish. You have got a bit conspiracy theorist this week, because I'm reading Ross's notes. One of them just says, <laughs> the yellow arrow with numbers up to eight... For A, what did that mean? <laughs> on my version, you're all right. No, was the thing that on my version of Dynamite that I was watching, it flashed up. And watch wrestling. Had like no. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! As if <laughs> up on, the on. fight television. I pay for Triller. Go on. And the Triller. I have got that subscription on the side, baby. <laughs> uh, but yeah, on the side, of, <laughs> there was lots of like the numbers were there one to eight, and lots of like yellow lines and that, and it said. 4A? And I was like, what does that mean? Is that just a technical error? Yeah, it was strange, wasn't it? No, I mean, it's Uncle Howdy's making his debut for AEW. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. But yeah, but, yeah, you liked the match? Yeah, it was good. Pet and from the start. I liked the spear and the double stomp and the meaty chops and then Copeland wrestling like a boxer. <coughs> he was yeah. pinning those arms down, grappling. I like that we're basically getting Cena's US title open challenge, but with Edge. Mm. And he's changed this. You don't, don't think? I preferred Cena's, but yes. Well, I mean, it's a high. But yes, Cena. yes, of course. Like, yeah, I hope course. that when he wrestles Brody King, which I assume is the next match we're getting, oh, the, please. The, oh, the good, yeah, open. Good, yeah. I hope he just brawls. No Teheras is there. <laughs> no Teheras. Yeah. Now, I like this, but I kind of love Penta, but there was no, uh, what's the word on the ball? Tension. There's no way that Edge was losing the Pentagon Jr. here with no build. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the build of Pentagon going, can I have a title shot? I mate. The it's like, no, there's no way that's losing that. But like it was me. a nice match for what it was. People like me, I deserve a title. Let's have a title match. That yeah, because really... I just like Pentagon. He's so cute. Yeah. You expect that, though, with the, the original Cope Open. That was just, you're a young boy, come and wrestle me for 20 minutes, but lose. Yeah. Ha ha. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Copeland. When I was ah, a young boy, the old my father... CM, <laughs> the old CM Punk in AW trick, I see. Ah, uh, uh -huh. Yes, I'll have a match with you, Paul Sobs, but I'll be winning. Can I, it was one of the highlights of the week to see Alex Abrahentes get speared. Yeah. Even the current Good. team agreed. Yeah, they must hate him. That's been a long time coming. <laughs> he is so, he's a full, little so full of himself. Penta says, take that. I like that. Yeah, it's good, yeah. He should have said Penta says, ow. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, at backstage, Renee interviews Jericho, Hook, and Shibata. Oh, my God. Jericho interrupts a question for Hook and lays out the strategy for the match. The other guy should follow his instructions. He walks off, and Shibata uses his phone to ask what Jericho's deal is. Hook tells him not to worry. Shibata compliments Renee's necklace. I Ugh, like your whatever. necklace. This was the moment where I realized, <coughs> Brown, the reader, breathing the rarefied air of Ross Tweddle, that Chris Jericho is turning heel. Because he oh, said yeah. that sentence. This Bro was the moment. No, this was. This was the first definitive like heel move where he's like, you breathe the rarefied air of Chris Jericho. We'll do this the because learning I tree. said so. Yeah, we'll do that because I said so. And it was a really simple plan as well. Yeah. I'll knock out Anthony Agogo with ease. I was like, mm. Since he knocked my block off, I'll do that to oh, him. Oh, yeah, he talks like he's from the 50s. I hate Jericho. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> but at least he's doing a heel shtick now. It's no longer like cringy baby face. It's just like heel. At least oh, yeah. now it's... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I do bet. bet. Thank you. Don't bet. bet. But now, yeah, I know what Ross <laughs> means. Now that he's a heel, even if he is cringy, it's it's more acceptable because you're not meant to like him. Yeah, right. Yeah, Renee yeah. interviews Mark Briscoe and Eddie Kingston following the match at Supercard of Honor. Eddie Kingston needs I'm to watch fight some... in the paper. Here, honestly, Eddie Kingston needs to watch some ballet because he says like, ah, oh, we're beat up, but because this isn't ballet. Have you seen a ballet dancer speak? It's such an old. Thing that Taz would yell, like with Michael Jim Ross Cole, as well. This isn't ballet, and people are like, have you done ballet? Joel, would you mind googling? Oh, oh, shut up, Ross. What do you mean, shut up? I want the people to know what it's like. The ballet dancers go through. We know what ballet is. Ballet dancer feet. No, I don't want to see that. They absolutely go through the ring of these ballet they dancers. They call me do. ballet dancer feet. Oh, look at that. Oh God, no! Don't, don't, don't. Why show would that. you put this? Oh, no, Joel. Oh, our man. They look like Carl, they look like Carlos Cologne. Stop there it. It's like Devon Dudley's forehead. Oh, <laughs> God. Copeland arrives at Willow Sesh. and wants to make sure his teammates are still good to go at Dynasty, unlike the podcast people here. No, we need. There's a bit more of that promo. Stokely Hathaway challenging oh. Copeland for Willow Nightingale to have a shot. Yeah. Because she will whoop your ass, man. Was fantastic. And what did he say about Eddie Kingston? He, he apologized. Sorry, sorry yeah. I apologize for yeah. saying you smell like bad cigarettes. I think what it is. So, I should have uh, said that out loud. <laughs> and then Kingston just walks <laughs> off. <laughs> Kingston just walks off. Stone, I love Stokely. Stokely yeah. tries to follow him, and Kingston does this great, like, 
<laughs> yeah. This guy is good. Oh, he's the best. And then we get a mixed tag match set up for next week with Copeland and Willow taking on Brody and Julia. What, we why should. Why did and... Copeland steal Willow's thunder in this, by the way? Because Willow goes, I have a great idea for next week. And, and then it's she... as hot as my pants. Yeah. Blackadder. Thank you. Yeah. And then, um, and then he interrupts and goes, I've got a great idea. <laughs> why don't we team up? And she has to pretend like... Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah. I was like, all right, let her have anything. Yeah, thanks, Copeland. Yeah. Also, came up with a weird team name for him and the boys. Oh, come on. Was, what was it? It was a little bit Jericho esque, wasn't it? Yeah, very Jericho esque. Yeah. Must be a Canadian thing. You can't mm. remember, can you? It was the. I can't remember. <laughs> well, seven hours in, I can't. No, it was um, the. The rated. Yeah, rated. It was started. the rated chicken, chicken Hawks. Yeah. But I don't know where Hawks came from. Eddie Kings, what, what team is the Hawks? A chicken Atla- Hawk Atlanta, is a... Atlanta, A-Town. That's a, that's oh, a, that's a, that's a I think he was just making <laughs> stuff up. I think he was just like... A chicken hawk in the gay community is an older man that preys upon younger men. Is that what Eddie Kingston is? I think that's what Edge is. Don't say that about okay, Eddie Kingston. Fair enough. You won't hear that enough. sentence said on any other wrestling podcast this week. This is the real difference. You really <laughs> Not only we pitch. How many... Like subsets are there of different preferences and stuff in the gay community. Well, I've kept on saying that Ross is a size queen because he wants to make this the longest podcast. I've heard of a size week. queen. He's got his, he's got his, his wishes. You know, be careful what you wish for. The monkey's ha- paw is curling this week, Ross. To be fair, it's happened organically. I haven't elongated this. I can't wait to go to bedtime. <laughs> That's what people want to hear. Because <laughs> you know what. AEW was looking all right this week, and then it hit a giant roadblock. Oh, my God. Backstage, the Young Bucks prepare oh. to show the footage from All In. I know, I know. We look, we have to get over this. They talk about their previous match with FDI and Wembley and say some old wounds haven't healed. It was the biggest show they've ever been a part of, and he said something about, like, it was the most people to ever watch a wrestling show ever, which is like, okay. Fine. It was, it was apart, well, apart from yeah. that North Korea one, it was. It was a big show, it was a big mm. show. It was a big show. Mm. But there was an incident before the match that threw him off their game. And at this point, I thought, are they not going to show it? The lying bastards. However, they talk glowingly about Jack Perry and mockingly quote Punk without saying his name, positive words about him from the past. Nicholas suggests that FDR masterminded the whole incident. But Matthew says you can't just bash people in a public forum without proof. Oh, the young book said that. Matthew says they lost FDR because the incident meant they had no time to hydrate or pray. That he plays was the one down. Funny, but I like that bit. Yeah, he plays down the instant. It says it resembled more of a schoolyard fight, but it cost them the match of FDR. And they actually show the incident. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal, which I won't describe because people have had wildly different interpretations of the same footage. Oh, bless you, Jack. You on Twitter beefing with everybody. <laughs> The books can't believe. I just I support assault and violence. Apparently, so. <laughs> the books can't believe that after such a stupid incident, FDR had the gall to want a handshake after the match. At Dynasty, they won't be shaking hands. At this point, I had gone, wow, they actually showed it, and it didn't do anything for them. We've it, already been over this. Already. Yeah, we said the start. Yeah, it's in, um, the, in the news section of the podcast. That's right. Yeah. We've, they've already showed it, and now they're trying to tie it in to Young Bucks versus FDR part five on paper maybe this looked like to the young bucks who live in a bubble like a really smart idea to the rest of the world it's like oh no well, I, I think we're going down a bad path here with AEW if this is what they're going <coughs> down and before you say nothing FDR head to the ring and that's oh, why we're the going books... this one now straight away yeah we might as well do this because it, 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 it was all one long really, segment yeah. why the books would even air the footage which is a very good point and one of them had a, Sims, a Bart Simpson T-shirt on to show their alliance with the Bret Hart, who was on The Simpsons. <sighs> They're ready to move on and put this in the past. Good point. Cash says the books are petty little bitches. Dax says the books live reminding us that without them, <sighs> hundreds of people would be out of a job and AW wouldn't even exist and they would still be shaving Cash's back. Yay, up the WWE. Dax says the books can't stand the fact that FDR have eclipsed them as the best tag team in the world. The books mm-hmm. used to care about AEW, but now three different letters have taken over. Dub Dub E. Oh, I mean, EV- sorry, EVP. Matthew. Matthew. What do you like? <laughs> it's a classic <laughs> singer. <laughs> FDR do this for the rest of the We didn't back. even plan. <laughs> no. Matthew. <laughs> Matthew. They're talking about the book. And all the it's fans like spending their hard earned <laughs> money on AEW. This is about Wembley. It's about Dub Dub. It's about the tag team titles. <sighs> so, to your. Sorry, a little um, non-update, really. Oh. Uh, PW Torch... OJ Simpson is still dead. <laughs> PW Torch reported that the books were not in favour of doing this. I was about segment. to say, right, that's what it is. Oh. oh, now they've read the reviews. <laughs> but 
Fightful have just come out and said the opposite, that the books weren't ah! so... So I, I, I curses. Ah, I was about so Fightful Select just revealed really, that the unbooks are their sources. Then I was about to feel really no, because they've just thrown them on the bus. And same with the Will Osprey segment. Apparently, he wasn't. It wasn't his idea, but then Fightful have said that he was in favour. Ah, so uh, who's what? Oh, 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 I love your show, uh, Ross. Uh, I don't care yeah. if twelve year olds ring you on Twitter. Yeah. So. Oh no. We don't really know. Oh. So they're all dicks. So wait, Fightful's saying that. It actually was the start. The wrestlers were in on it as well. They were saying they were, they were in. They were yeah, fine. I've got the thing. Five full selectors <laughs> told that uh, close to the situation, that contrary to rumors, the young books were fine and in favor of doing the segment <laughs> featuring Jack Perry. I was, I, was, I was literally about to say. <laughs> That's amazing. I was literally about to say, even though I'm on the punk side of the whole thing, <laughs> I was literally about to say. Actually, I felt quite bad for the books because you know the line where they go. It was like a schoolyard pathetic fight or whatever. I thought that was them trying to, them knowing it was a bad idea and them trying to play it down. Yeah, but again, you, but, course, but apparently, right, not, but apparently, no, but apparently not. Apparently, they were in favour of it. Okay, it needs to be said because obviously we're very smart. The young books are playing a character right now with the evil smarky uh -huh. bastards. However, you are as a company still showing this one. All you've done is made CM Punk look right because okay, maybe one or two little minor bits were incorrect. But overall, CM Punk told the truth. <laughs> Two, all you've done is put the attention on Dub Dub Do, the own books, well done, the heels, FDR, and then again reference Dub Dub Be. And then later on, we'll skip to it, like whatever. The CM Punk chance bring out the, the young books. They've turned the young books versus FDR part five into a CM Punk thing. Unbelievable scenes, Jeff. I feel like, as well, when. Um, well, it's weird because you've got this. This was a company decision, right? And even though in the storyline this was a Young Bucks heel decision to air the footage, everyone knows it was a company decision. But then you've got the heels siding with what the company have done, airing the footage. You've got yeah. the baby faces coming out and going, right. "That's really stupid." And I'm like, so, "So we're cheering the faces for saying what the company have really done in real life is stupid." It, it's so WC, like it's so weird. You said earlier, Tony Schiavone. I don't think this is as bad as late nineties WCW. Yeah, but, but, we're, but, we're it, at but that it does. Point. But I can Let's see why miss. the comparison. Boy, yeah. Tony Schiavone was, was there. Mm -hmm. Late two thousands or mid two thousands WCW was full of, well, you know what they're saying online, late brother. 90s, late nineties. Yeah, and it was like, okay, but. You know there's a TV audience there. You know there's a, so much talent and great wrestlers there in this company. And you're focusing on just the online people. No one would have cared about this. They've somehow managed to turn the Young Bucks versus FTR into nothing. It's secondary to the AEW versus CM Punk feud. The scenes. If there's one sort of glimmer of hope, it's that they've realized immediately that they've made a mistake because the copyright strike and all the... They are, oh yeah, to, mm. to, to turn back the, the page, I, people have been like, hee hee, I'm going to do a, a silly post about this, and they have been DMCA in everybody they on Twitter their, X, on Facebook, on their they own, included footage of this. On their own uploaded highlights, they took that bit right. out. And I don't know if it's because of the logistics of uploading CCTV footage from Reed Stadium, maybe, maybe not. All I know is, like, yeah. They seem they to They thought realized... this would be really funny. Again, as I said before earlier, the only positive to show on this is if F as if CM Punk was Lying. completely incorrect. Yeah. And everything he said, he went, no, Jack Perry, stop beating me up. I'm sorry, I've wet myself. No, that didn't happen. What happened was 90% true what CM I Punk happened. I need to watch back the Ariel Helwani interview. Because if he doesn't, I think the only people have a like, sticking point with is him going that Jack initiated the contact, I think. I Both think of them are there. Head to head, like just one. Because Jack, Jack more clearly fight. says something that initiates the first shove yeah. from Punk. And there's all the wrestlers around them. The referees are looking. No and one again, says out. Then there's Cassius Ono going, "Ah, oh, man, I, I knew it that. that was mint." And Mark I Black going, "I'm not losing to anybody ever." <laughs> and then, yeah, then it happens, and everyone's like, "Whoa!" And again, we're not saying that what Punk did was all right, or that it deserves to happen in a workplace well, you or are. anything. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm genuinely not. But. But it's different to an office, isn't it? It's, yeah, a, rest, it it's a wrestling and, backstage and area. Also, it, it, even more goes on. Not an office. And also, it's it's only because it's CM Punk that people are so, I can't believe he did. Like, right. you know, I like Everyone has to be thinking or talking about CM Punk. He's amazing. It's unbelievable. I'm He's really the, happy they put it out there. He is the... Uh -oh, look, are you I'm actually... Happy. I'm, I'm yeah. gutted for AEW because it makes him look so bad. It does. It, it makes Tony Khan look bad. It does. It, it makes you, it... You're yeah. questioning where the life-threatening situation comes from. <laughs> yeah, that's even though, that's even though. 
CM Punk screaming in your face. I assume he was just there, like, you know, face to face kind of. That would be terrifying if you're a smaller fella like Wait, Tony no, Khan I just is. Try not him, like. exactly. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be scary for any of us having like CM Punk screaming Oh, he screaming would be scary, faces. but I don't think I'd feel like I was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, um, God. It's, okay. I don't know. Again, we're not anti AE dub. No, we'll, we'll, we'll point out when someone makes a mistake or some of the bad's happened. AEW's got lots of great talent. This was just wrong idea after wrong idea after wrong idea. And as soon as they showed, cut back to Tony Schiavone, who had his head in his hands yeah. like this. I'm like, yeah, I'm with you, Tony. What a horrible idea. Fantastic. You're beefing with the company next door who are like so above you going, what? Did you guys hear anything? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Let's carry on. See, that's why I'm, in, oh, that's why I'm gutted because yeah, I, want, I, shame, I want them man. to both be good company. Like, do you know, I want them a rising tide good. brings up all ships, as they say. But because right a- now, AEW drowning. I saw a Cornette quote actually quite recently that said oh, something. What the... It was like a rising beep, tide beep, beep, raises all boats, ex- unless one of the boats has a hole in it or something like that. Like, it was something. Because they but have they, been. They, AEW could come back from this. Oh, they course. never bring it up again, but. On paper, they must have gone, this would be a really good idea. They're going to have to bring it back the again. The Young Bucks are playing there. Um, when Jack Perry comes TV's back. Oh, God, it's, I, yeah, It's going to be yeah. there, isn't it? Yeah. I was saying earlier. Well, who's he going to beef with? CM Punk. Like, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the thing people want to see, we can't deliver. I don't... I, I, I'm speechless. Tony Khan and Triple H. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come together. Do you think... So CM Punk did an interview, and I thought he sounded a bit of a cock some of bits of it. Tony Khan has unveiled this footage, and I go, you know what, CM Punk? Suddenly this interview went... Boop, boop, it went up the ratings and gone, you know what? You're not exactly right. Do you think... Why would they do this? Do you think that, um... Do you think that, like... Oh, no, I can't actually remember what I was going to... I'm oh, trying to think, maybe if you guys did, like, a, oh, no, a thing no, about, no. like, well, what culture said this about us, but here's some videos about it, and whatever, and you look like arseholes. <laughs> it would be bad. Yeah, you look bad. bad. You see, you go, why don't that's do what, that? That's what I was going to say. Do you think that... I don't know, this sounds so like conspiracy theory. Promo Joe said let, this about me, me but my... I'll show you. I love gooning Promo <laughs> Joe. Like... Let me put my Matt Letizia hat on for a second. Why is he being brought up time and time <laughs> now, again? What is he do? Has, he, you, put, has it, he bought all those drinks for you? It's a big drink for Matt Letizia. <laughs> if you look at the whole big picture, if you zoom out a bit, no. you've had Cody becoming a bigger and bigger deal in AW and suddenly he's gone. It's quite mysterious and strange. Then you've got Punk coming in and he's not taking the Bucks crap and he's obviously in the wrong with some incidents and everything. Mm. And then he's gone and the Bucks are doing a victory lap around the ring for drive, not arguably driving the biggest star in the company out. And if they just got in Tony's head and made him think that whatever they, are they ruling the roost basically? And are they making sure that they're the biggest stars? That does seem to be the case, Jack. It's weird, isn't it? it, And I don't know that, I don't know that, but like, Whatever's happening, it's fascinating to watch. Mm. Like, just as a, a study of human behavior, as a wrestling show, you're like, I can't believe you did this. It's got to be. It's got to be closure. It's got to be like. It's not closure. No, but it's got to be. No. <laughs> it's got to be. Like, people have been wondering. Like, I can't believe they did this. That weekend, the news was saying they've got the CCTV footage, and that was in August. And we're sat here in April, still going. <laughs> yeah. Might we be able to see this footage? And they've gone right. There you go. Because they can't have gone, right, CM Punk, I've seen that in the view, and you've said something horribly wrong here, and we're going right, to prove right. you wrong. Because <laughs> right. it just hasn't. What they've done there is just, as I said earlier. But Tony Khan might be so detached, he might have thought that what CM Punk said was underplaying it massively. It would have been better <laughs> if he was on screen. I, I, let's just say that. Yeah, that If more... he was in shot going like, Wah! Tony Khan should have beat up CM Punk. That's the <laughs> only way this would have been redeemed. But it didn't happen. Any, oh, it's not oh, It is it's mad. Over, it's like the eclipse we had on Monday. It's just taken like all over AEW. No one cares about Trent turning on OC. No one cares about Adam Copeland team up Willow Nightingale and rated R, whatever stupid team he came up with. It's just this. It's so counterproductive. As a glass half full. I'm fascinated by it. Glass half full perspective. That FTR promo about the fans and fighting about AEW. That worked AVP, well. That, that, was, that worked. But that's it. That's just, That's it. <laughs> Renee interviews Will Ospreay on the stage to carry on this circle jerk. TV time's expensive. Rumours, sorry. sorry, I beg your pardon, that he's afraid of the grind, which apparently did... See, okay, did CM Punk... Sorry. CM Punk, <laughs> did Triple H say this? Yeah, yeah. The, in direct reference he, he, to Will Ospreay? No, 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 no. It was in no. reference to other people that they haven't signed, right? It wasn't actually, yeah, Will Ospreay, he sucks, right? But Ospreay is the big name that's been linked to both companies recently. So it wasn't actually Will Ospreay that was named? He doesn't men- mention him by name, no. 
But it could have been a slight what little... A colossal could have been a waste little, of TV time. It could have been a slight little dig. I didn't hate this as much as you seem to have, to be fair. I think a lot of people assumed it was Will Ospreay. Just hearing it. I, I mean, I did, watching Triple H's interview. It was, on, it was on Pat McAfee's podcast last Thursday or something like that. <sighs> okay, um, right, whatever. And to be fair, Triple H brought it up, like, unprovoked. Yeah, he did. Like, he, he, he said... Did. He, no one asked uh, him a question. He just basically it. said, I don't want you here if you don't want to do well, the maybe grind. It's time to I thought he was talking about Matt Hardy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Honest to no, no. God, I thought he was talking about Matt Hardy. No, I actually no, no. thought this one was... Fair enough. From so did Oscar. I. Yeah. It's like, what? Really? Well, Triple you, H had if, to dig it If someone goes to you, so. do you want to work 52 weeks a year, four days a week, whatever, or do you want to work, I know there's travel days. One day a year. I do do that. So let's say work three days a week, 52 weeks a year. What are you going to choose for more money? You're going to choose the three days a week, aren't you? But again, it, Triple H is so much better than this. It's so much, it's so, it's so funny. Uh, why would, oh, okay. The person just <laughs> suggesting that, What? The person just that they only got there was by grinding on the boss's daughter. Again, what is the outcome of this? The young bucks not wrestling CM Punk. Well, I just thought he was standing up for himself. Yeah, Osprey is not wrestling him. Triple H. Okay, but and no they get one. The good, a good crowd. They need, oh. Again, I know I sound like Cornette, but uh, whatever. They need to stop aiming towards the people who were permanently online. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Who gives a poo? There's so much great talent in this company and they're beefing with, well, one person said this. It's exactly like if Sean Ross happened a TV show and one episode he dedicated to doing that piss test because some told you said he was doing coke. It's exactly that. And then, but that was just the first half. The second half was Osprey says he's stronger and faster than Brian. Younger and healthier men have tried to beat Osprey and failed, but he understands the threat of Brian Danielson. Osprey can't call himself the best wrestler in the world until he pins, pins, uh, pins Brian in the middle of the ring at Dynasty. I like that. I like the fact that I couldn't say it because <laughs> everything's a blur right now. But the fact that the feud is based around who is considered the best wrestler in the world. That's what I like about the feud. Yeah. I don't care about Triple H. I can see why they went for that one. Because that was, as Joel said there, an unprovoked comment from Triple H that Will Osprey was like, well, I'm not having my work ethic questioned by somebody from the other side, basically. I can see why Will Ospreay did that. I think if it hadn't happened on the same show as the Pung stuff, then yeah. it wouldn't have been... This as... followed it. it, it Although I really thought f- he was going to drop an F-bomb. To there. be fair, <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> I'd forgotten about Sorry. the Triple H comments until Will Ospreay yeah. brought that up. So much <laughs> stuff happened. In terms of wrestling news, that might have been 100 years ago. The greatest WrestleMania of all time happened. Bruce Pritchard But imagine, up. right, let's say Pachiti went on a podcast. I, I, I see speed when his bloody name is showed up and got kicked by Randy Orton. Who cares about what Triple H may or may not have said about Will Ospreay? Pachiti oh. goes on Jake Humphrey's, uh, what's it called? <laughs> the performance podcast. High performance. Oh, that. Who, who's Jake Humphrey? Oh, uh, that knob at the one. Uh, Pachiti oh. was like, oh, that, that, Matt, that Matthew, his, uh, his work ethic's absolutely tight. He, re- he rocks up for, you know, three hours a week and it's, it's just no effort. You'd want to say... Pachiti, you're wrong, because you have to obviously put a lot of effort into this podcast to watch all the wrestling to come and sit here and talk about it. It's a debate. I won't say the person's name, but there's a Ooh. wrestling YouTuber who I really respect, but I had to DM him going... Thank you, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you, John. <Jack. laughs> there was a point where people were DM... Well, not even DMing. I have been going, you stink! And, like, every word would be misspelled. And he'd go, quote, re- re- quote retweet. Oh, it's Brian Zane. You brought this up loads you're of times. You're a dickhead. <laughs> You're a massive, <laughs> enormous, throbbing dickhead. You've said this loads of times And you the get off at the, 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 the slightest <laughs> touch. But yeah, people with him are going, you smell. And he quote tweet them going, no, I don't. I smell ble- beautiful. I have Lynx Africa. <laughs> Whatever. I'm like, I had the day I'm going, can you stop responding to people? <laughs> They I, win. That's all they want. I won. agree with you, you though. Need to stop. And this is it in wrestling form. I'm speechless because AEW, since the MGF Adam Cole thing fizzled and went like that, and it left them in a weird position. AEW has been fantastic the previous few weeks. This week was so, was like nineteen. What, why are you doing that, Jack? You're right. I just don't need it was <laughs> like it's like they did a giant leap backwards in terms of like again yeah. letting people know you've gotten to. Yeah. I don't I I'm there going, do I get in there better than anybody? I'm I'm ancient. I'm nine thousand years old. I'm like a Tyrannosaurus Rex by the sounds of in there. And I understand if someone says you're bad, just block them or mute them. You don't respond to go, I don't smell. We've all been guilty of it in the past. Yes, yeah. but like, and I can't imagine and I've company. never been called out by someone as big as Triple H. Who cares? I if they hadn't no, brought no, it up. No, no, if they there. hadn't brought when it up, was no one would care. The f- e. He's the CEO. <laughs> hey, good save. Good save. He's the C- whatever his title is of the WWE, COO. right? And he's going, you're lazy, basically. 
You're, you're gonna you're gonna say no, I'm not. He didn't explicitly name Osprey. Mm. So why would he bring him up going, I'm not lazy? Like, oh god. Oh, I think we're spending too much. We're never gonna agree with the other. Uh, side. Renee interviews <laughs> Brian Zane's fantastic, by the way. Oh, yeah, wait. absolutely. I'll yeah, say this. Then. I can't wait to see Osprey versus Danielson. Mm. Oh yes. As a match, I can't wait for it. Oh, I don't the, care about the dragon. 17 pedigrees, <laughs> sledgehammers everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, please, if Will's They'll, like, oh you've worked my leg for 15 minutes. Moonsault. They'll <laughs> reenact the punk fight Soaking step by step. Oh. <laughs> push, push. Oh, I hate you, Ross. I hate you. That's going exactly in my. <laughs> I'm Jack. Hello. My name is Jack the Jock. I've got my sledgehammer. Oh. We see a Julie Hart vignette. He's going to peel Willow Light and Gale's mask. And shows that she's more smiles than rainbows. It's due to Does anyone care? Yeah, nothing really said in that promo. Yeah. The presentation was very good, though, I thought. Ooh. How was there three more pages? Jericho and Hook end up arguing on the outside during the six man tag match, leaving Shibata. I said it against the mighty Shane Taylor promotion. I did not say that. The bad guys win. Hook checks on Shibata afterwards and yells Jericho. He leaves on his own. But nice cancel. He'll turn initiated. Yeah. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> Should have nice, used Keep going. Should have nice used some lure there. Jerkules. Uh, <laughs> Jerkules. <laughs> Do you remember that from Hercules? Stronger than a gladiator. Hercules. Thank you. It was good to see STP on Dynamite. I think their work deserves the promotion. Yeah, I uh, like especially their... like Shane Taylor. Right. Yeah. Sorry, yes. No, no, I, I am just agree with you. Sorry, mate. I thought the talk of a go-go's ego back in the day, I say back in the day, back in 2021, was very interesting from Taz because Hook, he also revealed trained with Taz. It was like, ah, oh, go-go's uh, walked in there thinking he's better than everybody else. No, no, yeah. But just because it's Taz, I think that might be more meat to that boat. Yeah. Olymp- because he's an Olympian. He's a bronze medalist. Yeah, he's very good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. What? Is that what you're throwing shade on? What? No, no. Oh, I couldn't do it. genuinely saying he's... An the... Olympic bronze medalist. Oh, he was only no, the... I agree, but you laughed afterwards. He was only the third so best like, in the world. Oh, that, yeah, oh, like, oh, oh, I was going to say, I was like, bronze. That's what, really, big, really, 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 really good. One of the three good. best boxers in the world at that time. Ha, ha, loser. <laughs> Graduating the professional oh. ranks from there. Yeah, right. Um, I thought Shane was really no, was impressive. Ricochet, yeah, Jack. <laughs> Ricochet shadow boxing is slick. Re- Shane was really impressive against Hook. There was big chops and big lariats. Then there was the Hook German on Shane, which got a massive pop and fantastic. I thought Shibata was laying it in there. What's wrong? Um, so I just had a thought that's intrusive, but it's become outtrusive. I was going you to think say, I could take Anthony Gogo in a boxing match? Uh, that's funny. But also the fact that the STP theme was in my head last time. <laughs> Oh. S-T-P. 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 <laughs> you want a rumble, boy? <laughs> that, that, was, that was in my head as I was falling asleep. Yeah, Shibata looked great in there. I love this. Oh, story. he did. It's punch chops in the corner, put yeah. hairs on my chest. I wouldn't mind looking like Shibata, just less like broken down, you know, like we- <laughs> weathered. If you could have someone's brain put in your head, was anyone you'd have in mind? Elon Musk. No, <laughs> no, no, no. The amount of money no. he's got. Oh. No, no, no. You're yeah, but he's his a dumb brain, dumb. His brain, yeah, but he's lost loads of money as well. Has he? With Twitter? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. He's, he's, oh, with Twitter, yeah. He's in the yeah. Guinness World Records next to you for p- m- most money lost by one human being. Yeah. <laughs> Legit. Um, if I could have one person's brain. Oh, I'm going to piss myself in a second. Go for it. Go um, for yeah. It. Um, I thought the heel turn was initiated. That's my Do you want us to stop? Thank you. No, no, you can kick you off. Oh. Uh, Renee interviews Dustin Rhodes backstage. Who says to the <laughs> Chagas Mojo hasn't changed his strategy at all? He'll fight with passion, grit, determination, and work ethic. Yeah, he won't. this just reminded me of when um, the Golden Lovers started going heart, soul, family. Do you remember that? Who was yeah. that? Is that that the Golden Lovers and the Bucks? Told the, no. Oh, it was the Golden Lovers. Yeah, and then other people as well. Heart, soul, fun, passion, and friendship. Captain Planet. Yeah, that was the one. <laughs> Akada wins a squash a squash match against Cristina Argento. No, no, Chris, um, Cristiano. The the words are like Christ, bouncing around. Cristiano like, Argento. Yeah, he's, I can he's, hear them laughing at. I googled me. him. He's Italian and no. hot. <laughs> Why don't look at the camera? It goes on saying. <laughs> oh, oh let you know a little hot. secret, guys. <laughs> and it doesn't matter because oh, Akada was brilliant. <laughs> he's, <yeah>. he's hot. <laughs> Only thing hotter than Chris, Cristiano Argento um, <laughs> was Okada. Oh, this is so great. Looking bored out uh, In between moves. Yeah. I can't remember the last time we had a gimmick like that. Yeah, it's good. I'm so above this. But it wouldn't work for everyone. It only works for Ricardo. Because, yeah, exactly. he's been there and done all of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ross, we just thought about Ross's return from his mighty piss. We're talking about um, Okada. Um, looking Cristiano, bored out of his Cristiano mind being a jobber. That's fantastic. It really worked for him in this The Gavorka here. 
And the only thing better Cristiano than that, Argentino, do you mean? That's him. Yeah. Sexy Italian. Argento, Argento. After the match, he was really handsome. Okada accepts Pac challenge. <laughs> Pac heads out. And he's effing and blind in oh a Oh my storm. god, he was swearing so much. Yeah, you little mother What a work your ticket he was. Yeah, he was. Effing and blind him. Because he knows The Rock's doing and that. And he goes, I'm going to do that. And no one's going to know because apparently Americans can't understand, can't understand his accent, even though it's perfect he English to us. He needs one of them Shibata phones. I will batter ye. To be I fair. I doubt ye. No, no, it should do that bit. It's just swearing. Yeah. Have you ever tried text to speech as a Geordie man? No. I haven't actually. Does not work well? Doesn't work, does it? That's just racism. Have you seen how much I agree with you, though? Where is it? The line? <laughs> you like the Kavorka of Okada. Owned have a cow, man. Mm. That's a good quote for you. Owned have a cow. Owned have a cow, man. <laughs> <laughs> Okada would love The Simpsons. Um, the bit where he's swearing, Pac, when he gets on the stage, he's walking back. He's pit. Ooh, it's a close one. Oh, a seven. Hours, I didn't, didn't pick it. You're all right. Um, he's pacing back and forwards. And then the line he says before he starts walking down the ramp is, here I come. Which is so like, I love him so much, Which is so weird, but yeah. I'm glad great. this is our representation. I've often wondered what wrestler. I've often been fascinated wondering what Austin says when he's walking down the ramp, like just talking and talking and talking. It was really nice to get a peek behind the curtain with Pac here. Oh, it was Pancho, absolutely... you little rascal. It was absolutely... <laughs> Have yeah. you seen clips? How has he just oh, become gosh, a cat right. person now? <laughs> he loves know. that cat. He used to be a dog person, oh, all his Labradors, and now he's a cat person. Oh, Pancho, Pancho's you little a, rascal. Pancho's cat, a particularly think, like, affectionate cat, though. I think at older, cats are easier. Mm. They're not as loyal, but once they're you get way Once you get a known. Yeah, give them food, give them somewhere to piss, and that's all they need. Yeah. Like Metallica. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Like Metallica. Wait, what? Give me food, give me food. Oh, right. Ah, oh, right. Ah, I Ross thought you meant... So, Ross is you... so great. People behind the camera. Ross is so great. Ross will wait a few seconds. You're going, what the hell? The... Oh, that's so I good. thought you meant you can have your very own Kirk Hammett if you just give him <laughs> some food. Cat Hammett. <laughs> the Bang Bang Gang could have promo backstage bragging about how the recent success in Healy's antics. What? What great success. You had the oh, worst I'll match of all you, time last week. No, the titles. Jay White oh, right, embarrassed Billy Gunn. Yeah, Ring of Honor. Jay White embarrassed Billy Gunn and himself. But it, in storyline, just Billy he Gunn. He embarrassed the world. They are still the Ring of Honor tag team titles. Aliens saw that match and flew off and went with a different They planet. won their unannounced open challenge at Supercard. Jesus. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. Finished. He's finishing the Honey Jack Daniels. <laughs> not, Jesus Christ. He's now brandishing the empty bottle in a dangerous way. Um, the um, one the one podcast a year Ross is allowed to smash Joel. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't agree to this. And then I'll sure wait all year for this. And sure they, sure. they did some other heelish stuff as well. Yeah, Jay wants to beat down Billy Gunn on Rampage again. No, no, not him this time. No? He wants he tells them to find him and he's like, oh he specifically goes. Anyone apart from oh, Billy Gunn. Right, sorry. <laughs> so he goes, he goes, ass boys, go and sort me out an opponent. And they go, we'll do boss. I did think it was a bit strange after he's beaten them already, so yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We well, probably should have mentioned that uh, Tony Khan kind of went back on the releases last week and said, well, I'll, I'll bring them all back. Sorry, guys. Yeah. And the boys did a bunch of tweets that I the saw. The travel issues. It yeah, right. Some... I woke up and looked at these tweets and were like, oh, it looked long and tedious, but it seemed to say like, no, look, we messaged people and said, can't we fly out of our nearby airport? And not the bore of the podcast, more longer than it is. But it seemed to be like, no, there's more to it. And Tony Khan was like, okay, I'll bring them back. Oh. oh. It's like, okay. Huh. What was he, the point in that? Then? He's losing the dressing room, as they'd say about a manager. He <laughs> is. I know that JD from NY did like a three-hour video of like, Tony Khan is oh. losing it. And I hate that the fact is like, yeah, he is. Oh, he's Graham Potter. <laughs> As per the request of Tony Storm, Renee welcomes us to the Charleston Championship Champagne Toast. Are we, oh, should we do a cheers for that? No. Cheers! cheers. All hail to the air. I don't want to spill anything on your laptop. Oh, me neither. Okay. Tony and Thunder Rosa <laughs> are brought out ahead of their match at Dynasty. Tony prepares to deliver a toast, but instead throws the champagne in Rosa's face and attacks her. Mm. Classic. The, yeah, exactly. Dinner for Rosa runs out to help, and Tony hides behind Luther. <laughs> the highlight of the segment was <laughs> Luther's... <coughs> No! Yeah. Uh, towards Thunder uh, Towards uh, Diana, sorry. Thank you for clearing your throat. And sorry. we know that he's really putting that on because we know Luther's real voice is, Yo, Cowbunga, what's going on? It's dude? Rock's promo from Raw. Yo, man. <laughs> My dad and your dad down at the beach. <laughs> I'd book Luther if I was uh, an independent wrestling company. On his own? Company. Yeah. Not with Tony or Sependigo. No. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to No, even Sependigo. No, they were a good tag team, aren't they? 
I knew a lad who... Knew... I thought you were picking up the mic there, Joel, to be like, I like Serpentico. I, I also like Dr. Yeah. Luther. I, I knew a lad who would play against Serpentico and Sonny Guevara when they had that backyard wrestling organization. They used to play them on GTA. Oh, he knew them personally? Yeah, like like, online, that's how then. I know them. They're the lads that would play GTA 5 with I me. I think you've mentioned this before, because Sammy would like drop some It's so scoopies. funny knowing that. Like, yeah. It's so funny, like, I'm going to play a video game with this lad hmm. decades later. Oh, he's world champion. It's like, it's so funny. Rosa shoves Diona away when she checks on her. Diona storms off. Mariah May makes her entrance and Tony's confused, but it's because she has a match text. Oh. What are you doing here, darling? It was funny. It was, <laughs> I like that. Mariah beats Anna Jay with the sunset flip. Anna puts her in the Queen Slayer at the match, but she's saved by Mina Shirakawa. Yes. An ally from a time in stardom. Of course we know that. Most of the crowd don't seem to know who Mina is. Where's the video package? Uh, but you, but you can't say that about Ida Dragunov. I know, I know, I know. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. kidding. I'm saying that jokingly. But someone brought a sign. I stand with Ada. Someone brought a, a sign to Rampage or Collision that said that. So, but she pours a glass of champagne for Mariah, and they kiss. And some of the crowd are like, oh yeah! yeah, the crowd are like. Uh, so yeah, uh, so she showed up. So obviously, Jack, thank God you're here on the podcast. Oh no! You can tell us all about. Mina Shirakawa. Mina Shirakawa. She's not one that I know too much about, unfortunately. Bollocks. But I know that she's You're got. Fired. But I know that she's got Kavorka. You can say that again. That was fantastic. Yeah, she's she's a good fit. I can see why when Mariah May went over to Stardom, I can totally see why they booked them as a allies because they've got similar Kavorka. Um, Mina seemed to be higher on the totem pole, I think, than Mariah. But now it seems like the roles have been. Possibly Higher on the totem pole, but lower down oh, the car. No, yeah. I was going to say, hang on. <laughs> no, totem I didn't mean, um, <laughs> it's too long in the day to be talking about totems. Also, who's Mariah going to choose? Where do her loyalties lie now? With her old friend or with Tony? It's such a tangled web. It is. What a tangled web we weave. Um, the crowd loved the kiss. They awesome. popped huge. Yeah, she's men. She's a great wrestler. <laughs> Haven't seen her wrestle yet, but I've got a good feeling about this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like uh, the chops in the match with Anna Jay, though. They were both lasses were laying them in oh, hard. Oh, yeah, there was a match. There was before the kiss. Um, Anna was going rogue at the yeah. end with her offense and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Jack. Oh. Jack appears to be choking. It's just Ross's last note is so wonderfully like innocent. Is she Mariah May's girlfriend? <laughs> it's just lovely. No, <laughs> I don't know. Just seeing it written down in such plain speech was just you know the, the old Joey Tribbiani chemistry, not chemistry argument. There was chemistry oh, the in the kiss. Thing, yeah. Or was there no chemistry in the kiss, which means you think oh, there are. Thing. Yeah. The <laughs> Seth <laughs> Becky thing. Yeah. I think there was comedic <laughs> chemistry in the kiss. Hmm. But I don't know how that fits into Joey Tribbiani's algorithm. Anyway, it was. I, I think she's got banter, Mina. Not yeah, just because, yeah, not just because of the kiss. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do next. Yeah, thank you yeah. very much. Yeah. Alex Marvez has a sit, sit down interview with Mercedes oh, Monet, God. which is amazing because I thought Alex Marvez only interviewed the young Me ones, too. so it's nice. Yeah, his notepad. Oh, good for him. Mercedes wants to make history <laughs> by becoming TBS champion at Double or Nothing. Wait, what? Not Dynasty? No, because that's when the title match is already happening. Yeah. She's the number one contender for the next pay per view. Oh, okay. She talks about the match to determine their opponent, the thing that you've just said. Mm. You can tell I didn't skip this. Mercedes talks about her injury Why at the Why are you skipping things on a podcast where you review the wrestling? Because I know you guys all carry you me. irresponsible bastard. Because, yeah, because this airs the, the morning of this. Uh, Marvez asks which woman she'd rather face at Double or Nothing. But before she can answer, the lights go out. And Mercedes is attacked. Uh, 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 turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. Turn those lights on. That was better than how Marvez <laughs> that actually. Was good, that. Yeah, that was all right. The audio people are going, God, can you play the audio of the AEW <laughs> thing on that thing? Yeah, Marvez is more like, oh, no, turn them on. Was it CM Punk? <laughs> <laughs> was it Willow? That's oh, my question. No, of no. course not. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah, it might have been. That's, no. Willow is surely going to be TBS champion by the time Vegas rolls round, Matthew. And Mercedes has been accusing Willow of injuring her when Mercedes just simply fell off the turnbuckle. Yes, indubitably. What say you now? So it's going to really hurt her argument if she goes, I'm sorry I injured you, it was an accident, and then I bat you for real. Yeah, pish, bash, posh. Game now I have us. injured you for real, so shut up. That's I'm not a, helping the argument. I, need, I'm a, I was a massive fan of Sasha Banks, NXT, early main roster under me, but this promo here, it felt so scripted and so... Like sarcastic and phoned in his delivery. I don't know what she's it's doing. It's never been her strength. Yeah. Dialogue. But no, she's got she, charisma in a wrestlery way, but yeah. not in a 
actory way. But I never felt in that WWE promos, it felt this like this tied down. All the catchphrases like I'm the CEO and I feel this way. Mm. This that uh, money other. changes everything. Yeah, it just felt really phoned in this promo. It's a shame. And this wasn't yeah. even live. This is pre-recorded. This yeah, is the best yeah. version. I've seen people say that and also say you're a CEO and you haven't wrestled yet. She might still be recovering from her injury. She gets a reduced schedule being feel, a CEO. It feels like she might be recovering from her injury mm-hmm. because yeah, people, people are ready for the match. Oh, she's an unbelievable wrestler. I'm yeah. trying to do an injury angle before she's got in the ring yet. No, no, I think she's really might still be injured. Ah, uh, oh, which, which might be why which might be why they're delaying her. A a bad day. one. <sighs> That's always dangerous to go. Look, she's here. She's here. The woman who can't wrestle yet. Maybe that's, yeah, that's, they're kind yeah. of having the same problem with Adam Cole, just trying to find out what to do. With it. She's, yeah, Adam, she needs to be healed, right? Mercedes? Well, yeah, that's why Adam Cole can do it because he's healed and he goes, "I'm reading a book." I don't think Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I don't think they'll turn her heel yet. Never do I. So that's why I think Willow's the one who beat her down, or a jealous Statlander. Maybe people love Willow. Oh, though. tasty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. I yeah, hope yeah, Chris, yeah. Chris Allen goes, you're watching AEW. <laughs> just if Chris, because obviously Trent whispered in Chris's ear, didn't he? So if he whispered something that turned her diddler. Whoa. Oh, yes. <laughs> turned her diddler. You should, should batter Mercedes money with the lights off. Come to the dark side. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Last week, I called that famous dart player, like, little little, little Luke diddler. <laughs> didn't call Honestly him Luke, God, didn't I didn't call him Luke. didn't mean to do it. didn't call him Luke diddler. <laughs> I did call him. I didn't mean to do it. Oh. Physically this impossible. This podcast has ruined me. Literally a child. Yeah. yeah. Stop it. He's 17. Stop yeah. it. He uh, needs to get on this podcast. It'll be easy to get on. I'd love him, man. I, It'd be I, great. Course, yeah. I reckon like, he watched what's, us. What's your favorite McDonald's? Do you reckon he did? He watched us when he was like 12 and thought, nah, they're not for me. <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> Whoa, and then he went off my chair. Whoa. In the main event, Samoa Joe beats Dustin Rhodes after a belt shot behind the referee's back. Whatever. Love Samoa Joe coming out with a chain, looking round. It's a Why little thing. The oh, just, sorry, the small. There's a beat away, beat away shit. Uh, oh. Strickland, sorry. Oh, have we missed Strickland. anything? He looks on the cooking the clutch after the mm. belt, but Swerve Strickland arrives to make the save. He attacks Joe with a chain before various members of the locker room run out the key. Yeah, the referees, it's good. Uh, Swerve is left in the ring with Joe's belt and holds it up while the champion is it. Fuming on the ramp. He was really well, close. I'm glad that they made this about Swerve Strickland, which right, rather than just yeah. Rhodes. Yeah. What do you think about the match? Big fan of Joe coming out with a chain, looking round, looking wary, weary, weary, <laughs> weary, weary. Kind of both. Yeah. He was like, oh, where is he? Where's that Swerve? Um, blood straight away off the the squared off ring post was a good. Of touch. course, he's bleeding. Dusted up the roads. Up the roads. He's gone up the rose. Uh, it made the Dustin fight back look very good. I thought in the match, there was a lovely scoop slam, which I think they call on Twitter, art. Um, there was a lovely poo house win for Joe in the face of defeat after the crossroads. And Joe's face, when Swerve lifted that title belt aloft, it sold me, if I wasn't sold already, on the potential title match. Yeah. He was like... <laughs> <laughs> ASMR there is I could hear I could hear that in my headphones. I've got that Matt Lucas Matt Lucas on shooting stars. You never heard him do this before, you can do this. (laughs) I thought he would have busted that out on the podcast before now. (laughs) Up the jowls, up the jowls. (laughs) This is not what we needed when we were rattling along towards the mailbag, finally. Did you enjoy the match? I don't think you did enjoy the uh, match. Oh, no, not really, because it's Dustin Rhodes doing his Dustin Rhodes match that he's been doing for the past two years. I know he's ancient, respect, whatever. But it's like, Dustin Rhodes, people say I'm an underachiever. And I agree. No one's saying that. Go away. Um... But it was what it was because they're doing this because of the WrestleMania weekend and all that other jazz. But again, Swerve Strickland looked amazing because he's so good. Yeah. And Smojo looked great. But then, then there's Dustin Rhodes called, <laughs> they called him the natural. Yeah. I'm like, I don't care about you. Go away. Leave him alone. Yeah, Why would nice Swerve boy. defend Dustin Rhodes after they had that rotten match? Because he's a legend and everyone Dustin loves him. Dustin refused he said that he told to get us. jobbed out by Swerve in Strickland. In kayfabe, everyone loves Dustin Rhodes. Oh, well, I'm not in kayfabe. No. I'm in Cultaholic, which is way See? better. See? W- Watch that whiskey now. Seconds ago. Dory posted, hello, 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 repeatedly, deleted it within seconds, which is about Uncle Howdy. Oh, it 
Oh, so well, low. if you can't trust Elite He's Rocker right. Z on Twitter, who can you trust? No, it's no, from no, the no. verified what account. What do you mean? It's, it's from the one... verified account, oh, you dick. I'm not going to this debate. <laughs> Eight hours in the podcast, not debating this. I cannot wait. Because yeah, what, you're right. Uncle Howdy's what, coming back. Yeah, what is, whatever. What is Howdy synonymous with? Go have a wank. Hello. Nirvana. Hello. No, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Uh, that's you too. <laughs> oh, oh, where the lights are. One, three, it's got the... There you, you go. Want... There's the screenshot there. It's I just, know. I know what happens. In the bottom corner. Hello. It's in there. <laughs> Look at it. I love that. There he is. Convinced people like you need to watch every frame. Aye. But when does the TV's glitch and say hello oh. to you? All the time. My one's crap. I don't smoke as much weed as you. <laughs> well, no one should. <laughs> I don't want you to drink as much rum as me. That either. was the end of the week in wrestling. Jeez. Let's have a rummage in our mail bags. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the mail bag. Oh, the mail bag. The mail bag. Oh, <laughs> the bag of mail. Hello, Colholic <laughs> crew. That's us. Hiya. Hiya. I hope you're doing well on this week's five hour podcast. That might be wrong. It? Fine. <laughs> I have been watching since the back the day. <laughs> Stop it. Ross just died. You guys are what got me back into wrestling after a while. Thank you very much. I've wanted to write in the mailbag many times before, but my anxiety always got the better of me. Oh. As December, I got the chance to attend my first Friday night SmackDown, and the Monday before Mania was my first time at Rending Raw. At both times, I had planned on seeing CM Punk, but sadly both times, I never did. <laughs> Though I did get to see the travel chief and the final boss, so that made up for it. My question is, is there a wrestler past or present that you wished you got the chance to see wrestle in person? Mm. Sending my best, Anthony from New York. Thank you, Anthony. Don't thank you, Anthony from New York. Some Anthony. NFL dude's and name. Thank you for something. writing in and, and well done for overcoming your anxious feelings about writing in, but you shouldn't have felt like that. It's all good. Exactly. It's all good. What Jack said, and I hope you are all right attending that area, even though it's Philly. I think there's a New York Philly rivalry. And a Matthew Philly rivalry. Uh, We're okay after it. <laughs> Jesus, are you alright, Jack? He's Ross. He's Ross Twaddle. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! How are we going to get through? Thank you, Andy from New York. <laughs> well, I'll get out the way of this question because I hit this question thinking I hadn't seen Goldberg and Sting wrestle. But you have. I have seen Goldberg definitely wrestle, but it turns out I've also seen Sting wrestle live at Go the on. Newcastle House Show in November of 2000. I was there and I watched him. But I in can't, 2000, I can't remember. I went with my mom. I've still got my Jeff Jarrett slapnuts guitar at home. Have you really? Are you talking about, I've, yeah. Can you bring that in? There's a picture on my Instagram of it, yeah. No, I don't want to go on Instagram. Bring it in. All right, then. I'll we'll have to go home first. It's like yeah, 20, all right, leave 20 miles podcast. north. Make it, make it 12 hours long. <laughs> I'll drive home now <laughs> <laughs> and bring the guitar back for you. That's nice you got to see Sting. Yeah, though. but I can't remember a thing about it because I was like seven years old. Do you know who you wrestled? I'll have a look now. I'll okay. tell you. I'll tell you in a second. Yeah, what have you got, Jack? I've got Eddie Guerrero, I think. Um, Did you have a chance to see him? No, no. Uh, like uh, By the time... Actually... When did I first go to my first WWE show? No, yeah, I would never have had the chance to see him. Um, I'd stopped watching wrestling by the time he was getting up the card as well and becoming one right. of my favorite wrestlers. And now he was one of my favorites ever in, in ring and stuff. But like, Can I just say the card I saw on that night was fantastic. Norman <laughs> Smiley defeated Qui 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 this is the only match I can remember was Kwee Wee walking down the ring. Misfits in action, which is Corporal Cajun, General Reaction, Lieutenant Loco versus Team Canada, either Skipper Jim Duggan and Lance Storm, with Major Guns. Then we saw the Cat versus Mike Sanders. Crowbar defeated Big Vito. Then we saw, I'll get the Sting match. Uh, Buff Bagwell, <laughs> uh, Kevin Nash and Sting defeated the Natural Born Thrillers. Chuck Balumbo, Reno, not 2200. Oh, the perfect event. Yeah, with Sean Stasiak as well. And then I saw Goldberg defeat Lex Luger. Lex Lex that was, Luger. That was the main event. No. Oh, sorry. Booker T and Scott Steiner was the main event. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. one. Yeah, cool. Sweet. Yeah, that's pretty good. Great easy. card. Um, so, yeah, Eddie Guerrero. Um, I learned to appreciate Eddie Guerrero mainly after he'd passed away and I got back into wrestling. And then every time I watched him back, I was like, this guy wrestles like water. How is he so fluid and smooth? And also charismatic and all that sort of stuff. He's a real all rounder and someone that I wish I'd seen live. The other one. If it counts is Austin, but me and Ross were there at Mania 32 when Austin at least came out and I got to experience the Austin pop. Right, I get you. Yeah. But I've never seen an Austin match. Obviously, he's not in his heyday or anything. But of course. Who's yours? Tracy Smothers. Have you never seen Tracy Smothers? I'd had he wrestled. I'm shocked. Yeah. This, is, this is such a sad story, but I'll tell you. He wrestled in Shildon with Mike Quackenbush, which blows my mind that he was there in Shildon. Mm. But I hadn't... I hadn't tidied my room 
I was doing my chores, so I wasn't allowed to go to Shildon. He was 29 years old. That <laughs> 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 was two weeks ago. But I'm surprised, because didn't Tracy Smith like, do loads of UK tours? I'm surprised you never saw him again. Right, yeah. but he only wrestled in the Northeast, as far as I know, in that period when I'm like, can I go watch the wrestling? He goes, the state of your room, uh, son. No. And I went, oh. So I never saw Tracy's mother's do his act. That is a shame. And again, it wouldn't be nothing, but again, it's the idea of saying, I saw Tracy's mother's. And I remember when he passed away, you had a yeah. lot of great stories about him on the episode that we did after that. He's legendary. Mm. Like, just because it's it just the Gavorka he had. Mm. I would anyway, assume you've seen him done. loads of times. I thought so as well. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's good I'm selection old. of answers there. Yeah. Salutations to all wrestling fans out there. Before I start my question, I've enjoyed your coverage of Mania, and I hope you all enjoyed arguably one of the best Manias we've had in recent times. On the question, main people, sorry, main people, many people, I guess, were puzzled as to why WWE pick Sammy over Chad Gable. Mm. And I personally think it was done as a, a way to protect Gunther because him losing to Man, <laughs> that's what it says, who was main event Mania will probably do him more favors Unlike what some people who would think the Gable winning would make him look weak. Oh, because Gable's a perceived weak opponent. I hadn't opponent. thought about that. Yeah, okay, right. I say this as someone who likes Chad Gable. Question one. Do you think I'm just overthinking it and that they should have went with Gable instead of Sammy? Question two. What is one time you think of a wrestler who got a protected loss and then made both the winner and loser look good? Oh. So City from current uh, Qatari play Ak oh. Akram Afif. A.K. Ali from Bahrain. <laughs> Thank you, Ali from Bahrain. P.S. Aid Mubarak to all the Muslim viewers. Aid also, Mubarak. I hope Ross got his dream of a five-hour long podcast. <laughs> Did I? Almost without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, Can I just... We hopped in the studio no, at 12.15 p.m. I talk about it. We, were and it's we now, yelled at Triple Jump, hurry up, no one cares about video games. We've had a few piss breaks and it's now 19.05. That was a joke. Is it really? <laughs> that was a joke. No from, way. That was a joke from Matthew because he does like video games very much. Yeah, no, let's come on. We can do this. Right, Ali's two questions were... Aid Mubarak. Aid yes. Mubarak. Well, don't cheers that. <laughs> Seth, don't save, cheers save it. They don't, oh, they sorry. Don't <laughs> 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 uh, Aid Mubarak. Glug, glug, glug. Is that what my mate said? Steve Austin. My mate, my mate who doesn't know about wrestling once said that CM Punk seems like a really cool guy and he'd like to go for a pint with him. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, to be fair, I've got a pal in Hope who's... Uh, who does the old feast and the does the Ramadan feast in uh -huh. the evening? Fantastic events. Really? I went to one here at his house. Fantastic. Like at the end or just, yeah, no, just when the, every once day. Once the sun's sun, gone down, sun's yeah, gone right. down yeah, for the day. Oh, oh you'd be starving by then. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, so go on, Jack. You got a question? So the, what was good. the first question? Sorry. Question one. Do you should, think I'm just overthinking it? They should have went with Gable instead of Sammy. I personally would have liked it if Gunter had retained and and Chad had cost Sammy. But again, as I mentioned. That was just kind of what I projected onto the match. And it took me a while to actually enjoy the match as much, as, for as good as the match it was because I'd kind of been disappointed that they hadn't gone with my very specific plan, which I hadn't even made up. I'd seen people suggest it on Twitter. Um, but no, I think I like the way it's gone. Sammy winning's good and does protect Gunner slightly more. And I'm excited to see what happens next week. I was not on board until Sammy's entrance. And then I was on board. And then I thought, yes, he's the right guy to get the crowd on side, which he did. And he got the big win, and it just felt right. It didn't feel like, I don't know how to compare it to a, You know when Roman used to win the title back in the day? And it was like, oh, he's the guy they've picked to push. It didn't feel like Sammy was the guy they picked to push. Yeah. Yeah, it felt right. Well said. Uh, I like that Gable didn't win, because I'm all about the human emotions. I'm all about the human feelings of, like, I'm not good as that guy. I've got to do this dude. So the fact that I'm watching Raw every week going, go on, Gable. Given the dark side, be like the Emperor from Star Wars, mm. is fantastic, and I love it. The fact that Gunther mocked his crying family, <laughs> I love that. And the other question was, one time. What is one time you think oh, of a wrestler who got yeah. a protected loss and made it both the winner and loser look good? I mean, I'd say Reigns versus Cody this week. I mean, to be honest with you, the obvious one to me was Bret Austin. Mm. Fantastic. Did it make Bret look good as a heel? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, he like, won't. He beat Austin. Yeah. Like I hate you, Austin. Yeah. I'm perfectly justified by my actions. The crowd, like, you know, you're not. You're a fanny. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> and Shamrock, with the shortest ref attire in history, mm. was like, "Get off, Bret." Sexy. Yeah, that's the most obvious one that came to mind. There, WrestleMania 13. That's I can't think of a better one. one. Uh, the three-way match where it was Curtis Axel, The Miz, and Wade Barrett, and 
Way what? Miz put Miz put <laughs> stop it. I'm going with this. Miz put Wade Barrett in the figure four figure four lock, whatever it's called, and the figure four leg lock. There, figure four leg lock. I'm pissed. And uh, <laughs> and then Curtis Axel pinned Wade Barrett. I go like one, two, but it's like no, 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 no. That's made me think. <laughs> that was such a good finish. Big Show versus William Regal, SmackDown. Oh, what a finish! What a protected win! <laughs> a protected win that was for Big Show against William Regal. I like the one where the Miz hit Shane McMahon with the superplex <laughs> off the golf cart, but Shane made the pinfall, and it made both men look great at the Falls Count Anyway match yeah. at WrestleMania. It wasn't off a golf cart; it was off a big thing, wasn't it? It, it was a big scaffold. Th- it was a big thing. It was crap. It was crap. <laughs> Felt bad for the Miz. Ahoy there, diddlers on the roof. Ahoy. Ahoy. That's good. I'm writing this still buzzing from WrestleMania 40. You should be. We're buzzing. As someone who was three years old during the peak of the Attitude Era, I didn't get the WrestleMania X7 built-up and catharsis. It's catharsis? Yeah, yeah, catharsis. This mania was my X7. That's what I said earlier. It was everything I wanted it to be and more. My favorite part of this mania was that it felt like the culmination of stories, thank you, and the building blocks of new ones. It felt like a season finale to a TV show with villains beaten and new heroes rising. The best thing about Triple H run WWE, stop it. The rich run WWE is the consistency of storytelling. The Shield got me back into wrestling. I'm a Shield Law boy, and Roman Reigns choosing to finish his own story by getting the ultimate revenge on Seth Rollins. Oh, that must have been amazing. Dressed the Shield gear because he knows Roman most of all, was my favorite wrestling thing to happen in years. Oh. Gunther let his own ego get the better of him. Drew let his obsession get in the way of his title. Bailey finally accepted the crowd chatting for her and beat EO. My question is, in this coherent Triple H WWE, and with the draft in a month and a new season beginning, what's one story each that you want to see happen in the Ooh. next 12 months? Maybe even to be paid off this time next year. Ooh, that's a question. Yeah, Cheers for everything man. you do. The podcast is the way I can channel a lot of my thoughts about wrestling and your chemistry as a trio. Make it so brilliantly entertaining. Well, thank <laughs> sorry you for injury. this. Yeah, sorry about this one. Regards, former Sunderland player, oh no, and scorer of the occasional banger, Stefan Sessignon, aka Alex from Melbourne. Oh, oh, Stefan Schwartz. No, God took, <laughs> mercy, God took mercy on Pele. Makes the two to make one. And he came out with Stefan Sessegnon. It's not it as good like, as yeah, Sessegnon. It sounds like, yeah, beaten up. I like that. Yeah, God took Messi oh, and Pele. <laughs> I love you. You're better than Pele. I tell you, because I picked the mailbag question. I thought about it. <laughs> of course one. you did. Chad Gable turning heel on Sammy in Montreal. Oh. Oh. Turning into an Olympic shooter for the rest of the year. And then a baby face like a Brom Breaker beating him at WrestleMania next year. Oh. Make him say, oh, oh. make him say wank, <laughs> yeah. wrestle wank. Make him say, wrestle stop wank. saying wrestle wank. We'll have to make wrestle wank as a thing. Should we get wrestle wank t shirts next week? <laughs> Absolutely, you, give you, us, you give come us in. A, I'll, no, no, I'll no, be no, behind no. you. I shouldn't have said that. Up the logo Sorry, there in Newcastle. What did you say? Give us a subscribe. <laughs> 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 Lucy, I, Lucy, I think Brom Breaker will be making his draft and appearing on SmackDown or Raw, doesn't matter which one, and he has a right to go. Oh, the bloodline. Great family and all that. Ooh, your dad did this. Your granddad did that. Uh, my dad's with the Steiners. Mm. Uh, get it up, you. Yeah. Can't wait for that. And Anyone I think the crowd... This? Do you want that? God, no. I'm already blurry. Joe? Nah, all right. It's a tutti... Fr- I don't like it. It's a tutti fruit. Can I try it, please? Have a look at the... Oh, God. Wait, is oh, it just okay, a soft it drink or is it an alcoholic drink? Alcoholic. Oh, God, I don't know now. I think Brom Breaker is going to be so amazing. So... It's, it's fr- suck it. It's so amazing on the What's main roster. Doing? He said it sounded like I was fapping before. Because <laughs> you were. I wasn't. I oh, was suddenly. Was chanting. Uh, yeah, Ron Breaker's going to kill it, and it's going to be so great, because Triple H really likes history. Oh. But Tootie Fruity beer, my friend. God. He likes making history that is easily accessible. You don't be a ne- to be a nerd that knows about the brain buster in terms of Sami Zayn. You beat somebody you know about his. <laughs> oh, you're right, Jack. Really? Bloody hell, you're right. It's oh bad. my. I don't like them. No, man. I'm doing it. I'm plowing through. That's worse than the really sour one you yeah. made us try that time. Yeah. Oh, I nice. love those. That was Actually, fine. No, I Tooty fruity. I feel so bad after drinking those sour ones. <laughs> yeah, some bad pisses. Oh. Uh, what have you got, Ross? I told you. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something to do with Drew. Drew's the thing that I'm most like compelled by, I think, at the minute. Because, like, I'm excited to see what happens with Cody and everything, obviously, but the one that feels like it's ongoing and has loads of different possibilities is the Drew Punk and Priest stuff. I don't know whether Priest will 
I guess Drew will win it back from Priest maybe in Scotland or whatever. But then I want to see what happens with Punk and Drew because it felt hard to feel sorry for Punk because Drew was being so funny about it. So you kind of were like, yeah, Drew's kind of getting him and Punk's been addicted to so many people in the past verbally and maybe physically. No. Um, (laughs) But Drew was getting the better of him and Punk was really selling it while he was getting annoyed on TV and stuff. So now the tables have totally turned. Punk's cost him everything and is continuing to be a dick. So I just want to see where these two assholes go with each other. <laughs> I think it's be really yeah. good. So I, sorry, it's a vague answer to the question, but I just I, I'm excited for that most of all. No, I'm with mm-hmm. you. I'm I'm absolutely up for Drew antagonizing CM Punk and beating. That is Are you horrible, right? Man. Oh that, God, you oh, look yeah. disgusting. Yeah. Joe, have a little neck. We went for a second drink of it. The first drink, he's maybe gonna, he was he's wrong. He's going to straight face it, isn't I he? I got him for a Christmas. Remember when Richard had the other one? He straight faced it completely. Oh, but that's Richard. Though he's hard. Richard. I got it for a Christmas present. I reckon Drake, it's, it's the one I don't like. My favourite brew. Drink like, like pure gasoline and no salad. Yeah. So min. Go on, Sesh. We're calling you Sesh because the rest of us are Live up to the sober. name, young boy. Oh, now look. Live Sesh up to the name. It. And has Sesh blinked after drinking that? No, he hasn't. Oh, oh, there's a blink. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Uh. It's oh, weird, oh. isn't it? That's very strange. It doesn't taste alcoholic. It doesn't taste like a, a drink. It's a tutti fruity sour. It tastes like a drink. No, it tastes like a drink. It does wake you up a bit. Yeah, but like... Oh, good, we need that. Mm. He, he needs that. No, I, I've been all right for the past four hours. It was just the first four <laughs> that I was struggling. We need a drink to wake us up because, you know, the, the milkman will be doing their rounds soon. So I'm we'll have to rip. Thank quite... you very much for the questions and theories and thoughts that you... Can I just say, table. words no. can't describe oh, oh, oh. how happy it. I am with how long this podcast happy. is going. Yeah, we're so know. happy. We know we're happy. happy. He said happy. Size queen Ross Waddell has finally had his wish. I'm going to stroke. <laughs> It, but it hasn't, <laughs> stroke. it hasn't felt forced. It's oh, just, absolutely not. We've had natural discussion. That's, that's horrible, isn't it? Yeah, I, I don't like the aftertaste. Oh. See it off, fresher. <laughs> <laughs> nah. But I feel just we, we've done a good job today. I feel like there's been a lot of wrestling on this podcast. Life. And there's been occasional dip into silliness, but most of all, it's been wrestling. Yeah. And <laughs> like to, no, I don't know if I agree, <laughs> like. And if you like this a bit, it has. Stop it, Jack. You're, ruin, you're ruining the podcast, Jack. <laughs> uh, Submit to mailbag occultholic. Dot com. Mm. Still more to come. Ah, Reese's Pieces. Hi, y'all. Hey, Name's y'all. Pan, like the Greek god of the wild. Mm. Or the thing you used to make bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal sentence structure. That is not a line that I want to hear quality. right now. That is men. I was in a bit of a tough time back in 2022. One of the few good things that came out of that kind of sucky year was the revival of my love of wrestling. Excellent. I got back in during the Rumble. Gillette. <laughs> Royal Rumble 2022. The Rumble itself kind of reminded me why I hated wrestling, but the Reigns versus Rollins match was so good. Was that when he came out in the Shield gear? That's it, yeah. yes. But it, that was enough for me to check out WrestleMania 38. Been keeping up with my wrestling ever since. I've also been a fa- big fan of you guys ever since the name redacted days. Thank you. I was 12 years old for the no. first Arnold versus Oh, you can get the bin after telling us that. <laughs> uh, and turned 13 the day the Rumble reactions with Jack, Sam, and Susie dropped. Oh my wow. God. That Go was on, 20, 2016. <laughs> Jesus Good Christ. God. Going even further back, I was probably eight. And I found a link on some shady, some shady in that forum that told me the Botchmania website, wow, which doesn't work anymore. Eight years old. As weird as it might sound, you guys were a big part of my childhood. Bloody well, hell. thank you. I didn't really care about music, TV, or video games that much, but Fast Count and Botchmania. Fast Count. Oh, I put on my as baby. Soon as I got <laughs> These are if we were wrestling Roman Reigns, this is what we brought wow. up. <laughs> my God, it's Fast Count. Is this the brilliant. video Triple H surprises us? Yeah, with exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Fast count. Down, 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 down. Real. That was the sting at the start of the video. I hated WTF moments, though. Ross. <laughs> okay. What? I, no, no, no. It's good, though. <laughs> Ross, that King gimmick was holding you back. Oh. You were so naturally funny and likable and corpse me laughing every single video you put out. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. I think many people have said that. This part oh, I, 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 no, I, I missed the I missed the hits of the king I, mean, I, got, I got half a million for a raw WTF one week. That's yeah, but you're, you're more real now. What so kind of raw? What raw was it? I don't know. Just a just random, random raw. Yeah, the start. No yeah, way. Yeah. That was crazy back then. You used to go on the trending page on YouTube. There was like no wrestling channels. It was a magical time. <laughs> 
carry on. This podcast is something that I look forward to every week, and I put it on every Friday on my commute home from something uh, from work. But enough nostalgia. My question is, with all the talk of the Avengers oh no, this past Mania season, I thought it would be fun to cast the wrestling world as iconic superheroes. I'll give you a hero. I'll be your hero. <laughs> And you guys say what wrestler is their best wrestling counterpart. I'll try. Uh, in brackets, I know Ross doesn't care about nerdy stuff. So maybe Mafu, maybe Mafu, and Jack can briefly explain the characters to him. Oh, I'm not a, just oh, a, oh, I think so a nice. few words will help along, oh, you know, I just a few character traits. I think skip ahead, though. I think Love you guys. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. I think superheroes have, like, ruined pop culture, so I don't know what to do here. They oh. have killed the film industry. They really, have, haven't yeah. they? What happened to well, stories? Right, real they're, stories. They're, it's original films. Yes. It's all right, they're on their arse now, so it's okay. I can't wait for Civil War. Not that Civil War. The new one. Aye. A24 for life. For for. Right, sorry, can't. Love you guys, and thanks for all the fish. That's uh, good. I like that. Hitchhiker's guy. Sincerely, Pan, like the god of the wild, yeah, or the yeah, thing you make yeah, bacon in. Thank, thank you very you much, Pan. Pan. I respect Pan. that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very sexual. And thank you for, like, following us for so much of your life. Jesus Christ. Eight years old. Isn't it mad? God, no, isn't it mad? <laughs> Why it's kind of like, I watched this when I was eight, I'm now nine. It just sounds silly, doesn't it? The people it does, doesn't it? Invest, mad. give us the time of day. No, we've. No, it's nice because. No, no, no. You, you can't take praise. No, I can't. You're right. Yeah. But <laughs> it's so because I think there's. All I hear about is people oh, going, Ross is so good. It's not time for pep talks. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <coughs> no, anyway, you're right. No, you are right. That's the thought first. I'll give an introduction if you need it. Sorry for cutting off the praise to you there, Ross. Yeah, you so. Give me more praise, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Batman. I Do you think... know who Batman is? I'm a well. He's my favorite. Is he really? I love the Batman. Oh, Have you seen any Batman films? Oh, oh no, I can't do this forever. Stop Superhero. Me. You're Batman. You're Batman Returns. Yeah. You're Batman oh, yeah. with George Clooney. <laughs> yeah, Batman and Robin. Before they got serious, it's yeah, yeah. peak Batman. Batman, with, like the, Batman, Batman nah. with the nipples. Ah, yeah, that, that was it. And the arse. Well, he's getting dressed at the Absolutely, start of the film. Yeah. Uh, Batman has got to be... Please, someone answer before me. Ooh, I'm not really I think me. Batman is... Uh, I think Batman is... One bad thing happened to them, they can't get over it. It's the young books. I think Batman is dark and brooding, and therefore I'm going to make... Sting, it's Sting, it's Sting. That makes more sense. Sting's what I was going to go <laughs> Sting, yeah. Okay, cool. Superman. <laughs> Superman is. Oh, come on now. Okay, quite well, it's quite, quite obvious. This it's one. Cody. It's John Cena. Oh, okay. I've seen one that's coming up in the future in that list there, so I'm going to go for... Oh, of course, Captain. Ricochet. Ooh. He's Superman. Superman he flies through the sky. Yeah, Superman goes, wee! Which is a tope. <laughs> Wonder Woman. Shadow Flyer. In an Irish accent for some reason. Um, Becky Lynch. How bad it is, you know? I don't know much about the character, to be honest with you. She no just same. shows up, does good stuff, then leaves. Natalia. She's got a lasso. Lasso. I can't think of the wrestlers that have lassos. Mm, no. Ted. No, he's not a wrestler. He's a footballer. That's right. Like manager. manager. Well done. <laughs> Spider Man. Spider Man. Come Man. Tuesday. Oh, boo. <laughs> it's those webs. What a great responsibility <laughs> comes. Whatever. I guess comes Osprey, great coming. Because Spider Man's not just agile, but he's like cheeky with it, isn't he? He's got the wise cracks. That's bro. actually a good thing. Yeah, the wise cracks. Tr- well, he jumps around and says funny things. Uh, Kevin Owens. Although, that's a good shout as well. Although, Spider Man's not from. Mine doesn't really work because he's not from Essex. He's that from Queens. That means Sami Zayn is Venom. Could, I think he's more Carnage. I don't Ooh. know. I don't know. Because he's Ginger. Yeah. Uh, Iron Man. Triple H. Joe Coffey. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course it's Joe Coffey. <coughs> wow. <laughs> uh, a rich guy who's good. Oh, A rich guy That's who's good. Triple H. Yeah, Triple H. Oh, yeah, oh, right, this sorry. weekend with Triple H. Captain America. Hulk Hogan. Cody Bell. Lex Luger. We've all chosen brilliant answers. Of course. <laughs> Aquaman. Ooh. Swimmer. He talks to fish. Oh, Roman Reigns. He looks like him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, I'll say Kyle O'Reilly, because he's best friends with a fish. Matt Riddle. Sounds like he might talk to fish. Yeah, they don't talk back to him. <laughs> Green Lantern. Right then. Mm. Oh, the, hu- the hurricane. He mm. was Green Lantern, wasn't he? Oh, wasn't he just Green Lantern? Yeah, yeah. I'm doing. I'm killing it. He wrestles in green. Um, uh, green. Oh, uh, Rey Mysterio, never... circa 1997. Damn it. Um, I've got nothing for this. Who's really pure? Oh. Ricky Steamboat. He never turned heel once. Mm. The Flash. He's really fast. Nathan Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> Rey Mysterio. Ooh. Junior. 
Uh, oh, Axiom, whatever. Uh, Deadpool. I would, wacky that's, self-referential. That's what I'm going for Kevin Owens. Damn it, yeah. That is Kevin Owens, isn't it? He's, oh. the, he's the fourth... Well, CM Punk, I guess. Fourth wall guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to say Sesh, because he laughed at me then. Um, Wolverine. Brooding. Anti-hero. Never really a loses hero? a fight, does he? Austin. He just doesn't trust people. Oh, yeah, Austin's Austin. Austin, don't trust anyone. Yeah. Baron. Okay. Bloody Corbin. That's, I'm going to say Rey Mysterio, because he's got the same amount of metal in him. I'll probably go for that German wrestler <laughs> you saw, Dietmar Knife Hands the Third over in WXW. <laughs> what the, f- the Fantastic Four. Four the horsemen. Fantastic Four, the metaphor. <sighs> and there's two girls and two boys. No way, there was three. Damn it, there was three yeah. boys and one girl. Oh, in that case, uh, Judgment Day. Mm. Ah. Sam Punk's the thing, though, because he says it. Shaniqua, the Basham brothers, <laughs> and Orlando <laughs> Jordan. Oh God. God. <laughs> Second Shaniqua reference of the podcast. The Hulk. He's dumb and he's strong. Name redacted. His name Maybe. rhymes with cock. <laughs> the Rock. The <laughs> Rock. <laughs> oh, right. It is him. And of course it's him. How can it be anyone else? <laughs> but you've chosen him now. So I'll go. Cock f- Pez n- Dispenser. <laughs> I'll go for um, Ryback. Oh, I want to pick him. Um, dumb and strong. <laughs> and it's not Ryback. Oh, wait, man. Uh, Rhino. I don't know. Hell, dude. Thor. Rhino. Oh, um, Thor. 1979 Hulk Hogan. <laughs> oh, Spe- um, specifically 1979. <laughs> okay. I guess Ultimate Warrior. Isn't Thor quite calm though? Terry <laughs> Boulder. Was... Sorry, not even Hulk oh, Hogan. Terry Boulder. Terry Boulder. Oh wow. Okay. Is is uh... is Thor quite calm though and stoic? It depends what era it is, but yeah. Warrior can't be him. Um, Luger. <laughs> Luger. Which well, looks like Thor a bit, doesn't he? Von Wagner looks a bit like Thor. <laughs> Baron Corbin is Thor. Okay. Baron Corbin <laughs> is Thor. He's gone off piece there, but... <laughs> Black Widow. Black Widow oh, so, somebody that bombed at the box office. Victor- Victoria. Oh, yeah? Oh. oh you. I've taken it literally there. Um, so she's like gothic. And like... Well, she wears spandex. Oh, God, all wrestlers wear spandex. Uh, Tajiri, because he does the tarantula. Yeah! Um... I don't know, man. Uh, Rhea Ripley. I don't know if that works. Yeah, I got okay. yeah. Groot. Groot. Oh, the little tree. The little tree boy. Yeah, that says one word. Any characteristics man. of Groot that I should know about? I don't know. He's a little tree that says Groot. Ooh, that's tough. He's a little tree that says Groot. I'll choose. Yeah. So which wrestlers do you think of when you think of little trees? Otis. Otis. A little, a little bonsai tree. <coughs> He's a big bonsai tree. But I okay. think it should be a manager, so I'm going to go for... Um, slick. <laughs> I don't know where I've got that from. Slick. Yes, yeah, slick. Yes, yeah, slick's group, man. Slick. What do you think about your your <laughs> wrestling chance? Slick. Yeah. Uh, I got nothing, so uh, I might as well say slick. I uh, don't manage it. Hornswoggle. Mm. Ant Man. Oh damn it. Ant Man. Amazing Red. Characteristics of Ant Man. He's small. He's small. Jonathan Gresham. Yeah. Uh, El Torito. Yeah, we've done it. If all I've known is he's small. Nightwing. Who's ah, Nightwing? so Nightwing was Robin, but then he turned, like, I want to be my, my own man. Got the um, the shadow of being Robin. Sounds Batman. like a heel turn. I mean, Dave Batista. That's uh, perfect. Well done. What else have we seen? Jay Uso. Yeah, good shout. Um, I'll go for... Um, oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Soon to be Chad Gable. Okay, you can have mine with that one. That was good. Uh, villains: Thanos, um, the Belt Collector. Uh, I'll say Austin Aries. Roman Reigns, Kenny Omega. CW. Yeah. Okay. Roman Reigns. I guess it makes sense because he did have be everyone. The yeah. Yeah. Uh, Joker. Rollins. Sting. Yeah, I was say. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah. Lex Luthor. Whose ability is he's very rich and bald and big. Very rich yeah. and bald and big. Isn't, is he big? Isn't he a massive bloke? No, no, I'm no, thinking no, no, of no. Kingpin. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what? Sorry, very rich and bald. Paul Heyman. His name's gone from it. The, the Google. Uh, the, sorry, the Amazon man. He's the Amazon man. The Amazon man. The Jeff Amazon. Bezos. Jeff Bezos. 
<laughs> yeah. right. Rich and bold. Rich and bold. You're right. Yeah, rich, yeah, and, rich bold. and bold. Okay. I'll go for <laughs> Lex Luthor, man. Tony Khan, I don't know. He's not bald, but... He's anything but bald. No, he's very her suit, but I'll just go for him. Yeah. Loki. The God of Mischief. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. I could be a Roman as well. Um, Joe Casey. Oh, yeah, no. great, great shout. Give me some character. I thought Loki was a wrestler, obviously. Oh, this oh, is, this yeah, is all, one, this is all right. one word. This is L-O-K. Yeah, yeah Loki mean. got carried out of... Um, uh, where's he live? Askarotharad. Askarotharad. Uh, by CCW security. I was close. Um, well, I'll be funny in my head. CCW security. No, Never Loki, mind. The, I'm the sorry. wrestler Loki got carried I've, out of the I've match. I've thrown a bad thrashing uh, against oh, the dancers. Yeah, I see. And uh, it just looks really funny because they're bearing him like a child. Um, <laughs> what do you look like, this this Loki fella? He's, he's like, horns. He's, oh damn it! I was going to just describe Loki. I was going to be like, short, bald, <laughs> <laughs> horns, hot air. Wears a suit sometimes. Yeah, horns, you think Loki's hot, hot, don't you? Of course, I've the wrestler. Or what? The, no, or the, the character. Somebody, uh, Thomas Middleton, whatever his name is. What's oh. the, the lad that Simon gets compared to? Like, Johnny I mean, Sins. Johnny Sins. <laughs> he doesn't look bald, like him. He's not, he's not bald. He's not bald. Low key does all the time. Luger. Low key does that, change his that's shape. That's more Lex Luger. That's more like Lex Luger. No, 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 no. Luther. Shut up, Joel. Um, <laughs> Loki does change his form many times, like Johnny Sims, who's like a teacher. Yeah, an yeah, author, yeah. yeah, yeah. Second, but Johnny Sins isn't a wrestler, crucially. Yeah, but I don't care. Lobo. I didn't answer, but it's okay. Who's um, Lobo? Lobo is a lad who's really hard, and he's a biker dude. He's supposed to be a parody of the like early nineties. Super... Taker. That's a good show. The one man gang. Oh, that's good. Um, Zandig. Chains. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Hey. Love you guys, and thanks for all the fish. Sincerely, Pan. Thank you, Pan. Cheers, Pan, with your bacon, you big bacon cooker. <laughs> Thank you, Pan. I Pan. Appreciate... I can't believe we're nearly done. I appreciate your support. If you would like to send us any thoughts, queries. <laughs> Look at Sesh over there. Shut up. Look how happy he is. Mailbag at cultaholic.com. He knows he's taking part in history to Sesh. It's Cultaholics. The question. Ah, finally the end. Again, we only do this once a year. We've never done this before. A shout out to the producers. Reno2200. Two, two, bye. Zero, bye, zero. bye, 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 bye. Ah! It's WrestleMania season, oh, he's baby. From the future. He's <laughs> bloody knows everything. And Noah Anderson. Uh, Anderson. <laughs> what is he? He knows everything. What's and that's it. <laughs> Anderson, Noah Anderson. That's it. We're minus a producer. We're always so. Who can blame them after this week? Brett, always... thank you for your service. Much appreciated. <laughs> but now we have two remaining. We're always <laughs> so. We're so neglectful of Noah after going balls to the wall for Reno. <laughs> And we just go, no, I'm just, uh, I'm just, uh, <laughs> He know he gets it. He's alright. Noah. Noah. Anderson. He's a Japanese Silver. <sighs> the big question this week is, of what? course, Wait, what? was WrestleMania 40 the best ah. wrestling? The greatest WrestleMania of all time. Well, no, it wasn't. Oh, why do you say that, Jack? I think there are better Marnii. Name one. 30. Uh. You <laughs> break. Stay away from the microphone. X7 also, I think. You thought 30 was better than 40? I'm just going to check the card for 30. I can get it up if you want. I bet you just can. The card will uh, do, Joel. Yeah, Triple H, uh, Brian, the three-way. Lesnar, Undertaker. The Iron Bar. Oh, God, yeah, Lesnar, Undertaker wasn't very good. Cena Bray. Cena Bray. Uh, Cena Bray. The wrong guy won. Okay, yeah. X7 then, X7 then. No, I still think that could be better. Cesaro beating Big Show. It the Shield a... beating the Attitude Era, which is weird. It had a no, that was a great um, match. It had a big, amazing end, like Forty did. AJ Lee winning the Vicky Guerrero right. Invitational Joel, match. I've changed, changed my mind, Joel. Thirty-one. Oh, 31 is a better contender. Yeah. Here we go. Here we. Are you alright, Ross? <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Thirty-one. What happened there? Yeah. I was shocked. Day one's amazing. Yeah, day one's great. Day one's After years, I'd say it wasn't very good. Randall, flick off the neck. Oh, yep. hey it's It's kind of hard to compare when 30 only had eight matches, and this year's had eight matches on each Ten night, for the so... purists. Ten, maybe. X7, of course. Three for spectacle. One for novelty. And that had a, a 19 was good. Well, any of these could possibly be better than 40. I don't know if all of them are, though. I, I might oh, obviously, Errol Hawani's joining us via satellite to say four was better. Four was not this. in my list. Um, but I, as I said, I'm glad, that pan, I'm glad that pan sent that email saying exactly what I was saying. Like, 
uh, was it Pan, sorry, and um, the other people in the mailbags. Oh, the Pan. Alex from Melbourne saying stuff like myself, like this, like you can't watch all the WrestleManias and be part of all the history. Like WrestleMania 3, I was told as a fan, was amazing. What are you doing? Are you taking, recording us? Just, I said a tweet out saying, and we started shooting the podcast about seven hours ago. So I thought I'd take a picture. It's a teaser for the, the watching public. A moosh bush. A moosh bush. Um, WrestleMania 3 was. Episode, huh? WrestleMania 3, Trump. WrestleMania 3 was always told to me as a fan in my teens, watching X7, that's right, hand on my heart, um, that it was an amazing event. I'm like, yeah, but I have to be told this. I've been told that. Have the, you watched the it? Majesty. Oh, yeah, yeah I've, I've seen all the WrestleMania. What do you think of it now, three? Oh, no, WrestleMania 3 is great. Mm -hmm. Like, the undercard's amazing. It's really solid. Um, even like Hercules and, um, what's his name? Billy Jack Haynes have a great match. And it's, it's like, it's tag really match, well put together. Really tag match on yeah, the, um, is the, the Bulldogs and uh, Heart Foundation with the uh, yeah, Diane yeah, Davis yeah. and whatever. Yeah, it's all really, really Steve solid. Savage, obviously. And great. Yeah, yeah. Hogan and Andre is really good. It's a happening, as they it would say back happening. in the day. But oh. I don't have that emotional connection with WrestleMania 3 because that's a previous era. Yeah. There's people watching this going, yeah, all right, granddad, X7's the best WrestleMania of all time, blah, 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 Limp Bizkit, whatever, I don't care. They will be able to watch WrestleMania 40 and feel the same way that we felt, going, wrestling's great, isn't it? Mm. Oh, my God, I love wrestling. I'm going to be so proud telling people I'm a wrestling fan. Logan Paul's a wrestling fan. He's cool. So, you, so you're saying that because of its significance, potentially, <laughs> yeah, it's I mean, it, elevated into the upper echelon of WrestleMania. Right, and of course you can say it's the cynic and it's been truthful. Yeah, it's because we're trying to get away from the fact that Vince is, yeah. But at the same time, it did everything he wanted it to do. Right. Roman era, our Cody in, Cody The Rock in. showing up, doing his thing, swearing loads. Yeah, LA Knight. Yeah. Choking on his chewing gum on SmackDown. <laughs> New era is here, baby. Yeah. The guy deep throat in the Slim Jim. No, no, that <laughs> wasn't part. It's a WrestleMania moment. I love you, Slim Jim. Cruz del Toro trapping his hand in a door. <laughs> some American. Oh no! Some NFL dudes oh. out here. I've just hit that yeah, television man. screen with some force. So yeah, I reckon <laughs> of this generation, <laughs> this is way more. Mental. This is a point we're at in history, in terms of WWE, in terms yeah. of wrestling, where we're going. This is the start. This is the point where this all happened, this new era. I would like you to come Fine back. Fine speech. No, no, sorry. Come back and ask me that question in 10 years' time. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll how do you feel now, Ro I'll uh, give you Ross. an answer. Uh, I almost called you Roman then because I'm Jeffrey, pissed. I feel fine. Um, it's a really difficult one to answer because we're of that era where WrestleMania 17 was the one. We yeah. were there. We were alive. We vaguely remember what happened. And now we have the new one where and the new era is really getting well set well. off. Mm. Huh? And it's aged really well as well. It has aged really well. Um, so HP Beardster loves your shirt, Jack. <laughs> what? That's fantastic. Oh, you Can you get off the X? X? Yeah, I thought we're we were live streaming. I was like, get off X, please. Um, I just thought, you know, like Drew McIntyre and me, but wank. Uh, I, yeah, it's really good. Again, I'll answer the question in 10 years' time. Mm. I just thought what the guy asked, like, what guy? Me. Oh, right, I you. It's the big question now. But like, <laughs> yeah, we are. but like, again, in terms of WrestleMania's, where do you think this is at? It's in big the top. Guy. The very the big the guy. guy. It's top three. God. As I'm sat here now. Right over the Bible. It's definitely top three. Mm. Oh. With X7 and what was your other one then? Oh, I'm a sucker for 18, me. Oh. 18? That's a mad yeah. one. Yeah. It's a one-match show. Is that a nostalgia, that a nostalgia thing? Yeah, it's probably ah, nostalgia. Okay. I mean, it's an amazing match. Hogan and Rock's one of, my, one of my Desert Island grabs matches. I mean, I get it. I get it. Me and Tom are watching the uh, 2002 on the Call of Duty and Call of Classic Smackdown podcast. Mm. I almost <laughs> said that right. Uh, and again, we're looking at 02. Ratings are down, but Hogan is adored by the crowd. Yeah. We're at the one where he's in Montreal and the crowd chant Hogan for five minutes straight. Mm -hmm. And I've got a live feed of it thinking, this is BS, right? They piped it in. No. No. Nope. On the live feed, <laughs> they're there chanting for five minutes straight. Yeah, I don't know. It, Rings were down. It's definitely, the, it's a moment for WrestleMania. It's probably the best one. Cody winning. Probably the best one. Ooh. Probably. The end of four year reign of it's WrestleMania. Hard to yeah. end of four year. It's hard to pin down. The best moment from like four decades, though, isn't yes, it? Yes, recency bias. <laughs> not just that. Like, recency Hogan bias. Hogan slamming Andre is not like, doesn't seem as grand now that we've had all these years, yeah. but for what it meant at the time. Yeah. And Fans would be like, why did he give him a Canadian Destroyer? Yeah, yeah. Why didn't he give him a shoot kick in the head and then <laughs> pin him Ring of Honor style? Um, <laughs> she gets that afterwards. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a hard one. 
I, I, my, I think my favorite one is still probably X7, but that's yeah. the easy answer, isn't it? It, it really is. But um, I like so people my age and actually younger than me who were like, oh, don't kids say dumb things nowadays? I'm like, I like being a person, seeing time change and people develop and all the other things come along. I like seeing the passage of time. I like the fact that people will look at this, kids will look at this, Puppet Jack will look at this and go, WrestleMania 40 was a pivotal moment and my uh, association is a wrestling fan. I love that. Orally. Because there was years where... on back my chest for emphasis. There was really years good. where that moment wasn't there. Uh, thank you, Ross. When yeah. was the moment before this WrestleMania? There was no spark. We can't find it anywhere. Yeah. Thank Ross, you for, Ross is thank you the for doing <laughs> the silent film acting. Appreciate that. But yeah, I, I think it's up there. WrestleMania 40. Definitely. Wrestling, I is, think it's wrestling is cool again. Up there. Michael Cole, wrestling is back again. I love pro wrestling, he said. Yeah. Yes. Fair enough. Good Hell question. Yeah. Good answers, three. It's great, isn't it, to be a wrestling fan? We've been through it. Yeah, man. And now we've come out the other side. Yeah. We know what bad wrestling looks like. We know what great wrestling looks now like. We, this was great wrestling. We are the side men of 2024. Oh, Don't sit. No, no. Christ, <laughs> Mother. <laughs> Jesus. Side men. Joe, Jesus. <laughs> Even the prisoners are going back in their cells after the side men. Can I be Ethan, please? I don't know which. Yeah. I don't know who my favourite side man is. Um, I don't know. Do any of them like wrestling? Okay, so that... yes, I like wrestling. Of course, oh, he loves does. cocaine. Okay. Uh, the, the, that doesn't narrow it down. <laughs> he's got brown hair. He kicks a football at his mum's head. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's called. Okay. Uh, S W three or whatever he's called. SW3. That's a postcode. I don't know what he's called. I know, but he's got like a postcode name. Oh, is he? He loves, loves drugs. That one. Fantastic. We all, we well, I'm exiting them. this conversation and saying, Jack, thank you very much for joining us in this wonderful world of professional wrestling. So, <laughs> <Don't do it. laughs> Let's not do this for the outro. Ross, know. what have you got for us? Uh, but, but, uh, what do you think I've got for you? I've got nothing. <laughs> My entire week's been spent at WrestleMania and all this bollocks we talk about today. <laughs> Jack, what have you got for us? Is it the same answer? No, uh, I've got Matches of the Month podcast coming out. So Tom Ooh. said that'll go up, I think, on Saturday. Fantastic. Saturday! <laughs> Matthew, what have you I've got, got a list. Are you gonna, sorry. <laughs> are you, wait, wait, wait. I'll go on, go ahead. I've got a list about the, uh, the the matches that main evented WrestleMania that were of, no, of, of a, no, a pay-per-view of a tag team notion. Oh, that came out tag me. team <laughs> notion. Tag team pay-per-view main events. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> there's not many of them, in fairness. There's was, not, was there 10? There's 20. Oh, okay. In WWE history. In WWE? Yeah. 20? 20. All right, if you say so. Um, Jack will, of course, be adding posthumously uh, CM Punk versus Jungle Boy at Wembley uh, to the matches of the month. No, no, no. Uh, Joel, what have you got for us until next week? Uh, I've got nothing. Just happy to be here. Aren't you? Thank you, Joel. Aren't you lovely? For sitting Thank there you, with the patience you, of a patient saint. This was fun. Was it? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, fair enough then. Fair enough. Fair enough. <sighs> I mean, we've made history. I'm very happy we've done this today. Yeah, Bad history. Um, we got on here at 12.15 p.m. and it's now 19.46. I'm nervous about this going out. It's it been half, feel an, it. half an hour been... of piss breaks, you reckon? Yeah. yeah. I, reckon this has been, yeah. I reckon this has been a bad podcast. <laughs> a WrestleMania 18 of a it podcast. It can't be. Special for some, maybe. I, I am eager to hear... The opinions of people. I'm yeah, but this like, is a good I'm thing not. or a bad thing. It's one of you should be. This you is like be a, proud of your work. No, this is like a you're a good lad, Jack. Jack, happened. you and Ross both suck at taking. Compliments. No, no, I'm just not happy about this. I just feel like we've. I feel like listening to it back, we'll be like, "What the hell oh, did okay. we do?" But generally, even if someone says you had a good podcast, you're like, "Hmm." He stop it. Bro. Blush, blush. Piss, I'm piss. happy with we, one time a year. It's going to be the longest podcast. We've liquidated ourselves to get through. No, we haven't put ourselves in bankruptcy. No, no, we've uh, we've uh, <laughs> lubricated, yeah, okay. lubricated, lubricated yeah, yeah. ourselves to get through. I think it's fine. It's a loose one. It's a loosey goosey. Mm. But sometimes that's when the most the most fun moments happen. Is <laughs> when you're a bit loosey goosey. That's correct. Yeah. So thank you very much for persevering with this. Uh, we appreciate your love and support. Mailbag at colic.com, page.com, full slash call the holic. OJ Simpson. Uh, OJ <laughs> Simpson is dead. RIP to a real one. And we hope to see you next week. RIP to a real one. Where we, where we will Jackson. be sober, we promise. Like I said, this is one week of the year. It's not like this all the time. Unless, of course, you like it. Uh, this has been Jack. This oh, has no, been Ross. This, this has been Joe. Sorry, Sesh. This Thank has been Mapu. This has been Poor Jack, who's done nothing as always. Thank you very oh. much. Let's end this podcast by putting at the screen what we're going to say. I don't know. I don't know, Matthew. What's your uh, show this week? 
Tell us, tell us, so leader Matthew. What's happened? What's a quote? This was the greatest podcast ever. Oh, Jesus. Yes. yes. Like Triple H. On the count of three. One, two, three. This, this is, is the, the greatest, greatest podcast, podcast ever. ever. I love podcasting.